you can so you know where you're going and then look at that image see the detail of that image is amazing absolutely amazing and you've also got in this set um that now this is perfect because that is um one of those images that you will use again and again and again it's just such a cool stamp oh i've only got a minute i wanted to show you the rest of the stamps tomorrow we've got loads of shows tomorrow look at that see that's one of those isn't it that you'll just layer you know, you'll use again and again and again, and that, that's going to be a proper handy little stamp. Right. 45 seconds. Where did it go? Um, thank you so, so much. Thank you, our lovely Scott. Well, do you know what? I think I worked very hard in that hour, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know you're going to do another hour, Scott. I need to lie down. I just knocked over... Oh, the, all dear. I've done today is just knock over the rice paper. That's the only <laughs> thing I've added to the show, well really. Well done, Scott. But no, I love it. it you did it amazing. beautifully, though. It <laughs> know, fell just, down so elegantly. Just waft in and waft out again. <laughs> uh, but no, lo lovely, lovely work. Lovely work. It's fantastic. Oh, it's really just is. amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's Stamperia, Stamperia quality. You can't go wrong, just, can you? No, it's exquisite. You really can't. Uh, so you've got lovely shows again tomorrow. You're I have off indeed. Again. No, nice and early. We'll have a lovely shows tomorrow Thank as well, you. right? So don't go anywhere because I'll be back in a Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers. And we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags, and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a brand new day here at the Craft Store. It is Thursday morning, bright and breezy, and it is 7 a.m. And we are presented with a riot of colour and a happy hour of the most gorgeous designer fabrics. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, remember, a happy hour means 
that all the prices that we give you are good for this hour and this hour only. So the best thing to do is to get your computer, laptop, phone, whatever it might be, however you shop with us, get it open right now, get logged in and get ready. And you might want to be shopping ahead of us as well. It's all about designer fabrics in this hour. And joining me, I'm not on my own. No, 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 no. I have got for the first of three fabulous hours, the wonderful Susie Duncan. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? Yeah, good. And all ready for your holiday as well. Uh, well, not really, but yes. <laughs> she's going on a little holiday, everyone. Um, <gasps> How exciting. Yeah. How exciting. Um, now, we've got some very, very exciting fabrics this morning. Oh, an amazing array of fabrics. What a great hour for stash building. There's something for everyone, let me tell you, because we've got cute and cuddly, we've got wild and vivacious, we've got a bit of Christmas, <laughs> we've got a bit of Hanukkah. Uh, there's all sorts going on. In fact, let's have a sneaky peeky and swipe left and right on the website, shall we? On the giant version of the website. There it is. You can uh, very, very easily just log on right now to thecraftstore.com. We've got amazing bundles for you, and you can see those price tags are absolutely bonkers. Now, all the happy hour price tags have now been activated, and they are good until 8 a.m. this morning. So, get shopping right now because you've got some big big savings to make right let's get started then shall we first we have got some wonderful bundles which are four half meters at a very very special low price and we are going to start with riley Bra riley blake put my teeth in and we've got the most beautiful unicorn fabric bundle and this is a real dream to start as we wake up this oh it Thursday is it's morning. really pretty isn't it? yeah, good one <laughs> like it time. it is yes just to make sure i don't nod off but it's beautiful i mean you can fussy cut out unicorns if you want to because this this there's enough space round everything, so you won't lose loads of fabric. Mm. But absolutely Ooh, stunning design. You can turn that the other way around, actually. Can, so it's right actually, for you. Yeah. There you go. It's right for you there and right you for them. It's awesome, Marvellous. isn't it? Even you know the detail, even in the little girl's hair, you've got beautiful floral details going on there. Absolutely fantastic. And then you've got that beautiful floral print. I love that. That is so, so lush. I mean, you could actually cover buttons with the tops of these. Oh, yeah. Great for your English paper piecing as well, but imagine lining, making a, a pillow, book pillow, and then having that as the pocket so she looks like she's running through a field of flowers. Looks really cool. Or beautiful. having it as a nighttime thing, so you've got your stars. Great for any celebration. So if you want to make gift bags as well, Great birthday gift bag one. Definitely. And then you've got the night time. I love that. So you that. could make your pyjama case out of this one. Yeah. It's really, really sweet, isn't it? So uh, cool. Now, Susie's obviously showing you um, the pieces just for the ease. She's showing the, you, you them folded them in up? half. You've got a full half metre of each one. Um, and they are just delicious, aren't they? They're brilliant. 44 inches wide, so I think that's 112 centimetres. Yes. I think that's right, isn't yes. it? Yes. Wow, I can't believe I've remembered that. Uh, and you're getting all of that for £22.99, which is really, really good. So you're making a nearly a £10 saving there. But just in this happy hour. So take advantage right now. 652440 is the item number. Riley Blake is a big, big, big designer name in the uh, fabric world. It's working out at what? £5.75 per metre. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, that's incredible for, for, half for that meter, quality sorry, even. yeah for that quality of quilting weight cotton 100% cotton is just phenomenal it's lovely to have that variance uh, as well all of those yeah. that coordinate so beautifully got, together in fact you've got day and night as well you can make yes. some amazing and if things. you've you've got a new one on the way yes. new little one on the way what a magical Absolutely way to dress up beautiful. the nursery yeah you could make little curtains for Wendy houses from it as well. <gasps> Sweet. I love it. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. And I'm sure lovely. you will as well. 652440. Right, we will shimmy on because we've got lots and lots to cover this morning, let me tell so you. So many. From unicorns, we're going to something very, very different right now because we've got some musical cats going on and we've got four fabulous half meters here which are just so funky. You can see straight away. Now, these are my kind of cats uh, yeah. because they are very, very cool cats, aren't they? they very, are, very musical really. cats. It reminds me of Aristocats, definitely. Yeah, and I love it. I don't know, French cafe, it's just fab. But the music notes, so this, again, great for a gift bag for a anybody who's in you know likes music 
Or if you're giving someone concert tickets, why not make them a little pouch, put the tickets inside. That's a good and idea. And then they've got somewhere to keep everything yeah. on the day. Love so that. I love that. Then you've got the one with um, the guitar with it as well. Lovely. But that's directional. The the music script wasn't directional. This yeah. is directional. Love it. Then you've got the cats. Here they are. They are upside down with their cool glasses. I mean, that is just so cool. Aren't they brilliant? <laughs> but again, it's a directional fabric and it's called Hip Cat Rehearsal. I mean, it's just <laughs> so cool. But again, you can fussy cut. That's what I love about these. Yeah. You could fussy cut these. You could do a bit of a plique. You could do a bit of embroidery. Really go to town. There's a bit but of a story going on there as well, isn't there, potentially? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd want to give them all names as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah definitely got some and then this one now the, the title of this is a little bit odd but go on tossed musical cats because oh. they've literally just taken oh, the same okay. so it's exactly the same image on this as on this one but they're in small but they're scale. in small scale which means for english paper piecing yeah. for fussy cutting to do log cabins round mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to make things would be just amazing but this would be so cool just to have as your music bag yeah. if you're you know if you are a musician and you and you've got one of those bags like I used to have to keep my sheet music in. Yes. You yeah, could yeah, yeah. line it or make it from this. It would be so cool. They it? are so nice, aren't they? They're brilliant. Really and fun. Just to let you know, everything on this show is going out for you on the 7th of October, whenever that may be. Uh, it's about Next a week's week. time, isn't it? Yeah. A week today, in fact. Oh, well, there you go. That's not too long to wait at all, is it? I know, because it? it's sadly the last day of September. Oh, it is, isn't it? I oh, know. How oh. scary is that? What happened to September? Does anyone I, know? What happened to this year? Well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? What a funny old year it's been. <laughs> uh, given 2020 a run for its money, hasn't it? Certainly. <laughs> um, this so is brilliant, cool. isn't it? I yeah. love this. Again, they're all 100% cotton, quilting weight cotton. So you can do lots of um, you know, household things with them. Yeah. You could, if you wanted to, I mean, make yourself a shirt. Yes, I was just thinking that, actually. A shirt in that music print. That actually, be... I'd want it in the funky cats. I definitely want well, a shirt in that. You could mix the two, actually, you couldn't could. you? You could have a little, you could have a little um, pocket square, couldn't you? Well, I was going to say you could have one front as cat and the opposite front as the music. And then on the back, yes. you could have the music and guitars. Yes. That would be so cool. Yes, And then I'm your collar, that. inside of your collar, have you got your sewing machine with you? Yeah, I have. It's in the guest have room. Have you? Right, fabulous. Yeah. Well, we'll have one of those. Run up by <laughs> 8 o'clock then. Uh, that sounds all right, doesn't it? 911120 is your item number then, if you want that. That's the musical Cats bundle. It's two metres, so it's four half metres there. Very, very popular already, and you've got a fabulous saving. Again, saving nearly £10 there in the happy hour. It is just good for this hour. From Michael Miller. And Michael Miller, again, really, really yep. fun illustrator and fabric designer. Absolutely. And a well known figure as well for you know, good quality fabrics. But yeah, such good fun. Real laughter. It's one of those fabrics that when you see it, you can't help but smile. Yeah. yeah absolutely. It's really good. They fun. are joyous. They yeah. are really, really joyous. I love the ones with the with the round glasses as well. It's very sort of yeah, beetles. Just reminds me of that it. last scene in Aristocats. Yeah, so. yeah. It's so cool, isn't it? I love Other it. Other films are available. <laughs> and they are. They absolutely are, including the new but James Bond, which I'm very excited, <gasps> so excited to see. For I that. really want to yeah, see that. Absolutely. Did it started showing just after midnight last night in some Did places, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, we are going to go and see it, but not for a while. Can't wait to go and see that. That'd be brilliant. Now for something completely and utterly different. It's yes. almost like we're stepping back into the 80s here, and I really, it really love that as a child of the 80s. So I love so it. So funky. So it's these four here, and they're a real riot of colour. I love it. And, and, it's, yeah. and it's a little bit kind of, whoa, when you look at these close up, you're kind of like, whoa, hello, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I yeah. feel like I've woken up in some kind of psychedelic dream, but I absolutely adore this. It's I really love cool. this. I've it's... not seen this designer before. Um, Studio, Studio E, e Black. Yeah. Oh, Studio no, E. No, it's Studio E, and it's black and white with a touch of bright It's is the collection. I love it. And it certainly is. Yeah, my <laughs> word. Um, but what I love about this is when you first look at it, yes, you're wowed by colour, yeah. but then you start to look into the, the detail on the print, and you've got polka dots running in the background. Oh, you've yeah, got these yeah, yeah. big white... Almost like coffee cup stains. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
running over the top as well. And I see this to me is like, do you remember the little rubber bouncing balls you used to buy that yes, were all multicolored? Yes, this yeah. looks to me like someone's just got a handful of those, toss them in the air, yeah. and that's what you get, them all bouncing around. Because they do look like they're moving. I it's think, an incredible design. I think our paper crafters will want to get their nesting dies out on these as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, you could fussy cut and cut your circles. Yeah. So great in aperture cards as well. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. If you wanted to do a bit of um, embroidery detail on them, it'd be such good fun. You could nice even for, um, do names. Things like um, tablet covers and journal yep. covers and whatever, because yep. it really is bright. You're not going to lose it, let's face it. No, absolutely <laughs> not. You so are that's not. one of the four. Yeah. What else have we got? And then this is just oh. such fun. I mean, That's fantastic. Whiz those this round, shall we? Is, oh, yeah. They're upside, right. down, upside down. There we go. So used to working oh. back to front and upside down. They're so cute. It's, they are fabulous designs. Great for children. I mean, you could make an amazing storybook cover from this. Or that, storybook. Is that a bit, you know, with this sort of sun rays coming out? Is that this a is a bear? lion. Oh, it's, it's a, a lion. lion. That's his mane. Oh, so well, cute. I would have said so. I but love you it. could say that's a bear's face. You could have it. Could be a polar bear's face. It could be a lion. It could be anything. There's a little hedgehog there. I look. know. Look and look at this. The elephant's got a psychedelic trunk. Ah, oh, love it's it. Cute so as can lovely. be. Oh, yeah. That's... And remember, that's only two of the four fabrics yeah. that we've seen so far. And then you've got the hearts. <gasps> oh my word! So that's like a magic eye picture, it isn't is, it? It is. But it's great if you've got a wedding coming up. Again, you could do it as the gift bag, you could do them as, because it's a small scale print, this would work really well as little favour bags for yeah. a wedding, or little confetti bags if, you're, if your venue allows that them. That is the sweetest. But it's a bit, bit different, it's not your cutesy pinks. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just a, it's a nod. It's very edgy, I love it. It is. Very on trend with those rainbow of colours as well. And this one, I mean, Ooh. this I think is, well, I haven't got favourites. I just love this collection. Quilter's Dream. It is, but also, I mean, bag lining. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. Definitely a bag lining in this. Yeah. And then a glasses case. And as you said, tablet case. I just want everything to be this bright and colourful I love and cheery. that. Because you could cut and use it as ribbon. Yes, and you can cut some nice borders yes. for uh, quilting projects I'll out of that as well. would be perfect for binding. And it would look like you've done months and months and months piecing. of piecing, wouldn't yes. it? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely yes. gorgeous. I love that. Uh, those four fabrics then, remember, it's a half metre of each. They are absolutely mm. stunning, aren't they? And you've got a brilliant, brilliant happy hour price tag then for you. Instead of 32 we we're looking at just 22 99 uh, for a half metre of each of those four fabrics. Going out for you on the 7th of October and your item number 370322. Now listen, we can't talk fabric at this time of the year without starting to have a little bit of a nod to Christmas. But I have to tell you that it's highly unusual to have a happy hour, so a discounted Christmas fabric range at a time where people most want Christmas fabric. Do you know what I mean? And we've got it, which is brilliant. In fact, we've got Christmas in abundance coming in this show, which is really, really good. This is lovely. Again, from Michael Miller. So it's got that lovely, whimsical twist to it. Um, I, I just, I, I love everything about this. I particularly love this fabric with the sort of... The candy canes. Yeah, oh, it's candy canes back to back, isn't it? I, yeah. know what, I hadn't even noticed that. I was thinking yeah. like a link. Um, but no. you're right, it's candy it's canes back to back, isn't yeah. it? I mean, the, all of these fabrics would make fantastic gift bags yeah I am a big fan of making the bag to give the present in so that you're not using plastic and you're not they, it's a multi-use present as Definitely, well they can yeah. use it afterwards and you just need a bit of stabilizer uh, then not well it depends one. on the yeah, gift depends on what it yeah. is, is depends the bottle. on the gift you want it to kind you of... might want it not to fall through the bottom so but yeah. something in the bottom might be good yeah but what I also love about these is the fun aspect of them these little winking santas as they're called ah. yeah are just such oh, yeah, good they fun are. they're all they're all got one eye open one eye shut <laughs> but what a great thing to be able to fussy cut as well so again if you're a paper crafter you could use these to yeah. add detail to toppers it, for yeah. gift tags and decoration you can make your own Absolutely. christmas decorations christmas eve boxes would be good you know if you just put some um, instead of a box yeah why don't you make them a Christmas Eve drawstring bag? You, you, all you would need to do is literally stitch up the sides. So if you haven't got a sewing machine, you can do it by hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then just do a channel at the top, 
put a bit of rope through if that's all you've got lying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've got a drawstring bag for your Christmas Eve box. Or What's your, a Christmas or your Eve Santa box? Socks. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, apparently me. it's a thing that started. Um, on Christmas Eve, you're sp they're supposed to get a pair of pyjamas that they got those to wear. Oh, on Christmas morning. On Christmas morning. Oh, wow. And, um, a, and a book. And the idea is that they sit and you can read the book in your new pyjamas, is the concept. Oh, I like that. Just another excuse for another pleasant, I, I feel. Well, yeah, I like, yeah. I like the sound of that. I yeah. mean, I'm not particularly in, into pyjamas, but I'll have a new pair for Christmas morning. Absolutely. So you, Fine so by me. wondering what outfit you're going to wear. That's true. But, the yeah. candy canes, so not your traditional red and white candy canes, you've got green and white. So these are the spearmint, not the peppermint version, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. They really, are really, really nice. cool. But as you said, when you look far away, you don't realise that they are candy canes. No, it can look so a bit like a, a, like a chain or a knit Absolutely. or something like that. It's so only when you this get isn't necessarily a Christmas fabric in my head. I would use this True. as a geometric print yes. or a blender in other things. Yeah, Again, definitely. because of the closeness of the pattern, you, this would be really good for bindings as well. So great for your placemats. Very nice. And this then, is so cute. He's upside down. I love You've these. You've got the Fawn Laureates, as this is called. Such a cute little Bambi design, isn't it? It's just joyous, isn't Again, it? Again, you could fussy cut round, great for big buttons. So if you wanted to do um, like coasters with these and have that yeah. as the central feature, you could do that. But equally, if you start chopping it up, you get quite a lot of detail in each one, but with that broken up print. So really cute designs. And you can make little decorations for your Christmas you tree as well with Absolutely, those. Absolutely, because if you just fussy cut a circle round each one, and then just um, stitched round, turned it through, so bagged it out, yeah. and then put a bit of stuffing in, and then hand-stitched, even in gold thread, round the gold ring, you'd get like an appliqued, almost pom-pom, uh, which would look fab. Now, I know it's a fawn, but yes. from that distance that we're looking at it at the moment yes. on the camera... cat. It's reminded, no, it's reminded me a little bit of, do you remember the um, the Christmas film? Oh, I don't know if it is a Christmas film, actually. Stuart Little with the little mouse. I know the name. It's just I'm not really, very good really with cute. Them. It reminds me, oh, actually, it's reminding our Ross yeah. of Rupert the Bear a little bit. Okay. It's quite early in the morning, isn't it, Ross? <laughs> You've got both your contact lenses yes, in, Ross. I have a spare set in the guest room if you'd like to borrow them. <laughs> Right, and moving finally. swiftly on, <laughs> we have the gingerbread treat. Something in the water here this morning, maybe. I know, what is it? <laughs> I might make a new drink after this. Um, so, yeah, gingerbread treats, and boy, are they treats. Oh, I love Look that. at these. I mean, I'm looking at this and going, oh my gosh, EPP heaven. Yeah, because yeah. I can literally fussy cut all these different shapes. You've got, I mean, this is, again, gift bag. Great for um, just a fun thing. I would just drape this over the table. This is just such a fun Christmas addition. Do you know what I'm seeing? You know, um, I, I'm doing this like I'm conducting an I'm orchestra. <laughs> but what I would do is uh, make a lo lovely string of maybe um, rickrack or, or a lovely pom-pom trim and actually make little decorations yes, to have those to hang sort of hanging there. along, a bit like yeah. a garland to go over you know, the top of a window yeah. or next to your dining table in some way. I think you know that would what be else really you lovely. could do? Get a pair of pinking shears, you know, yeah. the zigzag cut, yeah. for those yeah, yeah, of you who yeah. don't know what pinking shears are, or just plain, and uh, cut with a slight border, Yeah. and then just fabric glue it onto a piece of craft card. Ooh. Make your gift tags. Yes, yes, because loads of people have tag dies as well, yeah. and that could go very, very easily yeah. on top of that, couldn't it? Yeah. Isn't it brilliant? Uh, so it cool. is lovely, and you can do so much with these fabrics as well. Um, again, you've got that same brilliant saving there. So you're saving nearly ten pounds there. You're getting those four half meters. They're great fun. Michael Miller, one of the absolutely top kind of fun, quirky designers yeah. as well. Really, absolutely. really lovely. Um, going out for you on the seventh of October. Grab these now. I can't believe we've got these kind of things at happy hour prices when. This is the time of year where everyone wants their Christmas fabrics, and we've got them on sale. Hip, <laughs> hip, hooray. We love it. Uh, 795065 is your item number for that one. Next up, now, we've got smaller bundles now, so we go into sets of three now. 
and we are starting um, with this one here and, and I, I love this this is very good for this time of the morning let me tell you this is her Henry Glass from the Wild and Free range mm. um, and you've got three different fabrics here and there's a little bit of a theme running through here which is uh, seeing bleary-eyed first thing in the morning yes. they've all got their glasses on <laughs> see I looked at this and thought oh it's like intellectual animals oh yes because yes, they all look studious. they all look highly intellectual in they their do, oversized don't they? glasses don't they i love this this is such fun i really want to make book pillows and um cushions out of this for a nursery and a mm. playroom i think Lovely, it's just it? such fun but the giraffe print you could use for anything i mean that on the inside of a jacket would just look Great fun. Yeah, it? it would actually, wouldn't it? Do you and know what? Then, I don't think I've seen a giraffe print in a fabric before. Not a proper giraffe print. You see nods to it as well. But you yes. see, when you look into this, you see, I see like a, um, a ball gown here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I don't think, you know, you're supposed to look at stuff like that, but that's what. Do you know, for those <laughs> people that use fabric to make kind of landscape art yes that would be it awesome. would be awesome wouldn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean that I is see definitely a treasure a map and a little island on there as absolutely. well absolutely or i mean that's cracked desert isn't it yes or cracked mud i mean it's just an amazing feature fabric to build up on you could do some great stamping on top of it lovely i love the fact i have to show you this on the selvage look at this you know how all the selvages on fabrics have the uh, color dyes that they've Put through the fabric here they're little spectacles oh cute how cute is yeah. that yeah so you see can that's use worth those. a save definitely worth a save and then you've got your multi-directional giraffe and his beautiful many pairs of glasses glasses so he's obviously <laughs> been to that well-known shop and done the two for one yeah absolutely and then you've got <laughs> the whole gang sat in the library that, see, that is an absolute it's joy. Just, Imagine the, the little toys all, you can make out of those. Exactly, and it's multi-directional, so that's even better because there's very little waste of fabric in that case. But you could do some amazing bits and pieces for nurseries. You could little bag holders, you could do little hanging pouch where you can put all your rubbish and Do you know what I'd stuff? love to do with that, actually, yes. is use my things like alphabet stamps and, yes. some, um, and some fabric ink and yep. maybe stamp some numbers on them and use yep. them like a the sort of learning toy. Absolutely, yeah. That would be yeah. so be cool, really it? good, yeah, really They're good. very, very cute. I just love that. It's brilliant. You can fussy cut them as well, couldn't you? Yeah, of course. It's really that a little good. hedgehog, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But equally, this would be really good as a um, backing on a play mat or a border on a play mat. And then have the giraffe fabric as your binding. That would look really amazing. It's so lovely. You want everything on this show, don't you? It's I three, do, yes. <laughs> it's three half metres this time then uh, from the Henry Glass Wild and Free. Uh, £17.49. pence. So you're making a £7 saving, but just for this hour. So a half metre of this, this and this for £17.49. pence. Love, 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 love. Right, OK, we're changing theme again now. We're going a bit kind of holiday and festival next, uh, which is lovely. This is called Roaming Holiday, did you say? Yes, from Studio E, Roaming yeah. Holiday. Ah, oh, this, is, this is amazing. This is, this is actually about looking back at all the holidays you've had and looking forward to all the holidays that you are going to have as well. And we're talking about the great outdoors this time, Susie. Yeah, I mean, this is your dream of a outdoor holiday pursuits isn't yeah, it you've got yeah, your barbecue yeah. in there you've got canoes you've got your insulated flask your cabinet you've got your marshmallows you've got your marshmallows on sticks oh, yeah. so again fussy cutting this would be awesome you could make some amazing extras if you've got a motorhome or a caravan you could make some fabulous little um bunting coasters curtains anything to you know just bring it a bit more fun into yes. it as well it'd be nice for cushions for your outdoor furniture as yes, well when the weather's absolutely. fine absolutely yes give you that feeling of being on holiday even if you're just in the back garden yeah that'd I mean, be quite nice we don't yeah well, you can have this anytime i mean we barbecue all time of year but this is great also these are really good if you've got um ice i store all our camping equipment in separate bags and boxes so that mm -hmm. we literally can go in an instant if we wanted to. That's a really good idea. So yes. I would make, and in fact um, fr a friend of mine has made a bag for their fire pit 
yeah, that they all, take with them. All the bits and pieces. And all she did was use fabric like this, because it's fun, it's funky, it's to do with the fire, and um, make like a drawstring bag to put it all in. That's such so a you, good idea. You can literally get up and go. And because it's cotton, you can wash it afterwards as well. Yes, and also, if you wanted to, you could waterproof the fabric as well if yes, you wanted it to be something like a picnic you can. bag or something yep. like that. Yeah. Um, lovely. That's a really good idea, actually. It's yeah. something that we do. We have like a box of stuff. Yes. It's all ready to go. If we're going to a holiday cottage, yeah. the tea bags, the sugar, yeah. the, the essential bits and pieces that you always know you're yeah. going to need. Yeah, salt and pepper. Yeah. And a tin opener and a yeah. bottle opener. That's, Absolutely. That's our yeah. emergencies box. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Now um, we're off. Uh, the, we're, we're on a roaming holiday this now. This is the trail, really, isn't this it? Is this is the one? trail. So I would make a journal cover from this. Yeah, yeah. And um, for the holidays, because I'm a great one for writing a di not a diary, but n quirky notes about our trips. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And this would be great to have as your journal cover. But equally, you could even play a board game on it as well, because you could oh, yeah. stamp in some numbers or something. You know, just throw dice, and they could have to move from A to B, and you could do um, little treasure trails on the piece of fabric. So a great rainy day. I was thinking, fabric, actually, one. what you could do is you could mount this onto something like a cork board yes. and have it in your dining room or whatever yeah. you use at the office at home or whatever, and you could actually pin little memories in there, yeah. like, you know, 1986 and the name of the place you yeah. went, and maybe a little Absolutely. picture that went with that, yeah. or a little key ring or yeah. something that you kept as a memento. That would be amazing, yeah. wouldn't it? A pair of welly boots where you got washed out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, when you stepped into the fire pit <laughs> yeah, and it was exactly. wet. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that's We've really all cool. Done it. And that is the only directional print in this set of three. Cool. And again, look, you've got little caravans as your salvage oh, yeah. edge. That is so cute. So that would make a fantastic ribbon tab as well. I love the colour of that. Yeah, love it's it. a beautiful sort of sea greeny blue, isn't it? It's, a t yeah. it's not quite a teal and not quite a green. It's a real halfway house. Yeah, it's like an aqua, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. This and one, then, I want whoop. in a shirt. I love this. This is definitely sunshine. Here we come. Colour of the it? year as well. You know, yep. actually, do you know what? For wintry kind of shirts where you just want some colour to do the talking, this would be perfect. Oh, it would. Absolutely fabulous. I would use <laughs> this definitely as um, bunting in my motorhome. What funky trailers and had. things they've got on this I as know. well. Love I it. love this. I want this caravan. Or this motorhome. I, or I want this the motorhome. motorhome, yeah, the biggest one. The one oh, that's yeah. definitely got a shower in it. A warm <laughs> shower. A warm shower. <laughs> Actually, I quite like the one that's, um, that looks like it's equilateral. Oh, you this know, one? Uh, uh, down, on. down a bit. D that one, that's it. This one bit. there? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool, I isn't love it? that. That's one of those um, fold-out camping yes. trailer tents, isn't it? It's lovely. It's one of those you pass yeah. on the motorway. It always looks like look a toaster, and then, but actually it opens it's up out. every uh, yeah. way. And then I always think, yeah, but what happens in the night if they, it all go, just folds up on itself? Oh. Well, you're not one end or the other, are you? I don't know. Well, Maybe there's, there, there's sleeping bunks. Oh, OK. Yeah. So cool. But, yeah, I mean, just great fun. And because, it, again, it's multidirectional, very minimal waste, but to fussy cut these out as well would be so Are they so kind cool. of like little sunshines? You know, the, see, the, these the are reds. suns, yeah. Oh, cool. They are suns. That's a blazing sun. So, this sun, is isn't it? summer holiday. Here we come. Love it. Or very, very sunny nice. holiday, I should say. Uh, listen, if you love those, they're a really nice combo, actually. Those three half meters there, £17.49, so a half meter of this one and this one and this one, going out for you on the 7th of October. And a happy hour price tag, which is only good for the next 31 minutes at £17.49. If you love it, then make it yours right now. All you've got to do is uh, go onto our website, thecraftstore.com. You can shop ahead of us, by the way. And if you've missed any, we've, we've had some crackers already. So go and have a look on the website, because these are great. Now, we're in sets of three at the moment, these fabulous designer half meters at a ridiculous price tag, because actually, you know what regular half meters can cost. And actually, when you're looking at designer ranges, obviously those costs go up um, incrementally. Um, this is really, really lovely. We're back on this musical theme again with this set. And this is from... Uh, thought, this is golf. Black back nine. Oh, is it golf? Is this it? Is Sorry, golf. I thought it's all musical notes. <laughs> it, You're right. Yeah, fair, these are tees, aren't they? To be fair, <laughs> they are. They're the golf club, and you've got. I teams. don't know what my brain sees sometimes. Well, I saw musical notes there. Yeah, well, musical golf maybe. Musical golf. It, it hasn't yet been done. I'm sure it will be. 
They're turning everything else into a musical. That's true. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is great fun. I, oh yes, we I have see now. a lot of golfers in our family, and I really struggle to find golfing stuff to make them things with. Oh, okay. Um, it's really I, I, either I'm looking in the wrong place, yeah. or I'm just useless. But I really struggle. But what I love about this is that you've got a series of obviously golf themed not music themed things <laughs> um, even down to the Argyle border oh yeah but because they are in borders you yes. can cut them into ribbon strips so you could use them as binding as borders as edging as ribbons just make a cushion for a golf lover with these um, just stripped across a plain fabric that would just look amazing that's cool isn't it like that and marry that with the golf clubs also known as musical notes <laughs> <laughs> musical golf clubs <laughs> <laughs> sorry which is which is a multi-directional print um but you could just jazz this up is this is your cushion just make it out of this and yeah. just put one of those borders running across it it would make it an amazing... See, from a reasonable distance. Yeah. <laughs> and without yeah, your glasses I'm on. I'm justifying this now. Yeah, I'm doing a Ross. Uh, see, you can interpret these. You could interpret them as, as slightly musical. You yeah. could also see... I'm also seeing ladles. Ladles, circuitry. Circuitry, yes. I'm liking that. Yeah. I'm like, you're with me now, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I've obviously <laughs> you, had you the same tea. You drifted away there, didn't you? Same but you've come tea. back. Now, next up, there's only one word for this. Balls. Absolutely. Yeah. Golf balls. But snowballs. Oh, yeah. Why yes. do they have to be golf balls? They're not necessarily golf balls. They could be snowballs. They could be snooker balls. They could be any balls you like. They could just be, you know, bubbles. So yes. a celebration. So if you've got a silver wedding anniversary, this would make a fabulous load yes. of bunting for that or a gift or bag for that. A, a, a cushion cover which you can personalise. Yes, with their name, yes. embroider the dates on. Yeah, just I'm, be amazing. So it's not just for golf. To my great shame, yes. as a child of the 80s and yes. my misspent youth, I am seeing a certain type of bubble gum that I used to eat rather a lot of, which was, was in the shape of... Wasn't it pink? No, no, it was white. Oh, was it? It was like a minty bubble gum that was in this kind oh, of shape it? as well. But oh, there we weren't allowed bubble gum or chewing. Oh, were you not? No. We Spit that out, young lady. Well, we Put weren't even allowed to get it anywhere oh. near putting it in your mouth to start with. It wasn't but, big. It wasn't clever. <laughs> the other thing I would make with this for the golfers in my family would be um, little Doroth uh, Dorothy bags, drawstring bags to put, you know, you, you always have to leave the house with 400 golf balls because by the time you get to hole 19 oh, you've yeah. probably lost 399 yeah, yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. So I would make a bag to put the balls in. There's no bigger thrill as a kid walking past a, at the edge of a golf course and finding someone else's golf ball. Do you know what happened to me? <laughs> Go on. Even worse. Go on. So my parents live on a golf course. Oh, okay. And um, I was walking the dog when I was staying down there in the summer. Yeah. And... <laughs> He's never had any interest in balls at all. Right. Ran straight into the fairway, picked up one of the golf balls that this chap had just hit oh, down no. the fairway, and then legged it into the forest. It was like, no. oh, Lord, what a All disaster. that's rubbish, especially if it was a good shot. You yeah, only needed well, one more to get it in. Thankfully, the guy himself had a dog, and he had an amazing sense of humour and found it very funny. But I did mark the spot where his ball was. Oh, did you? So I knew exactly where to put it back when well, I'd it was, retrieved it. It was a good job that the, the dog didn't mark the spot yeah, where exactly. the ball was. Yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> that could have been a whole different yeah. game. Anyway, 839104 on. is your item number then <laughs> uh, for these. It's those <laughs> three half metres. Isn't it funny how a few bits of fabric can take you on I a know, wonderful journey? Just, yeah. 839104. At the happy hour price of seventeen pounds and forty nine pence, saving seven pounds <laughs> on that one. Right, let's go back to Christmas. Let's yeah, I know. <laughs> where, where are we now? Back to yeah. Christmas we go right now. Uh, oh. This is lovely. This is wondrous. This is traditional Christmas. This is your reds and your whites and your greens. Uh, it's another Michael Miller range as well. So where you've got yeah. the characters here, where you've got the snowman. Um, and the snowmen, should I say. Um, you've got amazing character. Very, very happy. Oh, now listen. There's a bit of a rule breaking going on here because one of these has a pipe and this is a no smoking show.
How dare yeah, there's he? No, there's, there's no, no smoke, smoke, though. It's fine. No smoke without fire. It's just a sweet corn yeah. pipe, isn't it? Pretending one. So, exactly. <laughs> so all of these would marry really well with that set we had earlier, the greens. Yes. Um, because they are all from Michael Miller. They're all the same um, designer. And... Um, but you could make just some beautiful Christmas things with this. So, so you've got that metallic element coming through in Is the that holly foiled leaves. as well. Um, well, they actually, it's um, a screen, you know, a screen print yeah. metallic that goes over the top. But it really adds that extra luxurious feature to the fabric. So this one's called bric-a-brac, multi-directional again. Great for anything, any project you want to do, but small enough to be ditzy print as well. So if yes. you're doing small scale stuff like your coasters, nice Christmas heart. Tea ring, yeah, beautiful. That would be lovely. Be really cool for this, or even just shred it and then use it for. Rent. Oh, I've just had a, another idea. Sorry, I only have two a month, so I must okay, tell you. Okay, yes. So what you do, do is you cut out like big hearts, yes. and then you cut out a second sort of half a heart or a smaller heart, and make that a pocket, yes. and then present your your cutlery on the Christmas table. Very good. In a I'm liking heart that. Get you. Oh, loving that as an idea. Yeah. It need to be quite a deep heart, otherwise your cutlery will protrude quite Yeah, well. but that's okay. But that's okay. It's good cutlery I've got. The pocket. It's fine. The, it's awesome. <laughs> it's the good set. It could be, um, in, in the pocket, you could put that after-dinner treat. You could, couldn't, couldn't you? you? From that well-known box of... Yes, the ones that you have after 7.59. Um, no, I wasn't thinking those because oh, I don't not... like those. Oh, do you not like those? No, I don't like Which those. Which ones are you talking I about? I like the ones that come in a tub or a tin. Minty ones? No, no. Oh. What's that concept? Chocolate and mint and chocolate and orange. Who did that? Oh, it's amazing. Chocolate no, it's and horrible. mint. Oh, it's, horrible. it's just the best thing in the world. Anyway. Anyway. Moving on. What, what you were you thinking of then? I was thinking of just you know, the tubs. Me. Quality Street. Quality Street. Or celebrations. Other chocolates are available. Or any of those. They'd be really cool because yes, they're really small. Yes, you could hide small. your favourite ones yeah. in your pocket, So you could you? make little advent bags and hang them on the tree with treats and yeah. jokes in. Or alternative crackers. These would be awesome in crackers. Yes. Make um, reusable crackers from this. That would be absolutely beautiful. Love it. Very nice. What and else have we got? And then you've got your traditional tartan in your, your um, emerald green and your red. And you've still got that gold running through as well so it's still oh, you have yeah yeah i don't know if i would yeah, it's difficult it. to see but it's, right in those yeah. sort of smaller it's tracks. literally in the center of the red yes so it is hard to see so you can make all sorts of that line things great for bags again is it just for christmas i don't think so no i don't think red so. and green happens all year round and then you've got your winking sand um snowmen as well so these are like the father christmases we had or the santas we had before yeah, 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 yeah. but this time you've got um extra features with these so you've got some snowmen that aren't winking some that are you've got as you said you've got the pipe detail in there but again they're multi-directional so you're not going to waste lots of fabric you've got room around them to fussy cut if you wanted to so once again i would make um little gift tags um embroider details onto things you could use these as your place setting things as I'm well. I'm seeing little glass charms yes, that you could make absolutely. with these. Absolutely. You know, for the, yeah. not no, maybe the sherry glasses, maybe for, you know, something like the flutes for a little glass of fizz, maybe. Absolutely. Enjoyed responsibly on yeah. Christmas uh, uh, afternoon That'd at least. That'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they are fabulous. They are really cute. They're really, really, really lovely. Really cute. And you could even, so the little holly on the, on the um, top of the hat. Yes. Um, you could just sew in some little red sea beads oh, to give yeah, it detail yeah, yeah. as well, and on his nose as well. But you've got that metallic element again running through with the snowflakes. Detail within the scarf and the hat are in metallic as well. And it's okay, uh, the pipe thing is okay because producer Ross has assured me it's a bubble pipe. So he's going to be blowing bubbles Perfect. on Christmas Day. Sounds like, good to me. Like Santa does. Yes. Uh, right, 115754 is your item number then. Those three fabulous, fabulous fabrics. In fact, this has been your favourite option so far. And we've only just got to this because you've been shopping ahead for this. 40% ah. of the stock of that has sold out and gone. Well done, everyone, making that £7 saving. 
through until 8 o'clock on that one, 115754. Right, let's go and check out the website because there's lots there. I know we're sort of meandering quite relaxed through all of this because it's a nice relaxed start uh, to our Thursday morning. Um, so we're going through at quite a leisurely pace, which is quite a nice way to start the day, actually, isn't it? Um, but if you want to have a look at absolutely everything you can, it's all there on the website at the craft store dot com. Um, now we're going through the panels that we're about to see that you're seeing there on the website. We're going to go through those now. Some of them um, actually come with some complementing fabric um, as well, which is lovely. And we've got a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of Hanukkah uh, going on as well. So where are we starting our Ross? I look like I've shrunk again. <laughs> These are very big. I haven't shrunk. These are very big. We're starting up here actually with this one. This um, one. Actually, what I'll do is I'll bring the I've bottom got this, of that yeah. forward a little bit so you can see what's going on. I have got the full on. one here that oh, I can hold Oh, you've got one up. there as well. Uh, yeah. Susie's going to do her exercises with this. Yeah. So this is uh, Santa in his little... Oh, now he's upgraded to a motorised um, truck now, has he? Well, it's just for this speed, is for isn't it? For the land it? journeys. It is, yes. Yes, he's got his farm truck out. And you've got lots of detail in there. So you don't have to use it as a whole panel, but I think this would be great to hang up just in the hall over the Christmas... The festive season wouldn't it and you can do um, some embroidery detail on there if you want to you don't have to turn it into a quilt you could just turn it into a wall hanging you could fussy cut into it if you just wanted the snowman use just the little snowman in there it's very joyous it i have is. to say it really is it's absolutely lovely there's Fun lots fabric. going on um in that panel as well you've got it's the, a big uh, panel yes it is. Very it's huge. Big in fact, what, what are the size? 36, 36 inches. 36 inches. That's a very big panel. It is, actually, isn't it? It is yeah. very, very nice. I love that. What's the price of it? 10 99 That's really, really good, actually, yeah. for a Christmas panel. Yeah, and when um, you Especially such a big one. Yeah, but, I mean, if you've got... If you need a really massive Santa sack, just hinting, Mr Duncan, here... Yes, um, then that, that, that would be the would one, be wouldn't it? What, Very what's, good. what needs to be uh, in the sack this year? Oh, no, nothing this year. It's oh, fine. is there nothing on the, on the no. wish list? I don't have, don't tend to I have I don't really list. anymore. You get to a certain age, don't you, and you go, oh, it's all right, I've got everything that I want. And you're like, I, there's nothing I really want. Well, usually me. it's a craft thing, and every time I put a craft thing on my wish list, everybody says, we're not buying your craft. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you love it as well, doesn't it? Exactly. It's not just—it's not just a work thing. No, it's a love. It's, it's a me. passion, isn't yeah. it? I know. Yeah. It's why people don't get that. Is do that they? or books? And I have as many books as I have everything. Craft is, stuff. Is there so. like a daily arrival at your house of another uh, book? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but then I do read a lot, so. Yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. That's all right then. Uh, so if you like that one, seven four nine two four five is your item number. Um, a third of the stock of that one has already sold out and gone. It's £10.49. pence. You are saving four twenty-five. These are all going out for you on the 7th of October, by the way, which is a week today, uh, which is plenty of time to turn them into the project of your dreams. Uh, and that might just be something that goes uh, on the wall above mm. um, your Christmas table, just to set the scene for the whole month. It might be something that goes into a child's bedroom, maybe. Well, you could just pin it to their curtains. If you don't want, if you don't like sewing, you don't have to sew. No, that's true. Because you could just press over the, the borders and yes. just put it, um, seal it down with a bit of fabric glue. Yes. Um, and then just tack it onto curtains in a child's bedroom. That's a good and idea. And they've got a festive curtain that you can take yeah. down for the next year. And when you've developed your ske sewing skills further, you can then the next year turn it into something else. Yeah, of course you can. That's the thing, actually. It, it can have a hundred lives yeah, over the years. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about this is actually it's all about making future memories yes. as well, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely heritage pieces. You yes. Know, for me, Christmas, when you make something for Christmas, you're not making it just for Christmas. You're making it no. to last through the years, through the generations. And that's you're the thing. When it, it comes out in 10 years' time, in 15 years' yeah. time... It, it's associated with lovely memories exactly. for everyone, and everyone yeah. has different memories. Oh, yeah, I remember that being on the wall when exactly. Grandma kicked over her bowl of whatever it was. Or, you know, yeah. just, yeah, it could have been anything, couldn't it? That's the thing. Um, so if you like that one, 749245, yeah. it's very, very busy already. Are we going to this one next now, Ross? Right, OK, we, we're coming over here this time. I'll turn around. There we go. There you go. Uh, we've got our uh, gingerbread houses here. So this is a little bit smaller, this one. Um, yeah. But I, I just love this. This could, be, this could be on your Christmas table, actually, couldn't it? It could be the table runner, but I'll tell you what I would do with this. So I, the, 
I have a big window at the end of my workroom. Yeah. And throughout COVID, I've been doing different scenes. Oh, okay. Um, each month or each season. So yeah. I would put this as the panel for my window during the festive season. Oh, nice. So that I'm saying, because it's a neighbourhood of gingerbread. Yes. Um, I would say this would be my Merry Christmas to all my neighbours and people who pass by the house. Oh, that's lovely. That really is lovely. Do you know, this is very distinctive. I feel like I've never seen anything like this before. It's so cute. It is. It's lovely. It's very, very happy. You, you would look at that and smile. You would. But you could go to town with embroidery on this and beading. I mean, you, all of the buttons on the gingerbread men, you could put beads on them. Do you know what it reminds me of straight so cool. away? I yep. went to, there was a, an exhibition Ooh, of sorry. gingerbread <laughs> wonders, and I forget where it was. It was one of the, um, one of the, um, what do you call it, down in London? One of the museums. Um, museums, <laughs> yes. It was an exhibition. I don't know, it was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and it, it, everything was made out of gingerbread. gingerbread. It was incredible. Oh, yeah. My son does a gingerbread house every year. From it's a scratch. nice thing to have a go at, and actually, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's, he's done some amazing constructions of gingerbread. But, yeah, it's so, great fun. But you could use that for all sorts of things, just I, to cheer up a yeah. room. It's beautiful, isn't it? If you're in a flat and you can't have a Christmas tree because you haven't got the room, putting a panel like that on the wall is your Christmas tree. Yeah, it just makes all the difference, Because you could hang it? from the um, gingerbread stars. If you put little loops on those... Yes. You know, um, rings you could hang little presents and get um ornaments off it uh, as well couldn't you so that could be your alternative yes of course tree. yeah because you can use this border yep. at the bottom and then have further decorations coming from yep. it from some of the fabrics that we've seen in this, in this hour yeah um love that two six four three two seven is your item number ten pounds 99 saving four pounds and 25 pence uh, a third of the stock there has gone as well right okay let's go to hanukkah now um, and, and actually, I don't think I've ever seen um, a Hanukkah celebration panel before. It's in plenty of time as well, because Hanukkah this year falls on the 28th of November, I do believe, through to the 6th of December. Yeah. Um, of course, the Festival of Lights, yeah. where we light the menorah. Uh, and here it is. And it actually comes with a piece of coordinating fabric as well. It does. And you, and yeah. you get a lovely piece of that too. This is lovely. It is really lovely. So if you are celebrating Hanukkah, then you've got that fantastic... I mean, this is the perfect size for a door. So you yes. could hang this on your door so that as your guests come in, yes. that is what they're seeing. That's quite nice, actually, because uh, yeah. I, I think to, to some degree you can use the same thing on a on a day or a time of celebration year after yes. year after year after year and it is yeah. nice to mix things up it to is. change them a little bit yeah. and i think this reflects the joy of a celebration really really nicely as well it does it? and it, without you know it says it a simple greeting but again if you wanted to make it even more special you could go in with gold thread yeah. and just edge the men, is it, this is the menorah isn't yes, it i it think is, it's yeah. called um, so you could go round and edge with gold thread or you could put little gold beads on this, some of the stars. You've got the coordinating fabric that is exactly the same print as the surround to the menorah. So you can use that for your borders or your backing. It's not quite big enough to back it entirely, uh -huh, yeah. but you could use that. But equally, because of the way the panel's constructed, if you didn't want something that big or you wanted to break it down, so make this a cushion, for example, yeah. you could fussy cut these borders and use those as ribbon details yeah. or just banners yeah. in a room. Table decoration, so again, there's all sorts you can do with it. great way to use a panel, but cut into it if you wanted to. I love it. I think it's very, very nice indeed. Yeah. And, and again, it's like a nice sort of new twist. Yes. With all the due respect to the celebration, you know, yeah. and, 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 the, and I think it's amazing. It's really, really good. And I love the colours too. Uh, yeah. 521666 is your item number then for your Festival of Lights fabric panel plus your half metre of your coordinating fabric there, £12.99. Uh, that's down as a monthly mega deal. I think they mean happy hour deal. Uh, Oh, it's a special, yes, a special price at twelve ninety nine. there for you. These are going out for you on the 7th of October. 
Uh, there we go, special price, that's what we meant. Right, let's go on next, and we have got our timber... Our timber gnomies. The timber gnomes. Ah. I just absolutely adore gnomes. I cool. don't know why, but I just love gnomes. And these are the gnomies these from are, Henry Glass. These are the gnomes from Henry Glass. I love them. The detail there is immense. I mean, you can see that snow falling on top of their heads, can't you, because of all the little dots that are run through. Oh, I hope we get snow this year. Oh, I so really do I. Do. That would be so cool. We deserve it. But you've got... Um, <laughs> we deserve it. <laughs> Does anyone deserve We snow? do. We've had a hard year again. We deserve some snow. Uh, oh, at the <laughs> right time. Not a di at a disruptive time. Just, and you know, when like everybody's Christmas got morning, where they need to go. Waking up to a nice, you know, well, dusting of snow on Christmas morning. That is my ideal of Christmas. Exactly. That's what Not want, being able it? to go outside your front door because you're snowed in yeah. would be awesome. Beautiful. Dogs um, love it as well, don't they? They love a bit yeah, of snow, absolutely. don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who doesn't? Um... The detail in this is just phenomenal, but also, again, like with the Hanukkah pr uh, panel, you've got the border strips. So if you wanted to break this down and make just a, sm a smaller scale thing, so that size, you've got all those borders that you can use for other things as well. So you can make coordinating cushions in plain fabric um, or the coordinating fabric you get and then just put one of these ribbons on there as well and you've got loads of decorations for your Christmas festive greet, um, rooms it's just it's cool, such good it? fun I love this I love it I think it's really really good uh, 12 99 gets you not only the panel yeah but the um, the coordinating piece of fabric as well which is a lovely black and white check and you you might use that completely independently yeah. um, of that to be honest well with you. I was thinking this would be really good if you'll make um, for picnic stuff as well yes or if you're again gift bags I don't know why I keep thinking gift bags I wonder why um, but it's not a Christmas fabric at all, is it? No. It's, I mean, just because it's a check, it could be anything. But equally, if you're going down that tartan route for your decor, then it's this would be it. really good. And it's yeah. very, very nice. 146467 is your item number. 60%, Ros. 60% of the stock of that uh, combo has sold out and gone. Well done, because you only have eight minutes to check them out. Blimey, I've just realised, we've only got five minutes left on the show. We've got two more sets to show you. Let's start with, uh, with this one. Disappear into the wall in a moment, I think. <laughs> uh, this one is called Snow Merry. How cool. That's very, very atmospheric. That's a really cute Santa as well, isn't he it? He is. He's a very jolly little Santa, Very jolly isn't Santa. He? And I love the fact that the... Um, coordinating fabric that's with it if I spread mine out in mm. you can perhaps get a close-up of it so you can see it in detail it is the same Santa yeah but he's in all directions so this is a really useful multi-directional print that you could use to do all sorts of um, different Christmas things with it great for little bags and treats on the table hanging on the tree that pop of color coming out but the panel again so much detail in the panel his I mean his outfit has got all that embroidery detail embroidered detail on it that sort of damask effect you've got berries on the present that you could um, bead as well you could make this do a bit of quilting on this and make it all ruffly. Yeah, you could, you could get a little bit of um, uh, faux fur, maybe, you and could, actually make that up, could, couldn't you? Yeah, mask it. I mean, I you could actually fussy cut round him and make him as he is into a almost like a stuffed toy. Yeah. Couldn't you? It'd just be Love so it. cool. Really good. Okay, so one. 505 418 is your item number for that one. Remember, it comes with the coordinating fabric. And finally, Esther... Snow place like, like home. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> Half the stock of this is already gone because you've, um, you've been shopping ahead. It does come with the coordinating piece of fabric as well, but there you can see, you can, you can appreciate its full glory there. Uh, this is really nice. I like the kind of um, sort of pine effect. Yes. Uh, the wood effect in the background there. That's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like yeah. a digital print. It's really, really cool, isn't it? Love yeah. it. Yeah, and then you've got the berry... Um, fabric that coordinates with it with the oh. tiny little oh, look at the red berries. As well. It's so cute. Look at what's going yeah, on down you've here. You've got look. your bird houses 
You've got the little birdie houses. Which I think makes it a little bit more grown up as well. So I yes. would actually cut though that panel off and have the bird houses as a separate thing. In fact, I would have them as three separate things. So they would be my um, coasters on the, you know, like mug rugs. Yeah. And then I would have this big panel I would um, have on the wall. And then this, I would make all my place names, uh, place mats out of. That's so, lovely. Instant. What a Christmas. nice combination. <laughs> I'm not surprised that half the stock of that has sold out and gone. Uh, now, listen, it is that time of the hour where we need to, it's almost like I need to get the tannoy out and now <laughs> say, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the craft store happy hour. I'm talking into the tannoy, that's why I'm bending down. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Craft Store Happy Hour. Um, just a reminder, the time is now 7.55, and the happy hour will end in four and a half minutes. Please make your way to complete your purchases at the checkout, please, before eight o'clock. Thank you. Bing bong. Uh, there we go. So uh, please make sure, <laughs> honestly, I don't, know, I don't know what I put in my cereal this morning. I have no idea whatsoever. Last chance to get these designer fabrics then. We've got Riley Blake and Michael Miller, Henry Glass, Studio E, some massive, massive designer names in the fabric world there. Uh, that is golfing fabric there just passing you, not musical. Although you could <laughs> interpret it as musical. You've got the big panels and you've got the uh, panels with the coordinating fabrics as well, including the um, festival of lights one there celebrating Hanukkah at the end of November uh, and then you've got those wonderful oh the Nomis sold out and gone well done oh, congratulations if you oh. managed to check that out before it went well done you lovely 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 now Susie we're back yes. together at 10 o'clock we are what we're we doing at 10 we're doing a bit of Susie B Fantastic. What have we got to look forward <laughs> to there? there was, uh, yeah, what's all there that about? There was, well. Yeah, oh, Susie B, if you love en animals and you love cute animals, they are phenomenal. Fabulous. Be there at 10 o'clock. Thank you, Susie. Uh, I will see you at 10. And yes. again, at 1 o'clock. Stand by there because there's lots to come. Right, Sir Vagabond is on his travels to Japan for the one-day special. We'll see what's left of that in just a moment after the break with Leone. And that's Crafty Journaling in an hour's time. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. And we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Jean. And together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. So make sure you join me and Craft Yourself Silly here at the Craft Store. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Good morning, everyone. Lovely to have your company here at the Craft Store. It is 8 a.m. and that is our first chance on this Thursday to investigate what might or might not be in terms of the one day special. It is the most incredible Stamperia collection. Um, so Vagabond is such a brilliant, brilliant character. Uh, and he's on his holidays this time. Uh, he's in Japan. And I tell you what, there is so much to go at in this collection this morning. It is incredible. The one day special did sell out last night. It is now back on extended delivery and it's going out for you on the 13th of October. Well done if you managed to get that uh, initial stop, but there is still chance for you to take, in bar, uh, 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 take part in this. That's what I meant. Uh, it's under 30 pounds as well, which is a brilliant one day special. And of course, there's only one lady that can deal with Sir Vagabond. Ha ha! And it's, it's our Leone. <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> right, I shall shimmy out, darling, and let you, uh, shimmy out, let you I'll take shimmy over. Shimmy on him. Um, thank you, our lovely Derek. Okay. Um, yeah, it was so, so, so ridiculously busy. I am not surprised. It's beautiful. Now, it is on extended delivery, but you're still getting that incredible saving. You know you're getting the collection. And that's the important bit. So, to take you through, and do you know what the extended uh, delivery already 20% of the stock has gone. So all the original stock has absolutely gone and then on the extended, 20% has gone. Remember, this isn't, um, it ain't gonna last forever. It's either gonna be a time thing or stock again. So please, if you're loving it, get it in your basket and get it delivered to your door. Now, take you through the goodies. So first of all, we've got the stencil. The stencils in this collection are ridiculously beautiful. Really, really elegant. I mean, just have a look at that. It is so pretty. There's loads of things you can do with this. Using your texture base, using, of course, the um, the gloss gel medium that we have got in the um, in the show. I love that stencil. That's just with a bit of ink. It's that easy, but it is absolutely stunning. So that's your first one, that's your stencil. Um, the next one that we've got is your mould. Um, now with your mould, this is beautiful. Um, that is so detailed. Um, I love it because it's backgrounds. You can use it with your, um, your air dry clay. You could use it with resin. Let me just get the, the little bit that I've started working with. You could obviously use this with your um, your paste as well, your cream paste. This, I've started playing with this because this is the vintage paste that we've got on the show. I didn't realise we had the vintage paste on the show because they didn't send me any. Uh, but, but it is really cool and it looks like a wood panelling, doesn't it? With the vintage paste on i'll show you that i'll show you that in a few moments time that honestly that mold is one of my favorites it's absolutely sensational now you're not just getting one mold you're actually getting two molds in this collection and the second one look at this all the rest of the molds have completely sold out the only mold you can now get are in the one day special and this is a cracker you're getting my favorite my favorite on all the molds anyway was the dragon if i just bring that in He's dry and he's in air dry clay. I mean, I haven't even painted him yet and he looks phenomenal. It's just such an incredible piece is that. Really, really cool. So that's a beautiful dragon. The detail on these is sensational. You've then got Sir Vagabond himself in the beautiful Japanese robes there. Um, absolutely stunning. He just looks splendid. Um, and you can imagine all the colors that you're gonna uh, bring into this. You've then got your sentiments. Um, so you have got travel, you've got adventure, and then you've got um, a journey. Um, journal, actually, come on, get it right, kid. Travel journal. 
That's one of them, which you can't read either because I haven't painted yet. And then you've got Adventure, the other one. And it's how thick they are. These are not thin moulds. These are thick moulds. The last bit is massive. Have a look at that. That is beautiful. That is that gorgeous crashing wave with the mountains behind. So really getting all the elements, you know, getting all the, uh, oh, I can never do this. You're getting all the beautiful um, elements of nature and the, the movement. That, I mean, I've only, um, because I ran out of clay, because they only give me one block, so I ran out of clay. Um, but have a look at that. How beautiful is that? It's just such an effective mould. Now, again, the only moulds you can now get are in the one-day special. They've all sold out. The only stencil we got on the show, um, because Stamperia alone have been super busy. In fact, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be quite tricky to get hold of the whole collection currently because I know Stamperia themselves are out of stock of so much of the collection. So if you do want what we've got, get it now the papers when it's stamp area when we talk stamp area the papers are quality um, and they are they're one of those things that uh, it's and i'll say it's difficult to cut into they are but please do it because make something amazing with these um, when you look at these obviously 10 sheets but um every single page is um is craftable um and they're all double-sided the artwork is sensational you have got sir vagabond there the crashing waves the beautiful color palette you've got a huge array of sentiments on that sheet and i can read you some of those out because i've got another one here now uh, wherever you go there you are there you are <laughs> I like that one. It is better to travel well than to arrive. I really like that as well. It's about the journey, not um, not the 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 end. Yeah, the destination. Can't find and remember the word. Um, travel journal. You will never know until you go. Only he he that has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> some really nice sentiments on there um obviously all of these are double-sided so every single sheet is incredible every single sheet has so much um so much detail so much artwork on this now because this is all part of antonis's well this is antonis's new collection you can see with this his um Obviously, Antonis is incredible anyway. I mean, he's such an amazing designer. But you can see his passion for um, for really the... the, the um well, the architecture of Japan, the, the symbolism, all the different uh, colours, all the different um, beautiful things that immediately we recognise... Um, as a as a statement from Japan, I mean the the beautiful script. I mean, look at her; she's sensational. Now, this is your twelve by twelve. It is, of course, acid and lignum free. Um, there's so many elements. You are going to be cutting this up. You're going to be layering. You're going to be taking elements out. Is this now the only place you can get the twelve by twelve pad, or Ross? <clears throat> right at the moment because we did have another collection of papers they've sold out and trust me i am gutted that's my favorite image the dragon i adore that uh, they have sold out so now the only pay the only place you can get this at the moment um or the only kit that we have got is the one day special for the 12 by 12. so if you do want this it is your one day special that you need to order to get hold of it look at the colors look at the layers all the textures that they brought in again all the beautiful um you know the different prints that you'll immediately associate with japan all the beautiful you know it looks like fabric oh i adore it absolutely adore it um whether you're card making whether you're using these for your art journals whether you're going to be using these for creating um creating a beautiful piece for the wall i tell you what we've got some really good shows on today Next, we've got, after this hour, we've got um, a show where you can make all your own journals. You could make your own journals using these. We've got a show later on. I think it might be a book by name show. I'm not 100% sure, but it's got Japanese papers on there. It's got handmade papers. They will go amazingly well with this. They're beautiful, actually. I've got my eye on them. Um, and then, obviously, I have. 
you know how it is. You, you go around the studio, it's like, want that, want that, want that. <laughs> um, and then the beautiful rice papers. Rice papers are incredible. Um, I'm going to quickly demonstrate the rice papers this morning. Um, just quickly, just to show you how easy you can use them. I mean, again, the detail is sensational. I'm just going to get a bit of white card, actually, to put behind here, because I think you'll be able to see them a bit better. Um, the detail is sensational. And the thing is, with rice paper, there you go, um, because there's so much on there, um, you can cut them up. You can fussy cut if you want to. But the thing is with rice paper, because of the weight of it, you can and look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? You can put them on all sorts. You can put them on boxes, on glasses. Um, you know, you can upcycle so much with rice paper. You can put them on fabric. I mean, they are just sensational. Now, this is your one day special. If you do want to get hold of it, for just £23.93, pence, you need to check out your basket. I mean, it is an incredible price, a £7 saving, such a beautiful collection. Um, 675483 is your item number. Now, over a quarter of the extended stock has already gone. I mean, that is, isn't that just beautiful? An upcycle book. I love that. Absolutely love it. Um, now, £29.93, pence, that's your price if you'd like to go for this one. 675483, your item number. Do not miss out on this. It is absolutely spectacular. Um, now, more goodies. So, we've also got rice paper. Now, the rice paper, this is on immediate dispatch. We've got this in our warehouse. The other stuff we've sold out, but this we've got in our warehouse. So if you wanted this on immediate dispatch, basically that'll be sent out tomorrow for you. If you want this on immediate dispatch, but you also want your one day special, um, I'd order this, check your basket out, and then order your one day special in a separate order. Otherwise, this will be waited until your one-day special comes in. So if you get your one-day special, anything else in that basket will be on that extended delivery, just to make that dead clear. However, if you wanted this straight away, order this, check your basket out, then get your one-day special, and they come in two separate parcels. I hope that makes sense, because I don't want anyone to, to think, oh, she said I could get this right away, and, and then have to wait for your one-day special as well. There's always a way around it. Um, okay, this is sensational. Look at the colours. Look at the detail. Uh, Stampier's one uh, rice paper is absolutely the best. The print is incredible. I hate that they folded it in the middle of his face. He needs he needs a bit of an iron, doesn't it? It's like, oh, he's got a crease right in the centre of his face. Um, sorry, wrong way around. Have a look at that. Oh, look at the colours. See, the colours are sensational. The print quality on this is just incredible. It's one of those products that um, because you can do so much with it, it allows you to get super creative, but you really, I mean, it's one of them, use your imagination. What are you going to do with yours? Again, are you going to upcycle boxes? Remember, if you've got boxes, um, circular boxes, anything that's hard to cover, rice paper, not a problem. It will go around easy. That's my favourite. She is sensational. Mind you, I do really like the, the Red Sea one as well, but she is absolutely beautiful. Oh, oh, wait a minute though. Bear with, because look, we've got the dragon. I mean, I mean, just look at that. That is just sensational. Now, only £11.94 for these. Really, really beautiful. Two-thirds of the stock has gone with these. So if you do want to get hold of these, you need to be checking out your basket. Oh, Ross, didn't we have another paper pad kit? Didn't we have another paper pad kit that was still in stock? Really? So all the different sizes. Okay, so we did, so literally all the other paper kits have completely gone. The only paper kits, so even the little ones. Wow, literally everything. All the other paper kits have sold out. So all the other paper pads have sold out. Literally only paper pad now is a one day special. Ah. Uh, we're waiting for our lovely Christy Ray. She likes it when she gets a shout out. Christy Ray! <laughs> uh, we're waiting for Christy Ray to get in and then hopefully, she'll probably be in by now, but then she has to try and do the, um, to get in touch with Stampiria, see what we can get, if anything. We might not be able to, so be, please, obviously, check your baskets out. Okay, next. These are cool. So, 
first of all, um, I'm going to demonstrate these within uh, one of the hours for sure. I woke up thinking about these this morning. I tell you, oh, it drives you nuts when you wake up thinking, oh, I know what I'm going to do with that. But then it's like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? And because you've got too many ideas in your head, your brain just goes a bit wonky. Now, these are superb. So that is, can you see, it's absolutely super clear this is an acetate now this is super heavyweight i mean that is not a flimsy acetate look at that i mean this is a thick acetate um obviously you can flip it you can have it uh, whichever way it's strong both sides but there's tons you can do with this you can use that as an overlay so if you've got um one of your a beautiful paper i'm trying to look around for papers if you've got a beautiful paper i'm gonna just pick up um one of the backgrounds i know this is sold out but if you had a gorgeous background for instance okay it would overlay on one of those incredible backgrounds so it really works for something like that i mean there's so much you can do with this doesn't it look good uh, but obviously you can then color tint it maybe you've got alcohol inks alcohol inks will work beautifully with that and um, tons you can do with it so you've got the beautiful fish you've also got the wonderful wave which is just sensational with the crackle on there as well it just adds to your layers again and it gives you a different finish and this is what stampiri do they give us different finishes that one is amazing um, and the colors are so vibrant you've got that high sheen on these so again it gives you a completely different look to your papers i mean the sheen on these is just sensational the colors the colors are so strong and obviously the depth in these is incredible but it is the the imagery that Japanese imagery is just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, let's face it, anything, you know, when we, when we see anything with the, the iconic Japanese artistry on, it's just always, um, it's just mind-blowing. But, yeah, they have captured it so well. Now, again, I am going to demonstrate them in one of the hours because they're really, really cool. We've got these on immediate dispatch still, nine pence and nine to nine pence. Um, really interesting, but they have been so busy, six to zero seven one eight now we've also got for you the beautiful wooden chips again it's all about different textures and this is something that will create um whereas with those you've got that really high sheen with these you've got that beautiful soft texture because these are your wooden embellishments you've also got with these um they're really quite thick so they're very very dimensional so first of all you've got your beautiful lady there um, and she is just fabulous um you've got lady vagabond maybe um you've got of course the um the wonderful lamps and everything on there and the lucky cat at the top there the lovely cat and then you have got sir vagabond and he is absolutely splendid again um with of course the world map ready for his travels uh, just just glorious they're all die cut so they come out really really easy and as you can see they're all really nice and thick as well now if you do want those two only 12 pounds and 99 pence that is three seven eight zero four nine now next oh, i really want to demonstrate these as well this is a problem there's so much to see and there's so many elements now what's cool about this have a look at this your gray board because when you look at that all these elements and i've started painting this hopefully i'll demonstrate this so all these elements build up so you can make a 3d dragon so the dragon that you've got in the papers you can actually create your 3d dragon so that can you imagine how good that's going to look and because you're building it up you might only want to use the the central element and then put some in the center there maybe one of those wonderful um, acetate pieces or of course you might want to build up all the cogs there's so much you can do with that i really hope i get to show you that one as well um, we've then got the wonderful koi carp and that is just beautiful imagine that oh where have i left it i picked up right i picked up um, a big um, mdf circle because i wanted to decorate that that is the one isn't it for an mdf circle you can just imagine them on a beautiful circle plaque that is stunning you've also got the cherry blossom there you've got the florals 
really really beautiful because it's gray board you've got that dimension so you're going to be able to paint them you're going to be able to use your um all your different products on that as well like your um you know all your different uh, mediums just lovely and only 12 pounds and 98 pence saving three pounds there again direct dispatch for that one six uh, no nine six two five two three so basically the stuff that direct dispatch so your rice paper the acetates your wood and sh uh, wooden shapes <laughs> it's one word, Leonie. Wooden shapes, your grey board. You could order all of them together. That would be one basket. That would be your immediate dispatch. Check that out. Um, one day special, another basket. Check that out. I know it's a bit more faffy, but it means all the things that are ready to dispatch, you'll get straight away. Um, otherwise, you're going to be waiting for your one day special and all the rest will then be sent with the one day special. So it's just a way of avoiding waiting. If you're not bothered about waiting and you'd rather check it all out and then get it split into two easy payments, then obviously go for that way. I don't know if I've made that clear or if I've made it worse, but <laughs> I don't. it's one of them, you know, when you talk, you think, I'm not sure if I'm making any sense. Um, quite often, actually. Uh, now, the paints. The paints are fabulous, and these have been super, super, super busy. Um, I love all our little stickers on these falling off. Now, what you've got with these, you have got a beautiful collection of paints. Sorry, the stickers are driving me nuts. Uh, you've got a beautiful selection of paints. I love Stamperia paints. Stamperia paints are amazing. Um, the quality is sensational, but what they do is choose the colour palette that matches with this collection. Some of them you will have definitely got before in one of the other collections, but it's so nice to get a collection that's specific. So in this one, we've got ivory, we've got the cookie, um, we've also got a beautiful red, which is the coral red there, which is stunning. We've also got that gorgeous blue, which is blue av Avalon, I think, Avalon. Oh, aviation. Sorry, I was literally making it up. Um, I, I saw that and decided it was Glastonbury. Um, we have got dark green. Don't know why. They probably don't even know Glastonbury. You've got anthracite. Yes, they will. Everyone knows Glastonbury. And then you've got gold, of course. Beautiful. And you can see on that piece, I mean, that is the um, the blue, the cream. It's got the red. It's got the gold. It's got um, the green in there. But the colours, and it's a beautiful matte paint. It's got the grey in there for your drop shadows. Um, so literally, you can use all your paints to create something absolutely splendid. Really, really um, recommend those paints. They're lovely, lovely quality. If you do want them, it's a great price as well. You're saving £18. Again, we have got those on immediate dispatch, but over half of the stock has gone. 580437. OK, the stamps. Now, this is when, you know when you've got stamp area, we me. The thing I go to straight away are the papers, always, always paper, paper, paper. And I must admit, I, it's quite reminiscent of me because a lot of times, I'll hold my hand up, I forget about the stamps, I know, really bad, but I do because I'm going, oh my gosh, these stamps are sensational. Um, they're really, really beautiful stamps. And now it's like, oh, I'm so glad I've got these. That stamp, look at that. Is that not a beast? It's the size of my head. Um, this is beautiful. Now, the way Antonis, um, the, what, he wanted his stamps different. He didn't want his stamps so they would be mountable. So that isn't a cling. That is not going to stick to your acrylic block. He wanted his stamps so you could literally go round things. Because he upcycles, he goes round boxes. He goes round frames. That's what he wanted his stamps to do. So he went... He wanted them to flex. He wanted to be able to do this and his stamp to be able to, to perform. And my gosh, they do. That is beautiful. Um, and I must admit, the, the paint that I had left over, this is cleaning up the stamp and cleaning up the paint. And I've got that many prints just cleaning the stamp, for goodness sake. I love, love, I've probably got them all upside down, actually. I absolutely adore that. They are beautiful. You do get to know, don't you? Because there's some that you recognise and think, oh, no, that is meant to be that way. So you, you do. there is a few and you think, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm, 
I'm not saying I know, no, you know. No, no, you know. Shut up, Leone. Um, the other stamp set that you get, now look at this. Literally love every one of these stamps. Look at that. The size of that stamp is sensational. On the packaging, it looks nothing. In real life, it's beautiful. And that is such a cool stamp isn't that a cool stamp so that's your wonderful dragon adore that one and then we have got sir vagabond look at him splendid you've also got uh, the beautiful little coin there which i have actually started stamping in the background there so that was a bit subtle but it's a cracker honestly i'm i'm a massive fan of all these stamps they're good if you can go for these as well Oh my gosh, do not miss out on these. So that's your first set of stamps, $29.98. I know they're a higher price point, but it is a big stamp that you're getting and they are beautiful quality. 067490. The next one that we've got, um, shall I show the wave? Do the wave, give us a wave. So what you're getting with these two, first of all, you get the wave and the bamboo. Now, your wave, have a look at this. The size of that stamp again, magnificent. The detail of this, I've only stamped it, I've only picked a portion of that out, but look at that. Oh man, honestly, these are stunning, stunning stamps. You've also got with the wave, the beautiful bamboo. That again is incredible. Um, and, and you get the script. Now remember, all of these are on that form. That form makes it so easy to get a beautiful, beautiful print. Honestly, gorgeous quality. And I haven't um, managed to stamp these out yet, but these are your borders. And I've, uh, the borders are incredible. Now, again, you see, he wants them so they'll go round stuff. Can you imagine using these stamps? You've got three incredible borders here. And that, the script one, is sensational. I love that, though. Look at that. These are amazing do not miss out on these so that's your next set um if you would love to go for those um that is 29 pounds and 98 pence ah uh, bear with have we got that mixed up bear with bear with well can i show it proper because i've got the little thing for the lady um so the actual wave comes with the the lady so Okay, so it's the lady and the branch. Let me just find the packaging for that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you better show us still because I'm not sure where my packaging's gone. So that one is that one. That one is that one. Hold on. Hold on. And that one, oh, I don't know, is that one. Oh, yeah, I don't know, my lady. Oh, I know. I know what's happened. There it is. Okay, super. So... So my wave comes with the lady. So this is your lady one. So you've got the beautiful, oh, the beautiful branch. Um, you've also got the gorgeous lady. You've got your pergo pergola. No, that ain't the right word, is it? Pergola. That ain't the right word. That's pagoda. Um, and then, and look at that, look at the detail. I mean, these are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, something like this, look at her. Now, 80% of the stock has gone this one. That is super popular. So that comes with the wave and the bamboo. Um, that is 287454. And then, so the borders, so I've already showed you the borders, but this actually, I think this might be my favorite stamp. This is incredible. I'd love that stamp. That is the, it's amazing, amazing. And this, the detail in this stamp is just sensational. Do you know what? Um, white stamps, I haven't seen white stamps in Carabelle days. And honestly, I love these stamps. The detail, now I've just picked up elements of that stamp because it's so big, but isn't that just phenomenal? Oh, I love that. Okay. So, if you do want to get hold of these, stunning, absolutely stunning. Do not miss out on any of them. That's 915568, your item number. Now, do check out your website. Your website, you'll find absolutely everything that we've got on the show. Of course, we have had tons and tons of sellouts, as you will see there. Um, 
beautiful creations. We'd love to hear from you. Are you already a Stamperia fan? You know, is this your first time that you've ever seen Stamperia? That would be cool to hear off you if it's the first time you've ever heard of Stamperia. I'd love to hear from you. Um, remember Stamperia, they've been going for years, based in, um, in Budapest these days. Um, but, I mean, Oh, my gosh, the products. We've got Italian rice paper, for goodness sake. And this is the thing. The quality is amazing. Um, if you do want anything, please, please check your baskets out. Now, I'm going to go slightly off piste um, before I go to what I'm actually going to do, because I just want to quickly show you this, because this is a cracking product. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't realise we had it on the show, but we do. This is your vintage antiquing paste now. Um, Antonis really wanted this. This is what Antonis, and I'll just get my other piece. This is what Antonis uses all of the time. Um, and it's a cracking um, it's a cracking product is this. So I'm just going to, so this is my air dry clay. Now I'm going to have to be careful because this hasn't been, because it's been in the studio and actually our studios aren't that warm. Um, and because this has been in studio, it hasn't dried properly. I should have taken it home really and it had a better chance. But, um, so it's been overnight, but it hasn't dried properly. So I'm going to be a bit careful with this because the air dry clay, you know, you, it is quite delicate still when it's a bit wet. Um, I'm not painting it first. I'm just putting the wax on. I'm actually using quite a soft brush for this. Um, and I'm using a soft brush because, again, I don't want to break the, the air dry clay. So I'm working, and now I'm really working this in. I want it to go into that detail. So I want to, to cover all the, the beautiful nooks and crannies of this like so so working that in so bringing that soft brush um i would once this brush has been used for antiquing paste this would be my antiquing paste brush you know because it, yeah it's it's going to be full of it so i'll only do a little bit at a time just to show you now Antonis does use baby wipes to get off the excess as you you know i don't use baby wipes so i'm going to use my my good old cloth use a soft cloth mine is a bit crunchy truth be known <laughs> but uh, you, you possibly get yourself a softer um cloth than mine maybe not one that has been around the block a little bit there you go i'll leave it like that for now boom and then and what i'll do let that just do oh no do this do this first come on kid my brain i'm too much like um squirrel you know it's like go to this go to this let's finish that one one thing at a time so get your cloth i'm going to spritz it with water because it isn't a baby wipe because it hasn't got all the product on that your baby wipe's going to have on um i'm just spritzing it with, with good old water and then gently i'm not going hard because it's me air dry and because it hasn't had a chance to dry so i'm not rubbing hard and um, if you put more when you you're working on a harder surface you absolutely can i mean you can pretty much scrub it when it's a harder surface but look at that so when you start lifting this back off again you get the most cool finish doesn't that look good it almost looks like wood paneling I love that. And obviously, the more you wipe it back, the, the lighter it'll become. And then, the, and that's the beautiful thing about it, because then it looks proper antique. It looks like, you know where the, um, the wax on furniture is, is really thick in the, the joints or the, the dust and stuff is built up? So it looks really, really quite old and, and proper antique. I mean, there's no way now that actually looks like air dry clay is there you know it uh, it's completely changed it don't you think that's super cool let me hold it up sorry i thought wrong doesn't that look fab um it's a really cool product is that and that is easy to achieve so you can put that in fact that is how antonis will have created so you know this now this is what antonis did and sent in so that will have been painted um i bet in ivory and then antiquing paste would definitely because this is what antonis used antiquing paste over that and then wipe it back again literally just like that 
that is literally how you do it and that's the kind of effect that you can create and that mold is your one day special mold now if you do want your antique in paste it's only 12 pounds and 99 pence 183097 it's going to last you ages um, and it's on immediate dispatch i do apologize i'm messing with me or it's driving me nuts today i do apologize um <laughs> needs cutting now it's got to that stage again where it's like oh it's making me I've, i'll put it a bit on here i'm not going to get too carried away with this but antonis does he puts it all over at shop it looks amazing but a bit on the stencil there oh maybe i will get carried away but just bringing this in here like so now remember this has already been painted so bringing a little bit in there i might cover this afterwards now i've got now i've got a bit carried away it'll be like oh i'm gonna cover the whole thing get my my water again with my my rag and then just start bring taking this off so you start wiping it off but as you wipe it off can you see how it leaves that beautiful hue Phew, it's in my head at the minute. <laughs> but can you see? You've got the difference in the colour. So it just gives you that rich brown tone. And honestly, the difference is beautiful. It might be quite subtle on air, actually. No, you can see it. You can absolutely see it. It gives you... Um, it's a finishing product. It's a product that will definitely make a difference. And it's also a product that's ridiculously easy to use. Um, but with something like this, it, it sometimes, there you go, sometimes um, you don't really, um, it, your piece doesn't look finished and it needs something. This is the product. This product, it's almost like putting a varnish on. Because look at that now. The richness of that compared to that. It's got a different look to it, hasn't it? It's a lot richer. It's darker. It's more intense. But it looks more finished, actually. And if I just get in there as well. And I can get in all my nooks and my crannies with it but i i love that it is a really good product and over i mean over the paint i can still see the red but it just gives it a really um i don't know it just gives it depth it's absolutely gorgeous um if you do want to get hold of that though that is busy so please do not miss out on that it's a huge tub as well i'm gonna to have to finish this now i won't finish it on this hour because but i'm gonna to have to finish that otherwise that will really irritate me that that's a different shade to that now <laughs> um 183097 immediate dispatch so please make sure you check your basket out it's limited stock oh the stamp set sorry sorry Okay, your stamp set. So, you've got... What did you call it? You baboon. <laughs> um, you have got in this set your beautiful lantern and your gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Um, that set is sensational. This is now limited stock. Um, the bamboo is phenomenal. The lady, I mean, that is such a beautiful stamp set. If you do want this on immediate dispatch, you need to be checking out your basket. Um, otherwise, you ain't, you're waiting. Or, well, I don't know if we've got extra stock of this, actually. But please check your baskets out now. That is beautiful. Limited stock. It's going to be another sellout. Okay, let's do a demonstration on. I'll pop them there. Um, so what I'm going to do, so just a quick one for this one because, um, just because. So what I'm doing, I wanted to take rice paper and an old jar because the thing is with, with rice paper, it's the easiest thing to use and to decorate stuff. But it's brilliant for decorating stuff that can be a little bit tricky to actually decorate. Now, something like this, the lid, let's take that off. Then actually, I should have cut that away because we don't want that on, do we? Oh, I shouldn't be doing this on live TV. If you've got, if you've got, um, if you have got wire, oh, there you go, done it. I was thinking, well, that's not, it's not something you should be showing with your beautiful scissors on live TV, is it? Cutting a big chunk of plastic. No, Leone, you shouldn't, but you did it. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's use the paint. So on the, the neck of the jar, we're just going to use um, the, the lovely paints. The paints are beautiful. They are, oh, dirty brush, well done. They are an acrylic. Um, I, I don't know where I'm picking the green up from. <laughs> 
That could be from anywhere. I mean, it meant to be cream, not bright green, but there you go. That's what you get for working on a dirty mat, everybody. Leone. Tut tut. Now, I'm putting this on, but I want it kind of patchy. I don't want it perfect, which is a good job because it's not even the right colour. Um, but <laughs> if I manage to do that, lime green. There we go. So just popping that because I'm not going to pop rice paper on that bit. And this is ace because you could put, um, you know, the beautiful little lights in there. You could put the beautiful little light and it would look absolutely gorgeous. And I like the um, the style of this bottle. I think it's a really nice shape. It's um, maple syrup. I know, I love a bit of maple syrup. I didn't realise how expensive it was till the other day. It's proper expensive, isn't it? Oh, horrendous. But it is good. And I don't use much of it. I don't really use sugar or anything, so I feel that like it's all right. Out with my little treat. And I only use it in cooking. But anyway, I love that I'm now justifying my use of maple syrup on TV. I mean, no one's judging me. <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's like, calm down, kid. No one cares about your maple syrup. Right. I'm going to layer up a couple of different colours. Because that is, um, it's got your blues and your pinks and stuff, I want to bring um, one of the blues in. But I I'll go for this blue a lot. I'm only using a tiny bit because I'm literally, I mean, I'm only going using it for the, the neck of the jar. So I really don't use, uh, need much paint here whatsoever. But, but I just wanted a tiny bit of blue just to blend that into the cream like so I just absolutely adore this shade it's lovely so just splodging that on bring in a bit more cream like so see it's one of those I could get really carried away with this and then bring a bit of gold in and if you do it like this if you just kind of I, it's almost like sponging it on but I'm using my the paintbrush you get that really nice stippled effect then it looks really quite effective with this. Especially because we are going to be using our rice papers. So it'll 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 give you quite a nice almost like um oh I can't think of the word. It's too early for words. I haven't finished my first coffee yet. <laughs> I mean too early for words in your life on telly. <laughs> Wrong job, kid. There we go. So that'll do for now. Let's let that dry. If it needs another um, another coat, let it dry first and then give it another coat. But I like that. I, I'm even kind of happy with the green now, kind of. You know when you say you're going to leave it and then you don't leave it? That. Okay. Now, I've got some paint left. You know me. I ain't going to waste that paint because that would be really terrible. So the paint that's left, literally just scooping that up, popping it on there. If you add water to it, and I know it's only a little bit, but you can create a really nice wash with it. And it is gorgeous, gorgeous paint. So I, I, I don't like wasting. And it's funny, isn't it? I mean, you can create such a nice background with a tiny little bit of paint that you can then start over stamping and do all sorts on. So that's my little, my little palette there. Next. So got my little old jar. Let's just wipe that. Right. So, and then rice paper. So, my rice paper. I've taken one of the rice papers that's in the one day special. So, it's a rice paper that's got the um, the, the lovely um, thingy on it. Your thingy. <laughs> Your blossoms. So, I'm just going to get my, my um, water brush because you don't want any edges with this. No straight edges. And I know this is the kind of demo I've done so many times, but there's new people using rice paper all the time. And this technique, whether you're using it on cardstock, whether you're using it on um, a canvas, use the same technique, especially the fraying technique, because this allows you to get the layers so they blend. If you just do um, like a, a hard edge to a hard edge, you see it, you really see that edge. So you want to, you want to um, feather your edges 
so you don't see that really hard edge. I know there's a, a line in the middle there where it's been folded. That I'm not worried about because I'm going to be gluing it down so that will just disappear. I'm not worried about if if this is too short or too too long at the minute either. It'd be better too long, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to take the edges off as well. And again, it is worth doing this because it makes a better finish. We might have to patch it up. And if you if you think, oh, I'm going to end up patching it up, um, use patches. You know, don't use big pieces because then it kind of looks like you were meant to do that. In fact, let's do that. Let's let's cut a bit here. So we'll do patches. So it's not one solid piece. So then let's come across and do that as well. So let's get patches from this one. So take that there, like so. And rip a bit off the top. And then with this one, see sometimes you can tear it quite nicely. Other times it's way easier with your eyes, uh, with your, your water brush. There we go. All those little bits you could keep. Now, let's see. So I've got, see that looks really pretty already. I've got in um, on today's show, or we've got, I should say, it's not I. Um, we've got on today's show the mixed media glue. Now, this is a cracking glue. I know the Stampiri team, they all use this. It's a really good product, definitely. Um, it, there's quite a lot of adhesives in the, the Stampiri um in the, the Stamperia range. I normally use, for, for this, I normally use my, um, the clear gel glue, which I love as well. But this is the one that, we, that we've got this time. And I know the team all love this. So we thought we'd bring this to you as well. And the thing is with it, it works really well. I mean, it's a really so smooth glue. You can see it goes on super easy. It's got kind of a gel texture to it. You know, it's a, a really interesting texture. It dries completely clear and it dries matte, which is so, really important. You don't want a, a, um, an adhesive that's going to dry glossy. Well, I don't on something like this. I like that matte. And then you've got the, it's up to you then if you, you choose to add gloss to it. You know, so just popping that on like so. Now, this is where rice paper becomes um, the best thing ever for stuff like this because you can literally just fold that rice paper around. So all the texture on the bottle, you just take your paintbrush, I'm going to have it coming up there actually, and you just bring it round that jar. And this is why I decided to use a jar that was quite interesting in shape because it's ridiculously easy. I mean, how cool is that? But it's so easy. Doesn't it look good already? I love a bit of rice paper on a jar. And every single time, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. And yet it always looks so good. It never, ever gets boring. And there's so many people, now I heard this on radio the other day, there's loads of people buying um, used gin bottles and it is specifically used gin bottles allegedly um, but they're decorating them this is the kind of thing you can do if you're on that trend if you're doing that at the minute your rice papers are fantastic for that because the the light reflects beautifully through them so if you then put in lights in this if it's a bigger jar and you're going to be putting candles in um, then that is perfect or making um, a beautiful lantern out of them rice paper is absolutely something that you want to be using so if that's your thing definitely go for it so I'm just laying that down like so pop your glue back over the top so with your glue it's um it's an adhesive it's also a sealant so you'll always put it back over the top a it helps the paper smooth down but b it'll seal that surface when it dries and this is the thing with your mixed media glue when that dries it allows you then to work back over the top of it because it's sealed it means that will be protected so if you add something over the top of it and fall out with it you can actually sort of clean it away again so it gives you a bit of a you know it, it gives you a bit of protection um I don't know what I've got in my glue. I've got some black bits in there, so I'm really trying to avoid putting them on. This is where you just patch up. So now, just popping this on here like so. You did, I didn't need to, but I decided to do this. Just to show you, even if you decide to have it patchy, like you could just be using scraps for this, and it'll still look amazing. You could use a full piece, but I quite like this. 
Um, if you do want the adhesive, this is on immediate dispatch, remember. So you can get hold of this one straight away. The rice paper, this rice paper is your one day special, but we have got the other rice paper on the show. And it's how it goes around the edges. You know, you get that beautiful sort of smooth finish. And then I'll just put one more bit on there. And then that's it. I won't faff too much with this. I won't decorate the whole jar because I just wanted to show you the process. But I kind of want to decorate the whole jar. Uh, what I do with this now depends what you're using it for. I mean, I think popping lights in the middle of that would look beautiful. So having a really pretty, having that as a really pretty um, little light, I think that would look gorgeous. You know the little lights, I mean, don't you? Like the little fairy lights. And we do sometimes have them on happy hours, yeah. You'd have to think about how you hide in the bulb. So you probably put some flowers or something at the top that you could then hide. Because I've got some and the, the battery pack is really tiny. So if you've got those, you only need like your flowers at the top to hide the actual battery pack. Now, let's have a little look at that. And you could do all sorts with it. You could then stencil it. You could obviously decorate it in so many ways. But the rice paper itself is just sensational. And it's that. Hold on a minute. Is there a fluffy bit there? A fluffy bit there. Look at that detail on that. How beautiful and easy. It's so easy. It looks better in real life than on that camera. Um, it's so easy to do as well. Um, I'm dying to decorate this. So I might, I might pass back over to, to our lovely Derek and just put a little bit of, a, you know, a little bit of um, faff on here to decorate it and then I can show you just how good it looks. Uh, but our lovely Derek, that sounds you? That sounds like a plan, you know. Plan. That sounds like a plan. Right, OK, let's go through your one-day special first of all. Uh, back on extended delivery as well. So I know uh, Leonie's been talking to you about how to order from this hour as well. So if you're going for your one-day special, um, the, Im the immediate stock we had sold out, we're now back on extended delivery. Now that extended stock is already going very, very quickly. Uh, we're already looking at a third of the stock of the extended delivery sold out and gone. This is such a special collection as well. I think for the price tag, the amount of different elements you've got here from Stamperia is just superior. I have to say, pardon the pun, superior Stamperia. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a little bit of everything going on here. Um, I love it. Where should we begin? Let's start with the stencil. And I think it's the, the only way, the only stencil that we have uh, available is part of your one day special. There are five images in there. And this whole theming of Sir, Vag of Sir Vagabond in Japan um, is so cool. It's such a lovely, you can really immerse yourself in it. I think actually if you see that in the world in general, there's this massive, massive hysteria um, over gaming and these kind of fantasy worlds to escape into, then this has that real feel and that real vibe about it. I love it. All about travel, all about atmosphere, all about really immersing yourself in the, in the traditional real authenticity of Japan as well. It's really, really cool. You've got the moulds, and the moulds are just exceptional. Let me tell you, I mean, look at this, just into air-dry clay there. Um, this isn't even fully cured um, either. It's absolutely beautiful. That big dragon there with all of the detail inside and all the other little elements that you've got there too. Um, you want to go absolutely crazy with your, your air-dry clay, um, your, your resin into there as well. Oh, amazing. And this one here, uh, this one is such an incredible background. Have you got that one in, in clay, uh, Leone? The, um, the big what I wordy. started oh, doing. Oh, with the, with the antique. And yes, 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 yes. And it's on there as well. It is. Look, I mean, that, that was using the antique paste there, which is, I mean, like, that's Ooh. a work of genius, isn't it? That stuff, you definitely Amazing. need some of that in your life. Um, it's beautiful. Um, and you can see here on the uh, on the sample, I, I take it this is from Antonis, is it? Yeah. Uh, look, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is just, isn't it? Brilliant. Now, there's so much more to this one day special for under £30. I'm going to wish you through it as quickly as we possibly can. Um, you've got your 12 by 12s um, here, which are superb. Ten double sided sheets, and there's just so much going on with this. You've got those smaller um, tags there and elements. You've got the bigger world. You've got the, the journey across the seas. The colour palettes in this are just adorable as well. Um, they really are. 
And look, 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 look. It's just like a world of dreams. You kind of want two or three sets of these, don't you, really? Um, so that you've got them forever and ever and ever. And I think I'm right in saying that we've secured pretty much all the stock of everything that you've Stamperia has. as much have. as we could get yeah, our hands on. We absolutely have. Um, so please make sure that you are as quick as you possibly can. Well done to those people who managed to get it um, last night as well. Um, if you haven't got yours yet, this is now going out for you on the... 13th of October It'll be well worth the wait. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's fantastic. And you also have your three rice papers um, included with this set as well, which are just beautiful. You've just seen how wonderfully the rice paper works uh, with Leonie's demonstration there around the around the bottle. And again, these are just so so beautiful. Twenty nine pounds and ninety three pence. Now that is on extended delivery. Um, I'm just going to move to the other rice papers which are on the show because they're available uh, for direct dispatch. Like right now, they are here. If you order these right now, then they'll go out tomorrow. But remember, that would need to be a separate order from your one-day special because otherwise the whole order will go on delay. Um, so if you love the rice papers, and they're absolutely just stunning, they really are. Oh, hang on. 70% of the stock of those has gone. Let me see if I can... Uh, replicate Leone's amazing uh, display techniques <laughs> there. There is the dragon there. It's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, these are exceptional. And you've seen the depth and you've seen the intensity of colour. Um, and usually we, we associate rice papers with more sort of a pastel look. And these are very, very strong colours in this, the colour vibe. And you definitely want to make sure that you pick up the inks um, as well, which follow that same kind of um, colour vibe. It's absolutely beautiful. Just one more. Oh, actually, there's two more to show you. So there is the koi. There is the koi cart, which is beautiful. And one more of Sir Vagabond himself, a fine, fine fellow. Uh, is fantastic. I can hear the faffing and the decorating happening uh, and we've got less than two minutes in the show now. If you want that one, 975 270 pounds and 94 pence. And back to you, Miss L. Well, I didn't, I decided not to do oh, my job. Oh, you've changed your mind. Well, it's only because I need it to dry. Uh, um, okay. So I thought, you know what, I'm not leaving this undone because it'll do me head in. But what I love about that look now, you'd look at that and go, you have utterly ruined it. What have you done? Um, but this is when that antiquing paste will come into its own because then I just start wiping this back and look, you start taking this off even on my paper embellishments. Now, bear in mind the paper embellishments have got the adhesive over the top and that will give those um, that, that, again, it allows me to, to actually take it back off again and that's what you want to do. But your, your antiquing paste, it's giving it that that beautiful, rich finish. It gives it that really exquisite finish. Um, and it's just an extra, oh, it's just an extra depth that you're, you're creating there. And when you don't scrub it all off, it gives you that proper antique finish. Because that's, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? When wax has, has built up and it's stayed in all the, the cracks and the crevices. Um, so, yeah, highly recommend it. Doesn't it look good, though? Like, Fantastic. considering how it we're looking, it's like, wow. Uh, don't miss out on that. I will see you again at 12 o'clock. Thank you, our lovely Derek. Thank you, our lovely Leone. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets and be back again at midday. Right, lovely Liz is here after the break with our Catherine with That's Crafty Journaling, Susie B Fabrics with Susie Duncan in an hour's time, and then is the Thrifty Thursday Happy Hour. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select set up connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. 
If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it! You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the craft store. Now we're going to have a very busy day, I'm sure, today. Now this is a second live hour, but my first live hour of the day, and I'm working with a guest I've not worked with before. I've seen them many times, but we've not actually had a show I together. Know, I know, I'm really excited yeah. about it, Catherine, yeah. I believe it's just myself and uh, Derek so far. Yes, that's fine. You don't need anybody else, do Maybe you? Maybe me and Derek need to swap later then. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Wonderful. Even though it's very early, but yeah, I'm good, thank well, you. Well, I'll tell you what we're excited about this hour, because your designs, Liz. Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm really excited. This is mark three of the templates. Yes, yeah, so it's set three. I'm really, really Brilliant. pleased with this set, yeah. I oh. think it is my favourite so far. Well, do you know what? We have got so many samples here as well. Now, I can tell you, you've already found them. We are already very, very busy. Almost 20% of the stock has already gone. Do you want to talk us through what we're getting, Liz? Yeah, because so there's different designs, there isn't is, there? Yeah. So this. for this set, we've got a gatefold album, which is that one, and there's the option of doing little flip out pages or you can sew them in there's pocket pages that comes with it there's little hidden spine um, there's the stitching holes as per usual with um, with my templates but it just makes a really nice little chunky gatefold oh. I really like those smaller size albums that is beautiful yeah. isn't it let me just turn um, this right around and it's nice for your six by six well. papers as well that one I love it. I love it. Let's have a cut some more because there is so much more here. Oh, can I open this one, Liz? Yeah, that one. Um, yeah, that soft Jill's done that one. They, I have to, just have to thank Jill, Rachel, and Shelley from the That's Crafty Design team Such because they've clever, just done amazing projects for me. Now, look, we've got acetate on the front of this. We do have some um, heat-proof acetate. Yes, the embossable. Yeah, the embossable acetate, um, and that's effective. using some of the stamps. Yeah, it's really lovely with a gold embossing powder. It really oh, brings wow. that out. And that's oh, some I more of the little this. templates, little slide mounts. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. You say Jill did this Jill one. did that one, yeah. Just just so lovely, the samples. Oh, that really is pretty, isn't it? And that's using some of my uh, my new stamps, which are my, uh, my own handwriting. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. Oh, no wonder everybody's loving <laughs> these. What else have we got here? We've got other little things like the tags. Oh, look at this, the little slider there as well. Now that would look, I mean, that is great as it is, but inside a page yes, again, just yeah, so you can put yeah, that on as Yeah, just as your little feature, as you like. yes, yeah. And then we've got another one here as well, a longer version. So it's quite nice for your little mini portrait photographs. You know, some of your old vintage ones yeah. would be amazing on those. Are these your stamps as well, Liz? They are, yes. Yeah, the little sketchy flowers, yep. 
Oh, I absolutely love that. I don't know what to pick up next, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let's have, oh, there's another little yeah, gatefold so one yeah, here Yeah, so that as well. one, um, I've stitched... I like the pages that you've I've got I've stitched the papers. That's my dad's tea stain papers. Is He's it? famous for doing tea stain papers, yeah. He has a little washing line in the garden. <laughs> so, yeah, all my crafty friends know my dad's stitching. <laughs> me, me, me dad's tea stain papers, yeah. Oh, so this one's ready to fill, isn't it? Yes. Look at that paper as well. It's beautiful. Oh, I think I need to visit you. Uh, uh, this tea and then there's the paper. mini mini journal as well. That this one? yes, that one. So that's one of the other little book templates oh, that comes sweet. with a new set. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, you can decorate the front however you wish. You've yep. got more tea stain papers in there as well. They're just perfect, aren't they? And that's a really, really nice beautiful. size for anybody that's starting to do their Christmas cards and Christmas crafting. Yeah. They can hang off the tree. <gasps> That's really a nice, nice idea. really nice little size for hanging off your Christmas tree. Oh, I do girls. like that idea. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, there's so much here. Now you can make the mini album, the flip out journal, the gatefold album that we've seen, and your accessories are included as well. I mean, there's a little waterfall. Uh, let me just show you this one, actually, because I know, Liz, you said to me, you know, that you've kind of just done three little flaps on this one, but you could do six, you could extend it. Could you keep yes, going? Yes, keep going as long as you want. Yes. Yeah. So the template allows you to do up to six squares but because it's a never-ending template you can just keep on adding extra flaps to it Perfect. yeah we do like our flaps with my templates yeah love it oh, they are absolutely gorgeous almost a quarter of the stock has already gone 24.99 do not miss out on this i don't know they're going to last until this afternoon 008023 is the item number you're getting an awful lot there for your money now this is the third set for liz her own designs as we've heard set one and set two both sold out so if we're following suit with this one you know what's happening don't you it's definitely a sellout let's have a look at the stamps though because again liz's designs these are so pretty and size wise of course liz you've designed these so they're going to work so beautifully with the albums and yes. the templates yes but also standalones for other projects for, as yeah, well for card making and scrapbooking whatever you want to do and they're really nice for fabric as well i, I uh, particularly the daisy daisy set are really nice for making little fabric brooches and little oh, pouches and things lavender pouches something like that because they're just small enough but chunky enough to be able to, yes, to sew around and you've got all those words in there as well which are going to work so beautifully of course for your little books yeah and yeah after i did my first set people oh, were pretty. screaming out for titles for books you know to actually do the titles for your books so that's why i've done that set let me turn this Shelley's right around. Shelley's done that one. It Isn't is that beautiful. gorgeous? It's just beautiful. Do you know, without even opening, I can see there's lots more going yeah, on inside I think that's well. going back to my house, that. I don't think I'm oh, going to give that back to Shelley. You might have to fight me for it. That's just it lovely to my house as well. I love it. Look at the... Oh, those stamps are just perfect, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So she's laid some of them up for the back to make the background wow. card, yeah. Just wow. so simple, without even colouring them in with Look the inking that. in the background beautiful only 14.99 for the stamps how many do we get in total do we know uh it's a choice of now the first set we're looking at then the daisy daisy how many have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think there's eleven i think there's eleven yeah. let's just turn the stamp set around as well so oh it's the other one isn't it let's just get the right one so there we are yeah so really nice for layering up as well because i do quite a lot yeah, of 3d work so I'll layer them up. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then Daisy Daisy, 11 stamps. We have just had that verified. And then sketchy flowers and words. I like the inspiration on the front as well. That almost watercolour effect. Well, yeah, the, the sketchy flowers I've done so that for anybody that doesn't like colouring in their stamps, you can literally just throw a blob of ink on your card and stamp over the top and you've got a really nice watercolour flower. You certainly have, yeah. haven't you? Now there's 30 stamps in that particular set there. If you count all the words and the flowers and the leaves, it's beautiful. Item number 138638, remember you've got two choices there, there's nothing to stop you going for both, of course. Now let's move on again, and we've already mentioned the acetate, the embossable acetate, which is absolutely beautiful. I love to see acetate used in cards, in albums, you can put it on the outside, you can put it on the inside. Yes. But the fact that you can heat emboss it, yes. stamp on there, yeah. and we, heat it, yeah. because we, we think that stays on ink, so we think, oh yeah. We know we can stamp on acetate, but you can't always emboss. No, and it's good if you want to type. do like a glass painting effect, because if yeah. you've got that embossed um, relief around the outside, then you can drop your ink inside and it won't bleed. Of course. So you'll get that glass, glass painting effect. 
Now, let me just open this little book up for you because some of the acetate has been used there. Do you know, and at first, I didn't actually realise that was acetate. I thought that was some sort of glaze yeah. over some cardstock. Yeah. That is such a lovely technique. And there you can see one of the waterfalls as well that's been included from the templates, of course. More of that paper. Oh, that works so well, doesn't it? Absolutely love it. So the acetate, a great price there, ten pounds and forty nine pence. But you are also getting the daisy mask as well. That is such a good deal. Yeah, it's love. Yeah, it's lovely. I've been waiting for ages to get that mask out because that came. I, I drew that a long, long time ago. So I'm really pleased it's with this set. And again, you can just sort of drop little bits of ink in it. Do you? Um, um, Distress ink, distress oxides through it, and then stamp over the top of it as well to get like a layered effect. Do you know that is such a lovely edge to that, and you yeah. could draw around that and cut. Yeah, well, kind of it, a corner yeah, to yeah. Cut, so you? in my set two templates, the planner templates, I use that to to separate my monthly pages. Oh, so I use that idea. as like a double fold. Yeah, to, to send that relief out. Oh, you are out. clever, Liz. Oh, thank you. You are. Oh, let's get to demo with Liz. Let's just get the details. <laughs> 659 at 323 is the item number. Only 10, 14, and that is such a good deal because you are getting that daisy mask as well. Let's get over to Liz, though. I cannot wait for this. Where are we starting, Okay, Liz? so we're going to start with the gatefold album. So um, I've designed it so that it will fit on an A4 sheet of card. Um, you can use your mount board and layer it up. So if you use mount board, what I would suggest is you do it in separate pieces and then layer a little bit of Tyvek or something in between you know to have those gussets okay. to do the folding but I've done it so you can literally use any sort of cardstock that you want so all I'm doing I'm just lining it up at the bottom the notches are there just as a guide for any stitching holes that you might have and all I need to do is just draw around the top of the template and then just draw through where okay. those score lines are. Because it's a gatefold, I need two spines. Got you, of yeah. course. So, Liz was so, so busy that's on it. this template. That's Guess it. Guess what? How much has gone? A third, a whole third. Oh, We're black. only just 10 minutes into the show, yeah. and a third of the stock has gone. And you're supposed to have two hours today. Yep. I'll be singing later. Don't have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did singing last time I was on the show. On the, I was at the, the craft store um, and my husband taped it and he played it to all my family. Did you a, actually sing? I sort of did a made-up theme <laughs> tune. I did a made-up theme tune and, it, yeah, so he, he sent it all around my family WhatsApp group. It's just horrific. <laughs> it was a well-known superhero theme tune and then I said, they said, you perhaps not need to sing any more of that. I so made my own up. It was just awful. <laughs> oh, now you've opened your mouth, Liz. You yeah, know what's sorry. coming later. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll be doing some. So all I've done, I've just scored back down those lines and really simply, you just fold where I've scored. Okay. And this is just about 240 weight cream card because yeah. I'm going to be putting my craft o'clock papers on top it will be thick enough and there I have my little gatefold oh, so very easy so to get yeah started yeah there. absolutely really really easy so that's my cover and then what I'm going to show you to do is the the little um, hinge spine okay so that's what it looks like yeah. when you draw around the template um, let me get you know, Liz, I love it when we get templates like this because one of my all time favourite things are albums and little mini books. I just adore them. And for many people, you know, especially new to paper crafting as well, there are so many die shows, there are so many dies out there, but not everybody's yet got a die cutting machine. No, exactly. Yep. And, you know, you will build up to that. If you're just starting out, you probably will get there. But there's times where templates just work so perfectly anyway. No, absolutely. And what I like about these is the fact that all the measuring's been done for yeah. you, so you just need a pencil and a pair of scissors, really, to, to draw around them. And they're so portable. Yes, yeah, definitely. And I, I've, I've done them so that you've got little uh, book rings in them, so you can just put a little book okay. ring through the yeah. centre. So they've all got a little hole in oh, the yes, top corner. to keep them together. Yeah, yeah, so I just hang okay. mine on a hook in my craft room. So you'll need, if you want to do two sets of flap pages, like the pocket pages, you need two spines, okay. one on each side. So I'll just do one, but I'll show you where to position it on the cover. So I've drawn around that. These two larger pieces on either end are your little flaps that stick to your book. These Got are you. the ones that will anchor it to okay. your page. 
And what do you recommend for sticking down the paper? Oh, well, I use, I use a mixture of double-sided tape anyway. That's always my go-to because it's a quick grab. But yeah. um, I use my That's Crafty glue because it's a permanent adhesion. Right, and I think lovely. there is some glue yeah. in the... In the um, in the show there's a couple of different bottles Ooh, we'll have to have a look for yeah that. so how to do it fold all the score lines together now because i've used a pencil and i've, I've marked quite thickly through the page i don't need a score tool okay because it's just it, it's yeah it's really scored well. it yeah i've used cartridge paper weight on this so i'm just folding all of the score lines in one direction to start with yeah. and then what you need to remember is you need your anchors flat so right. the two edges on the outside they need to sit flat yep. and then there's two bigger spine pieces there and then a thin one two big ones and a thin one two big ones right. your big ones are your mountains yep. the thin ones are the valleys got you so you fold it so you've got a mountain yep. and a valley a mountain and a valley and a mountain Right, so the valley yeah. actually forms again a, a flat piece. It yes, sits yes. Flat so that's like your gusset. Yep. Yeah. So got that you. when you put your pages on, you've got a little that bit of room of yet. Sense. So I'm just going to flip that over, and just for speed, I'm going to use some double-sided tape. But I would, I would absolutely recommend that you use the the glue. Okay. Because yeah. of that permanency. Because if you're going to use it for you know for your memories and stuff, you don't want it falling apart. The thing with double-sided tape is. Um, the stick goes after a while, doesn't it? It does. So I would always do um, a line of wet glue as well, so that you've got that permanent bond. Lovely. Yes, because different temperatures can affect the glue. Oh, yeah, they? yeah. So, you, you know, you try and keep cards, and then all of a sudden all the embellishments fall off it, yeah. don't they? <laughs> so what I've done, I've put tape just on one of those, for each of the sets of mountains, I've just put, a line of tape and glue along one of the right. one of the yep. pieces, yeah, and then fold that together. So I'll try and do it slow. Fold that together. Fold that together. So you should have a piece that sits flat, yep. and then, oops, if I don't stick my thing to my other one. Now we are very busy. Uh, those templates are literally flying out. Zero zero eight two. Sorry, zero zero eight zero two three. I can tell you, we're just over fifteen minutes in, and over half the stock has <gasps> now gone. Blimey! Yeah, it is flying. Yeah. So make sure you don't stick your hinge bit. There we are. Yeah, and I would recommend you you erase your pencil marks and not be a dirty madam like me because I always <laughs> get. I just, I'm just dirty. Everything's like grimy because I just spread me. It looks grungy. That's how it looks when I've done it. Could we, when we've marked, if we do a mark with a pencil and we fold, could we fold it so the pencil's on the inside? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you wouldn't absolutely. see it then, would yeah, you? Yeah, that's, that's a very good idea, Catherine. See, I don't have common sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Am for I the that. Person yeah. Is yeah, that my thanks. good idea for the day? Thank, you, yeah, thank you for that. So that's how it looks. So I've gone back to my my cover. Now this is very, very important, the positioning of where you put your spine. So that your pages fold nicely together, what you need to do is put it slightly to the left of your spine. Okay, so what yeah. I'll do, if I draw down in pencil where my spine is, not very straight that but anyway it's no, first it's just, thing in the morning so if you can see that yeah. yep what i want to do is start that that first spine there that first hinge yeah that needs to line up about two millimeters or a quarter about a eighth of an inch okay. something like that from that left hand channel got you yep that makes so sense. yep so again Glue yes, the back of that. Yes, if you line it completely up, when you shut the book, yeah, it's going to yeah. push against it, isn't it? It, it's it is, to yeah. So you need to over. give it a little bit of a, a bit, bit of glue. leeway. Yeah. yeah, glue that down, and then make sure it sits nicely within that spine space. So that's your little oh, flaps. You. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. And then all you need to do, just make sure your glue is nicely stuck. And then you can just fold that over on itself and your spine there and your hinge 
is sat nicely there. Okay. When you do the right hand one, you need to do it in exactly the same place. You'd think you'd need to do it to the right. Yeah. But you need to do it to the exactly the same place. So just, just to the left of that. Just side. to the left. To the because, left of the yeah, left. Because that's gonna sit at the back. And that will sit at the, the front. Because she would automatically think yeah. to do it the opposite way. Yeah, but because way. when you folded this this left-hand panel up, the yeah. pages are going to be to the top. Yeah. When you fold that panel down, the page is going to be to the bottom. You. If you do sense. them the other way, they'll be clashing. Yeah. And we don't want clashing pages, Catherine, do we? Okay, so very quickly now, I'm just going to draw around the page. Now, again, with my templates, I don't like you just to have one little thing. I like you to experiment with the template so i've given you the option of a flip up pocket right. that looks like this okay. so it's got a double oh, nice. pocket and when you fold it together it creates another little pocket yep. and then that sits on your hinge like that perfect yes and that's oh that's a handy yeah. page isn't it so that's your little pocket page Love it. Yep. So I'll just show you how to make that, okay. but I'll show you the options as well of if you don't want to do that. So the template itself, I'll do it the right way up. Ignore all my little measurement things. Um, I've give a spine um, template there for stitching holes yeah. as well if you wanted to stitch your pages okay. in. Because some of the samples the girls have done some stitching. So all I'm going to do is just draw around that template. You've got the tabs there, I can see. So yeah. absolutely everything's oh, been Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've, I've sort of done a little mitre as well, so you're not even, you know, mithering about doing your little mitre folds. So again, I'm just going to draw through. Um, I would absolutely recommend using a pencil or a thin uh, pen if you wanted to, but not your knife. Don't use your craft knife or when you're going through these holes yeah. because I don't want you to rip your template. Liz, do you know when you did the spine? Yes. Would you be able to, if you wanted to, just to change it up a little bit more, could you cut the spines in half to make thin, wide pages? Do you know what I mean? So you, you could have essentially a f four, up to four sort of flip pages. Well, yeah, you could make like a flag book type thing. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what you were looking for. Yeah. yeah, so you just cut it in half and yeah. I would give a little, little bit of a little gap a little in between. Gap, yeah. yeah, no, but absolutely. And then I would then perhaps do, when you're sticking them in the spine, one to the left and then the top one to the right, bottom okay. one to the left, top one to the yeah. right, and then they will sit inside each other. Perfect. Yeah, something so it's like worth that. when you get the uh, templates home, having to play around, see what else you can come up yeah, with. Well. Yeah, now the pack itself does come with full instructions with some little picture guides on how to put the pages together. And I also do some YouTube tutorials on that's Crafty YouTube page um, with all the ideas on how yeah. to put the things together. Because it's all right watching it, and I know people take the shows, but um, it's nice just to sort of for me to take my time going through the samples Definitely. and yeah. Definitely. And I'm Love always available on well. on um, on Facebook. People always message me saying, "How do I do this? And what do I do?" Um, yeah, so I'm happy Liz, to help. Are we all right? Just have a, a slight pause at that point because things are very very busy. Seventy percent of the templates have now gone. This is set number three, remember set one and set two when they were here previously, both sold out. We're looking like this is possibly going the same way, so I would urge you to check those baskets out as quickly as possible. Let's have a look at a few more samples if I may, Liz, while I'm here. Yeah, I'm no, that's fine. pick up some things that we didn't look at before. That's the flip-flap one, oh. so we've not seen that one yet. Oh, no. oh, I love the curved corners on this one as well. Are they part of the template? Or yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the curved corners yeah. are, but some of my templates so do have curved corners. Yeah, just, fancy yeah. Corners. Or a five oh, pence look. piece. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, and there's the waterfall, so you can see there are actually yeah, Rachel's six done that. on yeah. that one. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Look, it does pull, are. but it's a little bit temperamental, that one. So she's actually made the actual um, mechanism beautiful. to make it into a, a, an interactive one. But there's mine are just sort of flappy ones, yeah. Oh, isn't that lovely? Who did that one? Rachel's done that, Rachel, Rachel Harris. It's just the beautiful. All of the samples are just stunning. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Let's look at this one as well. So, again, we've got the gatefold here. Oh, all the little tags. That's that pocket that you mentioned, isn't it? 
that you did show us not so long yes, ago. Yes, yeah, yeah. So they were from uh, set two, I think. The little I've done some little like like policy envelope type things as well. Oh, there's so many different ideas. Every time you look at a sample, they're different, aren't they? Yeah. And that's down to the papers that people choose. You know, they the way they put the pages yes, together. Yeah. But they've only used cardstock as well, so they've not needed to choose any sort of heavyweight mount board or anything for the pages or the construction of it. Oh, we have so many happy hours and things here as well, don't we? Stuck up on your card, stop while you can. You will be addicted to making these, I'm sure of that. Look and they're just this. a nice size as well, really nice size for gifts. Oh, I thought that was a pocket then. That's a It's lovely. It's the page, that, from the from the craft of Do pages. have a look at the papers we've got on the show as well. There's some stunners. There really is. Now, I can tell you 80% of the stock of the templates has now gone. 24.99, We will get back to Liz, because we don't want to disturb her anymore. But, yeah, well worth looking at some more samples there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I've drawn around that and I've cut round it. So again, fold your crease lines. So those score lines that you've done, um, give them a nice fold first in any direction. It doesn't really matter. And I've got the little tabs at the side like that. Okay, so easy way to do this. This long flap at the side here, fold back on itself. So that's okay. out of the way. You don't yeah. want that getting in the way at the minute. And then these two side flaps, fold them towards you. So if you just remember that they're going opposite directions and then just a little bit of glue. So make sure you fold your tabs so that they're looking up towards you and then glue down each side okay. of them. And then that literally flips up. And because you've already pre-folded it, it's now easy to fold back on itself. So I'll just show you that again. I flipped those tabs, stuck it down, so you've got a long pocket, yep. and fold that in half. Perfect. Yep. Then this little flap here that you folded away from yourself, that just gets a little bit of glue, and, that and then that makes that. your pocket, yeah. Beautiful. And then you can decorate that, as long as you haven't got dirty paw prints like me. <laughs> And then that will then stick on your hinge. So I'll just go back to my book. How do you recommend doing this then, Liz? Would you say uh, make the cover first, put the spine in, have a think about what you want to make? And yeah, then make I would, yeah, so do, yeah, do your cover first, add your spine, because then you can add your backing pages over the top of okay, your spine yeah. once you've stuck everything in. So I would always sort of do the spine bit first and then decorate your pages and put them on. Okay. Yeah. Liz, guess what? Um, go on. We're limited stock. <gasps> We're limited stock. I did tell you. Oh, it's 25 minutes into the Blimey. show, almost 26. Not quite. <gasps> limited stock. Please check those baskets out. Do not miss out on these. The details are there on the screen for you. Don't forget about Liz's stamps as well. They're at the bottom of the screen. I'm sure we're going to see much more of those. And don't forget about that acetate. We will look at those papers, I'm sure, later, but let's get back to Liz yep. while we've still got something. OK. Ooh, I'll use the stamps next anyway, so that's fine. So just a little bit of glue on either side of that flap, but don't put it too near your bottom score line. Yeah. So that's quite, it's quite nice. If you leave your pencil line, you know where the bottom of your score yeah. line is. OK. Yeah, that pencil, it's, it's all going to get covered up, really. Of course it? it is, and distressing over it. Yeah. It's like it never existed. It's fine, Catherine. Don't even talk about it. It's fine. <laughs> Don't even worry. <laughs> so then push that right down to the spine. And because it's a hinge, it will move backwards and forwards quite nicely so it sticks in. So that then is your first little page that sits really neatly can see really neatly inside and there is a template the 1d template is your inner page so you can have an extra little tuck page inside your pocket there or inside your pocket there and it has a little flap on it as well if you wanted to create a little hinge but what I'll show you now really quickly before it does properly sell out is just in case you didn't want to do a pocket page oh, Liz, sorry oh is it gone guess what it's just sold out. Oh, blimey. It's just, I had a question as well, but it's just sold oh. out. Well done. Everybody who's Thank got yours you. will see what we can do, but it's quite early in the morning. Uh, while we just 
away from Liz for a second. Let's have another look at those stamps as well. I have got a question for Liz. In okay, a I will. I will try. Well, and it was about the template, so we'll have to okay. see what we need to do. Okay. But uh, there, we've got those stamps for you. Two options. Don't forget, under one item number. So the sketchy flowers. Forty percent of the stock has gone. So we can see there the sketchy flowers, that's with the wording. So you've got all those wonderful words for your journals and your albums. And of course, we do have the other option as well. I've just picked up that lovely sample that I picked up earlier because it's got so many beautiful stamps on there as well. Daisy Daisy is the other option. And if I just turn this around, you can see those flowers that have been used from that particular set. $14.99 each. You can, of course, go for both. 138, 638 is the item number. If you're just going for one, make sure you do choose the option that you want. Uh, very important that you don't miss out on those as well. Now, the acetate, I found something else. Where is it? Yes, it's there. Um, there's a few samples, actually, using the acetate. You, you wouldn't even think it was acetate. You'd think there was some sort of glaze over cardstock there. Just beautiful. Look, used inside as well here. So you can stamp on the acetate and you can heat it as well. So if you want to emboss, you certainly can do. Oh, look at these. So many blank pages in this one to fill in. Look at that. I love these little sliders. Part of the templates, of course, that have just sold out. Uh, but the acetate again being used there. 659-323 is the item number. And don't forget, you do get that mask in there, the daisy mask, which is such a useful piece. I'm sure we're going to get to see that a little bit later as well. Uh, now, the acetate, so how many sheets we got? Ten sheets. There you can see, well, maybe you can't see because it's acetate. You can see the shine of the acetate there. Obviously, it looks much clearer when you take one away rather than seeing them all together. Very, very handy to have that in stock. Uh, now, we will very briefly just have a look at the papers as well because we've got some beautiful ones. Fleeting Moments is the first one for you. Let's have a look at the details. It's a whole collection. Fifteen ninety-seven. Great prices. Oh, my goodness. You've got 6x6, six six, a 12x12. 12 12, and you've got die cut elements there as well, which look like they're chipboard. They are, aren't they? Chipboard elements. Now, the 6x6, six six, I'm just going to go through these. So, these have already been prepared for me beautifully by our Kirsty as well. So, I don't need to flip these around because they are double sided. We don't always see that with 6x6, six six, do we? These are yeah. stunning. And we've seen these in a lot of the samples, haven't we? Yes, Liz? yeah. Because, yeah, especially with the window uh, slide mounts, they're really useful these for are those. Good yeah. Thickness. What they're thickness are they? are beautiful. They're beautiful. I would say they're at least a 200 weight. Yeah. They're really good. They are very, very nice. And uncoated, so you can stamp, you can emboss, you can spritz, yeah, you can yeah, yeah, yeah. do all those wonderful things with them. You can die cut, of course. This is right up my street. This is my sort of thing, this list. And it hides your dirty fingerprints as well. <laughs> <laughs> my dirty fingerprints are yours, Liz. Mine don't, yeah, mine are just filthy. <laughs> These are stunning. I'm just going through some of the 6 by 6s here. You get the idea, don't you? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love those little tags in there as well. Then, of course, the 12 by 12s also double-sided. Honestly, the quality of these is just amazing for that price. Yeah, they're beautiful. I've got, I've just, the sets I've got, I don't oh, even wow. want to put them because they're just too nice. And they're quite nice. The front covers on each of the each of the pads, these little elements that you can use as little ATC cards as well, or little yeah. journaling panels. So you these can use absolutely nice every indeed. single piece of the paper on them. Yes, even the little strip at the bottom is inked up for you as yeah. well. And you've got your colour code on one side, yeah. so you can see if you wanted to match inks on other papers as well. Just beautiful. And then the chipboard elements. I don't know how many is on a sheet, but there's a lot. Do you know, I haven't shown you every one of those 12 by 12s there either, but yeah, beautiful. I'm not them. going to count these, I don't think. Well, I might do later when Liz is demoing, but there's a lot because some of these are double as well. So you've got an outer frame and you've got the inner. So you've definitely got two in a lot of areas here, but very, very handy indeed. Would you say the background for anything, Liz? I think you could use it as a template for drawing little circles and No, yeah, you can things. do, and buttons. Um, but I know the girls have used them as, like, fasteners for the books. You, you can, particularly the round ones with the clock and that, you yeah. can punch a little hole in the centre and actually use them as a button. Definitely. And I was thread, thinking thread when you pop them. everything out and you're left yeah, with Yeah, because you've got, a, like, you, you, certainly yeah. your frames and that, yeah. Great little template yeah. to draw into for your squares, your rectangles and your different shapes there. Beautiful. 216-711 is the item number if you're going for fleeting moments. Now the next, oh, I do like this, this is really pretty. Oh, 
Do, I really love that one, but I think this one tops it for me. <laughs> Wait till the night. I've yeah. not even seen it properly yet either. I've just spotted the flowers in it. It's gorgeous. Blooming Retreat. 23.46 for this one. You've got a 12 by 12. You've got an 8 by 8. You've got a junk journal set in there, so I like it even more It's now. lovely, that junk journal set. It and you've got beautiful. the die cuts again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Liz, isn't this pretty? It's beautiful. All of the craft clock papers. It, yeah, you, you can't go wrong with absolutely any of them. The colourways are just beautiful, aren't they? Oh, if I could only choose one at the minute, this is mine. <laughs> This is mine. I do love the other one, but I, as soon as I saw the florals in this, I thought that is so, so pretty. I like the names, though, that they come up with for the collections, like fleeting moments and beautiful blooms, and they're lovely. They are, aren't they? Again, I shan't go through every single page as much as I want to. Look! <gasps> Gorgeous! <laughs> You've got the chipboard there as well. I must show you some of the double-sided 12 by 12s It'd be naughty not to, wouldn't it, really? Um, because I've just spotted some really pretty tags with them as well. So let's have a look at these. <laughs> look at these. Oh, look at the wings there. They're like butterfly wings, but angels at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that clever? And even the front, you would use that. You could cut yeah, out those yeah. Strips as I can say, them. I would use them for ATCs or you know little panelling cards, journaling cards. Oh wow. Oh, you're loving this one. Nearly a quarter of the stock has gone. I know some of these aren't probably the right way up, but oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, I want a wall like that in my garden. <laughs> I do. I love sort of French uh, sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French country. And I'm trying to get that into my garden a bit as well. So looking at papers like that gives me ideas for all sorts of things. 2346, remember, 484781 is the item number. The journal. Oh, don't forget the journal. You get that included. <gasps> This is it, isn't it, Liz? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow. that, yeah, it's a self-contained little journal. So it has all the pages, the little tags, embellishments, pockets. Yeah. So you just cut it out and just put it together. Yeah, it's a lovely it little set. On the yeah. I'm not sure what it was, but that is such a good deal. Oh, don't miss out on that visit on that one. And then we've got one more set for you as well. Summer charm. Oh, this is pretty as well. Yeah, I think that one's my favourite. Is it? I really like the yellow on it. It yeah. might be mine in a minute. I've yeah. just spotted some more beautiful flowers <laughs> and butterflies. You see, this is what happens. You fall in love with something, and as you move down the counter, it's like, oh, actually, actually. Oh, look, that beautiful watercolour effect. It's so lovely. Isn't you just it? imagine a nice photograph? I'd, what I do with that one is take the centre out of it and then put layer it up, you know, yeah, put the photograph a behind idea. it. Yeah. Oh, these are absolutely stunning. Oh, you've got everything in here because you've got the text, you've got yeah. the butterflies, the see flowers. See that one, Catherine? See that line down the centre? Yeah. I'd turn it the other way. Yeah, and I'd cut across that line and use yeah. it as a little pocket. So I'd stick oh, the rest yes. of the page yeah. down and just have it as a tuck spot. Definitely. Yeah, so look at your papers where some of the elements are. You can cut away, you know, to create extra little features on your card. Oh, a little wagon wheel there as They're well. Lovely. There's so many elements that if you really look, you're spotting it's all like the time. It's like a little time. pair of boots on one of those pages. I saw the boots. <laughs> yeah, the I boots. did see it's the boots. So there. Look at the 12 by 12 as well. Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? That is gorgeous. Oh, Kirsty likes this one. She's what? nodding, she's smiling. Yep, yep. They're the boots on the little corner there. They there they are, yep. And the little, the little hut there as well. Yeah, my dad's got a pair of boots in the get. Well, they're my mum's boots that he's put in the garden. They're old boots. It's got, they've got, like, rabbits in them. He has, like, pot rabbits in his garden. Oh, so he's got, he's got they're a pair so of boots with rabbits in. <gasps> There's wood in this one as well. The I love, can see I like it on the samples colours. at the front. Do, I've, I'm very strange like that. I know it's just, well, there's everything here that I love because I love wood grain, brickwork, um, music notes. There it is, look. Look at that. And I see a bit of wood grain, especially when you've got a damask pattern running through it. That might be my favourite now. Yeah. Only 19.96. I can't buy any more today. I spent up yesterday. Is it payday today? 268170. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, spending time. Mm. 268170 is the item number. Now, oh, have we got some good news? Yes. Liz. Hello. We've got some more stock of your templates. Yay. Thank you, Graham. Oh, now, they are <laughs> thank an extended. You, Laura. Dispatched from the 4th of October. That's not far away, though, is it? Monday, is that? Is that Monday? No, is it? No. What, day is, no, what it's day is it today? It's the last 30th. day. 30th. 30th today. Friday, tomorrow. It is Monday. Yes. Oh, so you've got to get yeah. through the weekend. Yeah. That's yeah. good news then. 
Lovely. That means we can see more of them then. Fabulous. Ah, oh, can we Good. go back to Liz then? Is that all, Is right? That all right? Yeah, more demos. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so I'm actually going to use the slide mount now with the acetate and some of the stamps. So this one is like a flip one. So you can either close it so that it's permanently closed or what I tend to do is leave it so I can use it as a journaling one. Okay. So again, I'm just going to draw around this template. And this one does have rounded corners. So if you were struggling and you wanted to put rounded corners on some of your other things, just use this as, the, as a little template. So it's got a little gap there little hinge yeah. and then I'm just going to draw inside so please do not use your knife on this bit until you've taken your template well away yeah okay and then what I'm actually going to do because I'm going to use acetate and I want to fasten it inside the slide mount I'm going to draw around this bit again because I want two of these pieces because they're going to join as a sandwich it will make sense when I've done it I promise you There we go. So I'll just cut round that really quickly with my big kitchen scissors. Liz, I've got a question. Okay, Catherine. <laughs> okay. It's not about, well, it is about your products, okay. but I'm just nosy okay. and interested. Okay. So when you're at home, yes. do you have time to craft for yourself or is it all, uh, is it all samples? It's, and... Well, I do really, really force myself to have me time now. So I have been really, uh, yeah, I used to stay up all night and I get really stressed with it, but... I do do now, I do 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 um, a bit of me time where I just like playing. Um, I thought you were singing another song then. Yeah, no, nice. I didn't dare do, do, do that. Do 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 do. do, do, do. do. Although I've been going to rock and roll bingo. If you've never heard <laughs> of it, it's amazing. <laughs> rock and roll bingo? It's, oh, I need to go. Where is it's, it? Oh, it's, it's up in <laughs> Carnforth near where I live and it's by a canal. It's amazing. So it's it's like bingo, but they play songs instead of numbers. Do and you they? Have to, and you have to guess the song and so then you, cuss it out. So you have oh, titles so you've of got songs. The titles on your yeah, on a bingo what a great card. Idea. It's amazing. It's oh, amazing. Can we play that here? Because somebody worked that it's out. It's brilliant. It? Yeah. It's brilliant. So that, yeah, so rather than, um, you know, Legs 11 and Wit Woo, it's not, it's singing. I bet we could, do you know what? I bet we could do a crafting bingo. Can we do a crafting bingo? So on the cards, there'll be different craft products like inks or stencils. Yeah. And then the bingo caller would have to give cryptic clues, yeah as to what it is. So there's a little bit of common sense needed, a little bit of luck needed. Yeah. We'll have our Adam as the bingo caller. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah. Right, be careful with your knife now. I'm going to use, I'm going in with my knife. So I'm just cutting out my okay. little aperture. Sorry, Liz, I'm planning bingo now. It's fine, it's fine. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, we've got a really, really good question for the bingo. Everybody get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would Katrina from Rowan Dean do in every show? What stitch? You know that, Liz, don't you? No. No? Ch chain. Oh, Liz doesn't know it. Butterfly stitch. It would be the French knot. Oh, of course. Yes. I knew it. It was at the tip of my tongue. I knew it. What would <laughs> Liz Wheeler use for cutting out the aperture on her templates? The, clu the clues on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's even said it. it's a craft knife. It's a craft of knife. It's not my big scissors. Now, if <laughs> if you're a bit scared, use a metal edged ruler to help yourself. But oh. um, yeah, but I have just I've, I'm, I've I've just started sewing as well. I've got a new obsession with sewing bags. Have you? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So now instead of watching people eat. Um, barbecues in texas which is like that was my lockdown viewing habits watching somebody count <laughs> that was going there yeah somebody counting coins that that's another looking for like nice mystery coins you know collector's coins yeah and people eating barbecues in texas i now watch sewing videos <laughs> don't ask Catherine. it's a bit strange <laughs> right so i'm getting the acetate what are you looking for, Liz? Oh, my acetate, see? Don't put it down. Oh, your acetate. Do you want to oh, borrow it? Oh, it's there. I've got some. I found oh. it, see? What I would also recommend with your acetate, when you first get it, put a little white dot or something with paint or a bit That's of a permanent idea. marker. 
so you know it's there so when you've lost it you can actually see something yeah okay so i'm now going to go in with my stamps but first of all i've cut my aperture out and i just want to measure a nice width of acetate so i'm going in with my pen this time just so i can see the line it's not a permanent pen this Okay. And then I'm just going to do a little corner. These are perfect for so many things, aren't they? Your photos, your sentiments, yeah, they're lovely. little notes. It's so I've just notes, done maybe. a little, if you can see, I've just done, marked a little corner there yeah. that I can wipe away. But it just gives me a guide okay. um, for cutting out and for where I need to stamp inside that image. So I can do it a little bit smaller, that square of acetate. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is come in with my Daisy Daisy stamp first. Oh, that's a good one for shrink plastic. Yeah, so it's a big dobber, this one. That's the technical term, dobber. Is that what you have in bingo as well? You have a dabbers, dabber. you have a dabbers, dabber. yeah, dabber, dabber. Not yeah. A dabber. Yeah, no, you have dobbers, dobber, dabbers. So I'm just going to line that up within that little square. Now, just be careful when you're inking and stamping because it's a shiny surface, it might move. So, just be careful that you don't rock it. Yeah. And then that I've looks got perfect, though, what you've done there. a nice piece of dirty paper okay. for my embossing powder. So, I think I'm going to go in with some, maybe some gold. Ooh. But I won't sing it, but I'll just <laughs> say. It's all right, Meg's singing it for you. Yeah. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I, I was driving up with my mum yesterday and I went, oh, do you know what I forgot? The thing I forgot, um, my shiny, my shiny buffer, you know, so your, um, your dryer sheet. Oh, yes. Tumble dryer yeah, sheet. Yeah, give it a wipe with that first yeah. to stop any, um, any static. Any static. But if you have, like, a nice dry brush, you can always wipe away. So that effect that you felt before on that slide mount where you, th you thought it was like coated and that, it was because I didn't use my shiny sheet wiper, yeah. This one. Yeah, so it's clear embossing powder on that, so it, there's a bit more on oh, it I than see. there should be, yeah, because I didn't wipe it all away. That's really effective though. It, yeah, especially if you've got oh, clear, if you've got like um, a colour on it, I wouldn't, I'd, I'd make sure you've wiped it away or use like an anti-static sheet or something. So all I've done there, I've just gold embossed it. So I'll just give it a bit of a quick heat with me. We have about 10 minutes left, Liz. Okay. Would you mind just, just moving that frame that's in front of the heat gun? Because it's just... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it. rubbish. Sorry. Are. So it'll go really quickly. you watching. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it's like fireworks. It's always lovely with you've got that effect. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. John, by the end of this show, Liz, you have created your own song. I, I will have do, done. Do, 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 yeah. I made da, 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 da. That was this sort of that, <laughs> yeah, it was sort of that sort of sound. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of the satin ink. So I've got the raspberry yellow and turquoise, which I go to for my green. So let me make sure I'm not blocking anything. So I'm going to come in now because I've got that raised embossed. Are they all satin ones? These are satin. Yeah. Oh, oh um, I've got pearl ones as well, actually. I did say I was going to use the pearl with this one. So I'm going to use the lilac. I've, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use the lilac and the navy. Okay. Yeah. In the pearl. 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 We do have them. We do have them. It's pick a mix as well. Great so this, there. they're beautiful. I just always just have a little bit in the lid. Yeah. And just wash it in. It's such a lovely effect. It dries clear. Uh, it dries clear. It doesn't. It dries quickly. Um, but you can layer it up and you can use it on fabric. So this afternoon... I'm actually going to use it on my um, fabric. I've got a bingo question then for craft. Go on. So if you're using a paint and you can't see through it, what is it? Oh, <laughs> opaque. Opaque. <laughs> Correct. House. You've got a line, Liz. Yay. Well, it's 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 the first three down first. That's for oh, your. Is it? Yeah, that's for your. Um, you get. 
a five pound voucher for that from the from the rock and roll bingo, not from here. Um, yeah, you get you get you get money from that and a and a tub of nuts. <laughs> tub of, you get a tub of nuts. That's the first pri yeah. That's the prize for three not three three songs. <laughs> It's just hysterical. <laughs> Is it a big tub? It's a little tub a of nuts. Tub. Yeah, spicy. They're spicy nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and they're shelled nuts, or they're like um, oh, a bit like a dry roasted, but hot dry roasted. <gasps> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it no, is good. Can be quite it's pricey. lovely. It's yeah, they can. yeah, so it is good that they're free. The yeah, flavors. yeah. So I'm just going to go back over that with me blue now, just to give it a bit more. <laughs> I bought some nuts last night. Oh, what were they? Honey rolls and <gasps> peanut and cashews. Oh, oh nice, nice. Oh, nice. So they're so nice to paint with these. Um... Oh, they to paint you. I better not say what I was going to say there. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> oh. No, no, we don't do that. <laughs> oh, you're so naughty. And then I'm going to come in with, I've got some nice uh, sepia. Okay. I'm looking away. So I've got new glasses and I can't see now because I, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I have to take them off to read now. So I'm like that with them. Oh. Old, it old lady eyes. Get used to them? It's old lady they, eyes. That's, yeah. It's just, they're giving yeah, but, you the wrong glasses. No, it's right. Because, yeah, it's because the new ones, new prescription. There, so that is my little embossed flower. I'm going to give it a little bit of a quick blast. Okay. We're yeah, because of time, course you can we? do that with a heat acetate. Heat you can up. do, you can do. Or I would, if you don't use that, blot it out with a little bit of cartridge paper. Okay. Um, that'll do. How pretty is that? It's so pretty. Very pretty. So then that then, what I'm going to do to start with is a little bit of double-sided sticky tape or glue just to fasten the acetate to it. But again, I'm just doing it for speed so that it's stuck. Oh, uh, Go on. Meg has got a lovely idea, actually. This is a great way to preserve something like a ticket from a, a gig oh, or uh, yeah, yeah, a special or a day dried out. flower or something from you know, a wedding. Just take yeah. that, what I was going to say. Well, then. I said it, it first. Yeah, you mm, did. I, yeah. Beat me to it. Yeah, I said it oh, first. The dried I beat flower, you to yeah. it. So that just lines up where I've done my little corner image. I've got image. one that you haven't thought of. Go on. Have you thought? Lock what have you done for a baby? Lock a of hair. Lock of lock hair. Of hair. Said it. There. Said it. Said it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving too many clues away. Oh, right. So just be careful when you stick it down that you don't do it above your hinge. So I've. So it's a good job I make the mistakes and you don't have to. I've just folded it back on itself because I just need to trim that acetate off the top okay. there. So that that will then fold back over. And then to hide all your gubbins behind, all your workings, that's why I've done the extra frame. Oh, nice. That will just stick over the top. Yeah, and that strengthens that as well, it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. And then if you get yourself a nice bit of the patterned paper for the background, so I'll just grab a piece of this summer, uh, the charm one. Summer charm one, which yeah. I just think is glorious. Oh, it is glorious. It is. I've just found a sample with that. So uh, I am just going to stick. What was the middle one called? The middle paper, the one that I really loved. Blooming Retreat. Oh, you see, I thought I'd gone off that one and onto the other florally one, but now I've looked at this again. So I've just added a bit of glue to the back of that. Stick that just at the back and then cut it out. Yeah, there's that little pair of boots again. They're, they're everywhere, those boots. While you're just cutting that, Liz, I'm just going to show this one. I don't think I did show it earlier, did I? This is the Blooming Charm. Look, look at this. Isn't this just so stunning? It's beautiful. It's beautiful that's a Jill, that's a Jill Humphrey one, that one. It? It's just lovely. I know who Jill is. Yeah, she is. She is. Her samples are always just amazing. She does an awful lot of different crafts, doesn't she? She was. Jill? I was supposed to be doing resin play with her this week in Manchester, but because of the 
fuelage thing. Um, I didn't know whether I'd be able to get there and back fuelage. in time. You know, we'd not be able to get any fuel for my car. Oh. Fuelage, yeah. I'm getting a bit worried. I've, I don't know if I'm going to get home tomorrow if I don't find some. Well, you can always stay over, can't you? I'm staying you? tonight because I'm in in the morning doing Viva Decor. Nice. So I'm just gluing this extra piece that I cut out so that it just hides all your workings behind, all your glue bits, so it just encompasses your little flower on the outside. Very and that just makes a really nice little slide mount there. Oh, it's beautiful. Just makes, yeah, really oh, pretty. Liz, such a gorgeous set Thank of you. stamps. In fact, yeah, there's two different sets, isn't there? We'll have another yeah. quick look at those, I think, before the hour's out. I found, um, was it two more samples? I don't think I did show earlier on, so I want to show them. But the details on the screen for the template. Set number three, we did sell out earlier on. These are on extended from the 4th of October, so not long to wait at all. How many templates do we get all together, Liz? 17. 17. Yeah. 17. So you can make your waterfalls, you can make your flip-outs, you can make your game folds, your little pockets. Uh, you'll have to make your own tea stained paper though because Liz's dad is too busy and it's raining he can't hang any more on the washing line just yet. Put yeah, some hot radiator. Does it have to, so what does he do when it's raining? <laughs> does he do? Oh no he's got his system yeah. He's got his own pegs for them for outside. He has a washing Same. line for them yeah his own pegs. Little peg basket for him yeah. Oh look at this as well. Oh. So I'll be doing that this afternoon the flip flap one. You? Yep yep. Oh, make sure just, you've got yeah. your templates now. So that's and then from, you can yeah, that's the from the watch. very first set of templates. That's the little trifold journaling card, that one from set so, one. So, for anybody that's got set one and set two, set all three, everything, they'll together. all work together. All work together, oh, yeah. Wow. I've done you it don't so want to miss all, out, do you Yeah, then? everything mixes and matches. Your stamp sets from earlier all mix and match, yep. I just I tied this one back up because I feel I should when somebody's gone to so much effort. But, but I do like lovely. unwrapping them. It's like unwrapping a Christmas <laughs> present every single time. That acetate being used on the front there as well. Let me just separate that a little bit. Do have a look at that. Make sure you go for that because you get the template as well. The little stencil, which I'm sure we'll see later. Yes, yeah, I'll be using oh, look, that. Look yeah. at all the accessories that you get in the templates. The little sliders, absolutely beautiful. Um, I do remember this was one of Jill's as well, wasn't yeah. it? Who's done all the books behind me? Are they all from I, the first and Jill, Shelley and Rachel again. So Everybody, I've, yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. involved all the Beautiful. time. Beautiful, yeah, yeah, they've just been amazing. Wow. Um, just look what we've got yeah. here in the studio. Now this tells you straight away how much the ladies have enjoyed working with the templates, regardless of which set it is. You can see so much care and attention has been put into making them, and there's just so many of them. I really do feel it's going to be very, very, very addictive. You will use these in your cards as well, won't you? Absolutely. I mean, you can use accessories yeah. inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of the features, yeah, you can yeah. use them as, a, you know, um, to make interactive cards. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. if you're a paper crafter with no die cutting machine, you cannot go wrong with these. If you've, even if you've got a die cutting machine, as I said earlier, very portable, so maybe you want to take your crafts away with you. You can't always take the die cutting machine. They're heavy, they're bulky, you've got your dies. You know, these are just perfect. Twenty-four ninety-nine. New today is set number 3008. 023 is the item number. So just as a reminder as to what you can make, the gatefold album, the flip out journal, the mini mini book, and of course you've got the accessories that we've mentioned, the waterfall, the sliders, um, the little accessory that you've just seen uh, Liz make there as well. And it, you know, it just keeps giving, doesn't it? And if you have got those other sets, then I'm sure you're going to find many other ways of working with them as well. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen before two o'clock because we do make sales in between the shows so make sure you grab what you need now then you can sit comfortably at two o'clock zero zero eight zero two three over on the website that's where you'll find all those beautiful papers as well which is your favorite can you choose do you know do a lucky dip it doesn't matter they're all beautiful your glues are there your paints are there stencils don't forget you have got the acetate as well and don't forget about lizzie's stamps i'm sure we'll see more of those later on this afternoon oh liz that was really enjoyable thank you i enjoyed that can we go and play bingo now uh, yeah, we can make some Let's numbers up. Yeah, we'll Let's make some things find up. Dabbers, or yes. Dabbers. <laughs> you dabber. Oh, dabber. Oh, dabber. Oh, this looks interesting. Coming up next, Susie B Fabrics. Then we've got Thrifty Thursday Happy Hour, and then Stamperia One Day Special, of course. Hi, I'm Julia Watts from Fairy Hooks. 
Berry Hugs are a small family-run company based in Miami Beach in Florida, specializing in high-quality photopolymer stamps. Our stamp designs include fairies, dragons, under the sea, animals, foliage, everything you need to make your own scenes. Berry Hug started in September 2020 and was born out of the children's love of everything magical and mystical. On our shows on the craft store, we we'll aim to demonstrate how easy it is for you to create your own magical scenes. So please join me for the Fairy Hug shows on the craft store. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet lots of really inspirational people. And that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something uh, that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leona Loose show is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. Um, I get to work with loads of really cool brands, um, loads of fantastic products. And again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful um, viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leona Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. They will definitely have something for you to craft with and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Good morning, welcome back. Right, okay, well, we are back again with another Fabric Hour, uh, and this time, again, we have the fabulous Susie Duncan with us. Good morning again. Good morning. And we have a suit, just to confuse things, we yes. now have a Susie, but a Susie B. Yes, different spelling. And not B as in the initial B. But it's B as in buzzing B. As in buzzing B. So who's Susie B? So Susie B is actually Susie Bleasby. Okay. Um, and she's a Canadian artist of phenomenal talent, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. But she uh, started life drawing murals in a children's hospital to oh, try wonderful. and cheer the patients and their relatives up yeah. and give them something positive yes. within the environment to think of. Um, and Having done one wall, she then was asked to do the wall on the opposite side and then the wall on the other corridor and it snowballed from oh, okay. there. And then she decided, why don't I just launch the fabric? So Clothworks and Susie got together and this is the result. Wow. This phenomenal What a lovely, cloud. lovely um, oh, story. What yeah, a lovely really way lovely. to start as well, isn't it? It's beautiful. You're going to love it. And actually, there are bees absolutely everywhere let me tell you now we're actually starting up here now you would think hang on a minute that's lions there but i hope you can see uh, above the cubs there there are some bees buzzing around there as well so this is leon this is leon the lion with the little cubs as well now with this you get the fabulous fabric panel but you also get, he says, releasing it from the background, you also get this half metre of gorgeous coordinating fabric, which, guess what, has bees. You don't see bees, do you, from that kind of distance, but Susie will get us closer and we'll spot the bees in there, will we not? There you go. There they are. Dotted in and out. And what's so fab is that they're in all directions. They're buzzing around everywhere. So it makes great use of your fabric. Superb. Oh, oh, 
It might be. What? Yes, it's might a metre fabric. It is. It's, it's a metre of fabric, so I beg look. your pardon. It's a massive amount of fabric. I love that. So this that. is half of it. Yeah. So this is the And full. there's more. So if you wanted to back that panel, yes, and you just could. do a simple bagging out panel. Very easily, you couldn't can you? You can do it. <gasps> what a lovely snuggle blanket. Oh, no. <gasps> that would be amazing, or wouldn't play it? Play blanket. Anything like that. Yeah. Mural for your wall. Cot blanket. You definitely Anything. want to, wouldn't you? You, do, I think actually, what you would want to do. Yeah. <gasps> what an amazing idea, right? Go okay. On, so, so you can put on. your batting. Yes. I, I'm not quite sure how you construct this. You'd have to work this okay. out. But you could kind of um, quilt it. So use yes. a batting. But I would also, I would want to create a big pocket. So stitch right the way around the lion yeah. itself and then stuff and make slightly more 3D the lion. Yeah, well, if you've got two panels, you could do that because you could use a secondary panel to do that. Or you could... Or you could do a plain fabric on the inside, yeah. could you? Yeah, or you, yes. do that? Uh, yeah, you, well, you, under your batting, you put your plain fabric anyway. Yeah. But you could always... Um, There's a way, though, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is. You could snip into the back back fabric and add in the extra stuffing I would definitely after want you've quilted to do that. and that would pillow look it at out. Him. He's a real handsome fellow. And look at all of the all of the kids. They look just, at I all love the, kids. the one with the crown on his head. He looks That's so superbly the sunshine. And, but really confident, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm the cat's whiskers. I mean, it's just such And those good fun. bees, by the way, there's no, no danger of them stinging because they've got big smiles on their faces as well. Yeah, and no stings. So they're all friends. <laughs> they are. It's just oh, so cute. Oh, I love cute. it. It is so the cute. cutest, isn't it? Yeah. So there is Susie B. Lion. Leon, Lion, Leon the Lion. Oh, I see. That's why you read that earlier, Ross, wasn't it? As yeah. Lion the Lion. Yeah. It's Leon the it's Lion. It's Leon the Lion. I see. With a metre of that coordinating fabric which is beautiful and again you could use that because of course the colors do coordinate beautifully with the um, with the fabric as you yes. can see but also you could use that for entirely different projects if you wanted to that just colored in really really yeah. nicely um, with the panel itself that is adorable and i think you should check it out straight away if you want my advice for what it's worth 334207 is your item number for that one then and it is 28 pounds and 50 pence on an introductory price there with the extra meter of fabric now next up next up i have lou the you <laughs> i just love it don't you just love the name let me just tuck this back in behind so we can see that uh, to its full effect because this is just delightful i absolutely love this look I think Lou might be the one on top, do you think? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think Lou's I think. on top. Oh, of course, he's going to be in charge. Yeah, naturally, naturally. And, and he's actually, I think Lou is trying to fly like the bees. Do you think? She's like, right, I want to I want to know what it feels like to be as high as you are. I might not be able to fly, but I can get the height in there it's by cool. standing on these two. And the others are looking around going, oh, glad that's not me. I can just stand here and carry on chomping. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine by me. Look at all of the U's that are around the border as well. I think this is brilliant. Well, I say border. It's like, you know, sort of a third of the panel, really, isn't it? Is this... So y you could easily um, take out that centre of yes. the, the panel and use that as a feature and then utilise this amazing backdrop. It's wonderful, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's amazing and really good. And what I really love about the Su Susie Bleasby's designs is that she clearly has got, I want to make the world smile at her heart. Yes. Because it doesn't matter what age you are, yeah. these make you smile. Yes. They are such, they're cute, but <laughs> they're fun <laughs> it's cute. It's brilliant. Whatever age you are, you see a different aspect of it. Yeah. And it's a great talking point for children. I mean, if you are going to create these into play mats, there's so much on there to talk about with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. It's, a, it's a good educational thing as well. Do you know what? I think, and, and it would be an awful, in a way, it would all be a terrible waste, in a way. But I always think, like, there are certain children where bedtime isn't fun. It can be mm. like a pressure point in the day. It can yes. cause all kinds of angst. If you had a blind that at bedtime revealed that image, yep. I just think that would be the cutest and the sweetest thing. I don't even know what that... That came straight into my heart, yeah. that message. Because I just it. thought, 
Yeah. You know, like bedtime can be, it can be a stressful time yes. for parents and for the well, children as well. Well, children never want to miss out on fun, so why no. would you want to go to bed? No, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you also have your coordinating um, fabric as well. Is it a metre again, our Ross? Yes. Yeah, okay, fabulous. So again, that's very, very sunny, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yellow spot. And actually, this would go with any of the other panels as well. Yes, because so it would go really nicely with Leon would, as well, And it, it would yeah. go with Bill and Bob as well. So yeah. The, that's the other thing that's so fabulous about this collection. They all work together. The colourways in them all work together. So if you've got bits and bobs left over from other projects, you can marry them all together in a patchwork and create things with them. That but is just the, yellow the sweetest. Spots, such a lovely fabric to work with. And it's a massive, yeah. massive panel as and well, the, isn't it? So all I've done with my sample yeah, yeah, yeah. at the back here is simply taken the whole thing... Yeah and then just done a simple bagging out, which mm -hmm. I'll explain if we have time in the yeah, demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just done very simple quilting. Mm -hmm. I hate free motion quilting. Really? Because it, it's so out of my comfort zone. Right. But I have managed to do some on here. Not brilliant. It's oh. not... I'm not good at it. But I've also hand-stitched as well. So I've embroidered round the... Um, oh, so you follow the petals. Cushion, so yeah. I just follow. But that's the great thing. You don't actually have to do any of that. You'd need right. to do one, at yeah, least, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. to secure the wadding in place. Yes, yeah, so it so doesn't shift So when you washed around. it, it yeah. won't move. But you don't have to do all the fancy-nancy stitching around it. You can just do hand sewing if you want to. You can do nothing at all after you've so done that secure So are you very, stitch. very, when it comes to quilting then, you're very neat and ordered and oh, it's straight lines yeah. and everything else? I am the mathematical oh, quilter. Oh, well, see, I'm, I'm glad that this has yeah. eased you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, it's quite scary. I had to have two cups of tea to do that. Did you? <laughs> well, well done, because it looks fabulous. It really Thank does. You. And you can't even appreciate it on camera. It's one of those you really need to see with your own two eyes, actually. It looks brilliant. Right, so that is... Uh, Lou the U, yep. uh, so that's the, the big panel plus the metre of the um, fabric to go with it as well. And you've got to meet these two. You've yes. got to come and meet these two because uh, they are such fun. Now, again, it's the same kind of thing. So it's the panel here, uh, but Susie's done a sample just from the centre um, of the panel with the... with um, which, which is the fabric? Ah, the fabric is from our... Pick and mix, isn't it? Oh, no, it's from one of our bundles, it's, which is yeah, coming up, Yeah, it's one of the CZBs, yeah. Yeah, the binding. Yeah. Um, this is Bill and Bob. Now, that's just the centre um, of the Bill and Bob panel there. Aren't they brilliant? Aren't they fantastic? Now, you can imagine straight away in that, you know, in that children's ward or whatever, yeah. an image like that is just superb, isn't it? Yeah. They're great fun. They're smiling away at each other. Um... The bees are in the image as well. In fact, let's go to the panel, shall we? Because in the panel, you've got so much more going on. I love that sample, by the way. It's absolutely beautiful. But look, look at what's in the panel. It's a huge amount going on yeah. there. So you've got that feature image in the centre. Plus, well, how many other bits and pieces have you got there to go at? We've got eight. It's wonderful. Eight other pieces. So um, I've got so many projects that I want to do with this. Look at these two. <laughs> yeah, so the vertical... I know, those. I mean, I want to... Do, so the, the first thing I want to do is to make a activity book with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. those, the cuddling Bill and Bob, yeah. are going to be my centrefold yeah. um, of my book. And then I've got the six-inch panels either side. And that's the great thing. Everything is the same set of... Mm -hmm. um, Measurements, so you can mix and match oh, okay. really easily. So I can have those two centres on the outside of my book and the back of my book, and then the centrefold would be my cuddling Bill and Bob. And you've got the vertical ones, which would make great height charts. These, in an, yes, they in a would, playroom they? or on a door. Um, yes, how many just, Bills and Bob's yeah. friends have you got Are to you? this week? Yeah. Oh, that's very amazing, <laughs> so wouldn't cool. it? Do you know what this would be really good for as well? Actually, I was just thinking, if you've got things like... Um, alphabet dies and whatever, yes. you could make really, really nice sort of motivational phrases yep. for your children. Take one of those images there. You know, you might say something like, sometimes it's good to spend time just, you know, on your own or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like motivational things. Yeah. Friendship is really important. Things like yep. that. And have that as constant Absolutely. positive yep. affirmations. Yeah. Um, in a child's life. I think that's such a good thing. Yeah. Listen to me, I sound like I a don't get you. Therapy. sound educational Therapy this morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning on a craft show. You've also got yeah. 
your meter piece of your coordinating fabric there yeah. as well, which is very, very nice indeed. It is Love the that. exact same fabric as the yeah, as surround. The so yeah. you can continue that border out if you wanted to, and it m would look almost seamless. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? 81040 is your item number, £28.50 for the panel and the one meter piece as well. Let's go to the website and swipe left and swipe right and show you everything that's there. All the panels are there. And the bundles that we're about to show you as well from Susie B. Um, plus, we've got a really, really big pick and mix to go at while we go down the counter as well. So you might want to shop ahead for that as well. Everything going out for you on the 7th of October, which I do believe is a week today. It's a week today. Tomorrow, folks, it's October. Whoop, whoop. I know. Frightening, isn't it? It's nearly Halloween. October, it's nearly Halloween again. It's nearly I know, which means it's not too far to you know where. Halloween, my uh, birthday. Yeah, and my birthday as well. Yeah. Is it? Is your Hall birthday on Halloween? No, I'm in November. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah. When? 22. <gasps> 10th, I'm first. Uh. Hooray. And I know I'm older. Uh, I bet anyway. you're not. <laughs> uh, we'll have that discussion later. Maybe off camera, <laughs> eh? Just to check. Uh, right. No, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm older. Right, so we've got some coordinating fabrics uh, for you right now in bundles. So you get three half metres in here, and actually, um, Susie used this yellow one yes. from this bundle um, to bind the Bill and Bob. Bill and Bob? It is. Bill yeah, and Bill Bob. and Bob. I know, because you want to say Bill and Ben, don't you? I know, I couldn't think of their yeah. names then. No, it's Bill and Bob. Yeah, they're not flower pot men at all, are they? No, they're ducks. Bob suits a duck, doesn't it? Bob the duck, yeah. Because they bob up and down on the water. They do. See? I wonder if our uh, Hayley Smith has a bob, because she has lots of ducks. Has she? She's got a Frank, who's a girl. But, you yeah, know, that's another story. Yeah, but you can get Frank. Frankie is a girl's name. Oh, that's true, yeah, but I don't think it was the original intention. Oh, OK. I All think right. they thought, oh, Frank, you know, fine, upstanding man. And it turned out to be a girl. OK. And she's yeah. had many chicks. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> that's the world of Hayley Smith. Anyway, in the meantime... <laughs> We have got your, bees. yeah, your bees. Bees, bees and bees again in yes. three fabulous colours that are, I wouldn't describe them as pastel, but they're slightly softer, but they're ever so touchy-feely. I'd call them they're, ice cream colours. Yeah, they're so kind of... So you've got your um, clotted cream vanilla, you've got your pistachio, and you've got your blue raspberry. Oh, blue raspberry? Apparently there are blue raspberries. Are there? Who'd have thought? Well, there you go. Yeah. That's the days of... Uh... But it's multi-directional, which, as a sewer, means I don't waste anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, nothing is wasted. So if you'd like that bundle then, it's three half metres for you. Uh, in the, the green, the blue, and that lovely sort of mm, Devon custard to me. It, it is, is. It's lovely. Yes. 076812 yeah. is your item number for that one, and it's £22.25. and pence. Now, next up, to go with Bill and Bob... <gasps> These are adorable. If you get in the panel, you really want to go for this bundle as well. They're really, really cool. Um, so you've got two very Bill and Bob um, uh, fabrics, as you can see, which are almost like, I mean, one of them's almost like a mini version of the yeah. panel all over again, isn't so, it? Oh, you've got it there. Yeah, you? I have. So I'm going to hold it out. Yeah. And I know I'm holding it the wrong way, but I wanted yeah. you to see how it lays on the fabric. So you've got your border pieces running along the selvage edges. Yeah. Which means, if you cut it in half, you have got an instant border. Yeah. But how great would that be as a notice board? Mm -hmm. Because you've got your detail down the bottom and you can stick all your notices up here. Just That's put it, really stretch it over idea. a frame, put a bit of ribbon to hold it. Yeah. and away you go. I mean, they are just so cute. Yeah, you have your little wooden pegs out on it yeah. and everything, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I can see it. I can see it. Now, what's the other Bill and Bob so fabric? Because that's a very busier fabric, isn't it? it lots is. of Bills now, and lots of Bobs. Now, this is hilarious. I have to say, oh, I just love the characters in this. Again, multi-directional. Um, but you've got, in a, in a swimming ring, Oh, Duck yeah. in a swimming ring. I yes. mean, how cool is that? You've got yeah, yeah. little Bill and Bob on the back here, running around. Oh. You've got um, <laughs> all the characters with their sticks. But you've got the leaf details. So again, fussy cutting, small scale. This will work as well. You don't have to, you know, you can use it in much smaller pieces than you have been used for the panels absolutely and then you've got a blender which is like this lovely sort of peachy tone so this is the same spot motif as the yellow that we saw with lou the U. yeah um but in this lovely rich warm 
peachy orange. It's it's not a pumpkin orange, it's a real peachy orange, isn't it? But it coordinates so well and makes the everything else, especially the greens, really pop from those fabrics when you put them together. Great as a binding because you've got lots going on. Definitely. They are lovely. Again, three half metres there for you. Uh, so you've got the blender, if you like, and then two billabobs. Uh, £22 and 25 pence. 402389 is your item number. Now we've got a bundle to go with uh, Lou the U. And it's Lou the U in many, many different um, guises <laughs> and colours. Lou the U uh, has been the most popular panel as well, by the way, so far. So I'm you'll absolutely surprised. love these. Absolutely beautiful. I love this one because it's almost like a slightly sort of pistachio, but a very, yeah. very minty um, pistachio kind of yeah, background, background. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. So this is definitely a Where's Wally, but it's Where's Lou. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spot Lou. I mean, <laughs> It's just so, such fun, Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? I would love to do, if my children were still young enough to be at school, I would love to do them book bags and PE bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, out of this sort of thing. Yeah. It's just so good. Also, for, for me, bag lining. Yeah. I would love a bag lining. I know, how bonkers would that be? You could have the most glamorous looking back on the outside and then all Lou the U on the inside. On that the would inside. be amazing. It would just be in so, fact, well, it's this... like, where is all my stash? Because yeah. everything you put in a bag disappears, doesn't it? So yeah. it's like, where has it gone? Definitely. Yeah. And this one, uh, yeah, the, again, so it's a similar kind this of, one yeah. So this one is I love, it's very Lou mysterious. Lou soap suds, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like I've had a bubble bath and I've just disappeared yeah. and all you can see is my face. Yeah, or all my friends have been sheared and I'm just poking my head yeah. out of the, the big It's just such fun. Pile. But I, I would use this as a blender. Now this one is direct, well these three are directional, so you do have to be careful about how you're cutting oh, it. Oh yes, because their faces are all one way, aren't they? But yes. I just think these are just such fun to they use. are brilliant listen these are going to walk themselves out of the door so do be quick <laughs> oh if you pardon the pun um just very 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 quick on these three six nine seven seven nine is the item number 22 pounds and 25 pence for those three half meters now we're moving on something completely and utterly different now this is what this is sweet bees Yes. This bundle here. So it's very it's a departure from everything that we've seen so far, actually, other than the common thread is the bees that are going through, uh, which you can see very, very obviously on this fabric, um, but th they take a little bit more finding in this yeah, fabric. I so love it, though. This is the wildflower meadow with the bees pollinating and finding all their food. And you've got a queen bee in here sitting on oh, one yeah, of the she flowers. Has a crown, She's got yeah. a little crown yeah, on yeah, her. Yeah. But because it's such a small scale print, it means it opens up the door for binding because if you go really small scale, you get lots of detail. So that would be fabulous as a mm. binding. But you can also do your English paper piecing, your fussy, I mean, can you imagine fussy cutting one of the queen bees as a central piece for an English paper piece thing? Yes. It would just be amazing. Definitely. Cover a button with one of the bees. Yeah. All the flowers. That Do you know would just what I've noticed so cool. as well? I love her use of black in fabric. Yes. It doesn't always work, no. but I quite like it because it's quite selective and it's and it and it's quite sort of here and there, which I really really like. But in a floral, you wouldn't if you said I'm going to make a floral fabric and I'm going to use quite a bit of black, it would sound wrong when yes. you say the yeah, words. It but actually, it looks phenomenal. Yeah, it does, not it but it makes the other flowers pop out especially when you've got the centers of flowers so you could even add beading into this but just could, again yeah. this just stretched over a canvas or stretched over a board bit of wadding underneath and quilt um, or just tag ribbon over it to make a notice board would be such fun yeah, for a child's really, really nice. playroom yeah it's lovely the Horses. other two fabrics in this one then you've got this lovely this is really really so this nice this is the same B print yeah as the other three colours, but this is the white version. These three. Oh, that the ones had. that we started yes. with. And so the first bundle, this yes. is the same this B. This is the same B, but, but in on a white different coloured background. background. Oh, I see. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Um, and then the third fabric, love this, because again, this is this lovely sort of soft, I want to call it custard colour again. It's really, it is really a custard, lovely. Isn't yeah. It? yeah. Um, but there's lots Proper of kind custard. of. Um, Nice phrases on this as well. Queen yeah, yeah. bee, be yourself, be kind, be my sunshine, be strong. There's lots in there. Lovely, yeah. isn't it? So I think this would be, because they go in opposing directions, 
means you could do strips of this and this would be like an inspirational border. You know how you were saying you'd you'd want words yeah, to affirmations. boost. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you could use this for that, but equally it would work as a binding, it would work as sashing really well, but in its own right it works as a fab bit of fabric. Joyous, isn't it? And it they go is. really beautifully together. So again, there's that bundle there for you, which is 696107 is your item number there. Uh, £22.25 for that. Right, OK, now we've got a big lot to go at over here uh, because we have one of the biggest fabric pick and mixes I think I've seen in a long, <laughs> long time, let me tell you. And this will be... Uh, first past the post, I think, to be honest, because I can see us losing options very, very quickly out of these. Uh, so I'll go through your names uh, extremely quickly, if that's OK. I'm going to go through them one by one. So we've got Regular Dot Lime, which is your first one. I'm going to whiz through these relatively quickly. Then we've got Regular Dot Lilac. Then Tonal Dot Light Blue. And then... Squiggles medium grey, <laughs> squiggles white, squiggles aqua, sunburst dot orange, sunburst dot soft green, swirls turquoise, swirls coral, swirls bright purple, and then Leon tossed medium green and Leon Tost Aqua. Now the Tost reference is um, just a reference to a smaller scale because you've seen the Leon um, uh, uh, doodah, haven't you, panel? panel? And this is smaller images of, of Leon, um, but, the, <laughs> but the <laughs> it's like they've just taken lots of images and gone whoosh, onto some fabric. So it's so that's the reference, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's what they mean by tossed. Yeah. Yes, which is good. <laughs> they use that phrase quite a lot in this range, don't they? It's, but yeah, it's a fabric terminology. If you look through all of the different colours and all of the different patterns that you've got, you can see how they key in with what we've seen so far. Absolutely. Absolutely beautifully. Yep. Now, you pick a mix any two half metres here for 14.75, saving 1.75 there for you. This is all going out for you on the 7th of October, by the way, which is a week today. Right, best place to see absolutely everything and their weird and wonderful names is by going to the website right now, thecraftstore.com, so you can see all of the tonal dots and irregular dots and, and tossed leons and this, that and the other and swirls, blah, blah, blah. It's all there for you. Uh, so you can uh, have a nice little shop around there. This is just like fabric heaven, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Right, OK. So we've shown you everything that we've got on the show, and now it's time to show you a little bit of show. Now, you were talking about bagging out, weren't you, which we're going to see at some stage. Yes. What do you want to start with? Well, I'm going to start by... We're going to make a book pillow first. A book pillow? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So this is something I make a, I make a lot of these. Um, it's a great gift for a newborn or any little person or indeed any adult who likes reading to encourage reading. So it's a pillow, a cushion that you can sit against, but with a pocket in it so you can tuck your book inside it and oh. you've got it there to hand. Oh, that's a good idea. When you want to read. I think it's a really lovely idea Very and a good. really good present for people. And it's super easy to make. And we're going to make one right now. Well, people are getting their present list together right now. Absolutely. Even floor manager Maddie, I saw her writing her Christmas list this morning. I think, you know, everyone's, everyone's getting there. Yeah. So um, you need to, first of all, you'll need to cut your fabric to fit your cushion filler. I'm going to use a... Um, 18, I always buy a bigger filler than I make the, co the cover because then I get a nice puffy pillow. Oh, okay. If, so yeah. this, is gonna, this is a 16 inch I've cut here. So I would be putting a 17 inch pillow cushion inside when I've finished. Okay. So that's just my fabric. And this is the Tossed Leon I've used in the aqua colour, which is a really cool. And then I need two pieces to do a... And I'm going to do an envelope back because I don't like sitting on a cushion that's got a zip on it because invariably the zip oh, yeah, pokes, pokes you in the back, it. Yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Also, it's, you know, why would I want to put a zip on it? It's easier not yeah. to, isn't it? Absolutely. So let's get the backs underway and then I can continue that while you're doing a roundup before we do the pocket, okay, which okay. is very exciting. So 
the, the back needs to overlap and it needs to overlap a fairly decent amount. Now for this, when I do a book pillow, I always put my, my pocket at the bottom, uh -huh. but my envelope back runs vertically. So it cross it, they cross in the middle this way. Uh, okay, right. Yeah, so if you imagine this is the back, these two pieces are going to come across the back and fold yes. over that way, yeah. rather than horizontally. And the reason for that is, once you put a book in that pillow, you naturally stretch your pillow and it won't pull apart uh, when you, yes. you still get that wrap. Yeah. So for a 16 inch pillow, I actually cut my backing 10 inches um, wide. Mm -hmm. So there's a really good overlap between the two. I'm right. not going to see inside. So once you've got your pieces, you're going to choose the inside edge. So if it's a directional fabric, that's important to remember. And you're going to just do a double hem. So it's a quarter of an inch. You don't have to measure it. There are no, you know, no one's going to come around and measure it. If they do, then they don't get a book pillow, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so you just turn it down. And if you press as you go, you don't have to pin it as well. And I'm using a wall press mat as well, so I'm getting double whammy of heat because it uh -huh. reflects back up. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to turn it down by a tad more than quarter of an inch, probably nearer to half an inch. Again, I'm not measuring it, but it gives me just a slightly deeper hem. But again, if you press it as you go, it'll keep its place. And you're going to do that to the inside edge of both those pieces. So those those hems are the inside of the envelope, are yes. they? Yes, they're, so they're the, the bits where you'll, you'll, you'll stuff the yes. cushion inside. Yeah. So then what you're going to do with those, now you can clip those if you want. Now are my clips, have I got any clips left? I've got something in the, the guest room that I've clipped like crazy oh, to hold you? it in place. And I, So I'm down to three clips at the moment. There we go. So I would just clip that to hold it and then you're going to stitch down. Now you can either, you can do whatever you like. You can do a decorative stitch, you can do a straight stitch, you can do a double straight stitch, whatever you want to do. But the most critical thing is that you hold that down. So whatever you do, don't make it an inch down because it won't hold it. Okay. You want it within that half inch margin, okay. whatever so, stitch you choose to do. So uh, are you better going to the inside edge? It depends. Or? I mean, if you, it depends on your bobbin thread. If you've got the same colour top and bottom or a specific colour, then make sure if you're turning it this way, this yeah. will be your bobbin thread side, you'll see. Okay. So you want to make sure that the th side you want to see... Yeah. Um, um, sorry, this will be your top thread if you're sewing from this side. Yes. So you want to make sure your bobbin thread is the right colour for ah, seeing. Okay, right, but yeah, catch gotcha. If you, you can actually see through the fabric because there's a, sh a shade difference because you've got three layers here. Yes, yeah, you yeah. You can yeah. see there's a difference. Yeah. Especially when you start sewing because most sewing machines have a light that illuminates over your sewing area. So yeah. you can see that shade difference. Okay. But what I tend to do is just do a, a um, quarter inch sti a stitch all the way down and then okay. I know I've caught everything. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to do that. So what colour are you using? I've just got a neutral sort of just off white actually. Okay. Um, and my stitch length is set to what it pops up when you switch the machine on which is two and a half millimetres. Okay. Um, and I've got a 8012 needle in my machine that is a new needle of because course. it's a new project. New project, new needle. So you do listen. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. And because I, I know if I had a sewing machine, I, I wouldn't remember that. Yeah. But I know on telly. Everybody does it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. New project, new needle. New needle, yeah. And the um, I've still got a walking foot on here. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Uh, what was it? I've totally lost what I was going to say then. Oh, I haven't, I'm not reverse stitching at the beginning and the end. And the reason for that is because in a minute I'm going to use it, is sew it into another seam, so I don't need to. Yes, because this is, this is one of two, yes, because this will go on to the, 
in no yeah we're gonna the, the we're front. going to yeah we're gonna envelope wrap it yeah. so that is my first side done so that's going to go that way up okay and that's gonna that's giving me a nice neat edge gotcha to turn into yeah okay so i'm going to do the same with the other side okay shall i do that while you recap have you got you a can recap do. yes to do? i can, have I can have a look at these to do i can have a look at these fabulous paddles again can't i uh well we'll have a little look at uh at leon again oh i love this it's great i feel i feel like i'm it's like i'm doing housework here and keeping <laughs> everything nice and tidy it's fantastic um Okay, so Susie's using the other Leon um, fabrics, which are in the um, pick and mix right now, the, uh, the tossed ones with the smaller Leons. Um, this is the big panel, so you can get that uh, and coordinate. I'm sorry about that crinkle at the end. I can't get it out without a broomstick pole because it's too high for me. I would do it. I need one of those library ladders because that will drive me crazy. Um, oh, that so, would be so cool, though, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, really. I'd, I'd be wheeling up and down these counters like there's no tomorrow. Um, so there is Leon, the full panel. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, really, really nice. Again, you could take these borders out. You can make that smaller. You can scale it down. Um, there's lots that you can do with that. But what a happy, happy and joyful image there um, with the bees. Don't forget, with this, you also get your metre of that coordinating fabric. And listen, if you don't want to use this as a coordinating fabric, let's just walk this over here for a second. Um, you can see it's a fabric full of heart, and there are bees in that fabric as well. So the colours of that go really, really nicely with the Leon panel. But also, if you wanted that as a standalone fabric or a backing for a project that you make out of the panel, uh, then so much the better. I'm definitely getting up there later, I'm telling you that now. <laughs> there we go. That's probably about as good as I can do for now. So if you would like those two together, the panel and that metre of coordinating fabric, it's 337, sorry, 334207, and that is Leon the Lion <laughs> at £28.50. Right, OK, from Leon... We're going to Lou now, and Lou is down here. Lou is the U, and she's down here. I love the way everything's so poetic this morning. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, now, this is one fine panel, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Lou is there on the top. You've got the bees buzzing around there. There are other sheep in the background. It's quite a nice field. You could add to that as well. Imagine quilting around the shape of the, um, of the, the well, Lou and the other... Um, use sheep that are in there and the clouds and the bees um, you've got everything going on there you also have this wonderful meter of this gorgeous very very sort of sunshine yellow um, spot fabric is it called spot it's, it's called something else on the pick and mix I think isn't it, yeah, um, it was spot, wasn't it? is it spot is it random spot or something irregular, like that? Dot, irregular dot it's called that's right it. yes and it's lovely because it almost looks like because it looks quite crafted it looks like it's been sort of inked you know with yes. a little sponge sort of stencil yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like you've got been... the end of a yeah a tool and just yeah. dotted it on the end it's really, it's really gorgeous really cool. and i love the colors in there as well 619683 is your item number for both the panel and the meter of the uh, fabric as well 619683 is your item number and from lou the U, we go back to Bill and Bob. Oh, Bill and Bob. Sorry, I'm, I feel like I'm, I am doing housework here at the same time. <laughs> here are Bill and Bob. Now, there's Bill and Bob made up into a project there. That's the centre of, um, of the panel and the border. And using some of that uh, pick and mix fabric as well, just for the, um, for the binding there, which is just, that's beautiful, isn't it? You can quilt that in lots and lots of different ways. Now, let's go and have a look at the panel, because the panel has so much going on, let me tell you. Um, in fact, I just shimmy that fabric away for a second. Sorry, Hugh. There we go. Just to give you a better view of everything that's on the panel, because this is really cool. So you've got your feature here with Bill and Bob, um, and, and this one. We, I think we need to give this one a name as well, because we've got Bill and Bob, I take it, are these two, aren't they? Yes. And then yeah. who's the green duck? I have no idea. We need to, we need to give we that need to. one a name as well, because uh, I think they are brilliant. And look, how happy, how chirpy. Doug, this, Doug we were the talking duck. about... Huh? Doug the duck? Doug, yeah, Doug will do. <laughs> Doug, Doug the green duck. <laughs> Why not? Um, these borders here, and you get two of these, would make great height charts, uh, wouldn't they? They're brilliant. Well, it's better than just making a mark on the door, isn't it? It's yeah. a bit more elegant, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, also, if you move house, you can take it with you. 
That's very true. Because that's what annoyed me. Yes, you move out of your childhood house yeah. and you've lost that memory. Or you redecorate memory. and it's gone. That's it. Or you've got one side of your door that's very yellowed because <laughs> you've only yes. redecorated the other three. Yeah, and you don't want to you don't want to rub off that that yeah. mark of memory. Look at this. And again, I I think in a playroom or in a, in a child's bedroom, you know, actually underlining these images. Yes. With like affirmational messages, like uh, a, a, a friend indeed is a friend indeed. Or something like that, do you know what I mean? Or, you know, good friends should be forever. Or, or you know, yeah. you know something. I had yeah. better ideas earlier. And um, actually taking time out for you is fine. Yeah. I would go really nicely with that yeah. one. Because that feels... Sleeping works. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Nap as often as possible. Yeah. That would be a good one, wouldn't it, But really? not during school hours. But not, <laughs> yes, but not between the hours of nine and three. But Monday because they're six-inch squares those would make really good coasters or mug rugs yeah. as well so you could do some really cool projects i love it and you can see the border is this lovely um spot it yes. also comes with forgive me because over here is another meter a whole meter of this blue um irregular dot fabric as well which is lovely so you don't just get the panel you get more 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 810440 is your item number for that one for uh, bill and bob and Doug, uh, £28.50. Let's go back to the website then at thecraftstore.com because everything else you will find there, the pick and mix, you've got the bundles of the B fabrics and the Lou the U fabrics and the Bill and Bobs and the uh, flower fabrics there as well, the sweet bees, that's it, with the flowers. There's lots more on the show as well besides that, plus you'll, I'm sure, see some of our seven-day savers there as well. You'll find it all here at the craft store here are the pick and mix fabrics then so you've got your irregular dot fabrics your squiggles your sunburst your swirls and your leon toss fabrics as well uh, in green and in aqua leon toss sounds like a famous artist Yes, yeah, it, it? it does actually, yeah. An Italian Renaissance artist. <laughs> uh, anyway, Susie, how are you getting on? I'm good. So I've done both my, my back pieces. So now we're going to do the pocket. Okie dokie. So with the pocket, what I do, and this is just me, you can do your own thing by all means, um, is I cut the pocket same width as your pillow front and I cut it about two thirds of the height because you want to be able to get a book in here. It, you're not getting little things in. Books are quite substantial, particularly children's picture books. So you need quite a height to hold it. So I've gone for a nine inch, um, on, on a 16 inch pillow front, I've gone nine inch width mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. my pillow. Yep. So you cut that and then you're going to put some form of batting or fusible fleece yep. on the back to reinforce your pocket. What did you use? So this is actually um, fusible fleece, H640. Yeah. So um, it's going to stabilise my pocket. If you want to, you can do some quilting as well, but we'll do that once we've constructed our cushion if you wanted to. But there's also something else you can do, which I will talk about when we get there. Okay. So the, I also cut a piece the same um, width as the um, pillow front and my pocket front, but an inch higher. And the reason for that is we're going to create it with a faux binding. So this is binding without the stress, okay. so, which is always good on live TV. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you're going to take those two pieces and you're going to lay them right sides together, but line up one long edge. Don't worry about the bottom because that will sort itself out in a minute. Okay. The critical thing is that the tops are aligned. So again, if you've got directional fabric or you're using, say you've pieced in one of the Bill and Bob characters in yeah. here, uh -huh. make sure they're the right way up because otherwise it will be Bill and Bob standing on his head in okay. the pocket. Okay. So we're going to stitch up short side all the way along the top, down the other short side. And again, I'm just using a um, standard straight stitch on my machine and a quarter inch seam. So I'm just going to pin it to hold it because there's nothing worse when you're sewing than it, having a than it all shuffles. Yeah. And it's by the time you get the other side, you're you know fractions out. It's very irritating to have to undo. 
yes. scenes. Yes, and you've got your walking foot on at the moment as well. I have got my walking foot on. That's because I was quilting <laughs> earlier, <laughs> and I totally forgot to change it. But it's not the end of the world. It will still work. The number of times I, I sew with a walking foot on is not true. <laughs> Um, but you want a straight stitch for this. Don't don't start going fancy Nancy on your stitches at this point because you won't see them. OK. And when you get to the corner, one. you're going to put your needle down and stop, needle down and pivot. So I'm going to stop about as near as I can to a quarter inch away from the edge. Oh, I've gone too far. Let's go back one. Keep my needle down, swizzle it round, and off we go again. Taking out pins as we go so we don't run them over. I forgot to say that I cut my batting deliberately half an inch smaller because then I'm not uh, I'm not trying to sew through batting and I don't get bulky seams. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is now I learnt a new trick this week. Oh, tell which, me, tell me. Well, normally I would clip these corners right up to the as near as I dare to the stitch line to yeah. get a good fold, but I saw this brilliant hack on that well-known internet site. Yeah. Yes. that I thought was superb, so I'm going to share it with everybody. OK. Um, and I'm just trying to find... First rummage through bag. Yeah, first rummage <laughs> through bag. Right, so instead of clipping the corners, if you take your corner and push a finger, whichever you prefer, up into that corner and fold down with the other finger, following the stitch line to make a a neat fold, a pointy fold. Yeah. Yeah, can you yeah. see? Yeah, gotcha. Then put your hand inside where you're turning, because we're turning this through. Grab that point that you've just made yeah. and pull it. When you pull it through, it actually pulls through with a really neat point. Oh, will you do it again with the other one? I'm going to. <laughs> Only because I yeah. think we, we missed the very start of right. it, I think. So, I've got my one finger up in that corner. Right. Doesn't matter which finger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to know. Fold, yeah. <laughs> fold using the stitch line as my guide. Yeah. Fold it in across the stitch line. So you're creating a sort of origami corner. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold that with one hand. Yes. While you put your finger in the other. Oh, I've let go. Yeah. Finger in and grab it from the inside. So I don't know if anyone's ever put a duvet cover on inside out. Yes, I always. Yeah, and always. then turn it through. Well, yeah. this is exactly the same procedure. So ah, when you bring it through... It's already got that crispness. It's already got that crisp point, and you don't see the bulk. It's just incredible. It's a game changer That's for me. That's clever. It's a game changer. It's brilliant. So then you can just push out the rest of the Isn't that weird, because bagging seams. out is like putting the duvet... Inside on the duvet, the duvet cover, cover. Yeah. and yet we've never thought of that before. No. There you go. See? See, Every day for learning. It is. You have to be in Susie's world to come up with these weird <laughs> and wonderful <laughs> analogies. So are you, you going to make a YouTube video now and pass me? that off as an Can original you, idea? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It was so not my idea. <laughs> it was, but I think it's a fabulous idea. And I wish I could have credited who it was, because, but there was no name to it, which oh. is a shame. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a fab hack. Love that one. Definitely going to use that one from now on because, as you can see, I always lose my turny tool. It's such a fine little thing and it's disappeared on me. So I'm, all I'm doing now is rolling out those seams so I get a nice seam. Um, but what I want to do is to create that faux binding. So having done that, what I'm now going to do is bring these bottom edges together. So, oh, you know what I've done? Oh, what have you done? I've been really daft. You're not supposed you... to sew the sides yet. Ah. 
There is no brain cell here. So you don't sew the sides, ladies and gentlemen. Just the top? Just the top. Right. Because then the next bit will have worked, but this won't. So I need to do some unpicking. That's fine, <laughs> I need to do something over here. So that's, that works out absolutely I perfectly can't for me. I I did that. It's fine, I've got your back. It's not a it's problem. It's good. Uh, right. OK, let me do some reminders, first of all, shall we? Uh, let's talk about, yes, let's talk about this, which is your half-metre bundle of these fabulous bee fabrics here, which are, again, they are just beautiful. You've got that lovely sort of light pistachio green. You've got that gorgeous, gorgeous sky blue, which is very, very uplifting in a happy colour. And then you've got this really sort of, mm, Devon custard it is for me, or lovely vanilla ice cream. Oh, mm. lovely. With the bees going through all of them. The bees have all got their happy little faces. This is multi-directional as well, I do believe. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, yeah. Um, so you can go in any which way uh, you want to and use that, of course, with the panels or as a standalone, if you've got a bit of an idea uh, for this. 076812 is your item number for those 22 pounds and 25 pence so they are the signature to the Susie B uh, range of course having the, uh, the the bees in there next up we've got the Bill and Bob bundle that's a lot of bees isn't it this is lovely oh and Doug's in there as well yeah we've decided that the green duck is Doug um, they've got the bees so that and, and these are lovely because this is the way you've got kind of two borders um, on this on both ends which is lovely then you've got this beautiful irregular spot in kind of like a do they call what do they call this color um ross officially because it's for orange, me it's like a peachy it? orange it's yeah. beautiful coral coral yeah yeah, yeah coral comes in lots and lots of different colors so yeah that's one of the one of the alliterations and then this is brilliant fabric this one uh, so this is your is this your bill and bob toss or toss bill and bob Oh, it hasn't got a name on it, this one. Uh, but, yeah, that's, I imagine, what they will call oh, it. Oh, I can imagine so. Because they're all over the place in lots and lots of different <laughs> directions, uh, which is it's lovely. It's just so, such fun. It is. Such they are fun. brilliant. They just make you smile. Can you imagine making a swimming bag out of that? Yeah, especially one, the, the one there with this little like, life ring, rubber ring thing. I think uh, I might around. have to make myself a swimming bag out of it for, they the, are for my holiday. Sweet. You don't, <laughs> do, do you go swimming in the cold water? Um, well, we go swimming in the sea when we go down to Oof. North Cornwall, but oh. I don't think I should be swimming in a canal, do you? No, probably not. There probably you go. We're sorted. Not. We're sorted. You'll see a few ducks in there. Um, so this bundle with um, Bill and Bob is £22.25 then, so that's those three half metres there together, 402389 is the item number. I'm just going to carry on. I'll be, I'll be back. No, it's fine. I'll be back. It's fine. Um, Lou the U. This is the Lou the U bundle, so again, three half metres here, and this is, this is a little bit like Where's Wally, but for Lou the U, which is really, really nice. Uh, Lou in her soap suds, and then you've got the two versions there of the, yeah, it is like a Where's Wally kind of fabric, isn't it, really? But with lots of U's. Uh, and you've got one which is in a lovely pistachio and one in a sky blue. So those three together, 22 25 as well. This is all going out for you on the 7th of October, by the way, which is a week today, 369779. And then we have got the Sweet Bees, and these are really, really lovely. I love, love, love these. Uh, beautiful, nice floral there with the little black flowers as well. And I was just thinking when you were talking about beading and decorating these, getting some little sort of crystal bicones mm. and, and getting those into that fabric. Then you've got the bees which are busily dotting around that lovely sort of slightly off-white there. Um, and then... This one, which again is beautiful, lots of lovely flowers and the buzzing bees and the little little motivational words as well. Be strong, be yourself, queen bee, busy bee, be my sunshine, etc, etc. Three half metres there, £22.25. Now, so you just sew the top. Just sew the top. That's where we were. <laughs> That's where we were. Um, but at least you got to see my new hack. Yes, that, so exactly. It was done for purpose. It was purpose. worth it for that. Yes. So now what I've done is just flipped my lining over and lined up the bottom edges. Ah, uh, okay. So now I so get that foam binding. this is our binding, binding without the fat. Exactly. So then you want to press it. Give it a good press. And you can then go on to do top stitching to hold it in place. You can do quilting. You can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to do a quick top stitch just to hold it. You can stitch in a ditch, you can do zigzag, you can do anything that you fancy. Stitch in the ditch. 
That That's was, the you know, most undignified phrase there yeah. is in sewing. And do you know it's one of the hardest things to do as well? Yes, it is, because it's hard to keep on track, isn't it? It is, really because hard. Because the ditch disappears underneath the, the foot um, of the machine, I'm just, doesn't it? I'm going to switch to doing a... You're doing a zig fancy? No, I'm just going to do a zigzag, actually. Oh, okay. um, but I want it a bit wider. Not too wide, that'll do. Right, so we're just going to do a zigzag stitch. Why if you're looking for a sewing machine, by the way, worth checking in on our website. Obviously, we don't have this machine. This is Susie's own machine, I think. Um, yeah, it is, yeah. But we have, I think, the Britannia sewing machines. I think it's the, is it the T65? Oh, do we have it this weekend? Do we? Oh, OK. Maddie, you're amazing as a floor manager. How on earth do you know that? Uh, we, look, I think we have a, a, a show for the Britannia over the weekend, our Maddie is saying, on Saturday. The TX. Something like that, she says. <laughs> oh, it's the Juki. Yes, of course. Dar Juki. Gary's in, isn't he, on Excellent. Saturday? With the Juki, yes. It's a one day special on Saturday night. Have I given away too much now? Well, mm. I know what I shall be trying to do on Saturday night then. Tuning in? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, right, I'm going to cut my ends so I don't have too many threads going on. Right, so I've positioned that over the top of my front at the bottom edge and lining up the bottom edges. Now, if you aren't happy about leaving, and I've just realised I haven't, I need to take half an inch off my edge so, of my piece, which I can quickly do because I can fold it in half and just take half an inch off. It's all right, we've still got three and a half minutes. Oh, easily it's done. Fine. Then. Easily done. You I just need three to of those. Ruler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't believe I've made about three of these this week in my head. Is, <laughs> what is going on, Suze? What is going on? You've had a busy week in fairness, haven't you? It's been a tremendous week. And we still another show at one o'clock, yeah. haven't we? Yes. What are we doing at one o'clock? We're doing batiks at one o'clock. Oh, we are, yes. Yes, right, I haven't seen go. them That's yet. That's taken half an inch off. So we're at the right size now. It's because I... Um, I decided I was going to do a different size than I'd planned. There you go. So it all lines up. If you want to, you can just do a basting stitch, but do that an eighth of an inch so it, it'll be within your seam allowance. Okay, yeah. But I don't. I pin or clip. Um, if, if you had enough. If I had enough. Of, but e of each. Of each, but I, it's fine. As long as I've got that bit held down, that's fine. And okay. I can put pins in the bottom here. Are we sewing all three them. sides this time? No, we're not sewing anything yet. Oh, OK, right. So now you're going to bring in those backs that you've made and you're going to place them on as well. So I'm going to put one, line up your sides. Ah, yes. This is yeah? the envelope. Yeah. This is my envelope. And I have, I needed to chop off the top as well. But Two I'll just ignore minutes. that. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to stitch that one and the same this side. Remember, these are right sides down, overlapping one another. Yeah. We're just going to quickly pin those in place. Now, where they overlap, I would double stitch normally. Right, just because they'll get just the most absolutely. pull or Wear and stretch tear. when you're putting the uh, yeah. cushion pads in. The other tip I've got is pin, put a pin in the middle as well. Yeah. Because then nothing's going to shuffle about in the middle. And I've pinned there, so I'm going to lift that pin and bring it up to there. Okay, and we then stitch quarter of an inch or half an inch, it's up to you, all the way round, no breaks. Okay. Okay. We're not going to have time to do that. Oh, okay. I, do you know what? I, I looked into your eyes there and I thought, is she going to? Is well, she going to? Well, I will to? carry on and we'll see. But what I wanted to say is if you wanted to subdivide the pocket, yes. do it before you put the backing on. So if I wanted to make a little pocket uh -huh. for the remote control of the television, if you're doing this for a grown up oh, yeah, or yeah, yeah. snacks, yes. then you do it you can just stitch a line down there and reinforce at the top across that faux border and then you've got a big pocket and a little pocket or you can do a series of pockets if you've got a series of books or you can leave it as a big pocket it's entirely up to you but do it once you've pinned that pocket into place before you put your backing on fabulous thank you susie back at one o'clock with uh, something completely different again yes 
With batiks? Yes. Wow, we're going dizzy with fabric today, aren't we? It's amazing. Uh, please make sure that you check out your baskets, particularly the pick and mix. It's very, very busy. And the panels as well. Bill and Bob and Leon and Lou the U, all very, very busy uh, as well. Thanks to Susie. She's back at one o'clock with me as well. Stay right where you are, though, because you know that we never, ever stop. And there's something coming up next for you. And that something is a thrifty Thursday happy hour with our Catherine. There's a bit of all and create. There's some nesting dyes. There's some, ooh, something very mirror-y mirror and gorgeous as well. After the break. Hi, I'm Pat. And Mark. From Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. And we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and we also have our range of laser cut uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. Do not move a muscle. We've got some great bargains for you. It's a happy hour. Yay! Yay! Woo! -hoo! That means, of course, <laughs> we have got some great bargains for you for this hour only. Yes, we do. Keep an eye on the yellow box. That's where the savings are. Do you know what? We're going to come straight in with these. They don't look very exciting, but they are because they're brilliant. Now, you've got... These are really heavy as well. You've got the magnetic sheets. These are 500 microns. So if you want to, of course, keep your dies all in check, you certainly can do. If you want to cut these apart and use them on your fridge for making your own magnets, or maybe, you know, use them in a different way. There's all sorts of reasons to go for magnetic boards, isn't there? Save the dates. That's always a good one. Of course, the die is not included. This is for the sheets, but we wanted to show you that nice and early because it is such a great price, saving three pounds just 9.99 and you're going to get 10 of those 933-686 is the item number now it wouldn't be a happy hour without our little clocky would it no of course not there he is there he is he's up there isn't he he's up there can i reach yes just uh, uh, keep an eye on the time and make sure that you have checked those baskets out to secure the happy hour prices 
Right, okay. An hour goes very quickly now. It certainly does. So you need to think about that. Let's have a look at what we've got. All and Create now. I did love to see what sort of uh, discount we've got on these because look at that. We've got a whopping £10 off. These are your A4. A4 stamp sets. Now I'm going to turn this around because, of course, when you turn them around, you can see that the stamps themselves are larger than what you see on the front. Now those flowers are great for cutting out, aren't they? You could really sort of make those dimensional. You've got lovely backgrounds there with your red numbers. What do we call those charts again? There's a special name for them. Yeah, with the numbers in. Oh, we had this the other week and I can't remember. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Because you are getting everything that you're seeing there. We can see, of course, you can use just slight areas of this. Oh, what is that called? Somebody email in and tell us it's going to bother me otherwise. Yeah, with the numbers in. It's a something log, I think. Maybe it is just a number log. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. There's, I might be thinking of the mathematical one. That's what I might be thinking of. But there's a specific name. Somebody will know. I'm sure they will. Uh, busy on this one already. I'm not surprised. 14 99 is the price. That £10 saving is yours for this hour only. All and create. Take a note of the number as well. 109. If you just want to check that you haven't got that one. If you've got lots and lots of all and create uh, stamps in your collection, of course. 714-015 is the item number. Oh, oh, the next one. I've just spotted something I didn't spot before. Now, this oh, this is a word I'm not going to be able to say, isn't it? Orbicular graffiti. That's because you've got orbs, isn't it? I presume you have. <laughs> you have. Look, I spotted the mandala when I did my little prep meet. I didn't even see that. I don't know why. I think I'm drawn sometimes to text because I like to read what it says. You've got, look at the seahorse there. Let me just turn that around so you can see, look, with the butterfly wings on it. If you wanted to cut the wing away, you could. You've got the pocket watch there. Uh, really, really handy. Ready Reckoner, that's one name for it. I think that's kind of a, um, there's another name, an official name, but a Ready Reckoner. Pat sent that in. Pat, a Ready Reckoner. That was the name of the chart. We had those when I was at school. <laughs> A long time ago. I'm sure we had the, yeah. Oh, if somebody knows what year they were in use in schools, don't tell me. Um, yeah, we, it was really clever. You kind of used to follow across certain numbers. I cannot remember how it worked, but you'd follow certain numbers across and it would give you, uh, it's very clever, very clever. Uh, Pat knows. Pat knows. <laughs> yeah, so clever that we don't have them anymore. That's because we've got other things like computers and calculators. <laughs> there we are. That is so such a wonderful stamp, isn't it? That could be a double page in a, in a journal. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? You could do that right across two pages as it is, but of course you've got all those individual elements. Oh yes, our Alex just spotted something else. I didn't spot, look at the little birds there. Sitting on the flourish. Oh, and there's another bigger bird flying in. <laughs> That bird does look like it's wearing a mask. Uh, we, that, I've never seen this one before. This is, yeah, is this one of the earlier ones? I mean, it is, you know, because look at the number, number 57. Do you know, we had shows on recently with All and Create with some of the earlier stamps, and there were so many that I have never, ever seen before. So, you know, this might be the first time you've seen some of these yourself. 14 99 again, £10 saving, 333263 is the item number. I don't know what number they're up to now, but I know it's in the hundreds. Kirsty's got a feeling it might be 600 and something. Hmm, maybe somebody's watching who can answer that as well. Yeah, we think we've definitely seen 500 and something, so we could well be in the 600s. Yeah, busy for this. I would say, if you're going for anything, that is such a cracking deal. Actually, actually, we've got another one coming up that I've just spotted that I think you need them both. Am I thinking of logs for the mathematical thing? Hmm, I think... Lynn's emailed in, log tables, sines, cosines, and tangent. Tangents rings a bell. I'd need to see a picture. I'd need to see a picture. If anybody gets a picture, maybe they are logs. Uh, let's move down, because if you're loving that stamp, which you are, you're going to love this next one as well. In fact, we've got more coming up. Oh, these are some real bargains today. Look at this one. Now you've got those beautiful circles in the background again. You've got the skull just coming in from the edge. You've got the text there. You've got the butterfly wing. Oh, you've got the chevrons almost. This, is this one? Look. 
Why is a text? This it doesn't work either way, does it? Or it does work either way, I should say. You've got text going both ways. So you can actually flip this one over if you're not using the whole of the stamp. Let's have a look at the back of this one. I'm going to turn it that way so the butterfly wing is the right way around. There we are. Oh, these are just wonderful, aren't they? What number is this one then? Ha! Ah, do you know, I thought they looked very similar in style. Not in the actual um, description of the illustrations that are in there, but number 56, that means number 56 was probably launched at the same time as 57. That's why they look sort of similar style, but different elements within them. Because you've got that £10 saving on each, that's £20. If you're going for both of them, yeah, you're saving £20 overall. So you're nearly not paying for one because they're £14.99 as long as you check out within the hour. 032-036 is the item number. I do like those. Now, hang, hang on. Hang on a minute because we've got another one. There's another A4 one from All and Create. This is your layered grunge. Layered grunge. Look at that. 55 I wonder if they were all together. I have never seen any of these. That's because I think All and Crate was here before me. Probably. That way. There we are. So you've got Art. You've got Dream. Now, they're great for cutting out, aren't they? Making little labels and making them more dimensional. Um, you've got almost a honeycomb effect in there. You've got music notes in there. You've got that grunge effect. That's why it's called Layer Grunge. That, again, is absolutely fantastic. Let me show you the stamp as well. There it is. Really do love these. There's something about an A4 stamp, especially when it's made like this. It's just so useful, isn't it? Because it's as though you're getting about, I don't know, six or seven different stamps all in one there because of the elements in them. 579047 is the item number there. Right, okay, what else have we got? Oh, we've got an update on the orbicular. Half the stock already gone. We're only eight minutes in. Yeah, you are loving this one. That £10 saving. I just love that seahorse with the pocket watch, you know. Really do love that. And you could cut the butterfly wing out again and make that 3D, couldn't you? Yeah, like a flying seahorse. Or if you didn't want the wing on there, you can take it off and use it separately. I just think it's really good. You've got the little hearts and stars and everything in there. Really good. Oh, they know what they're doing, don't they, all and create? 333263 is the item number. If you want to go for the last one, though, the layered grunge. Right, now, you are shopping ahead. I'm going to just borrow these uh, magnetic sheets because I've got a die stuck to one of them. You've found these already. We're going to walk down here and have a look what we've got because there's options here. So you do have a choice of what you're seeing in front of me. These are just not your ordinary nesting dies, either. You've got that tattered edge, the torn edge. So you've got different choices here. We have got, let's have a look. We've got the ovals. We've got the hearts. We've got the stars. We've got the circles. We've got the squares. We've got the hexagon. And we've got the octagon as well. And I do believe there may be another choice that we're going to just bring in for you yeah what shape is missing can anybody spot it can anybody spot it i bet you have i bet those of you at home have spotted it haven't you it wouldn't be complete without a rectangle there we are so you can go for the rectangle as well have they all got 10 dies in or do they vary yes they do oh no the star's got eight do you know, I think that's the first time I've seen a star with a tatty edge, with a torn edge. You know, we love that effect, don't we? But some people aren't confident about cutting their own. These do nest as well, so you can make frames. You could use these to stencil with. You want to cut out your different designs to get that edge there as well. You can tear into them. Oh, I'm being asked, guess what's in the lead? Oh, now then, I think, um, let's think. Would it, would it be the star? Because Christmas is coming. No, it's not the star. Octagon. Circle. The circle. The circle. Do you know, I would have probably gone for the circle myself. But I thought, knowing our audience, looking for something a bit different, that probably won't be the one. But yes, yes, that is the one that's in the lead. Maybe you've got your standard circles and you want to use the tattered edge, the torn edge with them because you can do that. You've already got your uh, nesting dies there. Can I take one of these sets out just so we can see what we get? Now, I've got the, um, the rectangles here. 
I'm not going to take them all out of the packet, but you can see your dies are a 10 in this one. So you can see nice sizes there. I don't know if the sizes are on the package and see what the biggest and the smallest is. We'll see if we can, we'll see if we can find out. They will vary across the sets, but maybe if somebody can find me a ruler, we might be able to measure as we go. Uh, the rectangle, I think is, right, 15.3 centimetres by 20.6 centimetres. That's a good size. The smallest, oh, it's really cute, actually. Three by four centimetres. And you've got everything in between, of course. Very, very good. Yep, no wonder you, these are busy. Look at that price. Oh, don't go for one. You need them all at that price. Wow. Seven pounds saving, only 10 pounds. Most of these, not all of them, but most of these have got 10 dies in. That makes it a pound per die. Can we can we find a, a die cutting machine? I don't know. Can we try? So we can cut one out. I just want to have a play. Well, let's try. 951435 is the item number. There's no guest, you see, so we might as well. Um, don't forget, if you're going for the dies, we do have the magnetic sheets. I've got one of the stars. I think this is the largest star on here. So let me just not flex the sheet, then it'll, it, there you are. So if you want to stick these onto a board, into a folder or a book or on the back of your door, then you can do the magnetic sheets themselves, not just for dies, but I think still to this day, it's probably the best way of storing your dies. If you've got them in folders, but on the sheets, so everything stays in position, especially when you've got nesting dies like we've got here, because you want to keep them from crossing over and digging into each other. And you can see exactly what you've got. When you're creating frames and you want to look at the different sizes, you can see if you put them together on a magnetic sheet exactly how wide the frame is going to be as well so do pop those into your basket at the same time if you can afford to a three pound saving another one at 9.99 9.33.686 you can go for multiples if you wish while we've got the stock that's the one who sent this in vanessa's got it this is it well done vanessa logarithms of course it was that was what it was. Still can't remember how it worked, but it, that's the name. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. That would have booked me all day if nobody had told me. Let's move on because we've got some beautiful cardstock for you. This is from Pink Frog. This has been a firm favourite when we brought it to you on many shows, actually. Uh, A4, but it's your rainbow mirror. I think you can see that straight away, can't you? That is not the reflection from things around the studio. That is the effect of the cardstock itself. Look at this. Wow. Ah, oh, look at the colours. So you can see the pink, the yellow, the red, the purple, the green, the blue. That really is a true rainbow, isn't it? I did say yellow, didn't I? Because there's lots of yellow in there. Let's see if we get a different effect if we concave it. Look at that. Oh, do you know whether you die cut this, whether you emboss it, whether you just mat and layer with it. There's so many reasons for going for this. The main one being that you're saving £14 for this hour. £14, you're getting 40 sheets there. This is 300 GSM as well. That means it's construction weight. So for your boxes, for your uh, gift boxes and your gift bags, I would say. And of course, your card bases, your tags. Oh, it just keeps giving, doesn't it? 715293 is the item number there. And being Pink Frog, we know that that is quality. Yeah, very heavyweight. Now, we've got more from Pink Frog. We've got some Oyster Pearl. Actually, these have been very popular in the past as well. Now, you are shopping ahead for this. The Oyster Pearl is absolutely beautiful because it's not a white and it's not really a cream, is it? It's just a very sort of subtle, soft, gentle, but warm colour, I think. Now, you could turn that into various different folds. So it could, oh, look at that. That picks up the colour nicely. You could do a gatefold, a Z fold. Um, you could make a tall sort of basic card there. You can cut into it. You can die cut it. You can ink it. Your inks would look beautiful on there. Really good weight again because this is 300 GSM. You can make your mini boxes. Uh, emboss it with your embossing folders. Ink on it, as I say, spray it, emboss with your embossing powders. Wow, you're loving this one. It has just gone limited stock, limited stock. There we are. $9.99, a £6 saving, 386-590. Check those baskets out. Do not miss out on that. That is such a good buy once again. Now we've got, oh, where is it? One of my favourites, the Kalal Glue. 
always popular. We love to see this on a happy hour because when we see it on a happy hour, we know we're getting a good price. It's not quite half price, but it's not far off. Now, you're getting a full litre here, or in other words, a 1,000 millilitres, or in other words, 900 grams. Or in other words, it would fill 10 of those smaller bottles of Colal. So if you've got those, use this to decant into the smaller ones. If you haven't, of course, you've got your stuff on the top. So you can use this directly from this bottle. Just make sure you seal it afterwards. So just screw down the top there and you can see the white stopper disappears. That means the glue will flow. And when you put it back up, of course, that's going to seal the top for you. Now, what can you do with Colal? You can do an awful lot with it. An awful lot with it. Did we find that board? We had, a, we had a board. Let's see if I can remember. Right, so card, paper, fabric, wood, plastic, leather, metal, felt, ceramics, glass, polymer clay. Um, I always pop that in because nobody ever remembers to put it on a board. Uh, but it does work. I do know because I've used it myself. Um, water resistant, heat resistant. It's clear. You've got wiggle room there as well. I'm sure that, oh, we've got, I'm sure there's other things we've missed out there off that board, you know. Uh, cork. Yep. Porous and non porous surfaces. That's where it will stick. Yeah, really good. $15.99 is the price. Make sure you get yours while you've got that £14 off. 227-990 is the item number. Oh, now, before I move, the Oyster Pearl. Oh, very, very busy on that. The Oyster Pearl. We're looking at the rainbow there. Uh, but we will see the Oyster Pearl in a second. It's this one. Has it gone? It's gone. It's all gone. Well done. Well done indeed. Uh, that's how quickly things can sell out, you see, on a happy hour, because you like a bargain. What else have we got? Let's go for this one. I like this, because you've got a lot for your money. Now, we like to use our foam pads, don't we? Sometimes you buy them on sheets, and they're really teeny tiny ones, which are, which are great. Sometimes we need to, uh, you know, stick those very small areas. But when you've got larger, larger squares like this, of course, you can cut them down to the size that you want. You can double them up. You can treble them if you want more height. I'm afraid ours does look a little bit tatty. I'm very sorry about that, but it doesn't matter because all the pads are there. All you need to do is peel them off, use them however you wish, and you're getting so much for your money. 1,500 of those foam pads per roll. The two millimetres thick. I would say the size of the pad must be about two centimetres square. I'm not certain. Not far. Two... Oh, they're a bit bigger, 2.4 by 2.4. 15 99 103564 is the item number. It's one of those things you never want to run out of. Yeah. Now, we've got more when it comes to sticky things. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. Oh, it's a favourite, isn't it? The red liner tape. Never, ever, ever run out of this stuff. You will use it so, so often. Of course, for making your gift boxes, your bags, maybe your journals. Are you watching, Liz? If you didn't see the show this morning, come back at, what was it, 2 o'clock? She's on again. Myself and uh, Liz with the templates. You need your red liner tape for that. Let's have a look at the sizes here because we've got different widths here. So we've got the 3 millimeter, We have the 6 millimeter, We have the 9 and we have the 12. This is my favourite way of buying, that you get all those different widths in one bundle. There are five metres on each, and you've got 12 rolls, so that would be 60 metres in total, all for just 10 .99. There's a £27 saving there. Yeah, if you go into some, some shops, you'll find, depending on the width, one ninety nine, two ninety nine, even three ninety nine a roll sometimes, because, you know, this is good stuff. 330-730 is the item number. If you're going for that bundle, you've got the right width for the right job, of course. Right, yes, lots of sticky things, isn't there? The collar, we've got the foam pads, and we've got the red liner as well. Have you got plenty of the smooth white cardstock, though? The super smooth. This is from Jelly Bean Crafts. Yeah, the high white as well, so you've got that lovely crisp white. You can throw all sorts at the surface of this. It is super smooth, so perfect for your stamping. You can still use your water, so do your water effects. You can still use your sprays. You can heat emboss on here. Um, you can do all those different background effects, your mop-ups, your die-cutting. 
your card bases, 350 GSM as well, so that again is a really good construction weight. So gift bags, gift boxes, just keeps going on and on and on. Again, I'm thinking about Liz's journals here. That is such a good weight to use. You can, you can use your water on it. I wouldn't say if you want to do something where you're absolutely saturating, go for your watercolour card. But certainly watercolour pencils, your watercolour pens, as long as you're not oversaturating, it will take those liquids. 350-563 is the item number. And because it's that high white, it's going to really give vibrancy to the colours that you use on there as well. Then we have, oh, this is such a lovely colour, the cobalt blue. So you kind of, it's, I would call this, it's almost like um, Air Force blue, isn't it? This colour, I think. You know, it's not navy, it's not royal blue. It's kind of in the middle. It's very, very nice indeed. And that, if I just grab a piece of the white, let me just show you. Oh, look at this. Don't they look lovely together? Do you know, you could, I wonder if the rainbow would work. Let's have a little look. Just a little, let's just go with a little edge. You could gut the rainbow card. Let's just go with a little edge and then a bit more of the blue. That does work, doesn't it? Ah, oh, look how that's catching there. You're getting that blue on the edge as well. That is very nice. Shall we try another way? Let's go with, hang on, hang on, hang on, Meg. Meg said, don't like your way, don't like your way. I've not finished. Because, you know, if you want to be a bit extravagant, you see, I think, yeah, you can have two borders. That looks really nice. Yeah, very, very classy. There. Uh, very classy. I'm just repeating what I hear in my ear. I'm not, I'm not bigging myself up, but it did look rather smart. It did look very smart, didn't it? 186696. If you want to go for the cobalt blue, 270 GSM, 100 sheets there. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm a bit eager to get down the counter here. I am. Oh, do you know why? Because we're coming back to the stamps and I love them. But before that, magnetic sheets. Let's give you a reminder of these. These are very, very busy. Half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. Now, we've got one of those torn edge dies on there. I know they've been very busy as well. That's the largest of the stars. So you can see that. We'll look, we'll look more at those uh, dies after. I think we may be able to find a die cutting machine. I hope we've got the right plates. 933-686 is the item number if you are going for the magnetic sheets. Nothing to stop you going for more than 10. You get 10 per purchase so to speak uh, but while we've got stock go for as many as you like something else we've got now this is gray super i've never seen this gray super smooth oh this is interesting so i presume then you can do everything on this that you'll do on the white 275 gsm you know, that's nice to try isn't it to go for the gray it's a shame we haven't got some of that here um, we've got only got a picture, not to worry. If you go for this one, you've got a five pound saving, just 9.99. You are getting 60 sheets there. 275 GSM, yeah, really worth getting that as well. 569057. Something else we haven't seen is this. We've got journaling collections for you. Now we've got modern travel to look at first. Now you've got some card stock here as well. Now these could be cut down. These double sided, they are, aren't they? Let's have a look at the designs. Oh, I almost want to draw little houses in here. Look at the balloons on there. They are the same on both sides. So you could cut these down into two different pages, into one page of light. You've got your ice cream, there, I can see, but you've got a nice space to add your, um, your wording or your journaling on there as well, or stamps. Oh, look at the bikinis. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you know what? It's making me think. When was the last time I had a holiday? It was years ago. I've had a holiday for about five years. The last time I went anywhere on holiday, I went to Lanzarote in the winter. But it was nice because it's still warm there. It was very nice, actually. Uh, what else have we got? Now, you've got a sticker pack as well. I've got some of the stickers here. I'm not going to show you every single one, but there are two, 200 stickers in total, but there are 10 sheets, so lots of elements per sheet. You've got arrows in there, look. You've got your little tickets, your postcards. 
your ice cream and cocktail time, yes, please. Um, bucket list. Uh, do I need to make a bucket list? I haven't got one. What would be on my bucket list? I haven't done as much travel as I'd like, so probably there'd be travel on there. Uh, where would be the first place that I'd want to go to? I think I'd want to go to somewhere with beautiful buildings. I do like to look at architecture and because I just, yeah, it could be anywhere in Europe. I've never, do you know what? I'd like to go to Italy. I've never been to Italy. I've never been to Italy. I'd like to go to Italy. But then I'd like to go really far afield as well. A feed? A field. I was listening to Leone. What did you say, Leone? Can we? Yes. To Italy? Yeah. Yes. We're going to arrange a work trip to Italy. Where else can we go? Can we, can we do somewhere else as well? Where else? What have we got on here? Well, it says road trip. Road trip. So where are we going? Where are we going on our road trip? We can only use a vehicle. So where are we going? Are we going down to Cornwall? Let's go Cornwall. Cornwall. I'd like to go to Cornwall. Yeah. <laughs> Cornwall's beautiful. Cornwall is beautiful. We'll do Cornwall one week and then have a little break and then we'll go over to Italy. So while we're doing that, are we going in a balloon? We might go in a hot air balloon. Do we get to pack our bikinis? Yeah. Can we have ice cream? Can we have lots of sprinkles on top? Oh, gelato in Italy, yeah. Oh, do you know, I thought these were actually sheets of washi, so I was going to say you could die cut, but they're not. Look. Look, now they're, we're classing them as sheets because you, they arrive like this. But I thought they were kind of solid, just in stripes, but they're individual strips, so they're really handy, aren't they? So you've got lots of different designs all on one sheet, and you've got ten of those. That's a nice little bundle, isn't it? £12.99, £6 saving, 987-300. I keep bringing Liz up. Again, great for Liz's little books. You could make your own travel journey, journal. I can't get my words out today. I'm excited now because we're going to Italy. <laughs> yeah, you've got to make a scrapbook, haven't you? Oh, I'm going to pack later. I'm getting so excited. Uh, right, let's have a look. <laughs> Don't matter we booked it or not. I'm still packing. <sighs> you, yeah, I like to be organised. <laughs> what was that? We should go to Italy. Adam, he's having a crafty trip to Blackpool. Is he? Oh, yes, he is, isn't he? Our Adam has organised a crafty trip to Blackpool. He did. He has. Yeah. yeah we, haven't, we haven't actually got permission to take time off work for all of this, by the way. Um, oh, better not say any more in case we're not allowed. <laughs> we can dream. We can dream, can't we? Right, OK. So in this set, we have the seasonal paper pack. Now, you've got ten of the papers. They are different as well. They're not all the same. So if I just flick through some of these, you can still stamp on these as well. These are a decent thickness. Oh, little snowdrops, look. We've gone from summer to winter. These are nice. I like these. They're very nice. You've got elements you could cut out if you wanted to as well there. What else have we got in this set? You've got lots of stickers again. Um, oh, actually, I like the stickers. Ten sheets. Let's have a look at some of these because, look, we've got decorate thoughts remember so you can make sentences as well um relax relax and celebrate that's what i'd be doing i'd relax in italy and i'd be celebrating that i finally got on holiday uh, oh, i'm having lots of thoughts about that right now and then i'd remember all the good times oh what else have we got we've got <laughs> oh We've got envelopes. Is that lipstick? It is, isn't it? Look, coffee cup, tags. Yep. Yep. That's, that looks like a holiday sheet. It does, doesn't it? I'll, I'll buy some lipstick in the airport. We'll sit and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. We've got our luggage tags all ready to go. Look, there's our bags with all our shopping. Uh, cocktails on the evening, of course. Oh, we just love holiday time, don't we? We do. There we are. We've got uh, Remember This Special Moments. You've got all your numbers there as well. Oh, this is a good one because you've got do not open until, and then you can put your date on. You've got no peaking with love. You've got a little wreath and a snowflake there. I like the style of these. They're very contemporary, aren't they? 
These are really sweet. Nine ninety nine, five pounds saving, four two four seven eight five. And we haven't even mentioned this yet. These are like vellum. Vellum. These ones look really thick as well. That's pretty. You could colour on the back of that, couldn't you? If you wanted a colour coming through. You've got how many pieces? 30 of these. Oh, do you know the different as well? You've got some vellum. You've got some that are stickers, uh, really bright colours. You could build these up into little sprays of flowers as well. There's no reason why you can't use these for your card making. There's music notes in there. Very nice. You've got that little, that little snowdrop as well. There it is. I think that is a sticky one. Has it got a backing on it? Or is it just the vellum? Or maybe it's just thick. It's very thick. It's more a parchment than a vellum, I think, that one. Nine ninety nine for the whole bundle. 424-785 is the item number. Right, now, if you're not a Freedom member, you can join our club. We're going to tell you how. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go and start packing. See you shortly. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Now it might seem that we've got loads of time left but we're having a very busy hour. Don't forget it's a happy hour, that means the prices are going up. Bang on the dot at noon today because we've got, oh that means we've got Leonie back with Stamperia doesn't it at noon today. I'm trying not to look. Do you know, it's not fair, is it? They put me right across from Leonie's set. I'm trying to be very, very good because I know I'll want it all. But you're wanting this at the minute. These are so, so busy. Now, we have got the nested torn edge die sets. Now, there's a couple more options. But look, our Kirsty's found me a die cutting machine so we can have a bit of a play. 951435 is going to get you whichever option or options got the stocks 9.99 each now most of the sets have got 10 dies in we know the stars have got eight uh, they're all nesting so you can create those backgrounds of course you're layering you can create your frames you could create lids for boxes i reckon here as well maybe just make your sides up if you've already got your straight edge dies you'll probably find that they'll work in between sizes as well so you've got the best of both worlds i just love 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 a torn edge bit of ink on there looks perfect doesn't it really does yeah, what a great buy that is. No wonder they're so busy. So, we have got, let's go through them, shall we? We've got the circles. We've got the stars. Let me just grab those because they are over here at the moment. So, I'll show you the packets. Uh, I'm just going to borrow the dies. Oh, I'm missing a stand. Not to worry. I'll hold that for a second. So, you've got the circles. You've got the stars. You've got the rectangle. You've got the oval. You've got the hearts. You've got the squares. You've got the hexagon and you've also got the octagon. Now, in the lead, do you know, this is, I'm not surprised actually. The circles and the squares, we tend to go for our more basic shapes, I suppose, don't we? The essential shapes, because they're just so usable. Now, coming up closely though, the stars are getting very, very busy. Let me just show you again. I think this is because Christmas is coming. You know, show it the stars. The stars are over by the machine. Should we cut some stars out? We could make some star bonting, couldn't we? Oh, oh! Can I go over there now? Can I do that? Oh, let's. Should we start with the stars? Do you know? I think. Oh, do you know? What I would do. Do you know? What I would do. I'm going to go for. There are eight different. Yeah, I'm going to try the rainbow card. Hopefully, we've got the right plates here. Um. You could, do you know what, you could make some beautiful, beautiful bunting out of these. I know, I'm trying to think in my head, how would John Locke would do this? What positioning would he put his dies? But actually, I'm trying not to waste card as well. <laughs> well, there's that thing of very intricate dies. I haven't got any tape, so I'll have to be careful here that I'm not going to cross these over. Right, okay, let's go. Now then, feels good. Feels like it's cutting well. Let's hope it is. I've never used this. Uh, oh, 
did I go all the way through there? I'm not sure if I did. I don't know if I went far enough for one of those dies. We'll soon find out. Oh, look at that. They're just falling out. Now look at these. This is in the rainbow card. I'm going to cut another one actually in the same. I've just thought of something. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing again. Um, let's go with all three sizes. I just want to test something out because I don't want to say it and then it's wrong. Now, oh, right, okay. We've got emails coming in this hour as well from Josie. Josie said, morning, Catherine, morning, Josie. Oh, Italy is a beautiful country. Oh, she was born there in Calabria. Oh, it sounds delightful. Calabria, little village in the mountains. That does sound delightful. Myself and Leonie would love it. I've got goosebumps thinking about going, actually. I would love to go. I would really, really love to go. Seriously, I would. Oh, thank you. Well, that was Vanessa, did you say that was? Josie, sorry. Van oh, Vanessa was the logarithms, wasn't she? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't tune in earlier, don't worry, don't worry. Now, first of all, what I was thinking was, you know, you could almost make like a, you know, like a beaded curtain where you could put some ribbon or some thread and go down in all the different sizes or vary the sizes. You could put a little bead in between. And then I thought, I wonder if they will match up if you put them back to back. <gasps> they will as well. So I would definitely put them back to back. So the thread runs straight down the middle and then as you hang them up, they're going to turn around and you haven't got a right or wrong side. Is it hard to check? Because I didn't know if the little notches in the torn edges would line up, but that actually looks really, really good. There's your stars. Um, that's in the Rainbow Mirror card from Pink Frog. They'd look nice embossed as well, wouldn't they? Now the circles and the squares, almost half the stock has now gone. <gasps> Busy on these. Honestly, these are only $9.99. Shall we go with the cobalt blue next? I'm going to do I'm going to fold this. I'm going to risk it because I know this is quite heavy, this card. What weight was it? Can you just remind me? Is it about 270? Yeah, 270. Now, I want to test to see to see if we can cut this double. I don't know if it will, but I want to make a little circular card. So let's let's try it and see. Don't ever force your machine. So obviously if you're making a card with a hinge on it, you need to overlap the edge of the die. So if it feels too much, I won't force it through. No, actually that feels all right. What's Leonie up to? What's Leonie doing? Oh, don't let me look. Don't let me look. I want to buy it. Don't let me look, honestly. Oh, hey, that's worked as well, you know. Look at that. 270 GSM. And that has cut like a dream. Look at that. That would stand. Let's see if it rocks as well. <laughs> it actually rolls. It's rock and roll. Or you could have it that way up. <gasps> That could be a Christmas pudding, or it could be a giant pom-pom of somebody's hat. <laughs> or a tennis ball. What else could it be? <gasps> it could be a bear's head. Ah! Oh! Right, you've got me going at right. Right, 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 right. Yes. Right, okay. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I had an idea. Can I have an oval as well? Am I allowed? Am I allowed an oval? I'm going through double again on the cardstock because I need two of these. You know what they're going to be, don't you? I might need some collal glue in a minute. <laughs> right, okay, I've not finished, I've not finished. Right, right, we've got some white card, hang on. <gasps> Do you know what weight is the white? Is it 300? The super smooth? Or is it 350 this? I think it might be 350. Oh, right. It might be. Oh, I might be. Mm, shall we? Shall we try? Oh, it's 350, so it might be a little bit too thick to double it up. But I'm going to give it a go again. I'm not going to force the machine. I'm only using a smart eye. Do you know what? That feels all right. I don't know how to cut it, but it didn't feel too bad. Of course it did it. Did it? Yes, it did. <gasps> Look. 
now. <gasps> Hang on. Can I have a bit of collal? Can I use the collal? Oh, if, can I pinch your foam pad? I have to ask permission. I'm not talking to, I'm talking to our Megan Gallery, everybody. Everybody always shouting, yes, Catherine, you can. You can use the glue. You can use a foam pad. Can I tear these? Yes. No. Uh, do you know, we're going to use, we're going to use a bit of the collal. Let's just move those so you can see what I'm doing. I was trying to hide it so nobody could see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oops. <laughs> Let's put that there. And put... What was... Um, do you know what? I wonder if these dyes will cut fabric. <laughs> I wonder if they will. Felt? Perhaps. Let me just... <gasps> oh, have we got any felt? Or foam? <laughs> Susie's laughing at me now. Did we find the ovals? Can I use the ovals? Am I allowed? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, it looks like a frog! It's not going to be a frog, but it looks like a frog. Right. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna. Do you know? I'm. I'm this, this is me. Look, I don't tidy up though. Uh, ovals. This one. Let's have a look. <laughs> do you know? I was asking Liz earlier on. What do you, do you find time to craft for yourself? Well, I do genuinely buy so much from this uh, place. That's why I can't look at the owner. Um, I was spending yesterday. I spend most days. Uh, yesterday I bought Le Blanche, didn't I? And I also bought polychromo pencils and a sketching kit. Yeah. Oh, just... oh have we got some scissors? Oh, I don't think I can... I need... Hang on. I might have to nick something. I can't... I can't really tear it. Oh, I'll be cutting something else while we wait for the scissors. Um, in the meantime, if you're putting lots in your basket, which we know you are, you might be getting up to 60 pounds or more. That means you can open a flexi basket. <laughs> As if by magic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. <laughs> you can't escape me today, can you? That was me as well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now we are so so busy so busy i am multitasking the circles 60 percent of the stock has gone we had a lot of stock as well the squares 60 percent of the stock has gone there as well the stars half the stock has gone and uh, for the moment we're not going to give you any more updates because they're the busiest three but they are busy across the board you can go for more than one i'm just cutting some more of the little ones out oh it's a shame we haven't got it's a shame we have not got a pen on the show. A pen. A black one. If we had a black pen... <laughs> if we had a black... <laughs> we are making a bear. I've not finished yet. Hang on, hang on. The bear will look good. I need another little oval. Have I got a smaller one? Where's the ovals gone? Has somebody pinched them? They've gone back on the pack shot. Um, is that black or is it grey? Oh, that's grey. Hang on, that will do, that will do. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a pity we didn't have googly eyes on. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's joining in now. Susie's passing on information. Wait a minute. 
Oh, and of course, Colal glue, Colal glue will stick fabric as well, won't it? So, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, oh, I probably wouldn't <laughs> use quite as much glue. Yeah, it is handy to decant into the small ones. Let's put the two eyes on. Let's go. Yeah, you've got a bit of wiggle room. Do you know there's a bit of glue just there, so I'll probably get away with that. Let's just... We'll use that just for cleaning the top off. Right, okay. There we are. Our little bear. Now, it needs a face. It needs an expression. Let me show you so far. Look, he's got a little snowy nose. There he is. It needs a glint in his eye. We've got a white pen. A white gel pen or something. <laughs> Let's give him a bit of an expression. He looks a bit concerned. <laughs> he does look worried. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's worried because... You know, that, you know, there's only 10 minutes left. Uh, you need to be checking those baskets out and he's worried that he's not going to get to meet his friend because there was going to be another little bear yeah yeah oh right okay right we've got something else coming in now <laughs> the circles 70 percent of the stock has now gone 70 percent gone do check those baskets out you will not get happy hour prices unless you check those baskets out let me just open this up. Right, over at the website, that's where you're going to find everything. Absolutely everything. Um, all the glues that we've got available, of course. All the cardstock. Don't forget about the foam pads. We've got those as well. Oh, <laughs> I've just thought of something. My bear gives the whole new meaning to someone with a glint in their eye. Hey, Ella. <laughs> Where are the ovals? Uh, have we got a smaller oval? Oh, they're not in there. Oh, they're out somewhere. Have I lost them? This is me. I lose them. I've lost them. They're somewhere. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let me find... Let me find a big... Wait a minute. Oh, look. Now, he's got a muzzle and a nose, look, because his nose looked a bit big. So now he's got a little button nose. And that's his muzzle. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I think he's a bit top heavy. There he is. I think he looks rather nice. He's my snowy bear. He's my snowy bear. Hang on, he needs, he, needs, he needs something else. He does look sad. I must admit, he does look sad. Um, yeah, he just, he's feeling a bit cold, that's why he's sad. So, <laughs> we haven't got the fabric on the show, but uh, while I'm giving you details, I'm just making him a little scarf. Uh, let's have a look. So the circles, now three quarters of the stock have gone. They will be the first to go, the right things are going. Um, the squares, 65% gone. Wow, they are busy. What else have we got? The stars were busy, weren't they, as well? The rectangles, nearly half the stock has gone. We have been very, very busy with these. Do not miss out on this price. You need to check out, of course, before 12 o'clock. How do I put the scarf on him now? I probably should have cut that a little bit longer. Oh, wait a minute. I want a scarf to... So I've come around his neck, which he hasn't got a neck, has he? Do you know what? Without any stamps, without any ink, just a, a bit of cardstock. <laughs> Some dice. Ah. And it could have been a polar bear if I'd done the colours the other way round. I just, I just want to play and make animals now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kirsty. I've made such a mess here. I've had a running around. Let's go to the dies. We've got packets. Some of the dies are still over there, but it's all right. We can go through everything. So let's start with the stars because you're loving those. Um, half the stock gone. Half the stock gone. 
These are all nesting sets. Don't forget, the circle's very, very busy. Nearly 80% of the stock has now gone. Then, of course, we've got the rectangles. You can make easel cards out of all these as well. I'm saying all of them. I'll have to think about the star a little bit, but definitely the others. Uh, the ovals are there. Always handy to have. You've got the hearts. You've got the squares coming up. Another one that's extremely busy. Almost 70% of the stock has gone on the squares. Then we've got the hexagon. Hexagon has six sides, remember. Octagon has eight. I do like, I do like an octagon. Octagon, they would make fantastic easel cards, actually. The hexagons and the octagons. And gatefold cards. Oh, I almost forgot about the stamps. <laughs> These were my favourite thing. <laughs> Details for the dies still there, £9.99, £7 saving, 951 435 You have got all those choices. Make the most of that deal. I've not seen these before. Uh, the fact that you've got so much free money there. Now, this particular stamp, this has been extremely busy as well. This is your orbicular graffiti. If I just turn around so you can see the stamp again, I still think this is absolutely beautiful. You can break that down in any way, shape or form that you like, but because of the design of the stamp, it just reminds me of a double spread journal page that. I think I would just stamp that exactly as it is, then maybe bring the wing out, you know, put some dimension in there, use some of your paints, you know, your sprays, a few paint splatters. You can do whatever you wish. Love that. Fourteen ninety nine. You've got a ten pound saving. Three 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 two six three is the item number. There we are. Now we're going back to the dies. They are so busy. Don't forget the magnetic sheets. If you're going for the dies, go for the sheets as well. The circles. Oh, limited stock. You've still got about um, seven minutes left to check your baskets out. It's there on the screen for you. Um, what else have we got? We know the squares are very busy, the rectangles, the stars. Can, can I, have I got time to do one more demo? Oh, I've got, I can do that, can't I? Can I do that? Which way is it? This, that way. I want this one. I want this one. Let's see if we can do a very, very quick demo. No animals, I promise. No animals, I promise. Um, it takes longer to get in the packet than it does to cut the thing out. Right, let me find another piece of card. Let's go for the let's go for the cobalt blue again because it's very nice. <gasps> I wonder if I can do two. So let me have a look. This is the octagon. That's a bit big. That one for the car start. Let's go for this one. Right. So I am going to again just overlap the edge of the die. Yes, I was saying. I was asking Liz, do you get time to craft for yourself? And she said she makes time. I have got so many goodies at home that are just sat staring at me when walking through the door and see them. And I just, oh, I so want some days just to craft. I'll tell you what else I bought recently as well. I bought Clarity, uh, Groovy, last week. I did, yeah. Now look, there's your octagon, which is beautiful. Again, top fold, side fold. But of course, if you want to fold in half, You've got your easel. Have I got time to cut another one out? Let's, let's do it with the white. Obviously, now you could go... Oh, can I have another bit of blue? Hang on, because I want another one the same colour. <laughs> another one the same colour. Colour? Same size. I might have to pay for all this card stock I'm using soon. I did check. I did check. I'm all right. I've got I've got enough money to get a bit of cardstock just in case I get into trouble for doing this. Um, yeah, I won't. Look, there you go. There's your easel. But but let me find the next size down, which is that one. This is the last thing I'm cutting. I promise. Do you know if I had longer, I'd have been stamping and all sorts. Kirsty. She got a break after this hour. I've had her running around all over. <sighs> Actually, I don't want to waste car start. How long we got? A minute and a half. <gasps> Single figures on the circles now. You need to be very, very quick with those. You see, look. How smart does that look? Doesn't that look lovely? I'd probably match it at the bottom with another white one. Um, yeah, what else can we say? You've got to check your baskets out, haven't you? Don't forget about 
to miss out on these savings. On the dies alone, they're seven pound per die that you're saving. Die set, I should say, not per die. There's the website. Everything's there. Five star reviews on these dies. I'm not surprised. We've cut fabric with them. We went through. Essentially, we went through uh, 700 GSM, if there was such a thing. Well, there is, I suppose. But uh, yeah, because we went through double thickness of 350. Oh, talk about speed craft. If somebody wants a nice card base for an easel card, there you are, I've made one. I could even put the teddy bear on it. Oh, why didn't I think about doing the teddy bear on it? There we are. £9.99, £7 saving, nine five one four three five. You can get all of this if you check your baskets out. Oh, I need to lie down now. Uh, thank you for joining me. Don't go anywhere. We've got loads more to come. Yes, Leonie's up next. See you soon. Oh, I'm sure I was looking at the ca wrong camera then. What a fun hour. I enjoyed myself. Stamperia One Day Special coming up next. And then we've got Kingfisher Batik Fabrics. That's Crafty Journaling with Liz back at two. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. A very good afternoon to you and welcome to the one day special with the lovely Stamperia and our gorgeous Leonie. Good afternoon, hello. my darling. Hello, my dear, and how are you today? I'm all right. I'm good. all right. I'm getting with the program. I'm all Get, right. Getting with the program. I know. I need to, seriously. <laughs> uh, this has been an amazing one day special. It sold yes. out last night, didn't it? It sold out. I mean, we did have immediate dispatch. It's the first time we had immediate dispatch uh, for Stamperia, so it was super exciting. But all that went in no time at all. We have still got some products on immediate dispatch. Yeah. Um, but you've still got that saving 
the big deal is it's the new collection from Stampira, from Antonis, who is such an incredible mm. designer. And it's beautiful. It is the stunning. The artwork, the design, the amount of stuff you're getting for mm. that price. And the papers are, oh gosh, they're amazing. That's so normal. much you can do with it. Yeah, it's a, a truly beautiful collection. And Sir Vagabond was, um, like the yes, first release of Sir Vagabond, Vagabond yeah. was super busy. And I love that he's now touring. Yes. You know, <laughs> he, he, he's gone he were, international, yeah. he's gone worldwide. He was going from New York to London, now he's gone to Japan. Japan. And I love that, I love it. And yeah, the, the detail in the designs is just sensational. It's well, beautiful. I'll, I'll take everybody through what we're getting and then I'll only be demonstrating. This will be dispatched from the 13th of October because it sold out last night. And I'll take you through which ones are immediate, as Leone explained. So you've got uh, 10 sheets in your paper bag, but don't forget you've got your front and your back cover. So if you like, ostensibly, that's 12. This is Mr. Vagabond. He's gone international. He's not European anymore. <laughs> I mean, you've got your tags. You've got your fussy cutting there. You've got your borders. You've got your stunning, intricate, look at those images they're just out of this world aren't they you've got the maps you've got the calligraphy of, 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 of the writing and we've got such beautiful stamps and moles to match as well I mean there's there's our, our, our I don't know if she's officially Lady Vagabond but she's, she's looking gorgeous there um, isn't that the pagodas isn't that beautiful uh, the artistry in it is really quite exquisite. It really just whisks you away. Amazing stamp set to match that as well we've got on the show. You've got the different sizes there as well we can cut up. Um, beautiful. I mean, they're, they're absolute works of art, as uh, Leone was explaining. Truly magnificent. I mean, you just look at it. It pulls you in, doesn't it? Really pulls you in because there's just so much to see on each, each of those sheets. Um, the, you know, the research, the design. I mean, look at that, that wave. We've got an amazing wave stamp as well on the show. We've got the pillars, pagodas, and again, the fans that we can cut out, they see, um, moving right to the back, you've got all these different sized, or you can keep that as is, the maps, the different, the vertical, the landscape, just, be, and again, the images that you can fussy cut out. So that's your, that's your extra, that's the, the back, if you like, so that's not included as 10 sheets. So even the front, as you know with Stamperia, your front cover, that is utilized as well. So 10 sheets plus your front and back cover, that's your 12 by 12, beautiful. 190 GSM pad. You've got um, your stencil now as well. Now this stamps beautifully in them. Let me just lift that for you. So you've got your Chinese lanterns there and your blossom tree branches there. So if I pop that into situ, you can see just how gorgeous that is. Love that terracotta cutter the only's chosen there. Uh, moving across then, we've got the moles, two moles. And you get so much in these moles. Look at this dragon with the cogs. Look at our Sir Vagabond there. Um, just amazing, isn't it? Um, and then we've got uh, the, the beautiful travel journal, the inscriptions there, adventure. This wave, this cascading wave, there is a stamp to match that on the show coming up as well. Shop ahead on the website. Then we move across to this beautiful mold with the Chinese calligraphy. If you look at the solid bits in between, you've got almost like, they almost look like thumbprints and fingerprints and they're just amazing. I've got a couple of ones here that uh, uh, Leonie's done with the air dry clay. Look at that. Look at that detail. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Just amazing. Uh, so you've got these moles. I mean, that is a, we've got a stamp to match that one as well. Big moles. Plus, we haven't finished yet, and this is why Leonie said there's so much to see. Three sheets of the stunning, and you know the quality of their rice paper. I mean, look at that. You I'll can give use... you a white card for oh, behind Oh, thank it. you, Leonie. Thank you, you my darling. You can see it better. You're absolutely right. Look at that. So pretty. The colours are gorgeous. There's so much in there to just use, you know, certain elements of there uh, uh, as well. Let me show you the second sheet as well with the blossom and the branches. Isn't that beautiful? And you're getting three of these. So stunning quality. And then there, that matches that sheet that we just saw in the car stock as well. So three of those absolutely beautiful rice papers. And the price point is phenomenal. Now, don't forget, dispatches the 13th of October sold out last night. We've got stock now for you. It's worth the wait. £29.93, £7 saving, 675483. Now, these sold out last night and you haven't seen them till this morning i've got a couple of these for you so this will also be the 13th of october sold up very quickly last night so we didn't know we were going to get these until now so this is a bit of a scoop if you're watching on midday um you're getting both of these you're getting the, the, the vagabond in japan you've got the scrolls there 
uh, with that beautiful blossom. You've got the pagoda there. Um, you, you've got, ah, oh, the lovely, look at the lovely borders out of there. Look at that dragon. Isn't that gorgeous? It's almost like a kind of a key and a lock and insignia there. Then you've got these vases. You've got that beautiful pagoda. You've got our gorgeous, gorgeous lady with the, the, the lantern there as well. Oh, it's with the, with the fan. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. Please be quick. They go so quickly. They went last night. We've just managed to secure some more stock for this show. But again, it's dispatches 13th October, 044729. You know how popular the moles are. They're so flexible as well, used over and over again. Great value. And never one that sold out last night. We didn't get it until right now. We've got extra stock. Dispatches the 13th of October. Your two 8x8 pads, 10 sheets in either of those. You've got your backgrounds and you've got the Vagabond mini 8x8 that you're getting the same sheets that you've got in your 12x12. Don't forget, you can use that front cover and there's our beautiful beautiful uh, backgrounds. Let me give you a little snippet of that because you won't have seen that, you see. These are stunning. Look at that sheet there. Isn't it beautiful? The colours. Look at the wave. I, oh, that's fascinating, isn't it? It's so beautifully done. I love it in the red. It's so dramatic, isn't it? But again, the maps, the area. It's almost like ancient paper, ancient scrolls, the writings. Oh, look at that. Isn't that... I'd like wallpaper like that. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So you've got your backgrounds, your 8x8 backgrounds. You've got your, your mini version, because I know what it's like. It's heartbreaking sometimes. You don't want to cut it up. Get the extra. And then, oh, we love these. These special acetate clear-cut die cuts. 38 pieces. Look at the dragon. And they've got the acetate finish, so super durable. Look at these, the pagoda. This little, it's sort of the little um, sort of designs, the fans, the blossoms. There she is again, absolutely gorgeous in her various dresses. There he is, the handsome devil, Sir Vagabond. Oh, he's just a doll, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> just go, oh, all the several of him. Woohoo! I love this sentiment. Isn't that fantastic? Only he that has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, it's another good one. These are fantastic. This is, I love this. This is in, um, I've just seen this. Um, better to see something once than hear about it a thousand times. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 mm -hmm, yes, yeah. yes. 19 and 99, you're getting loads of, well, 38 pieces. And they're big, aren't they? Plus your two pads, 025535 Dispatch is the 13th of October because that sold out last night. But I'm so pleased we got it for the 12 o'clock show. 027535. Now, everything we're going to talk about now is on this immediate dispatch. If you want to get one of these and something that's on the delay, say you're doing the two orders, you say, Fee, I want that that you just showed me, but I want but I want this, but I don't want to wait till the thirteenth for me rice paper. Do it as two separate orders. Does that make sense? Because otherwise it'll be held back and, and come. Do you know what I mean? So we don't do that often, we're gonna do that now. So do it as two separate orders, get your get your rice papers and get it immediately. And then that will come out on the 13th. So, for instance, if you want that last one. Now, look at these. These are gorgeous. Now, we're getting... How many of these we're getting? Six. Everyone's a doozy. There she is again. How beautiful. You know Stamperia do their rice papers just... Oh, I mean, look at that. I'd frame that. Look at the intricacy. Look at that detail. Isn't that... That dragon is phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The quality of their rice papers. The intensity of the colour. The exquisite drawing and design that's two maps in one there isn't it on the landscape there as well uh we are over three quarters our fish is oh beautiful fish and then you've almost got these quadrangles there that we could take apart over three quarters of the stock gone there he is the handsome devil himself the old loves of vagabond he's in our dreams uh 11.94 sheets there which i'll arrange later uh let me show you the acetates i'm fascinated by these again this is immediate dispatch is that right katie yeah i'll tidy that later i love these oh my word these are fan Dabby dozy. Look at these six sheets in total. That's the black and the white. This is the clear. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at that. I, I'm going to ask Leonie in a moment what would she use the acetates for? Would you die cut bits of it? Would you use it in books? Would you? I'm oh, actually so. using oh. them in my first demonstration. Oh, fantastic. There Boom. we go. Boom. She, she'll explain it all. She'll explain it all. Um, oh, my word. Look at this one. Sorry. I need to get the card behind it. Half the stock is gone. Oh, I know. I know, it's just beautiful. Is this, oh, you see, so there's our two clear ones. This blue one, oh my word, look at that. Look at the waves crashing on the bottom there. Isn't it fantastic? 
Oh, it just gets even better, everybody. And they're really strong. I tell you what, they're not flimsy flamsy, these. Really firm. I don't know what the what the sort of I don't know, but it's I'm telling you, it's firm. Um, and then look at the red. Oh. And then last but not least, how beautiful. How beautiful. These are exquisite. I can't believe that price point for that quality. These are amazing, absolutely amazing in terms of the thickness and the quality. They're just totally, utterly stunning. Uh, 999 uh, um, We've got paints. You remember those stamps? Shop ahead. We've got loads of double paired stamps and they're big stamps. So have a little look online. You remember I was talking about stamps? And we've got these paints. These paints are flying out as well. I'm not surprised that six at that price point. These are the colours that are going to match in with Savagabron, Savagabon abroad, <laughs> abroad. Um, sounds like he's just gone back to the 70s or something. £16.93. So you've got the ivory, the cookie, the coral, the red, the blue aviation, the dark green. They deliberately develop these as well. So it matches and coordinates with this first edition that I mentioned that will match your moles. They're on there. The die cuts acetates there with the pads are flying out. Um, don't forget 13th of October for those. There's those matching stats. Oh, they're so beautiful you've got them in japan you've got um borders match with your pagodas you've got lanterns with your bamboo that bamboo is amazing the writings is what we just saw on the moles and that's with your dragon and sir vagabond beautiful pairings there so please shop ahead on the web right and that that paint's proven very popular because they deliberately pick them to go with the first edition of uh, this new collection Leonie, the acetate sheets. I'm dying to find out what we're going to do. Okay, so thank you very much. So the acetate sheets. Now, when you get hold of these, obviously they're A4, you can cut them on your normal paper trimmer. Okay. And just to prove it, let me just find my scrap of an acetate sheet. I mean, it's not a scrap. I'll be using this. Uh, but just to show you. So on your paper trimmer, because they are really, really thick, but if you, so say I cut a board, I'll cut a board because then I can use it separate. But with your paper trimmer, you go down, if you pull it towards you, and I'm going to do a second cut just to be sure, pull it towards you, don't push it against because that will be a lot trickier to cut. But you see, it will absolutely cut on your paper trimmer. Obviously, you'll be able to use it with your scissors, but it's a thick acetate so obviously um, a little bit different to normal now what i've done so i've taken a box um they i the base i haven't painted or done anything with yet the lid however um i've already cut part of the lid out okay and then at the back of the box i've already put my little lights like ah. so yay i've put 3d form here now, you, I would generally paint the inside of this before I did this because, um, because it's easier, but just for time, I haven't. So, take the 3D foam off. Come here, you. That one's been a cheeky bit hard. There we go. And then the light keep, uh, keep at the bottom. Now, I've put a little nick in there because you want the light to obviously oh. come through there because you need to be able to get to that controller. A, so you can change the batteries. B, so you can turn um, the lights on and off. But you want to hide your gubbins, don't you? You don't want to see all that. <laughs> so hide your gubbins. That's um, your motto in life. Hide your oh, gubbins. Hide your gubbins. <laughs> that needs to be a stamp, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Why do you go beans? I've got so much go beans. <laughs> Only us crafters would understand it, though, wouldn't we? <laughs> and I'm going to stick this. I would use strong. I'd use my double side, um, the the red liner tape. But at the minute, I'm not sure where mine is. So this will be okay for for temporary measures. Um, if you use your your, in fact, to tell you what you use on that. Your gel medium. If you put your gel medium on, it won't go anywhere. But this is just temporary anyway for now because I might even uh, take it out just to no I won't right and the reason you put it that way up obviously uh, you need to be able to get to the screws because you need to be able to change the battery when it runs out you also don't want to put it too um, high up because or you don't want to uh, too much 3d foam in there otherwise your lid won't go back on so you need your lid to be able to fit back on so that's how you're going to do the um the the back of the box but then 
when you stir, turn this round, because this is an acetate Ooh. sheet, it actually lights up. So it good. actually, it's more subtle um, on in real life than on the overhead camera. On the overhead camera, it's not quite as subtle. If you want it a little bit more subtle, 3D away from your lights. Oh. It's up to you how you want it, yeah. you know, the more, like you can see, the more you lift it away from mm. your lights, the more subtle it's going to become. So it is always a, a way of, you know, you can play with this. I'm just going to move those lights around a little bit to move it like so. Mm. And I do quite fancy it a little bit more subtle. So I'm going to pop a little bit of 3D foam just on there. I have I wasn't going to do this, but, um, but I am going to do so. Now, the acetates, these are still on immediate dispatch if you want these. Do remember to do that thing, you know, with your basket. It's, and I'll, it, I'll let you into a secret. We said this and we didn't check. Um, and they don't normally do this. So this is a, what, yeah, this is a one-off. So make the most out of it because it will probably won't happen again. So <laughs> if you do... <laughs> It was one of them, it was like, oh, probably should have checked. Um, so thank you very much, powers that be. But yeah, so check out your basket, and then it means the stuff that we've got on extended, you are going to get, um, you're going to get straight away, which is superb. So when you pop that now in situ, you can see those lights are diffused a little bit, and I quite like the, mm. you know, I like that it's raised. I'm going to turn the lights off for now. Mind you, I will. No, I'll turn them off for now while I'm putting the borders on. So let's start building this up. What I've done already, I'm just using scraps because the scraps are beautiful. Obviously, mm. we're talking about um, we're talking about Stamperia. You keep every single scrap. You know, you use absolutely everything in this collection. And the borders are just quite fabulous. So, um, oh, if you do want those acetates, how much? Two thirds <gasps> of the stock has Gosh. gone. That could be our next sellout. Mm. So, if you do want those, please uh, check your baskets out. So, I'm just going to trim it off. I did do it a bit um, wider. But because I've changed the how I've um, actually done this now, it means that my, my trimming has changed as well. I'm rummaging for my glue. There it is. I am using a stampy glue. We haven't got this one on the show, unfortunately. Um, but but you might have it in your stash at home. It is an extra strong glue. Um, because I'm going onto the acetate, so I do want a good glue that's going to go onto that acetate. Then you can see all of these are from your your uh, papers. The borders are beautiful. Oh, I mean, man. your papers are exquisite. Uh, there, there's so much going on. I really suggest that other paper pack that you you have got. I really suggest you go for that. You've got your die cuts, but you've also got those backgrounds. Those backgrounds let let you use your your papers. They let you they, they let your main papers go further because you've got um, you've got something to mat and layer onto them. You know you've got something that will allow you to to really maximise your really decorative papers. So it's dead important you get hold of those. Then trying to find something that matches perfectly can be a bit tricky and that can be one of the things that us paper crafters, you know, that it, it's irritating. But, but having those backgrounds, boom, you're sorted. I'm doing my edges because nobody likes a white, your white bit showing. Um, <laughs> we don't want that now, do we? Yeah. I'm just gonna trim that down. Like that, and I want that to. Um, that's going under, but I want this one. So that's going to be the top layer. So I want that to overlap it. Do you see what I mean? So it's it's kind of mm, yeah, kind of pretty. There we go. And I'm trying to be careful not to get glue onto my acetate. Let me cut that down because I don't want it overlapping. So this one I'm going to cut down there like so and then last one now i didn't have that paper but i thought you know what i don't need this to match it, it doesn't matter because all the papers are beautiful so it doesn't matter that it's not exactly the same it's still going to look absolutely beautiful and it means you can use all your scraps and i think when you start looking at the papers and you see the way that they do um, all the, the gorgeous designs. It gives you an idea of how you can use your papers as well. And that's the, you know, the thing about collage. It gives you a little bit more, um, 
makes you a bit brave when it comes to doing all your collages. So just pop that on like this. So this one I want to go under and this one I want to go over like that. Boom. Okay, so we've got that in situ. Put a bit more glue there so I know that will stick. I'm not over gluing it, so I'm not having any glue sort of seeping out the edges because we don't want that now, do we? Now, one of the things that I am going to do, your moulds. Now, with your gorgeous moulds, so with the moulds are, Katie, have we still got these in stock? The right. extra ones are back for this morning, yes. Ooh, now yes. then, mm. because these are <sighs> fabulous. Mm. Um, we sold out last night, sorry, I'm going rummaging while you're looking at yeah, the Yeah, they sold out about <laughs> ten minutes last night, didn't they? But yes. we've got them back for this show. Uh, dispatch will be the 13th. So this is the first time we've seen them since they sold out last night. So well done to you for watching them at midday. Mm. And it's, it is just the beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, let me show you. So I'm using air dry clay. We have got air dry clay on the show. You will get two packs of your air dry clay uh, for 9 99 That is on immediate dispatch. If you want it on immediate, obviously your moulds aren't. Now, I mean, things like this. This is huge this is huge think something like that okay now i'm just going to get me clay and give it a bit of a squidge because i'll get a bit of moisture off this one because that is such a big mold um and that is such him now you could use um your resin with this which would look absolutely phenomenal phenomenal in resin i'm using air dry now my point that point might be the sticking point and the clay might be a little bit moist for this but i'm going to try anyway so let's pop it in and let's see so it might need to dry out just a little bit but um, now, the extended stock, 20% has already gone. So please, if you want these moulds, you are going to have to be quick with these moulds. So just squidging this in and just working it in and getting it up to that point. I do think this clay is feeling a bit, um, a bit wetter than normal. So I'm making excuses. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready. So if it doesn't come out, I can already blame the clay. That's what I'm doing, folks, just to let you know. I'm making excuses, but it will be, and, and that's the thing, um, if if it does have trouble coming out, as you probably know from watching our lovely Catherine, mm. um, it is going to be because your clay is a little bit too wet. I was listening the other day, it's exactly what she said, just leave it out for five minutes or yeah. whatever. And, yeah. yeah, and this is a lovely clay, because this mm. one actually, normally it's, it's all right, to be fair. Um, yeah. You know, you don't normally have any trouble with it, so you don't need to leave it out long at all. No. It's quite, it isn't as as, um, stringy as some of the clays is this one mm. so you can see I'm just working it into the edge there mm. like so but I can tell with this one because this is a very delicate one I can I can tell with this can you see there's a bit of stickiness on that clay yeah so I can tell it's maybe a little bit too sticky really for what I need it to be but, you know, I'm still cracking on, though, aren't yeah. I? I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm glad I'm dying to see this mould. I hope it comes yeah. out after all this. Uh, it's funny, isn't it? Even though part of me is going, it's not going to work, Leon. It's not going to work. It's too wet. I but will persevere. The other part of me is like, oh, just have a go anyway. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Never That's, give up. You know when I chun her on about my voices, folks? That's the ones right there. Sensible one is telling me to, it told me to stop ages ago and get the clay up and dry it out. <laughs> that's the sensible head. The other one went, nah, I'll be right. And that's the one that sadly rules my life. <laughs> 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 the one that is an idiot, quite frankly. <laughs> the idiot <laughs> is the voice that rules my life. See, leaving that bit of clay out, well done, Leon. If one tiny little bit of clay you're leaving out, that's going to make a big difference. <laughs> do you do that. You tell yourself off all the time. And then I just steam ahead. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? The naughty voice always wins. Yeah, same, same. The, the idiot. Mm -hmm. that, my mind's the idiot. It's yeah. like, oh. The plonker. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> like... You idiot. Why did you tell yourself yeah, I was to with you, that? I said, I'll be, I'll go, go, get in there, girl, yeah. <laughs> be right. Back on, let's see it. <laughs> be right. Go so on. on. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Right, OK, nearly there. So, I've used a fair bit of clay on this. It is 
a massive piece. Now, you don't need to have it this thick. I would definitely, with this one, with some of that size, I'd go resin. No, no doubt about it. Because ah. your resin will be beautiful with that. And because it'll be really, um, struck, you know, it'll have real um, strength to it. Yeah. So you won't have to, I'm not going to bother about that little corner for now. So I definitely do resin. Now, you'll take your time, you'd get all your little edges in just to make it really neat. Mm -hmm. I've squidged it down a little bit just to make sure it's quite flat at the back, which you'd do. You'd spend more time. I've um, tried to rush this, but still, and then the nerve-wracking bit let's try and get it out so from the I'm gonna go from that end so just give it a little push from that end and you can see straight away that one that's come out and then just peeling that out like so just giving it a little push as we go down and you can see it's coming out not a problem look at ah oh, see my voice it won and now it's going yeah told you told you sure. told you to listen to me um oh, i can't now i weren't going to do this one you know i were going to do another shape but obviously i ain't squidging that back up and putting it in pack um that is amazing once you've done it just just <gasps> the, the little bits isn't that amazing the little bits just just uh, smooth them back a bit. Wow. I mean, you can because it's air dry clay and a little bits that aren't 100% right, you can trim off anyway. But the detail on that is sensational. Amazing. I mean, it's got all the lines in there. Mm. And that is huge. It is way bigger than my hand. It's, that it's is huge. huge. Yeah. Allow that to dry, obviously. I'll pop it on the floor somewhere where I can't stand on it. Allow that to dry. Um, mm. I dry it overnight. Now, try and dry it in a room. So I always put it in airing cupboard. If it's a room with too much moisture, air dry clay can start to, to curl. So I put it in um, the, um, whatever I just said. Um, what did I just say? The drying cupboard thing. Uh, the airing cupboard. Airing cupboard. Yeah. Put in airing cupboard, um, if you put it in there and then turn it so it, it dries both sides evenly and that way you won't get the, the curl. That's what I do. So that's that one. Now all I'll do before, I'll just paint one of these. Um, this has dried thoroughly, okay, so it's dried both sides. Yeah, nearly thoroughly. Um, I've painted it in blue, first of all, which, of course, is on the show, the blue aviation, which mm. is beautiful. I've also mm. painted the adventure. Um, mm. So these are in the moulds. Um, that one is in the same one that I've just showed you. The adventure is in the one that you're going to get with your uh, one-day special. Now, if you do want the mould that I've just showed you, 60% um, of the stock has gone. You do need to be quick with these. These are very, very busy. N oh, the paint, sorry. 60% yeah. uh, of the paint has already gone. Um, so, yeah, very busy there as well. Remember, they are on, actually, they are on still um, immediate dispatch. So, worth getting hold of them. They're worth getting hold of them anyway. Right, OK, now that's a brush. So, with this, this, I'm going to be delicate. So I'm coming right in mm. and I am watching the lines and I'm literally following the lines of the mould. So with this, there's loads of ways you can paint these, yeah. but actually really painting them properly is a beautiful way of decorating these. So you can see the lines. So you're literally just following those beautiful lines. And the blue is gorgeous. I love the red on that, though. And they deliberately pick the colours to go with the collection, yes. don't they, Leonie? Do you know I love that they do this now? Because yeah. it always gives us exactly the right colours to work with. And it's so nice because that's another thing that can be really difficult, you know, getting the proper colours. Mm -hmm. But now we've got all the proper colours. Some of the colours you might have had already mm -hmm. in one of the previous collections. Um, but it's one of those, because of such gorgeous quality paints, mm. it absolutely, it, it makes sense. And if you do get extra, it kind of doesn't matter anyway. And the price is ridiculously I know, but good. they're saving £18. Pounds. I yeah. can't get over that. Yeah, it's so, so good. So I'm just going to paint this. Now, do you want to, to watch me paint this or do you want to do a little... I'll have a yeah. quick, 
reminder. Is that all Amazing. right? Because everybody's up to date with where we're that at. That would here. make be fab. sense. Thank you, well, I do a cheeky bit of painting. I got a bit lost there when I was reading uh, Sir Vagabond's words of wisdom on his travel log. Um, a good traveller has no fixed plans as is not intent on arriving. Uh, your mind is your best weapon. Only he that has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. I love this. You will never know until you go. I mean, this is just your front cover. That's not officially one of the t ten sheets in this fantastic pad. You've got the... Is actually. I is think it? Oh, I thought I, I counted ten. Forgive I me. Might I, be wrong. 10. I might be wrong. I always two, add three, it in the four, head. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten six. sheets plus your front and your back cover. Do you know, I always thought yeah. it was ten including No, because I, I did a little count because I thought that's oh, so generous. I know. See, I know, I've I know. learnt something new today. There we go. It's very rare I'm able to do that. <laughs> um, he, but he's absolutely stunning. You've got maps. You've got the, the, the travel, you've got the, the Japanese calligraphy, you've got the beautiful, beautiful lady there. I don't know if she, our lovely, uh, what's, what's her lady, our festival of Japan lady? I don't know if she's officially a geisha or what, because she'll tell you all about that. We've got the pagoda. I don't know either. No, yeah. so I don't want to say it wrong, you know. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our lovely pagodas there. Is that mold the only was just using? Look at our fish. We've got the different sizes there as well. Look at our dragon. He's phenomenal. That's in the molds as well. Look at the waves. So much detail. You've got the borders, you could fussy cut the smaller sort of elongated uh, stamps out there. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? And uh, that's before we even get to the back card, which you can fussy cut out. So this is an extra as well, your front and back covers, and then you've got your 10 sheets in there. And, uh, you know, you can use every element of the Stamperia uh, card stock there, 12, well, 10 sheets, but you've got your front and back. So that's your pad. Then you've got your moulds. So these sold out last night. We've got a more holes collection is back on extended. 13th of October is dispatch. There's that amazing dragon with a handsome Savagabon. You've got the travel journal and... Um, the signs there Leone was using, adventure. We've got part of the wave mold. Look how big that is. Isn't that phenomenal? And then you've got Sir Vagabond himself. We move across, you've got the inscription of all the beautiful um, Japanese writing in, in different you know, landscape upwards and, and in the background you've got this texture as well. So so that is phenomenal. Then we've got the stencil as well, which is just beautiful, isn't it, with the blossom and the lanterns. <gasps> I know. And then there's so much in this. You've got three of those phenomenal rice papers there as well. Now, back in stock, 13th of October is your dispatch, uh, 675483. This is the first edition, £29.93. If you do want something on immediate dispatch as well, and you don't want to wait, do two separate orders. As known as explaining the first time we've sort of done that. So you'll, so you'll get the immediate dispatch when you get it, and then everything else will come in two weeks' time. Does that make sense? Uh, 675483. Now, these sold out within literally the first 10 minutes last night. We managed to get back for 12 o'clock today, so people earlier on missed this 8 o'clock. Back on extended, almost quarter of the stock's gone. This is what Leone was just using. We've got our beautiful Japanese ladies, the fan, the, the beautiful pagoda, those gorgeous, gorgeous lanterns and vases. And then you've got the scroll there with the blossom. Two scrolls, you've got the fish, they're almost like medallions, aren't they? And the dragon at the bottom, just amazing. 1499-044-729, uh, back in stock, 13th of October is the dispatch for that. So please don't miss out on that because they're flying. As is these as well, because these sold out in the first hour last night with our Leone as well. So we've got the two 8x8 pads. Again, you've got the front and back covers. You've got the 10 sheets in either of those. You've got the identical 8x8 of the one-day special. Let me show you the backgrounds because you won't have seen those. And this is great, isn't it? Because we, we, we've got extra there to use. Look, look at, I mean, look at that vista. I mean, that is just stunning. I don't want to cover up any of that. I just want to look at it. It's just beautiful. The, the, the Japanese inscription, the blossom, the layering, the texture that is, the detail in these pages. I mean, it's just front and back. They're beautiful, aren't they? I love the maps. Something about maps, isn't it? I love mm. the way they sort of made it sort of vintage looking. Isn't this gorgeous? The colorways, you can see how that beautiful aviation blue, the colors, the okras that they've chosen, the reds, 60% of those paints have gone. You can see why. Um, the bamboo there, why it, tonality wise, it's a perfect match. So um, yeah, please don't miss out because they, they've picked that for you especially. Uh, for this limit, this special edition, first edition. And then, I know, we love the die cut pieces. Look, where's our handsome devil? Here he is, <laughs> Sir Vagabond. They're all acetate, aren't they? The quality 
is just amazing. Look at our dragon, it's just beautiful. You've got fans, you've got lanterns. Oh, you've got sort of insignia and medallions. Just, you've got, you've got the wisdom, the quotes. There he is with his samurai sword. Oh, it's just amazing. It's just got 38 of those and they're all absolutely stunning. Stunning. Uh, 19.99 for that collection, proven very popular, 13th of October, 0273535. I mentioned stamps to make the collection and we've also got some amazing chipboard that I saw, coloured chipboard, beautiful. Have a look at those on the web. Um, these are partners. Now this one is Bamboo and the Lantern. That's seven pieces in total. This is limited stock. That bamboo is beautiful. I love this collection. £29.98, £287.00. Um, four, five, four for those two. My next set, again, double doozy there. You've got the Pagoda and the Borders. Now, that Pagoda is a massive, massive stamp set. But you can use elements of it. You don't have to use it as a whole. It breaks down. Then you've got those three beautiful borders. Stunning. Uh, 915568. And then another double doozy from Stamperia is the writings. Now you've just seen this, that's a big singular stamp, you've just seen this in your mould and then we've got Sir Vagabond himself with the dragon as well. So again 067490, amazing collection of stamps. So do shop ahead on the web for the hidden extras with this brand new collection. Back to Leone. Oh, thank you. Now I'm still painting mm. because <gasps> because um, it's just one of those that you get a bit carried away with. I am going to have to go back over with the, the red a little bit. So I, it is a bit faffy, is this? But I, I do quite like, oh, I quite like the layering the gold over the red, actually. I do. Yeah, yeah I'm going to stick to that. Of... It needs a little bit, I need to faff, but I'll faff when you're not watching me because otherwise... <laughs> It's Fat a bit time-consuming, yeah. but I, I, take your time with mm. this. It is worth it. And can you see the the detail you can get in this? Gosh. I mean, actually, going over with the 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 gold over that red, actually, it does look really nice. It looks like a gilt, doesn't it? Yeah, like it that. does. It looks really nice. Bit too much there, but I can fix that. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Now, this is air dry clay. I mean, air dry clay is brilliant because you can faff like this. You know, you can mm. you can get that detail. You can keep going back over it. It handles it. You know, it's not like I'm I'm going to make it too soggy with the acrylic paints. I'm oh. absolutely not. You know, it's just um, it's just handling all that beautiful paint. And I yeah, the first bit not keen on. This bit love. Mm. It, you find your way though, and then obviously once it's like oh yeah, I like that. You know what you want to do. Um, and actually, the way I layer this on the projects, anyway, I could cover that bit up, but I really quite like that. I think that looks rather fabulous. So, that's our beautiful, um, the fan. Remember, that is one of the extra moulds that we've got on the show, but they have been super, super busy. So, if you want that fan, you do need to check your basket out, because, um, yeah, that is absolutely exquisite. The other way, of course, you can use it. Um, with Rather than faffing about doing all the detail, with this one, you can just dry brush it. So if I just get a little bit of cream, just a tiny bit of cream from my um, the paints that are on the show, get one of my brushes. That one's a bit too soft. There we go. Get one of my brushes, and I'm actually going to pick the paint up, then get rid of it, of course, because we want to dry brush. And then as we dry brush over, you can see the detail pop. And that is the quickest way. You know, one way is beautifully faffy. The other way takes seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and you still get a really good finish. So it's like, why didn't you do that? But but it's worth doing both because sometimes you'll want that, you know, that detail. Other times you'll just want that really nice. And, I mean, look how that pops. It's ace. Mm. You know, it is ace. So there's loads of ways that you can... Oh, now I've done that. I want to put a bit of cream on that. Oh, sorry, folks. I'm terrible for <laughs> faffing. I can't help it. It's just it's just a crafter's thing, isn't it? But I know that it will work really nice with that. Well, the, just that bit of highlight on there, mm. it'll just see... It does, it looks really nice. Still falling out with that bit, but that's okay. Um, and you've got on them, oh, which mould? On them thingy moulds, look, 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 you've got your beautiful lanterns as well. Mm. These are lush, and I might do a little bit of dry brushing with that gold as well, because, look, 
Ooh, Ooh. too much gold. Get rid of it otherwise. But look how beautiful is that. And those lanterns on the moulds mm. are fabulous. I didn't know. Are they all lanterns? I thought I thought one was a vase. They're all lanterns, aren't they? Be, it mistake, might be sorry. a vase, actually. I suppose you could. No, they're lanterns. I, th I thought the one could be vasey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can do vasey. Yeah. You can do lanterns. It, it, it can be whatever you want it to be. Because I think on one of the papers, this one is a lantern. Yeah. Um, but then, um, I think... Yes, it is, yeah. I think... I can see it on the front cover here, Leone. Yeah, it's no, there's, there, there isn't a vase in sight, Fiona. It's just all lovely lanterns. <laughs> there they are. But I suppose I thought that maybe could potentially be a vase. But hey, I make life complicated. <laughs> uh, it's whatever you want it to be. Thanks, Leone. Uh, you got my corner. Thank you. <laughs> Always. Um, okay. So now I've got a blob of red gold paint there. It's me, so I ain't wasting it. Um, in fact, what I will do is just get my, this is my cardstock, this is my, um, oh, don't waste anything cardstock, you know, it's just regular, regular cardstock, but it's so you don't waste anything. So it's where your, your prints go. So when, you're, when you've got too much uh, paint that you've gone and splodged out, you put the excess on here and you make a gorgeous background. And things like this I love because you get so many cool backgrounds just from your, your scrap paints. And that is such a nice gold. Mm. It is beautiful. So that's me, that's my little um, save me paint one. Okay, moving on. Now put that in there as well. This is nearly clean. Let me just spritz it so I don't pick gold up everywhere and give that a bit of a wipe. I know it never looks clean, but it is dryish at least. <laughs> okay. So let's bring this back in again. So as we know, let's start building up on this one. Now I've already died a cut out mm. of the paper, our beautiful lady. I mean, how gorgeous is she? She is from your one day special. So she is one of the papers from the one day special and she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you have to be quite brave to cut these up, but do it, you know, because there's loads you can get out of these. And obviously all the little elements that surround her and the backgrounds I'll still use you know it's not like you're gonna throw them away the papers show you how to do beautiful collages so you might be using those for collages but obviously you're not gonna just bin them you know you've got tons and tons of uses so I'm just going to give her a bit of a, a shaping like that so she's gonna be sticking down now it's deciding whether to build it up with a paper background. So what I'd suggest, put the lights on so you can see the lights, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to put a paper background. However, if I put a paper background, it's like, mm, do I cover too much of the mm -hmm. light up? However, however, it does sort of set a different tone to it. But I do, I must admit, I do quite like seeing all the lights. So let's have a little see. Mm, decisions, 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 decisions. No, I quite like it because I think it breaks up the background. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to trim that off. So I'm eyeballing this because I am starting to rush a bit now. So just eyeball it a little bit. So that's going to be along that edge there. Eyeball that. That's going to be kind of that edge there. Like so. Kind of doesn't matter because she's going to be covering up the bottom. See, and mm. it just breaks up that corner. So she's sitting on that corner. I am going to have a little look again and I might still change my mind there. <laughs> I might change my mind. I'll start building it up and then we can decide. So I want to bring the beautiful fan in. Okay, so that's going to come on because obviously we've got that detail. And now, I, now this is the faff bit, okay, because this is the bit where you're putting all your elements in. So this is the bit, how many minutes? 12 minutes to fab. It will take me 12 minutes. <laughs> I'd like to say it wouldn't, but that would be an absolute lie. It definitely will take me 12 minutes to faff. So I'll put my little oil fan in. But I do like that. I kind of like it near her hair, but I kind of like that on that side of her. Mm. Like so. So that is going to come out like this. I could even put that at the corner. Ooh. No, the corner, isn't it? And that one, adventure, maybe down here. Like so. 
Yeah, that's definitely going in the corner. Um, I've also got now uh, the chipboard. Have we got the chipboard? We Did have. that sell out? It... Oh, we don't oh. have the chipboard. Oh, is we that don't. Gone? Oh, I'm so oh, the sorry. Board. We oh. haven't got the chipboard. I oh. absolutely apologise. I'm really, really teasing you. Oh. They went a long, long time ago. So I'm <laughs> sorry about that. That's that's the thing, isn't it? If you mm. don't get in there quick, it don't fit anyway, so it's OK. These bits are literally just the paper from the scrap. So these... Now, I we're going to put the moulds on, but... Oh, and I still might. I'm be, oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, the lanterns, lanterns look really yeah. good, don't they? Mm. So do we do lantern or do we do fan? Oh, I like the lanterns. I like the lanterns. Yeah. They do look really nice, don't Something they? Something about them hanging with the lights, mm. it seems to go. OK, and then maybe the paper lanterns underneath. Yeah, that does look quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. OK, that looks really nice. Paper lanterns, obviously, they've been cut out of the paper. So that's where you're using all your gorgeous scraps. I would stick this when I'm ready to stick. I'm going to be putting all this together with my glossy gel medium because that will allow me um, to layer properly and it'll also make sure they stick properly because you need them, all, you need them to stick properly. Um, let's just have a little look at that. So that might go there. Mm. So I am going to faff and hopefully come up with a little idea there. Let's have it like that so they're all layered. Told you. I knew it would take 15 minutes to do this. Easy. OK, <laughs> get that off her face. We don't want anything on her it's face. It's nice to see all the different machinations, Leonie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As you're moving them, it's, yeah. it could be this, it could be that. It's nice to see. It, it, do you know what? And this is why it takes a long time to do projects like this, because obviously you don't just slap it together mm. you know you need to take a step back you need to look at it you need to see how it's how it's um coming on before you actually stick anything down the acetates now the acetates oh. will give you a different look again entirely because they'll give you that beautiful sort of shine mm. you know and that that again looks really really effective and that corner i like that corner i like that corner to be quite a nice busy corner um because i think that looks gorgeous and actually the little sentiment mm. see i really quite like that as mm. well um so with your acetates so of course there's loads of gorgeous acetates i, I do think these are amazing because there's so many different ones as well they're beautiful aren't they they're really beautiful and things like this are just mm. absolutely exquisite and remember with these because you're sort of seeing through even though that's built up mm. you still got a little bit of um light shining right, through yeah. that which looks absolutely sensational we've even got so if i don't want my other fan mm. we've even got a little fan there but i actually quite like that it's funny actually sometimes i don't put loads and loads of stuff on because I did have some um, leaves and stuff as well that I were going to bring on oh, yeah. because I thought that would look quite pretty and maybe flowers as well. But, um, yeah, that does look quite nice as well. Oh, it does look quite nice. <laughs> 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 Too many possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's honestly, you're, you're basically just just watching me play because, but this is what you do. And this is what people will do at home. People will, um, you know, faff and, and decide how to, to lay it on. That looks really pretty. So obviously we're going to do that. We're going to go that way. OK, let's start actually gluing some things down. And then, of course, <laughs> these now, I don't need these mm -hmm. because they're going to be hidden mm -hmm. um, use your glossy gel medium your glossy gel medium is perfect for this this will allow everything to stick um, it's really really good adhesive and think things like this because when I do my air dry clay I don't um, oh I forgot to put that down with the air dry clay um, I normally squidge it into the mould so it means that um, there's a little sort of dip in it right. because it saves a bit of clay, you see. Well, that's right. You don't need to fill it to the Absolutely. So level, do you? No. So, but the, the actual... Um, the, the glue's perfect for that mm. because your glue, you can actually get into that little bit of recess, which is really, really handy. So, popping that there, I've got a feeling that might be the wrong way around. Um, I tell you what, this will go with those papers. Oh, yeah. It? You know, Beautiful. we've got... 
I don't know which show that is. Which show no, is that? I don't know either, but there's some the We've lovely... We've got some sensational sort of, know, Japanese... Handmade um, paper over there. Yeah. Seven o'clock tonight. Yeah, oh, honestly, right. you need to watch that show. Yeah. It, it looks phenomenal. Um, it's A-I-T-O-H. No idea. But the papers I are no idea. beautiful. They are be I, they, yeah, I was looking at those mm. as we came in. I must admit, I looked at them and it was like, I want everything Ooh. on that counter. Yep. But it'll go with this. If you are loving this, you need to tune into that show because, honestly, it'll go wonderfully. Now, let's get some of these dice glued. So, let's get one leaf. Oh, let's not have that there. All right, so bob the leaf there. Bob the other leaf here, like so. And I'm just raiding my stash now with all my lovely little flowers. I'm dying to have some coming down here. So I'll probably... Oh, look at that. I've got a fabulous little um, sort of thing. <laughs> Boingy thing. Bit of wire. Springy thing, yeah. Bit of wire. Oh, no, like a little bit of wire. Actually, these are so, so handy. This will be perfect. So I need to pop that. This is when your gel medium really comes into its mm. own because you can put a nice big dollop in big, there. Big dollop. And then, yeah, big dollops of gel medium are the best. And that extra texture, you see, yeah. is really cool because it, it just gives you that extra sort of movement on it, which is gorgeous. And I'll pop another little bit at the top here as well. So, another good bit of dollop there, mm. like so, which works wonderfully. Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, so, gorgeous flower there. Another little flower here. Could all gel medium. It's ace, though, because you can just layer, layer, layer. And you can play with it. So if you fall out with it and you want something else, you can play. So it's not a big deal. I will have, um, I'm going to have to have another flower because it has to have a three. Because mm. <laughs> otherwise it's not going to be right, is it? No. You have to have a three. So this is where Leone goes rummaging yet again. That one's quite pretty. That fits, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, I quite like that one. Oh, dear. Faff, faff, faff. See, I've got quite a few of these beautiful leaves as well. And I do like those. And I think they nice. fit really gorgeous because they look like little maple leaves, don't they? They do, don't they? Yeah. So it's got that um, that beautiful look. Um, if I'm not going to finish this, obviously. So what <laughs> I will do is finish it in the break. I will do a different demonstration this afternoon. I won't carry on this one. But I will put a photo of this on the Insta and on the Facebook. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, so you can see it. There's no one up ladder, so we can turn the lights down. Yeah, yeah shall we? Look how pretty oh, that is. beautiful. Isn't she just beautiful? <laughs> She's so beautiful. And actually, I might take that out, so there is another little bit yes. of light behind yeah, her. Yeah, that little bit of light. Yeah. Oh, Gorgeous. thank you. That helped, me, that helped me choose. Boom. See, it almost makes me want to put another flower down here now, but I'm not going to have enough flowers, Leone. Walk away from the flower. I'm going to close kit. that box. <laughs> <laughs> Once the flower box is open, we're doomed. Thank you, Sophia. All the flowers, all the flowers. the flowers. There we go. Um, pop another little one there like that and then now you have got it's one of those isn't it you see you can still with these little embellishments the the beautiful acetate mm. um you can chop them up obviously um i like it because if you've got any gel medium it wipes off everything you know what i mean so yeah. if you get it where you don't want it to go but there where that corner is i can little... just pop that in that yeah. corner and it just looks so pretty yeah. to have that rounded corner mm. it's i love that you know that attention to detail it's absolutely sensational now my lady I'm going to stick her on in a minute. Now, I'm going to use, um, and I don't know where I've put it, I'm going to use my, let me see if I've got it here. Yes, I have. Um, I'm going to use stone paper. Ooh. Now, the reason I'm using stone paper is this will allow me to mould that. If I put gel medium under that, because it's just paper, mm -hmm. it means that it might get... Um, it might be a bit not, um, 
it might be a bit too wet for it and it mm. might distort it a bit and it won't uh, it won't lay just exactly how I want it. Glue it onto stone paper, mm -hmm. cut it back out again, and then this will allow you to shape it, which means that you can wash it, you can oh, sew it, you can stuff. stamp on it, you can't tear it, but you can yeah. cut it, you can die cut it. You can Scrum make, it. in fact, whereas, look, 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 I brought this in because I'm going to finish it. I made my, um, this is my iPad cover, I made that out of this. That was the original Surf Agabond. Uh, but that is my iPad cover that's made out of stone paper. Oh. And I, 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 first time I made it, I put my iPad in there and then forgot where it was because I forgot I'd made yes, it. I, I couldn't find it for months. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, for hours, hours I were looking yeah, for it. Really but it was so it. funny. It was like, oh, yeah. But that is stone paper. Yeah, mate, it's amazing it stuff. amazing stuff. But it defies it, comprehension. It's just, yeah. it's just bizarre, yeah. isn't it? But it also, for something simple like this, yeah. it's also beautiful because you can glue it on, yeah. but it moulds to it. But yeah. it's, it's harder than paper. Gives it's it stronger. That strength. Yeah. Yeah. So when I'm doing this, because I want that to last, stone paper is absolutely the one right. to go underneath it. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do that. Because we've got 45 seconds, oh. but I will show the finished results so you can see what it looks like uh, when I've actually finished. And then we've only got one more show, haven't I know, we? I know, so don't miss out. Check out your baskets. Thank you, Leone. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully, we might get a little peep then at four. I know you're going to put it on your social media as yes, well. Yes, I will Fabulous. indeed. Yes, I uh, will. Don't miss out on your stone paper as well. That was two of the stone, one of the gold there. Uh, the one day special dispatch will be the 13th of October. Do shop ahead for the moles, do shop ahead for the paints and the stamps and the acetates. It's all there under the brand of Stamperia on the website. Thank you, Leonie, my darling. Thank you. I will see you at three because I've got Art Inspirations and then Stamperia. Wow. All right. <laughs> Fabulous. Busy. Yeah, and we've got those, those, that new client as well. Is it 8 o'clock with those new papers we were talking about? Now, Kingfisher Petite Fabrics up next with our Susie. Then we've got that crafty journaling and then the Arts Inspiration monthly mega deal with Leonie. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri show. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps.
Hello, telly time now. Uh, good afternoon, welcome back. Uh, here we are at the craft store. I'm saying that really for my own benefit more than anything else, to be honest with you. It is Thursday as well, isn't it? Marvellous, good. We all know where we are now and who we are. That's a good start. Uh, let's see who this is then, shall we? Hello again, Susie Duncan. Hello, hello, How are hello. you? Are you still Susie Duncan? I am still Susie Fantastic. Duncan. Fantastic. I haven't changed. Thanks for coming time. back. That's all right. Third fabric range in one day. I know, get me. I know. Like a superstar, like a well, heptathlete of... Yeah, it is a bit like a triathlon today, isn't it? Yes. I knew you were going to correct that. Yeah. I just knew it. I knew. <laughs> if I said heptathlon... Well, if I added in the step aerobics, the yoga... And, it could be. And all the other things we've been doing... That it could then be. Then it could well be a It could well be. Yeah. Uh, right, let's look at some batiks then, shall we? Yes. Before we drift off into a bizarre world that is uh, me and Susie today. <laughs> We're three hours of just meandering today. It's been fabulous. Uh, we are enjoying some batiks in this hour. And uh, batiks, of course, are... It's a very, very kind of traditional method of fabric construction and making, isn't it? It's quite... Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, For anyone that isn't p familiar with a batik, um, because they look different and they feel different, Susie, as well, don't they? Yes, they're a lot stiffer mm. um, than most fabrics are used to. They're bordering on, like, canvas feel. Yes. But without that rough grain. It's, yeah. So it's cotton fabric, but it is stiffer. So yeah. it holds its shape really well, presses amazingly i mean if you can't get a decent press from a boutique yeah. you're not trying yeah yeah because they do press really well but what i love about them is within a square inch you have a f huge array of colors going look, on look at what's going on and it's on not there. a repeated pattern because these are natural no. occurring patterns it's with wonderful the techniques they it's use. very very clever it is immensely clever but it also means it adds huge amounts of depth and interest to a cotton fabric. I love it. Actually, for a batik, that is remarkably, to the camera, I know, that looks like remarkably like exactly one colour, but, but actually it, to the eye, yes. it's got a lot of variants of colour. It's got kind of, um, it almost looks like it's got a slight kind of uh, burnout. But it, in a non-ordered fashion. Yes, it's very clever. You'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. Yep. Now, first bundle on your batiks then is your batik rainbow and uh, we've we've of course arranged them in perfect rainbow order <laughs> eventually uh, and not in conform with the song no. we've got in the actual red orange yellow the green blue order. now of course we're missing indigo and violet but you'll see little hints of indigo and violet within the blue so you still have a beautiful rainbow there um, half meter of each they are absolutely delightful in fact you know what i'm going to i'm going to waft out the the orange one because I've got a second set of them here and I want to waft out the orange for a second because and then you can see that lovely variance in the texture but also the tone and I think sometimes you need to see that on a larger scale on yeah. a batik um, just so you can appreciate the lovely texture of the fabric as well so why do we always do that licking our fingers thing it's not a stamp Derek it's a piece of fabric I don't always do that with but fabric. But even stamps are self-adhesive now aren't I know they? it's ridiculous to just have it isn't it I never worked in a post office um, but look, now you can see overall, see it looks like a floral from that distance, but then yes. when you come in close, it almost looks like a marble, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's the thing, because it is so beautifully, as you said, Susie, it's like so beautifully random. It wasn't, it wasn't designed that way. It isn't a no, uniform it's, pattern. It's not a uniform pattern. No. It's not even a tossed pattern. No, it isn't. It is very, it's a naturally occurring pattern through the process. It's a happy accident. It is. But that means when you're cutting into it, however, whatever scale you're cutting in yeah. you're going to see an interest so as a plane with interest yeah it's amazing now um even though susie talks about the um the um texture being slightly different it still wafts beautifully yes, so it's still it wonderfully light so i don't want you thinking it's a thick fabric no. but it certainly feels a lot more Right. stable like it has a body to it has yes. a different feel to a regular fabric maybe not as soft as a regular fabric um, being honest with you um, they are lovely though because visually they're absolutely gorgeous so that's first yeah. bundle then so that's five half meters 25 pounds and 20 with a six pound saving which is really really lovely and that is your rainbow now 
You're going to be creating a wonder in this hour with the rainbow, well, aren't we you? Well, we hope so. <laughs> We're going to be creating a Bargello. When I say we, I don't mean the royal we, I mean as in nothing to do with me whatsoever. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Next up, we have another <laughs> set of five for you. Now, the graphics will call this neutral and grey, but I've decided to rename it because I think neutrals and grey really does it no justice whatsoever. So it's these five here. It's this lovely, lovely grey with the gold foiling, yes. which has it, almost like a little firework display going on. See, I've decided to call this Rose Festival because I'm getting the festival from the fireworks on the gold foiling on that one. I'm getting the most beautiful floral blooms from this next one and then a blender to that is this gorgeous cream which has so many other tones working within it it's mm. wonderful it's it to me it's like a gelato because it's not just a vanilla ice cream it's got it's got a bit of lemon in there it's got a bit of all sorts going on there wow. then here comes your black cherry stick with me with oh. the ice cream references because oh, like there that. is your black yeah. cherry oh, black cherry ice cream very oh, nice phenomenal. and then i go back to the florals here because oh. this has a little bit of blue a bit of sort of petrol blue a little bit yeah. of gray in the background there's a little hint of a almost Sand. like um yes mm. Oh, there's a little touch of a mocha in there mm. as well. It's very, very nice. There's a very sort of it's earthy like the feel. It's like on a rock at the beach. Yes. Effect. See? See? Now, that, none of that says neutral or grey to me whatsoever. No. I love it. So if you would like this selection, it is just beautiful. I love this spot foiling here. That is amazing. And it isn't irons it? well. You're not going to lose any of the metallic when you iron. Oh, good. Which is phenomenal and Marvelous. it really does shine through it's and look at the backdrop to that it's yeah. wonderful I mean, it's, that's fireworks it, in a fabric well i think it? for those people who enjoy their inky backgrounds in yeah. their crafting or just watching the craft store i mean actually yeah. these kind of fabrics are a real joy in that respect yes. they are lovely so all five of those half meters there for you 25 pounds and 20 with a six pound saving very very nice indeed right now we're going to different bundles because this time we're going to bundles of threes, and these are landscapes. Now, I'm going to show you all of these, actually. I'm going to get them all out, Hugh, one by one. I'm going to get them all somebody. out one by one. I'm going to start with the purpley one, because I think, actually, we need to see absolutely everything on these, don't we? Look at that. I mean, straight away, don't you just want metres and metres and metres of that? Aurora Borealis. Isn't it gorgeous? In fabric, yeah. And it is, they are beautiful to work with they sew really I love nicely that. you can make anything out of that well you? i've used it to make the weekend tote bag oh that's hanging on the set yes so yes used, yes 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 and that actually used yes virtually <gasps> all three half mm. meters i love that it's massive and, it can, and i've used it to line as well so it's the lining beautiful. is all yeah fancy nancy that's but there's gorgeous. enough left over for me to make a pocket for inside if i wanted to which, of course, you would. Well, of course. Of course you would. Uh, let me show you the second fabric, then, because you're getting three half metres in this one. So you've got the lovely purpley base one, which, again, as you can see, has a bit of everything going on. <gasps> oh! See, that is... Sun see? setting over a sea and yes. a beach, isn't it? That is just... You would want to create that deliberately, wouldn't you? Yeah. That <gasps> on cocktails, it just reminds me of tequila sunrise. Does it? Do you know, I've never had one of those. No, nor have I, but it just... I've seen them. I don't even know it what's in a tequila sunrise. So anyway, we can't discuss tequila. that at this time of the day. Yeah, tequila, obviously, <laughs> that would probably be a good start, wouldn't it? Not sun. <laughs> <laughs> and not rice. <laughs> it's no yeast in it. I would imagine oh, there might there's be. a little know. bit of orange juice and grenadine <clears throat> in there somewhere. Is there? If anyone has a recipe, please do tones. let us know. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Oh, uh, this, this just takes you everywhere, doesn't it? This just takes you on a wonderful, wonderful little journey. I love this. It's so good for the price I would as use well. That. So I have a quilt in progress at home. Look at that's that. It's like Delft blue colours. And I've used Look that, that blue one as my it. blender. I just think they're all okay. absolutely just yum, 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 they yum. They're gorgeous. Listen, I don't know what I would do with them, and that really doesn't matter at this stage. Um, I think... Mm, I'm not sure if I could. I would. Hang on. Let me. Let's have a little look. A have a look. Well, now, if we had a shirt, would we be talking that way round, or would we be talking that way round? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah. I could rock. 
I could, yeah, I could rock a shirt like that. You could like kimono that. that as well. That's you could it. go lots of different ways with that, yeah. couldn't you? <gasps> I love it. Anyway, listen, if you do, I can't be wafting this all day long. Uh, this Should is I wonderful. Sort those out get, you it, move on? get it ordered while you can. If you, if you, if you don't mind, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Um, so three half meters there for you. Fifteen pounds and forty nine pence. I love it. I'm, I'm not surprised you love it as well. It's gorgeous. So it's these three here. So you've got your. I wouldn't. You know. That, yes, that would be a lovely blend between one and the other. But that could be the sea to your sky. That could be your sunset to the lovely sea. Oh, I love everything about this. Oh, do you know? I was just thinking. That's a nice sort of Caribbean or. or I was going to say Canarian holiday, but I'm not sure if Canarian holidays are a thing at the moment, are they? For the old volcano. Spitting its stuff into the oh, sky at the oh, moment. I heard Not that. heard about La Palma. Mm. No, I don't listen to the news. I've given that up. Yes, uh, it's still going on. Isn't that wonderful? Really, really gorgeous. Beautiful. Now I can feel people at home, Ross, going. Will you get on with it? Uh, so I will. Yes, two two six one one zero is your item number there. Fifteen pounds and forty nine pence there. Right, got another set of three here for you, and these are stamped batiks. Um, now, quite often um, when they're creating, and often the, the, the finest batiks are created uh, in India where they've got that generations and generations of heritage in creating fabrics and they quite often use wooden block. Um, I was going to say technology, it's hardly technology, is it? It's like cutting up potatoes and doing the potato prints in a way, isn't it? Slightly more sophisticated version of that. Um, but they'll do it to create these um, amazing, amazing um, patterns. And look at that. Oh, my word. Now, how on earth, how on earth do you integrate that, that wonderful variation of colour and then keep it selected to these Very brush clever, strokes? How's Very that? Very clever. I love it. Then we've got another one of these, what I call these festival fabrics, which this is just like, this is like Diwali in a nutshell, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely It's the lovely sunny, firework also display. For, you know, it's festive Christmas. Also, not far away from Halloween. They're very Halloween-y colours as are. well. I've, I have started to make some pumpkins out of these. Have you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. And then the third one, which for me is, is absolutely delicious. Let me just shimmy this one out I of mean, the way for a second. that is autumn in a fabric. That is, is amazing. Beautiful. That is the, the floral fabric for people who don't really do florals yes, as well. Yes, a nice yes. alternative in terms of colour. Don't those three colourways go really, really beautifully together and you get yes. a half metre of each of them. That would be great. That would be great as a shirt. Yes, it would. Yes. Because also it's not one of those fabrics that you can see through. Hugh, you're not sure about that? Hugh, my director, a little bit unsure as to whether oh, he could rock a shirt. Yeah. Um, in that, but you can't see through it, Hugh, so you wouldn't see your hairy chest or anything like that. You'd be absolutely fine. What do you think? I would definitely... Oh, you like showing off your hairy chest. Yeah. Okay, well, you can't please some people, can you? <laughs> Look at that. That would be good in clothing <laughs> as well. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, so all three of those half metres, Ross is staying out of it completely, I noticed. Uh, 032834. <laughs> you could rock Margate Beach in that shirt to uh, our Ross. That's where he's from. Dad to market. Fifteen pounds and forty-nine pence. Anyway, right. Now, busy already. Let's do a pick and mix now. We do love a pick and mix here at the craft store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's from here to here. Um, you've got the choice of all of these beautiful batiks. I tell you what, should we do a page by page here? Oh, that's not really going to work, is it? Because they're not really wide enough, those pages, are they? Sorry, Maddie. <laughs> I'll, I'll just show you a little, you know, like a strip Turn tease, just showing you a shoulder. Um, I'll give you the names as well. This one is called... Red stamped leaf. That looks like monstera leaves as well, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. I've got one of those now. Have you? At home, yeah, it's working as well. What Next it, they one. Go mad. Stamped leaves. Leaves. Leaf. Not leaves. Leaf. <laughs> now the next one's very similar. I feel. Different type of leaf. Oh, They're more like beet. Autumn leaves. Yeah. Yes, it's smaller leaves. Different leaves. So yeah. leaves one, and leaf two. Actually, that. They look a bit butterfly-ish, don't they? Because they're more like a palm leaf, aren't yes. they? Not a palm, like no, a tropical mon plant monstera, leaf. Yeah. And that one's more oaky, isn't it? Or beachy, Beach. as you say, yes. Yeah. Um, next one. What? Star, scatter, cream pink. 
Oh, yes, there is. There's lovely lilacs and lavenders yes. and all sorts going on there. And like little, this, like the star shaped flowers. And then there's there, a, like periwinkles. And there's a leaf. Yeah, you've got the veining of the leaf instead of the leaf. Mm. Like that. Yeah. Next one is. Brushstroke. Paint stripe. Strike. Paint strike. Like the paint said, no more. I'm going on strike. <laughs> um, yes, it's like brush strokes, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. In a gorgeous sort of deep honeycomb, caramelly kind mm. of colour, with a little twist of plum. What do we say? Plummy mm, damson sort of. Damsony. Damson. Yeah, less, that's it. Less pink, more purple. Yes. Yes. True. <laughs> 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 Stop going to the colour of plums. Next, branch scatter cream. This one. That's a nice blender, isn't it? Because there's lots and lots. Yeah. There's the hint of that damson coming into uh, some of this. Mm -hmm. There's lighter greens, so there's more limeier greens, and then you're going all the way through. It is like an inky background. It is. Through a stencil, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is, as if you've Like stenciled. the oxides have been through. Yes. Love it. Yes. Next one. Hoo -hoo. Star fast. scatter red orange. My favourite. For Christmas. Yes, for Christmas. It's very velvety looking as well, isn't yeah. it? Actually, do you know what? There's a slightly different feel to this as well. Is there? Yeah. It kind of feels a little bit velvety. You almost feel like you could brush the pile one way and the other. You can't, no. but it almost feels like you can. That yeah. is a lovely Christmas green there in it the background, is isn't it? That would look stunning. And Christmas finally, Christmas. in your pick and mix, autumn leaves cream pink. So this is almost like a gathering. Oh, hang on. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, it there is. There are a gathering yes, of leaves, perfect. aren't they? It's like when they... To when look like a floral. Yeah, after the wind we've had over the last few days outside... Well, speak for yourself, Susie outside, Duncan. Outside... Oh, I see, right, OK. <laughs> I did qualify. <laughs> you don't just get one or two leaves fall down, you get clusters falling down, and that looks exactly it what does. that is. It does. It's lovely. It's like a cluster of... Um, it's beautiful. To, to be... Um, emulate the colour of a, not the colour, the shape of a flower. Yes. I'm having a Leone at the moment. I'm just putting words into sentences and and not really knowing whether they're making sense or not. Anyway, pick a mix. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You pick any two half metres for £12.98. Hang on a moment. twelve ninety eight for two half metres. So for a metre of fabric. These are quality boutiques as well. Yeah, they are really lovely. <clears throat> some boutiques, to be honest with you, some of them feel, uh, some boutiques, when you feel them, it's a little bit like feeling very, very dry paper. You almost want to rub some moisturiser in. Um, where these don't feel like that. No. They don't feel like they're stopping you in your tracks. You'll know what I mean if you work with boutiques. Sometimes when you buy, let's just say, budget boutiques, um, you feel them and you're like, oh, that feels terribly dry as a fabric. Feels like it's yeah. not going to move. And um, as you sew with it, it crunches. Yes. It's like And it's not a pleasant, flakes. not a pleasant yeah. to these the touch. These don't do that. But these are lovely, so I'm happy to rock a shirt in either of those. Now, these will go out for you on the 7th of October, by the way, uh, which is next, a week today. Mm. Next a week today. A week today, whatever today is. Thursday, we've Thursday. established that already. Now, we've got some extra wide fabrics for you. Now, I was just about to say, every time I, my, I hear the words extra wide, I want to then say backing fabric, and that's not necessarily the case, is it, Susie, at no, all? Extra not. wide can be for a, a number of different things. Now, well, if shall, you're just we, making, shall we socially making, distance in a kind of, I'll look that way while you grab you that, and just to kind of illustrate what 108 inches wide is all about. In fact, we can't even get a camera shot that's wide enough to accommodate the full 108 inches. But just take it as red. These are amazing fabrics as Useful, well. Useful, aren't they? I mean, just looking at that, I mean, that's such a rich pattern going on. There you see. Yeah, stunning. A couple of shirts out of that one. I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, very, very nice. It's my festival shawl. I've now mummified myself and I'm not going to be able to get out of this yeah. now, am I? <laughs> anyway, do you want to have a look at the colours that we've got? Because we've got quite a few. So I try. <laughs> just realise I've made Unravel a straight jacket. Yeah. <laughs> probably best. About time, probably. So here are your colours. Now, I think as well, I, what I want to do, the one that we've just seen, by the way, is the teal blue. Dark, sorry, dark blue, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Um, so. 
what we've got here is the teal blue then, is it, Ross? Right, OK. Where did teal blue come from then? Oh, you're just making it up, are you? OK, so... <laughs> Oh, I thought you said teal. I'm so sorry. He said pale. Right, so here are the options. There are five. Pale blue. Then we've got the red, and I'm, we're gonna, we'll do the outstretch on the red as well, Susie, I think, because it's so yeah. velvety looking. And then we've got the cream. Cream is beautiful. Again, there are multi-tones in there that you might not pick up on the camera, actually, because you've got kind of, sort of custody tones going on in there as well. Oh, hang on, we're going in. We're going in. For an XCU, yeah, it's difficult to see on camera, isn't it? But um, it, it's a lovely mix. Take it as red, honestly. Well, would I lie to you? Honestly, seriously. Uh, next up is soft green. Now, that is lovely. It's a beautiful. That is gorgeous. Crisp apple green. That's isn't one of my it? favourite. Favorite. I've got a shirt which is a mix of those colours there, yeah. and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful because you've got <laughs> a little bit of. I'm wearing it. Mushy pea green going on there, haven't you? And a little bit of lime and pistachio. Yeah. It's all going on. Oh, yes, you are in light green today, aren't oh, you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. That's very nice, that. What do you call that? A, a, it's dress. a dress. Dress, yeah. Yeah, it is dress. See, boys never know the difference between dress and skirt. I don't know why. I never got that. No, it's an all in one. So I, it's don't a dress. Need, I don't need to know, you see. Oh, oh, OK. All in one means dress. Well, if it's a skirt, it'll have a. There'll be a, a bit a in waist. the middle. OK, Went good. There, and nothing at the top other than a blouse or okay. whatever you put well, with I'm it. Well, I'm glad you wore a dress then. Yeah. Uh, right, OK. So am I. <laughs> so then we've got the dark blue as well. Right, let's stretch out this, this we red, stretch shall the red? we, Susie? We're going to stretch red. Because... This is <clears> just <throat> lush, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to have... What I would say is... How much do we get of this, Ross? Is it a, a metre piece or is a it a metre. half piece? So it's a metre by the width, which is... And your width here is... 108 inches, which you can't say very often at all um, in but for fabrics that way around. I think it is. There for, we go. Um, Look. For, again, for Christmas. This looks like the heaviest, weightiest velvet. You would think, oh, blimey, it's how are those beautiful. two people holding that up? Yeah. Um, but it is so, Absolutely so lightweight, beautiful. isn't it? Look at yeah. the way it wafts. If you have mm. a little waft. For Christmas colours as well. Yeah. So rich. Itch. Beautiful. So rich. Actually, should we, because the, if the light, it, we'll put it on top of everything else for a second, just so that the lights can pick up all of those beautiful tones in this. It's amazing. You like this one, Ross, as well, don't you? Ross is our producer on this hour. Uh, he wants some and he doesn't even know why. Tell you what, if you're going to a Halloween party, this mm. one, you could make an amazing costume from this, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he wants it for, Halloween cake. Ah. That'll double it as, as a Christmas cake. See, when you look at it cake. now, it looks like the overhead shot of a field of poppies. Yeah, doesn't it? I, honestly, I adore that. Yeah, it's beautiful colours. That's going to sell beautiful. out before we know it. Um, I, yeah. I just have this feeling. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I just love it. Which game should we play now? Oh, you just let it go. I'm just okay. going to let it go. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do the man's folding of a shirt. Coolio, right, OK, so that is 1775 uh, by the metre. So it's a metre piece by 108 inches wide on those options. Right, let's go to the website then, shall we? And then we can get started with a little bit of... Uh, of rainbow bar jelloing, oh, amongst first? other things. No, 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 amongst other things. Oh. <laughs> we can do that later if you want. I don't mind. I don't I mind do at all. Uh, up to you. Uh, so everything is there on the uh, website, as you can see. All the extra wides, all the bundles, all the beautiful batiks. A very, very busy show already, so do check out as quickly as you possibly can. If you're not a Freedom member, why not? Absolutely should be by now, don't you think? Because you can check out as many times as you like there. Every time something takes your fancy, you can just check it out. No postage. So, what okay. shall we do first? I feel like I've thrown confusion into your mind you now. I'm sorry. You have thrown me completely. Um, I was going to show you how I did the block behind right. you, actually. Right, let's do very that. Very quickly. Let's do that, that doesn't first. Take long. So we're going to, uh, out of the neutrals and greys, yes. which I'm calling the Rose Festival, um, we're going to make the block for the front of the cushion. That's what we're going to do first. Yep. That's so cool. And look, you can really see the texture. It's the same velvety texture that it we is. just showed you on that red extra wide yeah. in the purple in this bundle. Yeah, but it, it looks like there's depth to the fabric because of yeah. those designs. But I love that metallic pop. It's love it. so cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, right. it's this, a really simple block to do. You can do it any size. 
and the rules are your you need eight squares and eight rectangles okay. and if you want that um, sort of pinwheel effect mm -hmm. you can play around with colors but what I did is I did two rectangles of each of the four colors in the set do you, want, then, do you want that as a reference there you just go. so that Thank you can you. yeah and then the fifth color yeah. was my plain Oh, okay. It right. isn't plain, really, because there's lots of colours in there. There is. But that's how I chose it. Um, and I chose to do them all different in the middle, but if you could do them all the same here and mix and match and play around with, you know, the colour array. But this is a really simple block to do, so I'll show you how to construct it quickly. She says, dropping the pen she needs. So, your uh, squares have to be half of your rectangles so there this is a four and a half inch square not half of your rectangle that's nonsense so this is a four and a half inch square and this is a four and a half so same width by eight and a half inch rectangle okay okay so that's going to bring us down to it's not it's just it's an inch short of half yes okay half inch short of half Yes. God, I can't do maths today. <laughs> so the other thing I love about these fabrics, so along this strip, I've got a choice of what I cover up and what I use with my square because I've got these pinky tones coming in as well. So you, I can just uh, use the other yeah. end and then I've got, a, you know, a more pinky tones. Yeah. So you look at your fabrics and, and see what's what. Now, the other thing that's great about batiks, apart from metallic ones, they look the same either side, <laughs> so. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so it no means you haven't got a thing. A right is or it a right wrong. sides together? Wrong sides together? Oh. But obviously the metallic is only on the front. So if you don't, if you uh, want these okay. shades, yes. but you don't want the metallic for some reason. Yes. Just flip it over. Oh, you really must have it though. Oh, oh absolutely. mind you, I have to say, oh blimey! It's so now pitching. you've thrown a cat amongst okay, the pigeons. Okay, so the first, well, while you're throwing cats around, okay. the first thing I'm going to do is draw with a heat diffusible pen yeah. a diagonal line, only on one diagonal. I'm then going to place this on the top. If you, as you look at your rectangle, top right corner, you're going to match up your square so that your diagonal runs down towards the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to just put a pin in there to hold. And I'm going to stitch with a straight stitch along that line I've marked. Okay, it's okay. not compulsory to draw the line, but I'm not good at sticking dead straight unless I draw a line. So I prefer to draw a line. Um, I'm using a straight stitch slightly longer than I, uh, longer stitch length than I normally stitch with because um, batiks are a, a slightly heavier weight fabric um, and I just found that going up half a, a half a millimeter makes a big difference to the outcome. Susie, should we just do a visual thing just yeah. very, very quickly? Yeah, we Just have a, have a little look. Look, so look that's, at the shimmer on that. So doesn't that look amazing Ooh. in the light? I've spent, I've spent hours doing the lighting again in here to get that right. <laughs> but just to show you, so on the other side of those where there's a foiling... <gasps> that's glorious. That's really gorgeous that as well. That really is glorious. So yes, how so. do you make a decision? No, make a kimono using that. So as you oh, walk round, yes. you'll get both, won't you? Because you'll get the inside wafting yeah. and then you'll get the metallic flow. <gasps> that would look amazing. Guess what I'm going to be doing this afternoon? Making a kimono? Yeah. I've never had a kimono. What do you do with one? Do you just wear it at home? I wear it all, yeah, I wear it over shirts and... Oh, OK. Uh, over, you know, tops and jeans oh, and stuff. Oh, OK. Just See, dresses boys up. don't have them, do it they? It does keep you warm as well. Oh, does it? We could do with that today. It's not too warm today, isn't it? Anyway, where were you? Right, I am here, and I've sewn my line on the line, and then we, I'm going to cut away this corner, a quarter, starting a quarter of an inch from my seam that I've just sewn. So I'm just going to cut across with my... I, um, what's this? This is a 
Oh, I can't uh, even think what Rotary cutter? That'll be a rotary cutter. <laughs> it's because I was going to say, if you haven't got one of these, you can use a pair of scissors. <laughs> and it's not... It doesn't happen... It doesn't matter if this isn't a quarter of an inch, as long as you don't cut your stitching. Yep. The reason why you're cutting it is, way is to reduce bulk, basically. So you're going to do that for all your pieces. I've gone ahead and done them all in advance. But the next thing you're going to do is set your seam just by pressing the iron on your stitches. So that yep. makes sure your stitches stay in place. Lift up that corner and gently press away from your main rectangle. And then you get a nice crisp. Look how crisp that seam is. One thing I would say as well oh. to, to to a newbie, because because I know when I've seen other people do this before as well, yeah. is you go at it like you're ironing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The first you time press. you do it, you go at it like you're ironing. So you're like, real great effort and whatever. You're not. You're literally letting the iron set the seam so you're almost using no pressure whatsoever because otherwise yeah. you are going to stretch the fabrics and expose all the stitching and it'll look very very distorted and you'll say well i'm not sure about this quilting lock because it looks a right mess <laughs> but uh, as if you treat it beautifully and gently and go at it quite in a relaxed manner yeah like you're enjoying it yeah <laughs> which is what you're supposed to do yes absolutely with any should craft. be a pleasure not a chore yes Yes, it's supposed to release the good endorphins, isn't it? Yes. So then you're going to start pairing them up. And it's two rectangles together. Uh -huh. And you place them so that your triangles meet in the middle. Yes. Like this. And you're going to put them together. Now, this is a good one for beginners because <gasps> there's no uh seam matching going on you just need to make sure that they're end to end and you're sewing with the same seam each time oh okay so if you want to you can put a pin in just to hold it but it's yeah. because you're matching the, the edges and oh, she's not done that very well edges and the ends it's not vital to hold the whole length in place if that makes sense mm -hmm. so you're gonna i'm gonna stitch those together and you you pair them off like that, so keep the same pairs together. I'll just do one, and then we can lay out the other so you can see. Remember, keep your seam allowance the same throughout. Oh, and we've got is... lots more exercise to do very shortly once we've done this. Oh, have we? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, people want My to see all. Is... People, people want to see all of the extra wides. Do they? Opened up extra wide. They are beautiful. Unfortunately. Well, my machine's decided to eat that, so we'll... Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. don't know why it didn't want to do that one. Oh, do you want Should me to... Should try uh, again? Here oh, we go. Okay. No, I'll just start a bit further down. Okay. It's obviously having a bad... bad stitch day. Bad stitch day. Is that a thing? Obviously, for this machine, it is. What's that phrase? A bad operator always blames their tools. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back and do that bit from this side. And then we can... We get there in the end. There you go. There's always a way round. There's always a solution to a problem. So when you've brought those together, look how well they meet in the middle. And then that seam you would press open because if you press it to one side, you're going to get too much bulk. So you just ah, okay. press those seams open with your iron. Yes. So you'd carry on and do all of those. Yes. So I would be pairing this block with this block like this. Mm -hmm. And then when I come to put them together, I can put them in the middle like this. And uh. then I'd have another one of these two sewn together. But I'm going to swizzle it round, so they'll go like that. And, and of course, then... what you could do is you could uh, put all of your uh, pieces together and, and, and have a swizzle anyway. Yes, absolutely. Even once you've put it all together, yeah. if you think, oh, actually, I now fancy that being in a slightly different exactly. order. Exactly, you can mess around. But it's yeah. a really quick and easy block to put together. I love it. And really effective. And this size, I mean, it grows so quickly, so in no time at all you can make a quilt. Very, very nice. Thanking you. That's all right. Uh, are you ready for some exercise? Yeah, go on then. OK, right, the extra wides. We're gonna, we'll show them all this time around, if okay. that's OK, because uh, you're absolutely loving these. Now, remember, they are all gorgeous batiks, uh, but extra wide means exactly that. And I always used to think about extra wides in terms of um, the back of a quilt, because you always think about 
108 inches wide, being wide enough to go um, across the top of a of, of a uh, a full duvet, you know, like a double duvet yes. kind of thing. <gasps> See, there's no right way and there's no wrong way. Nope. But we'll so go this good, way so. um, because actually <laughs> the yes. creases look slightly less that way. Uh, this is the pale blue, but you can see there's so much more than just pale blue yeah. in there. It almost looks like an organised paisley from a distance, doesn't it, in places? Yeah. Um, but that is just beautiful. The texture on that. And yes, of course, you could if you are making larger quilt or kind of duvet projects yes of course you could use that as a backing for a, for a larger quilt but why waste all of that texture and, and everything that you have within this take the opportunity to have such a big piece um, of fabric available they are brilliant and there's very very few when you need an extra wide yeah, quite often what you'll do is you'll join two pieces yeah. um, together to yeah, make the length that you need yeah this is gorgeous I mean this looks like a frosty Yes. Pond, doesn't yes. it? Yes. And yeah, it's a really nice and substantial fabric. Um, right, fabulous. now, in the pale blue, half of the stock has sold. Oh, sorry, Hugh. Sorry, it's oh. still there. Look, it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. It goes forever. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Sorry. Um, right, second busiest behind the red. So we're going to the red next, are we? Yeah, let's go red next. We're Thank you, red. Susie. Right. Let's go to the red next. The red is so, so, so beautiful. So this is for your Valentine's and Christmas and wedding. Oh, and yeah, just for it, Halloween outfits. No, no excuse needed, really, yeah. is there? No excuse needed for this whatsoever. You just want it. You want it as a romantic backdrop. It's like the biggest bunch of red roses you've ever seen. It's it like is. the heaviest it's velvet beautiful. you've ever seen. It's got so much amazing texture to it. It's untrue. Doesn't that look like a heavy fabric? And it that really isn't. That would make it an really amazing isn't. dress. That looks like we've literally just taken it out of some palace, doesn't yeah. it? We've taken the curtains it's down. So rich and luxurious. We've cut, cut off all, the, all the, 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 the brocade and stuff and whatever. 80% of the red now, sold out and gone. Not surprised at all. I mean, all. that length or width, yeah. fabric width, is big enough for most dining room tables. So you've yes. got your instant tablecloth for Christmas or any occasion. 108 inches is two and three quarter meters basically. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of fabric. That is good. Like I have a very, very long dining table, but I think it, it even my dining table is like 2.2 maybe. Got enough for a shirt, kimono, dress. Yes. Yeah. Couple of skirts. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, multiple dressmaking um, possibilities there. Yeah. And again, you only have to put your pattern pieces down, like, what well, you can put them wherever you want to as well, couldn't you? Go for it. Well, you have to follow the grey um, lines. But... Last one of those available. <laughs> last one of those available right now, if you want it. In fact, it's now going, going, gone. So, let's do next... This is the one that's most challenging to see on camera, so we might lay this across the desk, Susie, okay. do you think? Okay. Um, We'll still, we'll still We're do back a to our custards, aren't we? joint effort. Yes, creams, custards. It's very, very subtle detail. It in is. This. It's lovely. Very Let's subtle. just lay it across and see how much you can get in and see, because that, it, to all intents and purposes, it's going to look like a big cream sheet, but actually. When there's, you're up close to yeah. it, you can see there's almost like twists of Sicilian lemon. Yeah, there's definitely lemon in here. Yes. Yeah, there you go. You're beginning to get it. Yes. You, can, you just get a little yeah. hint of it. It's very, very difficult to see. Yeah. You're going to have to take it on, on trust alone and get it home and actually see it. Beautiful, though. It really is very, very actually, nice. the reverse. You get it a bit more. Oh, you do, actually. Yes. Let's. Sorry, Hugh. I'm just reversing it just so you can see a bit more of the... The other the side. Tones. That's beautiful. But as a blender, I mean, how yeah, often, perfect. as a quilter, I use white or cream as a blend, as a background or yeah. blend. So to have that little bit of interest in there as well would really offset your design. Superb! I love it. So that's the cream. Then we've got. I love this. This is our first time to see this outstretched as well. Actually, this is soft green, and this. This is a spring right. meadow. Yes. It's beautiful. Quarter of the colour. stock of this has already been checked out, sold out and gone. So if you want it, oh, it feels ever so lovely as well. Do you know, this is how you know you've got a good batik because um, 
Yeah. You can see the, way, the how light, the way it waves around, actually. The wafting of a fabric like this is very, very key because some batiks can be heavy, dry, crusty, yeah. you know, feels like paper almost. Or you're wearing a box of cereals. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, should we lay this one down yes. over everything else as well? This has one, got some that beautiful, will mean that, there we go. rich green Can you see tone. that lovely variance of colour there? Oh, it looks like we've all disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. No one's in the room. Here we are. Look, so you've got kind of limey greens going on here. You've got those lovely, like you said, the fresh spring greens yeah. there, the fresh spring onions. It's it's gorgeous. I love it. It's really really nice. Peridot, isn't Very it? nice. Very what would nice. you what would you do with a piece this big, Susie? Well, I would definitely be using it for things like kimonos. If for quilting, I would be using it as my blender. Then I would put that onto the backing as well. I mean, I I love an interesting back to a quilt. Yeah. So this this would add loads and loads of texture. And then by the time you've quilted over the top as well that would be phenomenal but as a as a standalone fabric you could easily use it for dressmaking mm. i would line a jacket in this, this yeah that would look phenomenal that really Back would of work a waistcoat would look really cool yes it would very designer yes very designer very if you're cool. back to waistcoat um, yeah. in something like this wonderful so that's the spring green soft green 40 percent of of that stock has gone uh, it's the dark blue now, isn't it? Now, dark blue, hello. Dark blue, three quarters of the stock has um, sold out and gone. Um, I'm going to pop this over the desk because I know... Um, no, sorry. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay, good. cool. Because this, again, wonderful. Can I just match that up with the red just for a second? <gasps> yes. Just, just... Just, oh yeah, red sold out, isn't it? Oh, Don't match it up with that. something that's sold out, Derek. But it just would work if you managed to get it. Yeah. Um, to be fair, it would work with either. And even the light blue and the dark blue together yes. would look amazing. That's very true. Yeah, this is fabulous. I love that. And again, can you, can you see almost from a distance when that's outstretched, you can see it almost looks like a, the tightest bouquet of, of a floral arrangement, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's only when you get close and you see that lovely variance of colour. It's gorgeous. 17.75, and that's 108 inches wide, which is 2.74 metres, or 2 metres and 74 centimetres. Go on. goes really well with these landscapes. The yes. I was just thinking I would make a big picnic a quilt <gasps> with a stripe with of. This, with this landscape stripe going down yeah. and then the the batik with the leaf detail there this this that one yeah hang on we're coming across this one as well one. as my top so that would be yes. my top and then this would be my backing that's How genius bad it's gone no oh, it's gone it? no oh. now well done okay perhaps well I'm done not making if you manage to get it um okay so we've lost the red and we've lost the dark blue the next one to go will be the pale blue in fact, let's take these. Oh, we can't take them out of the equation yet. It makes too much of a mess. Uh, so that one's gone, that one's gone. That one's going to be the next one to go. Uh, also very, very busy on the soft green as well. And the cream is now catching up as well. So I think you're seeing how beautifully they are going to work um, with the others. Don't forget, you've got lots of other options as well. We'll go back to the website very, very quickly so you can have a little flick through the options. We've got the uh, pick and mixes. We've got the landscape bundle there, which is absolutely beautiful. £15.49 pence there. You've got the stamped bundle. They are, you know, I mean, really, really superb. You've got leaf designs in there and all sorts. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, you pick and mix any two of these out of the, the leaves. Uh, the star scatter, the paint strikes, the paint strikes one there. Just uh, scroll up again, Ross. See, from that picture, from the distance I'm looking at the TV, it's like, it does look like a bag of chips, doesn't it? Isn't it funny how many different things yes. you see in a fabric yeah. at, at once? <laughs> I'm glad we were thinking the same thing, Ross, because I was thinking, don't say that on telly, Jared. That's not going to help people choose a fabric. But, you know, it does. You say what you see. See, now I'm just thinking dried mango slices. There As you go. Well. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yes, laying on top of each other yeah. so you get the light and dark yeah. and the shadowing. Yeah. 
Isn't it amazing? Right, go and pick a mix on those. You pick and mix any two of those uh, oh. for a fabulous price. Everything goes out for you on the 7th of October. And now we're going back to the top of the show and the rainbow batik bundle. And Susie had a genius idea about an hour ago. <laughs> I know. Talk about last minute, but... No, I had pre-planned. The best. So I had done some homework. The best idea. What are you going to do? So I thought we could look at the Bargello technique, which is basically um, that, you know, when you get that sort of wave of colour coming through, but it's all done in rectangles. And you vary the size of your strip, so it sort of seems to do a sort of arc. A geometric arc. It, it looks works. so complicated, it's though. It's so not complicated. Okay, show me, show so me. So I'm going to show you how I do the cheats method. And this is called a bargello, isn't bargello, it? Bargello, yeah. this is. So what you do is decide on your colour array yes. that you want. Yeah. So I took the rainbow bundle and I cut two and a half inch strips from each of the five colours. Yeah. And I cut two of each of them. Then you what we call strip piece so you sew them mm -hmm. long sides together one after another and you end up with 10 strips in a row so i did two reds then two oranges two yellows two greens and two blues so is that one long or is not it that... was one wide piece oh, okay. and very and full length of the fabric and then and then you fold you press all the seams in one direction uh -huh. then you fold it over right sides together yeah. and stitch it to form a tube uh-huh okay yes still got you yes and then what you do is neaten your end which I've already done and then you start subcutting it down now how you subcut it will change the look so you want some that are one inch, some that are one and a half inch, some that are one and three quarter, some that are two. You mess around with it how you want it to look. So I've already started doing this. Okay, can you just hold that thought just for one I second? Can. Just for me to tell you that the light blue extra wide has now gone. Oh. Good. Right, marvellous, we've done that. So you've just got the cream and the light green available on the extra wides now. So I could back Thank in you. that then. That's fine. Yes. And I'm actually using the cream. That's part of this bundle, but it's not the extra wide, it's the... The one from the bundle, the yeah. one from the... Yeah, yeah, so the extra wide version. Bundle in the neutrals and greys. Yeah, so, but this is the normal size version, the 44 inch okay. version. So I'm going to show you now what you do with your tube. So when you come to cut it, yeah. let me find my ruler. Obviously I've neaten my end, so I'm... So, yeah. No, no, it just occurred to me. So now you're about to cut a bit off the tube. Yes. Does that mean you need to untube it again to attach it back to... No. Oh, well, okay. yes, yes, yes. To get the strip, you do. Ah, yeah. OK, right. So what we're going to do is... So I've, I've got um, the piece I need now. Let me just work out where I am in the pattern. OK. Uh, it is one and three-quarter inches I need. So let's do a one and three-quarter inch. Is there a inch. set... Well, there's lots of different patterns out there. Oh, uh, okay. Um, or you can just mess around and just do your own thing. And as long as... So I tend to... You don't have to start in the middle, but I I tend to start in the middle yeah. and do a symmetrical pattern either side uh, okay. rather than start at one end and do that. But you can do So you do start it with your way. central strip first and I then you did. say either yeah. side, I need... One yeah. of them for the left and one for the right. Yeah. And then... And then just work out oh, okay. and make that's sure everything idea. is the same. Yeah. So that's one way of doing it. Or you can start at one end and just do what we're about to do. But have, it you is... got a, have you got to write down your plan a bit like a knitting pattern with this? Because you really don't want I to get would. this wrong, would you? I would. Yeah. Yeah. Also, this isn't a project that you will do in half a day. No. You will be doing this over a course of It's a labour of, of love. Of it's it well worth it for the look. It is. Bargello, I think, so is one of the funkiest let's do looking this quilts. One and three quarters. So that's designed to go in here. So what I'm going to do is look at where I'm at. Yes. And that's why the rainbow one is a good way to start because you've got blocks of colour you can follow rather than lots of patterns, which makes it a little bit more confusing. Okay. So my original piece started with the two reds and went through the proper rainbow order. Yes. So this next piece needs to come up 
a step. Okay. To work. So you need one. So I want to start with one yellow. So I work my way round my tube till I yeah. get to the point where there's that one yellow. And then you need your unpicker. Sometimes if you've, depending uh, on how you've stitched, you can pull the stitches apart. Right. But don't try and don't yank, yank it because you will rip it. So do, this is the only time I don't mind unpicking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so worth it though, isn't it? Because you've oh, kind it, of done effect, all the hard work in advance. Exactly, yeah. This is the fun bit, putting it together mm. and seeing that pattern evolve. And the other good thing with batiks for this particularly yeah. is as you sew, you're going to start um, repress an awful lot because although you've pressed in one direction to start with, you need to repress so you've got alternate pressed rows. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know, going up and down. So are it you left with raw edges then at the very Well, then top. you're going to turn it into something. You'd then use this as your quilt top or a cushion cover right. top. So you'd then. So you'd add a sashing or a binding you, or. Yeah, or you'd layer it up and then add your yeah binding, or yeah. you'd do a self binding, or you'd turn it into a cushion like we did in the in yeah. the uh, Susie B show. Yeah. So you can see when I sew that in. That's wrong, Suze. I've done that wrong. Oh, that sorry. Around. That's oh, that's. No, I have done that wrong. That should have gone. That way. What have I done wrong? No, I haven't. That is right. Yeah, one at the top. Yeah. Yeah, one right. at the top. You know yeah, how yeah, you look right. at something and you think, does yeah. that look right? Yeah. No, that it's is It's because right. I hadn't put it in position. So this is, all the <laughs> seams are supposed to be lining up yeah. on this one. Now, there is a barge yellow pattern where you offset them so they go to the middle. Oof. Yeah, that. Oof. is just blows your head. Yeah, that sounds a bit yeah. much. So how so do you this, So do you just sew that now along the whole thing? Well, before you do that. Oh, okay, there's before something before you do that. that. So you look at the piece you're on. Yeah. So all my seams are coming down. So this one, I need all the seams to go up. And this is what ah. is so good about batik because they press so well. Yes. I can just run the iron back over those seams, pressing as I go, yeah. and it flips those seams the other way uh, perfectly. Okay. Yeah. And then the reason we want that to happen is because we want that really nice, huggable nestling of seams yes. at the top. Yeah. So I'm going to now be stitching these together. So I'm going to lay these right sides together like we normally do for seams yeah. unless it's a French seam and you can see how well those are nestling in. Oh so they just kind of they slot and click slot. in don't yeah. they? It's so cool and then I'm just going to clip that so I can hold it and just work my way down clipping as I go. I found all my clips look. <laughs> look Got them that. back again. Got them back again. Wow how are we down to four minutes left in the show already? I know, it's how? madness. How? So you would stitch. Now the the critical thing with this technique is that you are really accurate with your sewing and cutting. So I would not do this as a beginner and even as someone who's done a couple of things I would double check your seam allowance positioning on your machine. If you've yeah. got a quarter inch foot use it. Yes. Um, and don't rush it either. Take your time. Label everything. I've got sticky labels that I just uh -huh. label. So I'll, yeah. I'll cut all my one inch pieces and have a pile of those. Yes. And then you can easily put them together so you've got the, t the pattern coming through. It's and then such a we do. must have um, we must have finished some um, Bargello quilts on on shows over the years as well. You must remember, if, but it's worth yeah. going and having a little look online as well, um, at because there are various patterns out there. It's spelt. <coughs> excuse me, if I could only have my voice back. B A R G E W -L, L O, I think, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Um, yeah. So if you have a look online, you will find, I'm sure, examples where Bargello has been made. And it's just a delight. It works with every single set of fabrics under the sun.
Yeah. Um, you can't really... Well, to say you can't go wrong is probably, you know, it's easy for you to say, Derek. You just talk about it. Um, but it is one of those that it's guaranteed to please and satisfy. It feels new, even though it's very much not a new thing. Um, every time you complete one, it feels brand new. Now, just very, very quickly, as you're stitching that together, I need to talk to you about the extra wide. Uh, the green was just about to go limited stock, but guess what? It's now... It's now gone, gone. <laughs> it's now gone, gone. That's it. So we only have the cream in the extra wide now, um, which is brilliant. Remember, it is 108 inches wide, which is two and three quarter metres, all but a centimetre. Um, and it is phenomenal. And that is your cream, which has little twists of lovely Sicilian lemon in it as well. Yeah, you do need to see the one. We said this all the way through, didn't we? It's lo lovely kind of um, ice creamy colour with sort of twists of Sicilian lemon. Uh, right, we have about a minute, Susie, which will go. show us I our completed row. I can show you where we've got to on this one, then. Wonderful. So I'm just pressing the seam over just so that you can see. But you can press your seams open at this stage if you wanted to. But I've found that it does work well and lies flat. And it doesn't have to be a quilt. You no, can stop I there and make a nice yeah, decoration. Absolutely. I mean, that would be a, an amazing Bag border. Bottom. But I mm. would also, the first time you do this, I would suggest you do it as a cushion. Yeah. So it's, this worked on five fabrics. If you did half the amount, that's how big it would come up. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to do really big. Even that would That's you can nice. see the patterns working already yeah, yeah, for yeah. that. But I would I would stick to this sort of size for your first attempt because yeah. you're starting to see the pattern evolve quickly. So you you'll maintain your interest and you'll have a finished project quickly. Whereas this in quilt format, you'll be stitching. Yeah a lot and, and seam matching a lot. And it's a labour of love. It is, it is, but it's a really lovely technique to Talking do. Talking of love, it's been lovely having your company you. for yes, three hours you. today. <laughs> uh, uh, when are you back with us? Um, sometime in October, not sure when. Have a wonderful, wonderful time away I as will. well. I will. Don't get too wet. Uh, <laughs> stay right where you are, make sure you check out your baskets and stay where you are. Because next, Liz is back with That's Crafty Journaling. And then we've got the Art Inspirations Monthly Mega Deal. And then back to Sir Vagabond. And a final call at four. Hi, I'm Jean. And together with my partner, Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. So make sure you join me and Craft Yourself Silly here at the Craft Store. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Mel, and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business, and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. So 
make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I'm back with Liz. We're looking forward to this, Liz. I have. We had a show earlier on today, didn't we? What yes. time was that this morning? Oh, uh, Eight, some o'clock. Yes. Yeah, yeah, too early. Yeah, it kind of doesn't seem long ago, but at the same time, it does. It it's does. So yes, I have had a little sleep in between. Have you? Yeah, a little cat nap. Yes. Oh, you're lucky. Yes, very Aww. good. Yeah. Well, we had a very busy show earlier on, didn't we? We did. We did have a very, very busy show. We certainly yeah. did. What we're looking at here are the template set number three. Now, Liz has designed these for that's crafty. Set one and set two both sold out. In fact, set three did as well because we lost it. Well, I can't remember how many minutes in this morning. It wasn't that far. It was about it was 25 about, yeah. minutes past it was, or something. Wasn't it? Yeah. So we've got it back on extended delivery. Not long to wait. Dispatch from the 4th of October. You're actually getting 17 templates. And I'm going to let Liz tell us all about these while we look at some samples, if you may. Okay. If you can, Liz, please. Yes. So the template set gives you three different sizes of journals or albums. So we've got that one Catherine's showing, which is the flip flap one. Uh, we also have a gatefold one, which makes like a really nice square shaped gatefold. And then there's a mini, mini journal, which will stand alone or you can put it inside pockets of other journals that you've already made. Then we also have a little waterfall feature and also three different sizes of uh, slide mount templates. Yeah beautiful and absolutely all gorgeous. of them coordinate with each other so you can mix and match you could add pages from one to pages of another really experiment um, and everything goes together that's the little mini mini journal oh, we love anything mini don't we, we yeah certainly do. and we said that one is a really nice little size as a decoration so you can hang it up on your christmas tree or even have halloween danglies or something like that you know with cobwebs on it really old books yeah. and things yeah. do you know and you do put in the little markings for your yes. stitching don't yes. you yes well. so, so they you stitch yeah the they stitch holes um in the gatefold and they stitch holes in the little mini mini journal the flip flap is a different type of one so that's actually stuck down so anybody that's afraid of um sewing and i'll just mention one of my best friends tracy um, you don't need to worry about sewing on this one, lovely. <laughs> you can just use glue. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. And those accessories as well. Yes. You can and see I, the different I have to apologise because that is actually Shelley's sample, <gasps> not Jill's. I know, I'm so naughty. Oh. I'm so sorry, Shelley. Um, but they're also beautiful. But that, yeah, they so are, that's aren't Shelley. They? I've well, got to mention oh, Shelley. Shelley yes, yeah, you know, so thank you. We'll mention your name as many times as we possibly can. Yes. And we'll show every page of this. Shelley's done such a lovely job on each page, hasn't she? <laughs> Shelley has done absolutely marvellous. And she's used stamps and pockets and tags. Um, oh. Yeah, she's done brilliantly. And is Shelley such... watching? Shelley, um, I think she's dog walking this afternoon. But she did say she would tape the show. So will Shelley record the Shelley. show? She will, Shelley will do. Oh, I hope you are watching, <laughs> Shelley. If not, if you are recording... Then when you are watching Shelley, we know this is yours. Yes. And it's beautiful. Yes. We really, really do. Oh, but Jill is very clever and as well. And Rachel isn't she? as well, who's also done my samples for me. Do you know yeah. there are so many? Let me find one with, that's a little bit different. Where oh, now that where's the one with the waterfall in it? That's the one, the stitched one on the left hand side. This one? No, the one further down. This one. That one. I, think. I knew yeah. there was a proper book. Let's yeah. have a look at this one because I absolutely love it. Now we've got the acetate coming up as well. So the embossable acetate, you can heat that. There you've got that little uh, waterfall there as well. You you can create an actual waterfall as well, can't you, where you pull the yes, tab? Yes, yeah, if you do the mechanism, so you sort of need an extra little strip at the back there and a little loop. There is one of those loop. here. Yeah. Which one was that? Um, that's up on the top. This oh, one? In the, this one? Uh, in... One of the flip flap ones. One of the ones. flip we'll flap ones. It. Do you know, we will find it. We will find it. Oh, I must show it because it was so. Is it that one? Yes. That one. Yes. Yeah, that there one. There it is. Oh, that who did Rachel, this one? Rachel's done that one. Are you sure yeah, it was definitely Rachel? Definitely Rachel, yeah. It wasn't Shelley? No, it was Rachel. It was Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we are. So that Let me just open that up. Yep. That is absolutely it's lovely, gorgeous. Isn't it? It's lovely. It? Really, really. Look at as well, you've got the little slider there. 
beautiful. I love the paper that's been used on this as well. You know, it's a good excuse to use your favourite papers, but we have got lots of wonderful papers on Absol the show as yeah, well, haven't absolutely, we? Absolutely, absolutely. And the, the way that the templates are, they sort of section, so you can use some of your cut-off bits as well. So any spare scraps, they will always fit on the panels and things and the little tags and pockets. So for those of us that don't throw anything away, it is a chance to use Amazing. up those little spare bits. Well, the extended stock is very busy as well. A quarter of the stock has already gone. Don't forget, you're getting 17 individual templates there. 24.99, item number 008023. And I'm sure we'll be seeing more of those, hopefully. They don't sell out before we get to demonstration. Now, we ha also have Liz's stamps. Now, these are beautiful. Now, you've got two different options under one item number. So, first of all, we're going to look at sketchy flowers. Now, half the stock has gone. I adore the inspiration on the front because you've got that watercolour sort of feel there. But you can colour these however you wish. The fact that you've got the words there, Liz, I think it makes it very special, this set. Absolutely, yeah, because people had asked for the titles for the journals once they'd made them. Um, and I just thought because it's quite vintagey the style that i do yeah i wanted them to go with some of the flowers and the sketchy flowers just seeing the, the appropriate one to use them with they are gorgeous yeah, just they really them. are now we've got another set for you as well as you can see daisy daisy now slightly bigger flowers on this one this is a good one because you can build up sprays you can cut those out some of them quite easily as well in fact you could cut them all out quite easily you've got individual leaves um very very attractive indeed and in fact i've got a lovely sample here who did this one? Shelley. Shelley did this one. <laughs> she did. Shelley did this one. Oh, do you know, I picked this one up early and I picked it up again simply because I think it shows off to the very best, that particular set, doesn't yeah, it? Because absolutely. she's used all she's, of those different that, that stamps. That background paper that she's, she's stamped on with the, uh, for the cover itself, it's just lovely. Oh, it really is. And then is. she's used some sprays to do the backgrounds and then just plain black stamp on it. It looks so effective. It does, doesn't it? it? And if I show this open down all the it's way so across pretty. there. It's so pretty. Do you know that would be a nice way to gift seed packets? Oh, absolutely, it? yeah. Absolutely. You could pop them into the little, little pockets. Yep. yep. And the pockets are part of the templates, aren't they? They are, yep, for your gatefold. Yep, Love your it. gatefold. Love it. I will fold that together properly because I know I've not got that concertina right. 138638 is the item number. We've got another sample using those stamps here as well. Look, so your belly band on there. You can make use of the flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just slide that off carefully. There are so many samples here. I said this earlier on, but you can see how much... All of the ladies of the design team have enjoyed so making So that's using these. the sketchy flowers and also the stencil that's with the acetate. Ah, um, let me see so that in yeah, a so it just means with the sketchy flowers and the stencil, you don't have to be neat with your colouring in. Beautiful, love it. Fourteen ninety nine. If you want to go for both sets, you can. They're both under the same item number. Just make sure you choose one of each. One three eight six three eight is that item number that you need. Now we just mentioned the acetate, and it's up next. I absolutely love the mask with this. I know we're going to see this. I just love the fact that you've got that edge so you can cut it out if you want to. Yes, yeah. I see that being used as a pocket or a fancy corner, but of yeah. course you can use those flowers individually. Yes. And you can over stamp over it as well. Yes, which is what I'll be doing in the in the demo. Yeah, so they are very sketchy. That's what I wanted, so that people can build up their own patterns from it as well. It's not very prescriptive. It's you know it it, it gives advanced crafters a real chance to have a real good play with it. But those that are beginners, they've got a stencil straight away that they can make a really nice picture from. Now pick the acetate. Up. I know it's difficult to see, but you know you. This is why I want to show it you, because it is transparent, but it doesn't mean you can't stamp on it, because this is heat impossible. So, let me find one or two samples for you. Is that one at the that? front that I did this morning? Yep. And there was a book as well, wasn't there? So, if you want to use your embossing powders, of course, you can stamp and emboss at the same time, because it will take that heat. Such a lovely effect there. Some of the lovely papers we've got on the show as well underneath. I know, oh, it was that one that, oh, I know which one it was. It that was one. the book that was Shelley's that we thought was Jill's. So Shelley, well done because you've used the acetate as well. That is so clever, isn't it? It's if I just beautiful. open it up a little bit further so you can see the overlay there. And not just for your albums, of course, for your card making, yep. your box making perhaps. Yep. So a really good bundle of this. 1049, you get ten sheets of the acetate and that mask as well. Six five nine three two three. 
Now we've got one or two more items. We were busy on the papers this morning. These are absolutely beautiful, well worth a look at. The prices are incredible. We've got fleeting moments. Now with that one, you get double-sided six by six paper pad. You've got the double-sided 12 by 12, and you've got the chipboard as well. There's a lot there for 15.97. 216711 is the item number. Then we have Blooming Retreat. Do you know, I think this is about to be my favorite, this one. You do get a little journal kit in this one as well. So 12 by 12s, you get the chipboard, you get eight by eights in this one, and that journal kit, all for 23 pounds and 46 pence, so well worth a look at. 484781. And then finally, I think this is Lizzie's favorite, actually, Summer Charm. It is beautiful, they're all gorgeous. 1996 is the price, so once again, you're getting a six by six, you're getting 12 by 12s, and you're getting the chipboard there as well. Oh, do we get, do we get anything else in that one? That's, have I just said everything? The 12 by 12, the 6 by 6, uh, the junction? I did, there's a junction mm, in that one as well. That, yeah, that cut apart, wow. yeah, it'll be beautiful. For less than £20. 268170 is the item number. Yeah, definitely worth a look at there. But let's get over to Liz. I'm frightened we might get another sellout before we've seen too much demo. So, Liz, we're going to leave it with you. Yes, we're going to flip flap this time, Are Catherine. We? Yes, we're flip flapping. So, the way that this works, it sort of builds on itself. So, you have them all numbered 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E. That makes the album up. So what you need is the 2A and 2B are your cover pieces and you will cut them out separately. So again, you just draw around the template and draw into your score lines okay. and cut them out separately. Now on 2B, I've done a little mitre line there and it's just a, an indication that you can mitre both your corners of your flaps. Because once you put it together, it will sit nicely in the yeah. centre. But when I show you how to put it together, it will, ma it will make okay. sense. So rather than bore you drawing around in pencil and watching me cut out and get dirty marks everywhere, I've actually already done this. So I've got two pieces, 2A and 2B. So obviously score it. And then these are going to be your spines. Yep. yep. So you've got one on the left. And then fold that over, you'll have one on the right with a little flap. Now your flaps are very important because these are what you stick your pages in with. Okay. Yep. So I'm just going to turn that over and just put a little bit of my wet glue as a part from dry I see why glue. You've got those mighty corners yep. Already. So mighty corners if you can do, because it will sit nicely in the center. And then what you do, you line up the edge of your flap here. Okay. with the edge of here yeah. and that makes your front cover so I find it easier to fold it over first to line it up on yeah, the fold it do it that way easily. yep so fold it over and then that is your cover and it's up to you then whether you want your cover to be opening that way or a bit like a handbag that way oh, yeah, of course. two different styles um, you can put magnets on it for a closure or you can add um, velcro or string or yep. whatever for fastening Lots of options, isn't belly really band yep so that is your cover sorted okay. now your 2c and 2d templates are actually the same size so don't think it's confusing which ones are the same size 2c and 2d it's the same right, template okay. yep. however there's two different size spines, so it makes one page bigger than the other. Got okay, you. so you need to draw two, two C. So what I've done, I've put my two C so that I can read two C at the top against the edge of my card. So I'll just show you to draw around that. So I've got two C on the left. Would that paper be from our second paper? It, it may chance? well be. And I'm just going to draw the score lines and then go straight across. I don't need any more score lines. But I'm just going to put these two little notches, top and bottom, because this will indicate that I can mitre the corners. Yeah. So if you can see, I've got a large score line there. Okay. So that is the 2C. And if you can see the spine... It's quite yeah. wide, yeah. yep. So I've got two of those. And then for my 2D, I just rotate it. Ah. Yeah, just rotate so just it. just make sure that the letters yeah. are right Yeah, so make up. sure your letters at the top. 
and he, again you put it and you, this time you're just drawing that narrow spine and then straight across so on the ones I've done if you can see those spines are slightly narrower yeah, you can see. because obviously the pages have got to sit inside each other so yeah. the spines get narrower the higher you get yeah. with the template yeah so I've cut those out and I'll just put these inside the book so you know how it all falls together when you design these Liz I should imagine it must be quite difficult because you've got to do a prototype, you've got to test it all. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's a fraction out. Yes, you're going yeah, to find yeah, problems. yeah. Poor Graham is, yeah, he, the, we mess, yeah, he message said, oh, he says, how am I going to sleep? How am I going to have my cups of tea? He, <laughs> thinks, he says, think about me. But it is because when you're doing it as a paper form, because I always do it in paper and card, um, and then Graham does the templates prototype for me in plastic. And then obviously with the gusset lines and the score lines, just it's slight, yeah. yeah, so there is a little bit of to in and fro in, but it's, it's good because it's a process well, it to is. get it so it that is. it works for everybody. And if someone was trying to create this at home, without any templates, then you probably would find you're wasting quite a lot of card and paper. Well, because you've got all the measuring you've got to do. Well. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got the templates, it's a little bit, well, it's almost foolproof in yeah, a sense, yeah. isn't it? So all I'm doing, I'm just folding those score lines again that I've got. So I've got a little tab like I did on template A and B. Yeah. And I've got my spine on both pieces. So again, I'm going to add glue to the back of my flaps. Oh, do you know, I've got to give a shout out to your mum because she's oh, here, isn't she? Oh, mum said, yeah. She's in the, in the uh, guest green room. So, Sheila. Oh, Hello, mum. She was busy, wasn't she? When she I was saw doing her? A, yeah, she's doing a crossword, yeah. Yeah, she's she doing was a crossword, busy then. yeah. Very busy. Very just, busy. She's watching mom, now, though. Does mum do. No, she hates as well? it. No, really? she hates it. She hates doing it. Yeah, my dad is a real card maker. My dad does the crafting, and yeah, my mum can't. She helps with the tea papers and things, but. No, my mum likes sewing and, yeah, other things. So she, but she is a crafter because she likes the soft crafts? Yeah, yeah, knitting, that was her big thing, oh, yeah. She'll have to come and crochet yeah, with me, knitting, Liz. but... Um, she She used to, yeah. So I'm just now lining it back up with that centre section so that that, that tab just sits nicely in the centre of my okay. page there. So then that then will flip out that way and it's got a spine. So the idea yeah. is it will fold within itself. It's almost like a little box. Isn't it, it is. So if you didn't, if you wanted to do like an exploding box, don't put the tabs on the end. So score around the templates. You can make an exploding box with this, but don't, don't cut around the tabs. Just cut it where the spine is because you don't need the extra bit because otherwise it'll just collapse yeah. on itself because otherwise you can hold it up like that as an exploding box and put a lid on it that's a good idea yeah like that. it's just another idea so i've put my two flaps 2c okay. and then the final two a 2d again just score and fold where your spine is Okay. 2B or not 2B? No, it's C and D, isn't it? C and D, yeah. So, yeah. Did I say B? Sorry. No, it was no. B. I was trying yeah. to make yeah. it Yeah. 2A. Oh, no. 2Bs. You're two eyes for me. No, you are two eyes for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm cutting my tabs off. I was thinking about that last night because I had in my head 2Bs, two 2As, two and I was thinking, no, you are two eyes for me. <laughs> But I have to tell you, last time I came with my mum, we were in the big room, the big posh room, you know, just opposite the kitchen. Do we have a posh room? Well, it, it was. It's like your old presenter's lounge, apparently. Um, and I came, I'd, I'd prepped my table and I came back in. And honestly, my mum, it was like she'd moved in. Her <laughs> shoes were off and she was up, she's only, she only little, isn't she? And she was sat up on the couch with her feet up and her shoes off. It's like, hello, <laughs> she was reclining. I was expecting somebody to be feeding her grapes. It was just <laughs> the funniest thing. <laughs> Just make yourself at home. Oh. She went, I am doing. Oh, she does fine. She does. Right, so, again, <laughs> just make sure you don't get glue on your spines. You only glue your only tabs, tab. yeah. yeah. And again, just fold it over and line it up. So, by doing that mitered corner, it just means there's not a lot of bulk there. 
because obviously if you've got loads of corners together it makes it quite heavy yeah and if you're covering that with paper you would see through it yeah. a lot easier wouldn't you yeah yeah so last one i'm just going to fold that over and just make sure you score it properly as well not like me i'm half half-hearted scoring really that's because I rush things. I'm a bit of a rushy crafter. I'm quite in, in, um, impatient. I need it done there and then. So that's why I'm a bit, what's it, with moulds and things and silicon and that, because um, I have to have it done there and dry. Oh, you mean resin? You can't yeah, wait yeah, it. yeah. <gasps> These that you have to wait now. two or three days. Oh, no chance for me. No. Get it under the UV light. And that one there. So that then is in effect your flip flap album. So I've got a little comes piece. Really it comes together really piece. So I've already cut out two E, okay. and then that will then just stick on the inside. So I've cut that one was for my back cover. There we go. So it just sits nicely within that back section, and it covers all your working gubbins and that out so it does. it's a very neat job it does so i'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of that do you and know i bet if i bet if your mum had a go at making a book that she tried i bet she'd really like it and enjoy it no 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 she's a bit like my sister like that my sister doesn't like it, it makes her feel sick she said <laughs> yeah because I keep telling you, <laughs> sometimes she's followed, I've done a live before now, on a, oh, like a Sunday so. live, and she's tried to follow me, so I said, right, you need paints and paper. Does she get, does she get a little bit stressed then? Yeah, because, because she's following like... it, and then I'll oh. say, and then get your string, and she's like, string? String? You didn't mention the string. Oh. <laughs> so she goes off trying to find string then, I've already gone on to the next thing. So then that just folds up on itself. And because you cover spine slightly wider, it just means um, it, it folds up really nicely. So that is your flip flap like that. So what I want to do now is just do a bit of a decorative cover feature on it. So I'm going to use the acetate if that's OK. Oh, yes, please. So I've got this is going to be the panel for the front of my card, but I'm actually going to cut it away. From okay. the, so I've, what I've done, I've traced round the edge of this um, stencil. Yeah, that does yep. come in with the acetate, yep. of course. And I've just got a piece of acetate that's the same width as my cover piece. So all I've done, I've drawn round template 2A and I've just not done the back piece of it. I've just got the front flap there with the spine because that's how I'm going to attach it to the front of my book. Right like that. Yeah. So what I want to do, I've drawn round that as the template and then I can just put that underneath because that's going to be the size of my flap and then I'm just going to line that up with that pencil line that I've already done and I've just got a little bit of washi tape to stick that down onto. Okay, so hold it in position. Yeah. So hopefully that is about straight. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sponge through some of my ink. So I've got some of the satin ink and this is raspberry. So I'll give it a bit of a, a shaky shake because I want some ink in the lid. And I've got a little piece of sponge. So, you know, any type of sponge, something, um, a, a blending tool, something like that. But not, not anything too harsh or with bristles yeah, on it yeah, because you don't want them marks. to go underneath your stencil. Got you. So all I'm going to do now is sort of dobber through those holes. I've just got a bit of wish washy tape. Wishy-washy, that's a pantomime, isn't it, that? <laughs> yeah, wishy-washy. wishy-washy tape, yeah. Is it Aladdin? It's Aladdin, isn't it? Aladdin's mum, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, it's, <laughs> somebody, is it one of the... Um, Wishy -washy. Oh, it's not Obby Sisters because that's Cinderella. No, no, I think it, it was Aladdin's sort of mum. She used to do the laundry, didn't she? Wishy washy. Ah. And she had big bloomers. I remember that. Oh, Scott was here. I think our know. Scott would be wishy washy, probably, Definitely. wouldn't he? So I'm just sponging with my raspberry satin ink. 
Now, just be careful with this ink. I usually have like a finger protector or a pair of gloves because it, um, it does stain your fingers sometimes if you get too much on. As you're just using the ink there, Liz, is it okay if we just have a look at these papers? Yeah, right? go, go for Wonderful. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you really need to see these. We have got three selections, different item numbers for each. The first one, Fleeting Moments. Now, I'm going to just pick up the 6x6 six six first. They're all double-sided. You don't always find that with a 6x6, six six, do you? So you're getting more than one repetition of each. You've got little tags in there as well. The colour palette is beautiful because, you know, you can add so much more to it. You've got all sorts of designs in here. You've got very vintage effects. You've got text in here. We've got a damask in there as well. There's areas that you could cut out and put little photographs behind. Of course, these are going to be perfect for your albums. You can cut them down, but a six by six is got. I mean, there's so many here just that you beautiful. could just... The they patterns are, are just amazing. just ready to go, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're just lovely. The they GSM just lovely. feels great. We've got music notes there as well. Uh, so everything that you can see here is just part of this collection so just the six by sixes we're looking at the moment i'm not going to go through each and every one of those but i do want to show you the 12 by 12s these are also double-sided i will have to flip these over for you to see them don't know if we'll get through each and every one but look at that isn't that gorgeous oh these are some of what i would class as your best papers so you yeah. want to make sure you cut your templates out and these are going to be seen and they will be with the templates, of course. Don't forget with Liz's templates, you're getting 17 different templates. So you've got accessories as well as the different books there. Yeah, so any of your little excess bits that you've got from your pages will do for the little slide mounts and your pockets. Of yeah, course. don't, oh, don't waste that anything. Used. That's the one that you put in the centre, just Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Harley Quinn one, it's beautiful, isn't it, that yeah. one? They are, look at that one stunning absolutely stunning but it doesn't end there because also you're getting some chipboard as well or some card pieces that are die cut let me show you this these are quite thick um, if i show you the back so you can see it is almost like a gray board look at how many you get and i haven't counted these up individually but some of them are doubles because you've got the center you've got the outside and you will find a use for the frame once you've popped all those out as well you could draw into them and create new tags you know and cut them out yourself if you wanted or use it as a bit of a stencil look at the butterfly that is beautiful 15.97 for the whole bundle that is such a good price that is fleeting moments of course 216711 is the item number now we've got Blooming Retreat next. If I had to be pushed into one, I did say this was probably my favourite. It was kind of between this and the next one. Although, I, yeah, I keep swaying. I can't make my mind up. <laughs> the 12 by 12, you see, it's the pretty flowers. I just think they're so delicate and beautiful. And then you've got, you've got script in here again. Look at the ribbon coming down there. That's actually that way up, I believe. But, you know, cutting that into four, instantly you've got four beautiful layers. Or keeping them for scrapbooks again. You know, you've got depth of colour in here. You've got that distressed look. You've got, the, the, you know, the pop of green with the flowers as well. Looks really, really pretty. Almost as though there's a, a torn page in the centre. So you could actually take that out or leave it again as it is. It just keeps giving this one. Look at the pink. That pink is so beautiful. It's almost got a turquoise in here. And then you've got tags as well. Tags and all sorts of elements that you can cut out. Even the front cover you will use. If I just turn this one around, you'll see what I mean. There we are. I know Liz was saying earlier, you could use these for ATCs. You know, you could use them as little strips or tags as well. So don't waste a single scrap. And once again, You've got your board pieces to go with it. How pretty. Stunning. 484781 is item number 2346. Oh, missed something out. Can't forget this. Mm -hmm. Because you do get the little journal set as well. Let me just flip through one, one or two of these. So this is ready to go. Look how pretty these are. Look, they're double-sided as well. So you've got all sorts of elements within here. I love that butterfly. It looks like angel at the same time. It could be a butterfly, or it could be angel wings, or it could be a combination of both. Beautiful. I didn't go through each and every one of those, so there's some surprises when you get them home. 484781, brand new today. Then finally, now this is, I think, Liz's favourite, and it's actually the one that's in the lead so far this hour. Summer Charm. It's another one that has the journal book with it. You've still got the chipboard pieces or the grey board pieces, but, of course, you've got your 12 by 12s Ah, oh, the wood grain there. Let me just flick through one or two. I won't do them all because I want to get back to Liz as soon as possible. Look at this. 
Look at this. Now, I recognise some of these from one of the samples we were showing earlier on because you've also got the six by six. And I do believe that little ring of flowers was used in one of those samples that we showed at the top of the hour. Beautiful. I'm just going to hold up the six by sixes so you can see them. Uh, we'll not go through them all, as I say. Let me see if I can find that flower one. Oh, oh, let's see if we've got the other side of the front cover on this. There we are. More tags. Beautiful. 1996 for that. Don't forget, you do get a journal in this one as well. That is such a good price. 268170 is the item number. You've got some real warmth about the colours in that one as well, with the yellows and the pinks in there. Now, there's lots to think about and choose from, but we're going to get back to Liz and see how she's getting on with that demonstration. Over to you, Liz. Okie koki. So, I've cut out that uh, pencil line that I had on that little um, piece that's going to go on the front cover. And I've also gone through my stencil now and I've added a little bit of the yellow satin ink as well, just in the centre of my flowers. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it just looks really pretty. So, you could leave it like that, but what I like to do is just go in with one of my markers, one of my permanent markers, um, and, and literally just draw around a, another little flower. So I like I'm just being pretty random with my leaves. And well, it really it matches with that sketchy yeah. flower. So what I would do is I would stamp the sketchy flowers and colour them in on the acetate and then build them up. And if I colour it with some um, darker ink in the centre of the flowers, and I'd use a little bit of foam pad, okay. you know, just to stick it underneath, or a little bit of silicon yeah. glue to actually 3D them up on the front cover as well. Because I think acetate flowers, people sort of just think they should be a solid piece, but you can really cut them down and, and use them as embellishments as well, just because they're a little bit different. Yeah, why not try it? If you've never tried that at home, maybe you're going for the stamps today. Don't forget, there's two to choose from as well. Pop that heat-resistant acetate into your basket with, of course, the mask. Item number's there, 659323. And then do have a look at Liz's stamps as well, if you've forgotten, you know, which ones we've got. We'll have a quick reminder of those, actually. We're yeah, I'm going to I'll I'll do a little bit with the sketchy flowers in a second. Okay. So there we go with that front cover. So that can now be added to my page. So I am just going to cut quickly around okay. that edge piece that I traced because we really like that edge. And as I say, if you do planners, if you're a, a bullet journal or something like that, and you do like a different layout for your front cover of each month, um, I like a floral feature. And I could use different colours and use them you know, a few months at a time, you that flower. You could overlay over a certain page in your planner. Yes. So you could write on it with a pen that's not permanent and then rub it away. Yes. So yeah. you've got that, you can see through the detail of the page underneath. Yes. But you add your notes. That, do you know, I like that idea. That would work. Yeah, really. yeah, 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 yeah. So a little bit of glue and then I'm going to add some double-sided tape now to the side of this spine here on the acetate okay. and stick that to my front cover. And then the other side, I'm going to stamp with my sketchy stamps. Nice. Oh, get the end of the roll, Liz. If I remember rightly, there are 30 individual stamps in the sketchy stamps because you get flowers, you get leaves, you also get words in there. Those words very, very useful. Let me just make sure I've got the right one. It's this one here. There it is, that inspiration there as well. 1499 138638. Of course, right. Daisy Daisy is also under the item number, different option. So I have folded it, scored it as well. You do need to score it um, before you try and fold it because it, it, it won't give as much. Okay. So I have attached that to the spine. So already That's I've got a, a nice really nice works. little feature with that. It's nice, isn't it? With that template, that underneath. Now, if you don't like it flapping, just add a little bit of double-sided tape just on the inside bit there, just to hold it down a little bit, which I might do now. I'm only going to put a tiny little strip just there, okay. so that when that folds over, there's still a bit of movement. 
but not as much. Yeah. Because it's no, it, stacked I just down. Think it's so effective. And yeah. the back piece, you could leave that open as a pocket. Have you done? Did you do that, or did you put glue all over? I've glued it, but you could do. You could, yeah. Yeah, you, you could, could do. You could nice tug, tag in yeah, there. tag something down it. But what I'm going to do now is just decorate this panel here. So I'm going to open it out, and I'm going to get my sketchy stamps. Okay. Now with this. I'm going to use some of the pearl inks as well this time. So I've got my pearl sepia. I've got some lilac. Yeah, we have these in a pick and mix, don't we? Yeah, and I've got the antique gold, which is really, really lovely. So what I want to do is just get my brush. I'm going to get a bigger brush. And I just want to drop little droplets of colour onto this front cover. So I'm just dropping little bits of this... This is the antique gold. Let's give it a shaky shake. Okay. We do have lots of colour of these available. Yeah, that's better. Do shake it yeah. first, Liz. And it's Liz. Three. There's all the different that's colours. Are they all better. the pearl ones on there? Or these, is it a mixture? So there's, a, there's satin ones and there's some pearl ones as well. So I'm just going in just with little blobs of colour and it looks a right mess at the minute, but bear with the process. Bit of the sepia. I'm intrigued. I'm not sure what you're doing here. I've not seen a, a prepared one, unless you're hiding one. No. Oh, that's a pretty colour. That's the sepia. Really nice. I used that one on that, um, the waterfall feature one. So I've got those, and then I'm going to just come in with a little bit of the lilac. Give it a shake. I am going to wash my brush, you dirty madam. Oh, what's that colour? That's the lilac. Beautiful, isn't is it? Lovely. Beautiful. So what I want is sort of like a watercolour effect. So I'm just going to blend a little bit round the edges of that, if you can see. Yeah, yeah we can. Just so I've got that feature of the lilac all the way round. OK, so what I want to do now is get my stamp. And I'm using a permanent ink pad with this. Get my little block, move that up so you can still see, and I'll get my sketchy stamps. Now the beauty of these is because they're all sort of random, you can stick a couple together to oh, build yeah, up. Because you've got leaves and all sorts of Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can build up something quite quickly just by attaching them to your um, your stamping block. So, you know, why mess trying to do one at a time when you can do four at a time? Yeah, and it makes your stamp set stretch further yeah, as well because yeah, you're yeah, almost yeah, designing yeah. your own as you yeah. go along. So I just need to remember which way my leaves are going. So if I just stamp down there now. Okay. So what it does is you can start building up your frame, you know, your little yeah. floral frame. So I'll just move that in that direction. Lovely stuff. And just keep going over then, just building up with different flowers. And because I've got that sort of background already in there, it just means the next little bit where I'm actually um, colouring in, it makes it a bit easier. Now, I probably would recommend that you do this before you put it all together if you're going to be stamping, or stamp on a separate panel. Right, and then yep. attach it to it just because it's a bit awkward moving it round. But I don't do anything easy, me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my little fluty flower bit oh, there. Oh, that's sweet. So it just builds up like a really sketchy flower. And then I'm going to come in now with a little bit of this raspberry, a lovely raspberry colour. Lots of lovely colours. You know, and then I can just actually go into oh, the that, floral that bit, well of the, the you know, right in the centre of your of your flowers, yeah. and it just then picks out the detail of your sketchy flower. That builds up. That yeah, builds that complements very well. All the colours are just beautiful from these inks. You can use it on fabric because I've done a book that I've coloured in. That little mini mini journal that's right at the front. Oh, I've just spotted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's with the um, these inks. Oh, let's have a little look at this one. 
I've just got to unpull every ribbon in case there's something secret inside. Oh, there are always secrets inside. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of the turquoise. Oh, but I've stamped on the outside and the inside on fabric, and it, it's just lovely. That is a lovely idea. Do you know, we often say when we see the shows with the calico, think about making your little books and journals. Don't just think about your soft crafts. That is really nice indeed. You could make a nice little box for that as well and match with the stamps. Oh, it's nice. I was going to use that as, as a well. sampler, like a stitch sampler, that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is my little sketchy flowers. So from a bit of a rough background, you've already built up a really, really pretty little frame Love there. It. And then you can go back in if you wanted with um, your black pens, whatever you've got, if you wanted to add a little bit extra detail to them like I did with the stencil, but obviously let it dry properly yeah. as well. Um, but there we go for that sort of front cover effect. So let me turn it over. Okay. So I've got that panel there, which is really pretty. And I've got that panel there. So I probably do two the same, right? but I'm just showing you for demo yeah, of course purposes. You are. One for that one and, and one for that one. it's good to see that because it gives everybody lots of inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking of inspiration, should we look at a few more samples as well? Can we do that? Because there's a lot I want to try. Let me just put to one side the ones that I looked at before. Not because I don't want to show them again, but I like to be fair, if I can, to all the hard work that's been done. So this one here, with, we've got the gatefold template. Remember, with the templates themselves, you're getting 17. 17! There's one that will create those pages, look. So you've got the little pocket on there. But it fits into the spine of the book. So you can have this almost as a double. So you can just alternate how you lay those pages down to put it back together correctly. Obviously, you want to put one from one side, then one from the other, so that they sit really beautifully. Looking at the papers we've got on today, they will work with every design, of course, but you might have your favourite papers or something that you've been keeping special at home, so do think about that. This is lovely. Another beautiful one. Let me just get this right work so you can see. One of the little flowers has been used there. Look from the stamps, I can see. Really interesting. Now, Liz, I think when people get the templates home and they start cutting them out, they will find ways of making different folds again and Absol adding their yeah, own little pockets. Absolutely, yeah. So certainly with that, with the gatefold one, if you just cut the bottom section off, you've got a double fold page and you don't even need to use it as a pocket page. So you can already do that straight away or you can just cut it in half. So you've only got a half page with a pocket. Um, you can cut them diagonally that yeah, we've done there yes. to create a pocket. So just literally just have a play with them. But I'd say sort of make it up by the instructions to start with and then you know where your base is from. Um, and then just play with it. Oh, yes, another bottle waiting to be filled a little bit more, but there's already things in there. Beautiful. So many ideas here. I mean, this one is opening one way, of course. We did mention earlier on that if you wanted it like a little handbag, you could do. So you can have it this way up. It's entirely up to you. You've got so lots and lots of options. You can put a little handle on the top of that. Yeah, so, yeah, you can do so you that, can actually you? carry it, yeah. Really pretty. Item number 008023. Don't forget, we sold out of the templates this morning. In record well, yeah, it was. It was about halfway through the show. They went so, so quickly. Back on extended delivery, only from the 4th of October, though. So you can see all those different styles there. Don't forget that one of them, you've got the C and D, I think it was. Um, it's kind of two templates in one, so make sure that you're reading the lettering and numbers the right way up. But, you know, for value for money, if you're not a, a die cutter, if you haven't got a die cutting machine yet, if you're a paper crafter maybe new to craft and you're loving seeing the journals the albums and thinking oh, i really want to make some of those but i can't afford a die cutting machine and all the dies you don't need to this is such a great idea very very portable as well so let's just run through what you can do so that's the gatefold the flip out journal the mini mini book is there and don't forget you've got the accessories so your sliders your waterfall is there as well and with the waterfall this particular sample here you can see three little areas that have been created you can pull the put the little flat one so when you pull it at the bottom it kind of does it the mechanism for you you can extend that into six into nine you know it make them work to how you want them to work and these templates are going to lend themselves to your card making not just your album making think about that yeah only 24.99 perfect oh you've got a clever team haven't you i, I have the brilliant so what i'm going to do now i've done i've stamped so i've, I've laid all my stamps because some of them are all separate um, and I've done my big vintage notebook, so I've just put them on my block together. So okay. 
I can do it in one go. My big yeah. is a little bit skewy, but that's a bit like me, so that's fine. So that's going to be for my title of my page. Oh, that works well. But what I'm just going to do really quickly is just on the back of this, I'm just going to sponge some of that lilac that I used okay. on the other side, um, just so it ties it together. Because it's yeah. just, it's just, just my favourite word this week is balance. Balanced is that what you're doing? You're kind yeah. of balancing the yeah, colours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my eye was twitching a bit, so I'm just going in at the back then, so you can still see all the colours from the front section that I've already stenciled. But by of just course. sponging at the back... Yeah, you don't have to go on the face it'll of the come stick, through the, it'll, Yeah, it'll still show those colours at the back. Lovely. So just have some messy matte underneath as well so that you're not spoiling any of your pages. So, yeah, just a real light sponging because you don't, you know, you don't need very much ink at all to do this. And then let it, give it a heat set or let it dry. Yeah, but of it course. it doesn't take long yeah, to dry You've just this. used the ink on there to stamp the images, which was obviously yeah. you've got to use a permanent ink. Versafine, Claire, I think I saw you use. Yes, yeah. But if you want to heat emboss, of course you can because the acetate is made for that. It is made for heating. Yeah. So do have a look at the acetate. Twelve, uh, no, ten sheets and that mask as well. They will go perfectly with the temp templates because you can make those different albums. Let me find another one actually that has got the acetate in it. So using one of the templates from the album. Hear that little slider or one of the sliders in there. That is the acetate. Such a different look, isn't it? Was that the ink again used on there then, Liz? One of the um, inks? Will be, yeah. The colour. It's like oh, a, the walnut ink, I think, that one. Now look, if I just find a couple more pages, you could put little photographs in there. Or, you know, your tag secret messages, perhaps. So when you lift it, you can read it through the window. We were saying earlier on, weren't we, about if you have a special day out and you've got a ticket or something memorable from that day, you, you could put that in there. there. Yeah, yeah, dried absolutely. flowers, maybe from a wedding or something yeah, like absolutely. that. absolutely. I had a good idea, didn't I? I said a lock of hair for a baby album. You did, yeah, you did. I was That's just testing yeah. you there, Liz, yeah, you to see did. if you thought I it was a good it idea first. or not. Yeah, I said it first, but you'd said it in your head first, <laughs> hadn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, all I'm doing now, similar to what I've done with my template, I've turned it the other way, so if you do want both sides, just reverse it. Yeah, of course you can so do that. You can that, do it the other way. So all I've done now is just I'm going to start to cut round the edge of that as well. So okay. it's just got more of a, a feature to it and put that on it. Lovely. But what I want to show you now is the uh, waterfall feature. Just how oh, to put yes, that please. together. Yeah. Okay. So what I've got. We have is about ten minutes left, Liz. Oh, so we're, we're fine plenty for time. time. Plenty of time. So it comes in two pieces like this: four A and four B. Not 2A or 2B. <laughs> you are too wise for me, Catherine. <laughs> Do you know, it takes me back to days of workshops when I did the paper crafting workshops. Um, and we did the waterfall cards and do you know it was hilarious actually watching some of the ladies i hope they're not watching because i'm going to sort of say a few things maybe i shouldn't no well they, they'll they'll laugh at it but they you know they couldn't get the measurements right the waterfall mechanism didn't work right they just couldn't get their heads around it this is why templates are so important because liz has done all that hard work for you it's ha all there however i haven't done the actual mechanism bit this is just a flat it's a, okay. it's, a, it's a stagnant waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one where the tap switched off. So it flaps, but I haven't done the mechanism. But I will do a YouTube video of how, of how to, to do the mechanism. That. Yeah, Lovely. yeah. Because not everybody. I, I sometimes I just want it flat, so it just sits. But even like if you're this. doing it flat, just to yeah. get the measurements right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so getting it, them to fall yeah, correctly. Yeah. Because oh, you need that also, little bit of space I in between. Forget, I did get told off by lovely Jill Humphrey. Um, the, there is an address, I've written it down, for the blog. That's Crafty Blog site, because Jill has oh. done tutorials for all of her samples. Has she? For her blog, yeah. So it's, well, you do need to find yeah, that, because it's, you'll oh, see I've exactly which it, ones Jill it did. It's that's bloggingcrafty.blogspot.com. <gasps> right. That's bloggingcrafty.blogspot.com. Dot, dot com. Yes. Right, got it. Thank Make you, sure Jill. you Thank have you a look at Jill's me. beautiful yeah. Yeah. 
beautiful albums. Yeah, and she's did them for set two as well. So Has she? yeah, she's done tutorials. Oh, that's something for we've not mentioned actually. Them. If yeah. you've got set one or set two, which also sold out when they first launched with us here, if you've got them, everything will work together so you can mix and match them. They're all standalones, but of course you're going to extend on the range if you're going for set number three as well. Yeah, don't forget to check out your baskets out in this one because this is the second live hour for Liz today. I nearly called you Jill then. We're getting confused with all the names today. It's Don't fine. forget we've got Shelley. Oh yes, of course, and Rachel. And Rachel, yes, of course. And Laura and Graham from and that. Laura, yeah. Thank you so much. So what I've done, that's that's the Sheila. base and my mum Sheila and my dad Len. Hello, Dad. Oh yeah. Um, so that is the template for the base plate. So basically, that gives you your frame to attach your flaps to. Okay, yeah. Um, and it gives you, so what I would recommend you do is make it up before you put it in your page because you won't know the width or the length of it until you finish it. Right. Until you finish decorating yeah. it. So I'm just going to do three for now. So all I'm doing, I'm drawing around my 4A, which is the main flap page. So it has a little little hinge that you fold across and I'll cut all these out really quickly. So I'm about to think, I'm watching you there Liz and I'm thinking about the fact that these are so portable. Everything that you've got, 17 templates is a lot. Yeah. But because they're made of mylar, because they're very compact, they're going to fit, well, let's say into an A4 well, the, yeah, uh, it fits in a, Yeah, it fits in an A4 folder and it has the book ring holes on so you can hang them up. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they're I'm not in the way I'm just thinking if you're going away for the weekend yeah, or yeah, yeah. you've got a caravan, you know, you don't have to lug along your die cutting machine. Even if you have got dies and die cutting machine, it's quite nice to use something like that just to sit quietly. Yeah, make with your family as well. Actually, that's a nice idea as well. Maybe you've got family that you've not seen for quite some time, or you know, you don't get to see grandchildren that often, get them to write little special messages or do some finger painting or something like that, and you could store those within yeah. the pockets. Yeah, and get kids so to use the templates as well, because just, you just draw around them. You do the cutting out bit and the, the knife bit if you need yeah. to with the, with the holes. So I've done three, three pages turned my flaps over and then what I'm going to do I'm going to put some wet glue just on the flap bit and then because I've got my template and my pencil line there that flap put your page going upwards right. and your flap going downwards yep. and I'm just going to stick that on the top line and then just make sure it's folded nice and straight so it lines up so that then is your little first flap at the top and then I'm just going to go down Ooh. with the next one so remember I've just your page up thought. your flap down line it up with the one underneath hmm. I don't know if this will work Liz but I'm thinking looking at that if you had two of them and you turn them so the folds were to the left and to the right could you almost make Another concertina type book, you could not make like another, another flip, little gatefold, but a small book, one. But you need to extend your. Yeah, you could put a piece yeah. of card at the back, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you'd need to extend that bit, but you've got your guides then to attach your pages so you to. You could do like a mini version, yeah. Or so a it'd be like a page little, within yeah, a page, a staggered one. But I would double it up because obviously that's about three and a half inches across. Yeah. So you, it won't fold over. No, I'm thinking, yeah, cut there. a piece of card out That's and longer. mount them onto yeah, it, yeah, so on that will end. be like an extender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you get the templates, Catherine, you can do that, can't you? Well, and I then might post, go shopping after this hour. Who post knows? on um, the Craft Store webpage um, what you've made. That would be very exciting. I've got loads of ideas for little albums <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so, there we go. Really easy, and it just makes a really nice little concertina little flap just really really pretty and it just means as well because you've got these extra little um, spines down the center all those little off cuts from before they'll all oh, fit that's a good you know, idea. so you'll, everything doesn't get wasted yeah. again that is a good idea and, and I think as well how down. many of us have got border punches corner punches so you could put pretty corners on rounded corners 
So I would just keep going on, but with this, because I've only got three, you just snip the end off. And then right, the idea is you. that panel then gets stuck to the inside of your page. And because you've already made it up now, you know how much space it's going to take yeah. up. So you can put it in the centre of your page like that. Love it. So unless you've not made it up, you, you don't know how long you're going to need for your page. And you know, there's so in. many. I'm, the more I'm watching, the more I'm thinking of other things as well. Again, I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's why it may or may not be. I'm, I've just got to test it. Before. I need to sometimes test things before I open my mouth. Yeah, right, OK. So I'm thinking if you make two books and stick them back to back, so you've almost got two. It's like kind of four books in, well, you've got four sides because, no, oh, you could maybe... I'm thinking one side could be all baby pictures. Then you could have the toddler up to a certain age. Then you could have maybe teenage years on the other side. Then you could have when they get married. Well, that's with the benefit of my templates. You've got little notches in them, Catherine. And the idea for those is you can move your template along to create extra flaps and extra spines to create flip-flop books so that they they can extend like a folio yeah. type thing. So you can do them so they fold back on themselves. I did actually do a workshop earlier in the year with that sort of idea where the book, there was two together and it folded back with a little pocket. So you need to check the workshop out, Catherine, because I did it. <laughs> Oh, did you do it? You, <laughs> did you, oh, do you know, everybody's I'm stealing my thunder I'm today. Sorry. You know I'm what sorry. I thought of this one though, Liz? Go on. Get this, right? Let's see if she's thought of this one. Same sort of idea, one family in one book, okay, or one, yeah, one family in one side, another family in the other side, because they've come together, you see, and got married. Oh, that's married. a nice wedding album. Yes, nice. they've got married, so then you oh, have nice. the picture of the wedding, and it's the two families that yeah, have come together, maybe the, the children. in-laws and the outlaws, yeah, yeah, that's what in -laws we call them. But then, you don't use your glue, oh, no, 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 use your Velcro, or your hook and eye fastener things because then just in case something goes wrong you can separate the two <laughs> that's a lovely idea Catherine. it thanks wasn't mine that. i'm so glad you liked it thanks it was for meg's that. you thanks see for that. thanks meg i for can't that. even have the best idea of the that's, show yeah that so was a good go. idea though wasn't it yeah so then i would stamp them up and layer them up and and decorate them with my pockets and things Love it. And just put a little belly band. I'll just show you really, really quickly. We've got a minute or so, haven't we? <gasps> We're in the last minute. Um, just get a really long piece of card to oh, wrap belly around band. it. It's just to wrap around it, yeah. So any spare bit of card that you've got, just wrap it round to measure. And yeah. then what I do to fasten it together with my belly band... <gasps> 30 seconds, Liz. <laughs> Cut While it. you're doing that, look, I out. found a book with a belly band, and I remember who did this one. Cut the top. Oh, you have to give a mention. It was Shelley. Shelley. So I've just cut a little notch oh, I need top to find and bottom something from everybody like now. that, and then fold it, <gasps> and it sticks in like that. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. She did it. There's one from Rachel. Look. We've got one from Jill somewhere, and Laura, and Lovely. who else am I missing? Me. Okay. <gasps> one from Liz. Thank you. See you soon. Menu coming up. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Oh, I hate leaving anybody out. Coming up next, then, we've got Art Inspirations, the monthly mega deal. Then Stamperia One Day Special. Oh, Polly, only she's busy today. Best of September, coming later. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray.
Clay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows Good afternoon. Now I'm very excited to introduce the monthly mega deal uh, because it is absolutely mega. I've not seen this in my time. Well worth becoming a Freedom member and the lady's going to explain it all to you and explain to us the beautiful artists that have come together to create this uh, monthly mega deal. It's Arlie Ooney. Hello, Arlie Ooney. Hello, Again, hello, my darling. Hello. You're working oh, hard today. Nearly set off then. Um, Are we doing hello. a dance? Shall we do a dance? Uh, exit and enter. <laughs> did, 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 did. <laughs> I think that is one of our favourites for all the presenters. <laughs> I tell you. Um, right, this is it, the Mega Monthly deal. Now, I bet you might have missed this, because um, it's only had one proper outing on my Let Loose show and then one extra hour um, on the same day, so you might have missed it. This is amazing. So, Art Inspirations. Art Inspirations, a company that bring... Um, bring artists who are living breathing artists out there um but bring them to the craft market so we get to craft with beautiful original artwork and it is sensational now the artists that we've got here and because it's a mega monthly deal you've got a collaboration well no they're not working together they're, they're separate but we have got two artists this time it's the first time um that art inspiration has brought both artists out in one big collection so we have Brijan art our brian and then we have inca Nurth, wonderful emily um both are such good artists i mean the the work is incredible um, and the stamps are amazing the detail that you're going to get the amount of stamps that you're going to get 154 stamps in this it is sensational but it's what you can do with them i love both these ranges equally they're absolutely incredible and the thing is with these because you can craft and create so many different looks and styles um, it just means they they work forever and if you've got any of Brijan, if you've got any of Ink on Earth um, they'll also work together with some of the original designs so it's just adding to your collection now we've got choices for you I'll talk money before I show you them in detail so the bigger if you're going for the bigger because um, realistically both sets they have got discounts on them so both of those sets you are so you should be paying, sorry, I might turn her up a bit. I'm a bit deaf at this stage of the day. So you should be paying for all of this £234.90, OK? Which you go, oof, but you're getting a lot for your money. You're getting a lot for your money. That is a normal price of your normal stamps. However, look at that price because you've got a saving on Brigitte Art. You've got a saving on Lincoln Earth. Both those state savings are carried forward and a further £10 is added to that saving. However, Freedom members, way better for you. Both of those savings carry forward, but then an extra £45.98 pence is taken off. Um, that is the biggest. In fact, normally we don't give 20% discounts from Freedom members. This is special and it's massive. That means 
altogether, you are saving Freedom members about 90, is it about 90 odd quid? Uh, 90 pounds and 98 pence. It's huge, a huge saving. And you've got flexi, you've got three flexes. I mean, with that saving, you should easily have another two months on that. It's like getting two months for free. Um, so that's the deal. Please be a Freedom member. If you're not a Freedom member, you are literally... <clears throat> Sorry, you are literally wasting money. You're throwing money away if you're not a Freedom member. You can join, you can cancel straight away. You don't have to be part of a club. You don't have to have something going out every month. Join, get this, cancel if you want to. However, the benefit of Freedom is you get discounts like this and you never pay for your postage because every time you order from us, it's part of that Freedom discount. So it is worth it, but for this, it, it, you, it's, you have to do it. Please don't order this if you're not a Freedom member. Be a Freedom member. Um, if you're going for it, 715460. Right, let me show you what you're going to get. So, for starters, let's talk Brian. So, Brijan Arts. Now, remember, you can get this as a bundle in its own right. You can even get individual stamps. So, you've got lots and lots of choice here. So, we will start at the bottom there with that beautiful boat now. That is super cool. So, what you have got... Do you want me to angle that better? It's a bit... And uh, um, what you have got here is that beautiful boat. And I love this. I mean, that is bad driving, isn't it? Quite frankly. <laughs> um, it's just so cool. See, Brian has got such an incredible imagination. I love it. It's so fabulous and different. Um, the beautiful... Um, the, the lighthouse is different, again, because it's Brian. It really irritates me, that being on the... Uh, because you can't see it properly. Um, there we go. I'm going to have to sort of move the whole pack shot. Um, so you have got that beautiful lighthouse. I love it because it's different. It's quirky. It's one of those that's utterly unique. And that's what Brian does. It brings us something different. You've also got beautiful sentiments as well. So that's your first one. So you've got in that one, you've already got five stamps. I mean, you've got a lot of stamps. The next one that you're going to get in. Uh, oh, and I love this. It's so cute. I, I just think, yeah, it's just magical, isn't it? It's got one of those looks that's just, oh, it's just fab. So you've got, like, the, the beautiful castles that have been built up and then that lovely little cottage just sort of sneaked in the middle there. I just, I just adore that one. Now, your main image amazing but this is one of the biggies um they've been deconstructed so it means all these extra stamps you can use them to build up your own look um you can do all sorts with it but you can utterly deconstruct it can you see i i mean how cool is that and i tell you what it's easy that is easy so you're building your own scene with that Really, really love that. It's cool. So that's your second stamp. Again, you can get them independently. The deal means um, you are getting tons for free, quite frankly. Um, I mean, 90 odd quid. Yeah, that's such a saving. OK, next. And look at this. Have you ever seen a stamp like that in your life? That is super different, isn't it? Have you ever seen a stamp like that? Now, that see, this is why it's beautiful getting original artwork, because... That's Brian's imagination there, and this is so unique. Now, can you see it's a tank? So, it's a tank. So this is, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to build a home on wheels, you might as well go for a tank. I mean, you can, you're not going to have trouble parking, are you? You're going to stick that wherever you want, aren't you? Um, so, you've got your fabulous little tank, you've got the rhino, which is amazing. The detail on the rhino is amazing. But then, of course, he has built this full town on top of that tank with its own launch pad for the boat. I mean, talk about having a launch pad for your yacht on the, the end of your pier. Um, that is incredible. It's such a cool stamp. And then, of course, you've got your extras. I love these because these look quite spooky which, again, is just sensational. Um, so that's your, your beautiful rhino tank. I mean, a rhino tank. Amazing. Um, caravanning. Should we go caravanning, love? I just think that's ace. Absolutely ace. And then, last but by no means least, in this collection uh, from um, our one... Oh, in fact, no, we've got two more, haven't we? Because, first of all, we've got the... Now, this is my favourite favourite. It must be said from Brian's range this time, that is my favourite favourite. There's so much on that stamp. The, the big it, I mean, that is huge. 
That is a massive stamp. The detail in this is incredible. You've got so much going on here. But then, of course, you've got all those independent little stamps. They allow you to build so many different configurations, so many different quirky, wonderful houses. It's just amazing. I mean, it's magical. It feels like you're, you're somewhere abroad, but then it feels almost Victorian. Do you know what I mean? It's got such a, an amazing amazing look to it so different isn't it again when have you ever seen anything like that brian is such an incredible artist and look how many stamps you get in there that is an a4 stamp plate that and you're getting a lot of stamps okay last but not least yay um and this one i mean look at that this is so cool again brian's imagination is ridiculous in a good way, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you have got, and this is like um, like a, a bit of a, a shack, really, but it's built, and it's all built on this. I love that. I love that, again, I love that imagination, you know, like, oh, we'll just stick a few poles. It'll be right, it'll be right, it'll hold it. And, oh, just, just, just add another, just, just add another bit. Just, just, uh, do you know what I mean? It's one of those where, yeah, it started as a little tree house and then went a bit bad. You know, they got a bit carried away. I mean, if there's a strong gust of wind, it isn't going to last, is it? Mm. Um, you've got that beautiful building, but then you've got the, um, the uh, tree there. And again, you've got lots and lots of elegant, elegant? You've got lots and lots of individual elements. So you've got the tree, you've got all these wonderful little buildings, and you've got the, the little um, light there, the little street lamp. You've got a signpost, love that. You've got ladders, you've got a mouse. That, that is a teeny, <laughs> tiny little mouse. Um, you've even got a washing line. A washing line, we're washing on it. And, uh, honestly, these are seriously cool. I, I can, I, I mean, I don't think I have ever, apart from obviously Brian's other collections, seen anything like this. It's so unique. Now, if you just wanted um, Brigitte Arts collection, you could do that. You could just get Brian's collection if you wanted to. And I'll show you a few uh, beautiful finished samples um, from the ladies. Now, if you did want to get this one, £20 saving. So you've still got a saving if you wanted to go uh, for Brian's. However, if you do uh, want to be part of a chance at no, the craft store Freedom, um, it's a £29 and nine pence saving. So it's a huge saving still. And, of course, you have got uh, your flexes on this as well. I mean, look, uh, look at that. <laughs> Colouring in is just incredible. There's so many elements to this. It's one of those that you get lost in. You don't need to, to get really, really um, involved in the colouring in. Just stick to a few colours, which I absolutely adore. You can obviously use them completely differently. And that's our lovely little rhino. That were a demonstration, actually. I did that on... Um, on one of the shows and that is just that that lovely little rhino's head i adore that one isn't that just so cool love that stamp and that stamp you see i, I love it because depending how you color it in you change the look of it which is sensational and look at that mm. isn't that just beautiful now if you do want to get hold of this 81 pounds and 86 pence if you want to just go for that bundle Three payments, only twenty seven twenty nine. So today you could get the whole bundle delivered to your door, um, Freedom members, for under £30. You know exactly what you're paying the next couple of months. No interest will be charged. 393-289. So that's our Bridge on Art, but then we have got Inca Earth. Now, um, again, this is absolutely sensational. Let you, let's take you through the, um, the stamps, first of all. Now, that is beautiful. I mean, the detail in that stamp is absolutely exquisite. Um, the fact that you've got such a big stamp, I mean, there's so much you can do with that. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, now, Emily's work, when you see this, you'll see a lot of pointillism, and it's really important to be able to get close on these um, because you'll see a lot of pointillism in this one. And that's the thing. At the minute, you can't really see the dots, but it's made up of lots and lots of little dots. It's uh, the shading element. And the shading element allows you to... 
uh, to colour these in really simply, but also it's just, it just adds such um, a beautiful look to this. It's quite spiritual, is this? Um, it's got a quite, um, oh, I don't know. It's, it's just beautiful. All, all Emily's stamps have just got such a, a gorgeous um, feel and energy to them. Um, and look, I mean, look at that. Look at all the, the elements in that. You know, you've got the florals, you've got, obviously, you've got the earth and the sky, and it is your, you know, your your beautiful tree of life is that uh, stunning. But then, not only have you got that big stamp, you've got all the elements again. So, a lot of elements have been deconstructed to allow you to build your own uh, beautiful picture again. And what I love about this, you've got some left and right. So like on the, the little branches down there, because it really irritates me when you don't get off left and right. Now, that's the first one. If you do want to get hold of that, that stamp is sensational. It's an A4 plate. You're in the whole collection, you're getting so many A4 stamps, it's ridiculous. Now, the next one that we've got, um, for Emily, which again is absolutely sensational. I'm going to have trouble doing this one. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can angle this for you. Otherwise, we're looking at it at a silly angle. Um, okay, now, oh, I love this stamp set. I mean, this is just cool because have you seen the toastals? The toastals are sensational. So you have got that big stamp there, and again, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. I don't know, do you want me to spin that one so you can actually see it properly? Let me just tiptoe and see if I can spin it so you can actually see the big stamp properly. So that's your, your big stamp there. Oh, I love this stamp. Look, I mean, just look at the stuff going on there. You've got the beautiful clouds, you've got the sunshine, you've got all those wonderful toastals. I mean, it's so ridiculously quirky. Uh, there's just, there's so much in this that's amazing. Um, those toastals are sensational. And then you've got so much more. This is another A4 plate. So you've got so many little elements there. So again, you are building up your own picture on this one. I mean, it's just... Um, look at that. I love that stamp set. Have I put it upside down now? Oh, for goodness sake. Um, right, let me do it like that. <laughs> uh, that's when I didn't use a swear word. <sighs> I love those moments. Um, now, if you do, again, you've got this in the big bundle. You can go from independently. You've got loads and loads of options here. So please make sure you check your baskets out. Okay, the next one that we've got from the mighty Emily, um, which is another A4 plate. And have a look at this. This is another A4 plate. Now, uh, can you see what's in this one? So this is your lady in the lake. Now, have a look. Can you see her face? That. And please look Emily up, because she'll tell you the story of the lady in the lake. So you've got your fantastic lady there. You've got the hut, so you build the whole image up. Obviously, you can use them all independently. You can use them all separately. And hopefully you can see that, that um, beautiful stamp. There's so much detail. I know when we have them on TV, we don't do them justice. You, you don't really see the detail properly. On, and you don't see the detail properly at all, I'm afraid, on telly. When you get these home, you will really, really see um, how much you're getting and really appreciate um, the the work that's gone into these um, and what I love about this I mean can you see the little turtle there's so many little elements it's well cute you've got the beautiful little fishes there just stunning love 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 that absolutely amazing so you've got four massive A4 plates but then you've got two A5 plates as well I mean it's just it's just the value for money is incredible. So, your first A5 plate, where shall we go? This one. Um, so, have a look at that now. Again, I love these. You can build these up in so many ways. I mean, that is magical. You've got that incredible sunshine. You've got all of this movement, and that is absolutely sensational. So, you've got the moon. That's a uh, um, Obviously, the, the, the um, moon positioning, so the waxing and the waning of the moon. And then, of course, you've got the beautiful tidal. And I love this because you've got... It's a, it's a really nice movement, is that, with the sun in the centre, the tidal at the bottom, the tidal wave at the bottom, and then the beautiful moon at the top. I think that makes such an incredible image. 
Is that the right way around? Yes, it is. And then you've got your separate stamps. So you do get, and that is just gorgeous because these can be built separately. You know, there's so much you can do with this one. Stunning that. It's so, so beautiful. And then last but by no means least. So these all remind me of a trip to Glastonbury. Do you know what I mean? Where it's just all fabulous. Um, this. <laughs> Everything's fabulous. Um, and that is just gorgeous again. Now, you build these up and you build them up so you get um, incredible layers. In fact, found one. And that, again, stunning. Um, you can build them up to create something like this or you use them independently. So it allows you, again, it allows you to play. It allows you to create so many different looks. Okay. Pennies. If you wanted to go for this one on its own, you've got three A4 stamps and then two A5 stamps. The actual price of this is incredible. You've got a £25 saving. You've got 89 <coughs> stamps here. I mean, it is an incredible deal. Freedom members, it's even better for you. I'll just show a few finished samples. Um, Freedom members, it's even better for you because obviously, freedom members, you've got a saving £34.89 and, and your flexi, three payments, £29.69. And and However, um, the best way to shop is definitely the whole lot. I mean, you might be splitting it. Maybe you're going to use this if you're in a craft group. Uh, maybe with this uh, beautiful collection, you're going to mix and match the two collections together. I mean, look how many different variations you can get from this. It's a really, really cool set for a uh, pattern building. If you love your pattern building, I mean, look at the toadstools. Mm -hmm. They are ace, aren't they? I love those. They're so cool. Um, every single one. I mean, you look at that and think, I didn't see that. And this is the thing, there's so many stamps within this um, that sometimes you don't actually notice some of the, the beautiful stamps in here because there's that much to see. Let me just get your, um, oh, and that one. That's so beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, if you do want to get hold of these, please check your baskets out. I mean, the mega deal is incredible. To get everything, all those stamps, 154 stamps today, just £47.97, under 50 quid to get the lot. It is a deal, and you're getting so much money off. You're getting loads of freebies. Um, 715460. Now, we've also got the beautiful sentiment stamp. This is cool. Um, and do you know what? It's only £9.99. £9 so if you put it into that flexi basket, you'll obviously uh, divide that over your three months, which is just how much is it, Katie? £3.33p. What a bargain. Um, so bob that into your basket. And obviously with something like that, a uh, fantastic price. But obviously it's just one of those really handy little stamps. And there's some lovely sentiments in there. Um, I know there's a, a lot of beautiful roomy sentiments within the, um, within the collections. And there are some gorgeous roomy on that one as well. Um, if there's anything you want, check your baskets out. If if um, maybe you've already got yours, <gasps> if you've already got your stamps, we would love to see what you've been creating. That'd be well exciting. Uh, now, something else we've got for you is the jelly bean, um, the jelly bean cardstock. Now, that that is the wrong price. It should be £24.99. It isn't. This is actually only £9.99. We'll get that fixed for you, but it's only £9.99. You're getting 100 sheets. I, I highly suggest you get hold of this when, it, when we fix that price because because um, you will need a lot of cardstock when you get these because you end up building, you end up creating. So when you get these, you, you need a lot of cardstock, okay? Right, what I'm going to do, first of all, really quickly, is I'm going to do one of um, Brijan. I love the Brijan. Um, so I'm going to do this one, first of all. This is so cool. Let me show you the big stamp first. The thing is, I, I want to do lots of Facebook Lives with this or because, because there's so much you can do with every stamp. You know what I mean? It's one of them that we'll never have enough time. Even though it's a monthly mega deal, we'll never have enough time to really go for it. Now, um, 
With this, I must admit, I forgot to bring... Oh, let me just get that off there. I forgot to bring my black ink pad from home. And my other black ink pad here is... Um, it needs re-inking. With this, so I'm using brown on this. I would normally use black. I prefer black. But... Now, the car stock is very busy, funnily enough, uh, because you saw the proper price and it's just dropped to 9 99 Boom, bargain. Make sure you get it. Okay, so I'm going to slide my car stock like that because it's a big stamp. So I want it to go this way because this is going to be easiest. Um, it's absolutely flying, is the car stock. Don't miss out on that car stock. Okay, so. Let's get this um, now, first of all. Let's pop a little bit of pressure in the centre there, like so. Now, have a look at that image. Beautiful. I mean, how good is that? Um, it's perfect. And this is on the Jelly Bean card. It's absolutely perfect. Look at the amount of detail. This is what I love about Brian's artwork. You know, you've got your gorgeous little clock tower. I love that you've got um, the, the big um, telescope there watching the stars. I love all the creaky little windows. You know, the, the beautiful little barrel that looks um, like a water barrel. All the, the, you know, like that looks like a little birdhouse. And how wibbly wobbly. I mean, that looks a little bit like Canterbury. That you know, mm. the really wibbly wobbly bits. Mm. It might be, to be fair, it lives down there. Um, so it's a, it's one of those, uh, it's just got so much, you know, because this bit looks like um, a castle. It's just sensational. Now, that's just one stamp that you're getting in here. I have got a demo, but I want to just show you some of the, the variants that you can achieve, because this is what I love about these. I just love playing. I love creating. And I'm just going to get, I'm not going to even think about it. I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper because oh, I love this. Getting, oh, I didn't want to do that. Getting your scrap. <laughs> I've got, I've got loads of tiny little bits that I've, oh, just, just leave it, Leone. Just leave it, put it down, walk away for now. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> the other voices. So. <laughs> with something like this and this is the fun bit get your um get your other um, block and then let's see where to start so because look you've got all of these lovely little uh, buildings so this allows you to build your own little street or your own um your own lovely little town i mean you could do so much with this you know you could do backgrounds with this you could create um just single little houses with this. There's, it's just endless, literally endless. So taking these, and I'm not really thinking about this, I'm just going for it. So literally building. So there. How cute is that? And it looks like that's the stamp. It looks like that's how it should be. You know, the, the beautiful thing about these is because it's all it all works together, it means that it'll never look odd. You know, it'll always look like that's how exactly how it's meant to be. So we're bringing this one in. Let's um, let's have that one there. And they don't have to be tall. I mean, all the ones on the main stamp uh, set are really tall. Yours, look, yours can be really teeny tiny. Like this. Isn't that cute? Oh, God. I, I, I absolutely adore this, you know. This, this makes me very happy. It's fun. It's entertaining. Um, it's, it's just, it's one of those that just never kind of, um, it never gets boring. However, you can also mix it up. Now, remember, on this one, you're, um, you kind of, you know, you, you wonderful, um, the, the shanty town kind of look. This one has a washing line. So why not? Yeah, why not? Let's bring a washing line in. So I love it because I spend ages, right, prepping a demo, then go completely off piste, haven't touched my demo. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> but look, look, put a little washing mm. line in. How much is it? Okay, if you're going for the big collection, it's 93 pence a stamp. You have got, and that's your freedom price, you have got so many cool stamps. I mean, it is a phenomenal deal. It really is. And honestly, this is only for the month. At the end of the month, that is it. The price is going up. So make the most out of that price. Well, you can get it. Look at the little fence. 
How cute! <laughs> I mean, is, isn't it cute? And this is it. You've got so many different little elements. I love as well, like, this one's got your signpost. Your signpost is well cool. Let's put a little signpost on it. So this one, I can have my little signpost. It's going to be rickety, obviously. <laughs> and then, and then, bear with, because... On this one, this has also got me ground. Now, these, I got a bit obsessed with these the last time um, I was doing this one because this is the, look, your ground stamps are brilliant because they are your, your finishing touches. If you've got Brian stamps in the past, don't stamp there, Leonie. If you've got Brian stamps in the past, you'll have all the ground stamps. They're different, but it means you can just add to your, your collection. Already, how cool is that? And that is utterly unique. Nobody else will have that. Even, even if somebody else has bought these stamps, what's the chances of them using their, their stamps like that? You know, every single time you can create something utterly unique and cool. I love that. Okay, so what I've done for the demonstration, get back to it. Do you know, I do love it. It's funny because, quite honestly, I were a bit tired and I thought, oh, you know how you think, oh, I'm a bit tired now. You start doing this and it's like, oh, they're so cool. You can do this, you can do this. And then you get all carried away and happy again, which is nice. That's what crafting does for you, though, isn't it? OK, so, already stamped this one out. Now, it is just amazing, isn't it? So that's... Am I meant to keep them? No, the ones ones are big. <laughs> I can't... I've got that many bits. I'm not 100% sure. I've, I've die-cut all these... Um, I've popped out all the die-cut bits. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm meant to have kept and what I'm meant to have put in the bin anymore. Um, right, now, I wonder if I can find my black. The one thing I didn't do was get my inks ready. So that's a bit annoying. I might have to do dark blue, and I really didn't want to do blue. I really wanted to do black. But if I remember correctly, I don't know where I've put my black. So stop faffing. Just get on with it. <laughs> OK. Let's get my yellow, first of all. So, my lovely yellow. So I'm going to use... Um, first of all, I'm going to use the brushes, and these are lovely, mm -hmm. funky fossil brushes. Um, check on the website, we might still have them, shot by brand. And I mean, it does make it ridiculously easy, using brushes. Because I can get, before I know it, I've got a background, I mean, it's so ace. So I'm going to use the beautiful yellow in the centre. So going in from the centre and working my way out. So you've got that lovely sort of glow behind. So that's my lovely warm glow, like a sunshiny glow. And then I'm going to bring from the edge... I'm going to use the same one, I think, because my other one's brown, my other one's orange. I need to get lots and lots and lots of brushes, don't I? I really do, actually. So from the edges, let's bring in the blue. Like this. And I like this. Now, this cardstock, actually, I mean, that's quite a nice texture, is that? It is really, really busy. If you do want it, it is a really, really good price, is that, though? You do need to make sure you're checking your baskets out. That price, 9 99 is just a 24-hour price. So if you do want to get hold of that um, that deal, check it out. And it's it's one of those. This set, honestly, this stamp set, you know, like I was playing before, that's why you need a lot of cardstock, because you end up doing that, you end up playing. And you should, you should really end up playing with this this collection. I'm making this dead easy. I don't want a really difficult um, card. I want something that's that's quite simplistic. So, just going on with my colour. Happy with that. Um, down the bottom there, what I should have done was put... Um, oh, I don't think I've dug out a black pen. What I should have done was pop um, a little line with a black pen, but I haven't dug myself out a black pen, which is very frustrating. Let me just see if this one's got any ink in it. Probably hasn't, actually. No, that hasn't got ink in, which is also very annoying. Um, let me use one of my Phil Martins. There we go. So that'll do the job. So there, that'll do the job. I just need to do it nice and lightly, just to ground it because I don't want um there. That's it. Just to ground it a bit. Perfect. Yeah. 
that's better. So I wanted it. I actually wanted this a little bit spooky, truth be known. Mm -hmm. I think it, because I think, yeah, I think that would be brilliant for Halloween. I mean, you could put, oh, can you imagine? You could make that proper spooky. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, if you've got, you know, the um, the, Bl the Blanche Halloween kit that we had, you know, the skeleton, the die-cut skeleton, that mm. one, that could be dancing in front of the houses. Or the, the bats, you could absolutely have the bat stamp flying over the front of that which would look absolutely sensational. Yeah, they, this definitely should be a spooky house. There's no doubt about it. There's quite a lot of Brian's that you could make quite spooky, truth be known. You know, there's, there's because they're quirky, I think, does look quite nice, doesn't it? So that's your water. And um, remember, this is that card that you are being able to pick up. But then what I've done, I've already cut out and coloured the central panel. So now... And I love that. So now bobbing that back into the middle and I'll just get a cheeky bit of 3D form to pop that in. I should have done this before, but I didn't. There we go. And then draw this. And I didn't dig out my uh, sentiment stamp, which is very nice. So please make sure you check that sentiment stamp out. I didn't read the sentiments either, did I? There's some really nice sentiments on that one. Um, it's one of those that's handy. You know, it's a handy little stamp set to have. That is then, and it's only nine pence, nine to nine pence, so it's a really good deal. That is going to sit on there. But see, this is a nice stamp as well. Let's put this one on this one. This is on the um, the, the lovely sort of the ramshackle kind of house. And I'm having to stamp it in brown. But that'll do. I'm going to do here. You are a storyteller. Create, invent and believe. And make your story magical. Isn't that fabulous? And I love that because that so suits this whole collection. Because you are literally the storyteller. Now, there you go. I'm quite happy with that. And like when you're making cards, that could be for any occasion literally an occasion see for me that stands out so it could be like um you know you were born to stand out it could be um you're just special you know mm. it's one of those because that's what you're doing you're making it stand out or you can make it super halloweeny and just say uh, happy halloween um i love it now if you do want this please check your basket so i'll get set up for another demonstration in the meantime i'll pass over to fee thank you leone yes i was thinking you're a cut above the rest isn't she yeah that's what that could be uh, <laughs> let's look at that card stock because it's 9.99 it should be 24.99 i believe that's a 24-hour deal um, so yeah, there we go. Three seven five nine eight six nine ninety nine. And uh, Leone said it simply. You know, a hundred sheets there, two hundred forty GSM, beautiful and smooth. So you're going to get a fantastic, precise stamp image each and every time. And with that amazing collection, you're going to need a lot of cardstock. So take advantage. Jellybean Crafts there, A4, super smooth. Whichever side you're using, two hundred forty GSM, hundred sheets, nine ninety nine. It's a great one, even if you you know just want to get it in your stash there get a couple while it's that because you're still making a saving even if you buy two lots let's show you those sentiment stamps now because as leonie said they're fantastic it's got some of my favorites on there really lovely 9.99 as well um 103704 but if we have a little look and a little read there's a few there on on some of the cards here that we've got here in terms of our samples so this is the one let yourself um be drawn by the stronger pull of what, that which you truly love. Happiness depends upon ourselves. What you seek is seeking you. I love that, Rumi. Solace. Love is the bridge between you and everything. Sunshine, gift, truth. Uh, what is planted in each person's soul will sprout. And I love the different fonts. I love the different sizes, the different styles. And then we've even got some of the authors there, Aristotle and Rumi. So, yeah, brilliant. 103704, something to cover every occasion there. Gorgeous. Let's have a look, look at that monthly mega deal. And, yeah, I can't, well, 20% freedom discount when is the last time we said that and i love this combination of the two fantastic artists emily and brian or brigian art i must ask why it's called why, why is it brigian art i must ask uh, the only that i never 
Never, never got to the end of that story. What, Brisian what? art. Why is Brian called Brisian art? I think just because it sounds right, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's your reason. Don't need nothing more than that. Uh, did we say it was about 94 pence a stamp? 154 stamp. You've got imagination meets spirituality. I think Brian's head is like the Terry Gilliam of the, the movie world yeah. and the Terry Pratchett of the book world. He's putting into images those kind of brains. You, just amazing. I mean, to come up with these, I mean, yes, it's a storybook telling. The, the, the whole rhinoceros uh, on, on a tank leading leading a, uh, well, just lead, with a city attached. I just like, that's Terry Gillingham, isn't it? That is Terry Pratchett in the books. I just love these. These are just absolutely fantastic. And you can take them apart, you can build them up, you can build cityscapes, landscapes. Just tell a story. Just utterly, utterly gorgeous. There's so much in this collection. I mean, look at that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, that that is just one singular stamp. And then you've got some of the background going on there and, uh, you know, uh, fantastic sentiment there. You can keep it singularly very simple. Friends, help you guide the way. This is Brian's. Now let's look at Emily's. Um, very spiritual as well. Look, there's those toadstools that myself and Leonie like. Use some of those worker stamps. They're gorgeous. Isn't that lovely with just the simple tags there? Just beautiful. What you seek is seeking you. Yeah. Very spiritual, very beautiful. Look at this with the embossing. I love. Isn't that gorgeous? And that lady in the lake that Leonie was talking about. Well, look, at, look at that with the toadstools and the white embossing. Isn't that fantastic? And there she is, the lady in the lake. Ah, oh, I hadn't seen her at first. That's what's so clever about it. Just, just utterly, utterly beautiful. Um, massive, massive collection. But what we're looking at is that massive saving. If you're a Freedom Club member, it's working out at 93 pence a stamp. Isn't that unbelievable? And there are savings on the individual bundles as well. So you're actually saving 90, 90 pounds and 98. Oh. 91 pounds basically, isn't it? Give and take 2p. Um, three flexi buy payments, we can split that into your saving. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just mind boggling, mind boggling. And as Leonie said right at the start, you know, this is where you take advantage of that free club membership because you're going to get a massive saving and then you can opt out. <laughs> you know what? Use it, use it to your advantage. 14392, 46 pounds there. Unbelievable. 715460. The monthly mega deal. Get it while you can. It's going to keep you busy for months. And uh, enjoy those three flex by payments. They'll all arrive on that first payment at 47 pounds 97. Right. Let's go back to our inspiration ourselves here, our lovely Leonie. Oh, thank you. I was just trying to do this before you came back, but I might put that. I'll have to do that because I can't leave it as it is. Um, oh, okay, bear with, bear with, bear with. Sorry, I was just trying to set up. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. It's okay, my love. It's not a problem. Okay, so I want to. I'm. I'm gonna. I know I'm in the middle of doing this. But it is really beautiful. So this is one of the stamps. I just wanted to emboss it because I wanted to... I actually wanted to see what it looked like embossed. That's the truth of it. Because it was one of those that it's like... It's such a beautiful stamp. And it's one that, again, it, it's one that you don't immediately see. But it's another magical one. Because you've got the moon at the top there. You've got... Um, it's almost like the, the rings of the sun. It's just magical. I, I just think all the all the stamps are spiritual and very symbolic. And this is what Emily does. You know, she she creates her own symbolism, which is wonderful. And it's all very uh, natural. It's all about the you know the sun, the moon, the stars. It's all about um, all the elements. Um, and I, I love that. That's right up my street, quite frankly. So I love working with these. Now, that one, can you see the detail of that? So it's a solid stamp. And do you want me to hold it up front? How will you get into short detail the most? It's a solid stamp. Oh, there you go. Mm. But you can see it's been engraved into. And that looks, doesn't that just look beautiful? Mm. So that's embossed, which looks so, so elegant. So I must admit, I was just playing, but I wanted to show you that I wanted to see what that one did so I'm just gonna go back to what I was gonna do uh, to demonstrate there's so much to show again 
Oh, it's it's one of those. But I want to build up the lady on the lake because I can't remember if I did this one last time. But I just want to show you how it builds up because it is such an exquisite stamp. So, taking first of all, I'm actually going to take the lady. Now, I would definitely use black with this. As I say, my black ink pad isn't juicy enough. Please make sure you've got juicy ink pads for this. If you haven't, it's you're not going to get that full. Um, you're not going to get the full kind of wow factor. Sorry, I'm rummaging for an ink pad now. Uh, I'll use my Twilight because that's a really nice dark blue. Is this one? So. Inking up, first of all, when you ink up, you see the detail pop. And this, with Emily, again, and with both artists, there's a lot of detail, but they're so different. So you've got the toy toys in there, the little turtle. You've got the fish. You've got all the little um, extra elements, which is just sensational. There we go. And then when I flip this now, you're going to see... Let me put now I'm putting her kind of close to the bottom so I can build this up. So it's just beautiful. That image is beautiful. So popping a little bit of pressure in the center there. I'm using my all and crate block so it allows me to get in there and put that pressure down. Okay, so beautiful. Straight away, that is incredible. And there she is. There's mm. the lady in the lake, which is uh, it, honestly. That is amazing. Look, look, there's a little snake in there. There's flowers, there's leaves, there's the, the movement. I think Emily creates movement beautifully. You know, she captures it beautifully. So, building up. So now you've got, with this one, and this, you'll now see where that circle's come from. Because on here, and let me just get um, a different, there we go. I'm changing my uh, my blocks because you want blocks that will fit your stamp. If not, it becomes, um, if you, your block's too big, it can be difficult to, to actually do your positioning properly. So always get blocks that fit your stamp um, better. So ink that up and then. Now this is where that comes from, see? So that is going to go, just sit on about there like so so that's a beautiful little hut and again do check Emily out in Earth, and you'll be able to read about your lady in the lake which is it's a lovely little story there we go isn't that beautiful so that's the gorgeous hut then you can see the moon, the stars, and that's the sun. Isn't that just such an incredible image? Again, in its own right, that's beautiful. You know, you've got um, in the hut, you've got the candles, you've got the, the shadow, you've got, and that looks like either a plant or bananas. It's probably <laughs> bananas um, hung up there, um, which again is just exquisite. You've then got, and this, this stamp on its own is stunning you see this stamp is another one that's beautiful for pattern building you can do so much with these i mean every single one wrong ink pad every single one gives you so many elements so if you are pattern building um they just they just give you such an incredible variation so this one is now going to come over the top like so which is just, I mean, that is such a beautiful stamp. So you've got your beautiful sunshine there. Obviously, all the, the rays coming out from that gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. Pop that up there like so. And then we've got these little elements, which are going to come down the side. Again, these ones, brilliant for pattern building. Because this is your, your left and your right. You know, this is, again, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to pop that in there like so. And I'm going to bring this one in for the other side, like this one. If you do want the lady in the lake on its own, you can get that. Again, I like the fact that you've got choices. You know, if you don't want to go for a big set today, you can literally just get this A4 stamp set. But, but with this A4 stamp set, in its own right, there's so many different things you can do. Okay, let's just bring in now, and I love Emily's little, she does these wonderful little dangly elements, which are super cool. 
pop a couple there like that. And then there's another one here, which is adorable. So taking that one and let's pop that one there. Like so. Isn't that gorgeous? Or, and I might pop out that one up here as well, because I can. Or shall I put it here? Like that. Let's have it there. Oh, I love it. Don't you just think that's magical? I mean, it's so different, it's unique, it's magical. It's just, it's one of those that, again, when have you ever seen anything like that? It's so, so different. However, look, on this stamp set, so that's that's the biggie, okay? That's your proper one. But in this stamp set, and this is, again, what I adore, if I just get a little scrap of paper. Now, this is watercolour cardstock, so hopefully I'll get a decent print on this. But look, in this stamp set, you have got your gorgeous little fishes. So in here... In its own right, you've got your lovely little fishes. Look, which are just glorious. So again, you can stamp something and create something that's utterly different. It doesn't even relate to that image, does this one. And it's got a really nice arc to it. So if I just carry on stamping this so it comes off the page, like so... It just, can you see the movement on the, the card? And let me do it on that side as well, because I think that's right pretty. Okay, there we are. Let's stamp it like that. So it's coming round, like this. And then, on this one, we've also got the lovely little turtle. So he's swimming around as well with the fishes. Look who's so cute. Hello. Hello, little turtle. <laughs> yes. So you've got your little turtle swimming around with the fishes, like so, which is beautiful. All these elements. There's so many little bits and bobs. Like this one. This one's beautiful. This one's such a good filler in her. You know, when you're, you're doing... Um, I mean, look at that. That is cracking. Sorry, I keep doing this because I don't want to stamp on my A4 white cardstock. Goodness knows why I haven't just moved my A4 white cardstock. Lace cracker. Stamps like this you will use again and again and again. They're pattern builders. They're your filler in her. They're your, your little bits that that make something. You know that when you, you're doing it and it's like, meh, I, that doesn't look finished, get this stamp out. Because something like that is proper handy. If you do want this set just on its own, you've got that. I mean, that is really cute. And it's just got that flow, you see. And I really, really like that. And then, look, you've got all of these as well. This one set alone has got 17 stamps. Now, have a look at this, because these leaves, look at the detail of that. Look at that stamp. That is, in its own right, beautiful. The, the, de the, the detail on that is exquisite. It's absolutely exquisite. And it's things like this that, that make these collections truly, truly unique. And beautiful. I mean, that is so lovely. And you've got tons of them, you know. You've got loads of little leaves and things. I mean, <laughs> I love it. I have again gone off piece. This isn't what I were going to do. But but it's just so nice because look, these are little leaves as well. That's a proper another filler in her. And these ones, yeah, it does look like a little eel. I like that she's given us. Um, leaves and the sea, you know what I mean? She's she's given us such a, a beautiful sort of collection in there. It's one of those that has got a little bit of everything going on. I adore that. So that's um, that's my movement. Now, let's see, where did that little leaf go? Where did my sentiments go? So let's have a little look, see what sentiment there. Oh, let's have... Happiness depends upon ourselves, which it absolutely does. So that is going to go in the centre, like this. There. See, now I love that. I will cut that down, but look at that for a little card. And then all you'd need to do with this um, is colour. So with that tiny little card... 
Watch, watch, watch. If I get my scissors like this, let's um, now this isn't what I do. I get my paper trim and do it proper. I'm being a bit naughty because I'm rushing. How much time have I got? Four and a half minutes. Because I want I would I wouldn't mind trying to stamp another one. But this is what you definitely shouldn't do. Don't eyeball your cutting because it goes <laughs> all wrong. You end, up, <laughs> you end up with a piece that's like the size of your thumb. Um, but, but, look, look, if I get now my blue that I had before, I've got loads of blue on there. So get the blue that you had before. Get your lovely, lovely, lovely water brush. And then let's just do a beautiful wash on this one. Because, because it's such a simple card, it's so effective. I love the fact that you've got that beautiful movement. We could then, I kind of like how the turtle's popping his head above the water there. That looks kind of cute. So we're having it like that. And then I could go in, I would actually go in and colour some of those elements in. But have it so you've got loads of movement. The nice thing is I'm working on watercolour there. So it does look like a postcard, doesn't it? I adore that. I'm really, really happy with that. And considering how long that took, again, now that is utterly unique. Nobody else will have that. And again, to be able to create that, someone would literally have had to copy it or, or read your mind. Because doesn't that look sensational? Shall I just do one more quick um, stamping? Uh, I'll just pick up that blue, because otherwise I'll waste it. You know what I'm like. We don't do that, do we? obsessively so just chink chink do that do that do that pick that up let's get rid of that boom like that okay so pop that to one side and let's very quickly okay now what we've got here is oh decisions decisions i've only got a few moments so if i get that one I adore this. It's beautiful. So with this one, now you've got that gorgeous sunshine in the centre. That, again, in its own right, is an exquisite stamp. Two minutes. It is an exquisite stamp. So you've got that. Now, you can mix and match this up because it's meant to have the... Uh, let's see. It's amazing already. It's meant to have the beautiful waxing and waning um, of the moon. But what about popping this one over the top? But if we pop this with a lighter ink, then that one will just shine. So let's pop it with the yellow. Oh, I should have used my other yellow. But let's pop yellow on there. Like so and stamp this over. Now it's clear stamp, so I can just about see where I'm going. Like that. Boom. Beautiful. That's perfect. And then, and then, <laughs> oh, we've only got a minute. Okay, and then I build this up, and then I build this up, and then I build this up. Now, if you do want any of these, I'll just do one more. Boom. Look, isn't that pretty? Oh, look at that one, look how different they are. They're oh, so pretty, Leonie. And that, that's the proper one. That's how it's meant to be. Thank you, lovely <laughs> thing. That's, all right, that's how it's meant to be. Gorgeous. But that's playing. Yeah, as close as we've stood on telling oh, yeah. ages. <laughs> I'm still standing back from you. <laughs> Doesn't it feel fun, eh? He's like, oh, you're very always close. Always watching, always watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Fee. No, thank you, darling. Um, Lovely. Uh, thank you, everybody at home, because they're just gorgeous. They are. Yeah, don't forget to check out your baskets. And, uh, yeah, we'll have a catch-up, see what's coming up. I, I think it's our Leonie again. It's me. <laughs> it's me, then. It's our awesome. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It is. We're working it hard today. It's the Stamperia One Day Special. Last chance, so don't miss out on those. Then we've got the best of September to follow. And then the launch with Kay of the Indigo Blue Box Kit. Exciting news! 
For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, welcome. Th I'm, I'm thanking a, a tape recording there. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, it's because we just needed a few extra seconds uh, of Leone because we just can't do more than three minutes in a row without Leonie. Uh, and she's back for this show as well. She's get, getting everything, getting all the ducks in a row, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll leave her to it. We'll leave her to get herself together for a wee while. We'll take a little um, mosey down the counter, shall we? Quite slowly and quite... Uh, That'd be brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All you right, take cool. your time. Yeah, give you plenty of time to do whatever you need to. Thank you, right, love. Right, let's talk one day special first of all then, shall we? Uh, an amazing one day special. Sold out last night in the launch shows. Back on extended delivery today as well. Going out for you on the 13th of October. Um, and it is incredible. It is Sir Vagabond in Japan. Oh, do you know, I wonder, is it any coincidence that the word bond is within vagabond? Oh. <gasps> because Sir Vagabond is quite an adventurer. Yeah. He's quite a man of mystery, don't you think? Yeah. He's quite a worldwide globetrotter. That's only just occurred to me. Mm. Anyway, listen, let's have a look at your one-day special because these are absolutely brilliant from Stamperia. First of all, if this is the first time you've seen this one-day special, 
would you just look across the price tag there at everything that's included here from Stamperia, which is just incredible. You've got moulds, you've got stencils, you've got rice papers, you've got this big, big, big 12 by 12, which is one of the most beautiful artwork collectives on its own. And you've got all of this at a one-day special, and this is your last live hour chance to get hold of this as well, by the way, because the offer closes obviously at 6 o'clock, but this is our live last telly hour. Uh, with it at 29.93. Has anyone told you how good that value for money is? Just before we've even got into the whys and wherefores of what this actually contains, it's incredible, don't you think? Um, and actually, I think if you're if you're kind of wandering down multimedia alley, kind of uh, so to speak, with your card making, then you really want to look at these products because. I mean, there's really something to get your teeth into um, in all of this. I want to take you through the papers first, because I think, honestly, the 12 by 12s are awesome. Ten double-sided um, sheets of just incredible, incredible imagery. I love those tags there. I'll just read a couple to you. He, he who returns from a journey is not the same as he who left. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that true? <laughs> uh, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Oh! <laughs> doesn't say of what, though, does it? Of destruction. Um, what else have we got there? Wherever you go, there you are. Oh, that's very deep, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, lots of tags there for you. There is the man himself, Sir Vagabond, on the other side there with those dramatic crashing waves. Waves feature quite a lot in this collection as well. And you can you see, it's just... It's like this could be... 300 years old already. I love that. It's brand new. It's up to date. It's a new release. And here we've got something you open the pages of and you see that authenticity that could date back 300, 500 years. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that wonderful map. Brilliant, brilliant for travel uh, journals, uh, just to chart your journey around the world and to work with the, um, the pieces with Sir Vagabond. There's the ship as well on the very, very very, very lively seas there. You can see the dragon there at the top, and the dragon features very, very heavily um, in this collection. And look at this. It's like the anatomy of... What's the... Seafaring. That's the word I wanted, isn't it? There's a little bit of everything going on there. I love it. It's like the blueprints for Sir Vagabond's fine ship. Maybe they were some of the first ideas. On the other side there, you've got the glorious, glorious, yet quite haunting and winter. Kind of, this is, is this Lady Vagabond? She's, oh, she looks... Maybe. I think she may be an associate. Do you know what I mean? She looks a bit more like an associate, doesn't she? Yes. Than a love interest. Yes, yes. She may be a, a, a passing Fandango. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, yeah, we've turned you off, love. <laughs> we've turned Leonie off. She's still getting ready, I think. Um, there, look, you've got the most wonderful, wonderful scene going on there. It's beautiful. There's the big um, pagoda. And there's a city map from above as well. There you go, the, the Tom Tom of yesterday. Other oh, sat navs are and were available. Probably not back then, to be honest with you. Don't think they were around quite then. It was more. <laughs> Clockwork drawings. Um, there Real you go. maps. Yeah. Real maps. No, no just maps. maps. <laughs> no, no, just lines. <laughs> just lines. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Koi carp in there. You've got smaller sizes. There's that big dragon as well. The clockwork dragon. It's superb. Anyway, listen. I mean, this goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It feels like it never... So this is just one element of your one-day special. I mean, it's just superb, isn't it? Really is beautiful. It's one to treasure, this one. It's one where you'll probably want multiples, to be honest with you, because it's kind of like... It's lovely. This You take a real journey just walking through that. So that's your 12 by 12. Do you want to have a look at your rice papers as well? Because they're really, really cool. Um, there are five sheets of your rice paper. Um, uh, is it three? Sorry, yes, it's three, isn't it? There's another collection later where it's five. I beg your pardon. Uh, rice papers, of course, are absolutely delicious. They've got a lot of colour in them. They are brilliant for upcycling, for recycling, for repurposing lots and lots of different things um, in your life. It's absolutely amazing quality. Of course it is. Leone never works with anything less. 
look, 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 look at how many elements there are uh, within that. So that's your rice papers, and there are three rice papers in this collection. Uh, plus, you have your moulds, and the moulds are absolutely brilliant, of course, with your polymer clay, with your air dry clay, uh, with your resin as well. They are super. And there's a stencil in this. I love this. I love this with the air dry clay, isn't it? Superb. There's your dragon. And there's, and there's the big wave, and they all just work so beautifully together. So if you're creating larger sort of multimedia projects, absolutely go to town with this. It's beautiful. Oh, and then very, very quickly, here's how the stencil stencils out. Very elegant, isn't it? It's lovely. 675483 is your item number. It's under £30 for heaven's sake. There aren't many one-day specials as spectacular as this that actually get you down to a price tag of under £30. And because the box is finished, look, 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 look. Oh, I didn't. Um, when you open the lid up, you can put the lights on. Oh, 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 oh. you can. Oh, look. Hey. How impressive. Oh, hang on. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh, my word. That is just delightful. And that's because it's one of the acetates. Yes, so which are coming up later. because you can see through them, yeah. it means that you can create something like that. <gasps> that is dreamy. And the lady is obviously cut from the one-day special. Yes. But she is on your um, doodah, what's it? Uh, your stone paper. Oh, um, okay. Because the stone paper allows it, it gives it ah. more um, more body. Yeah. You know, so when you actually glue it on, it's a lot more sturdy. <gasps> cool, I love isn't it. it. I, I absolutely it. love it. Stone it. paper is at the bottom, by the way, so you get two of the stone and one of the gold on 777647 at uh, 9 .99. There's a gold stone paper. <gasps> yes. That's fascinating. Lovely. Right. OK, I'm going to leave that. Oh, I want to put that pride of place. I want to display it somewhere. Pride of place. Anyway, let's move on because I'm going to need to show you these, um, these mould sets here. Now, these sold out last night and we have managed to have the conversations and they are back and now they're coming out for you on the 14th. Um, and these excellent partner moulds with this collection because you've got, look, you've got the massive pagoda going on there. Uh, you've got... Is this a big fan here? Yes, you've got a big fan going on here. I wasn't sure whether it was a deck of cards, but it's not. It's a big fan, isn't it? Is that for, for the lady here? Yes, we the all lady. like a big fan, don't Ladies we? Ladies who have fans. <laughs> now, you've got some of the, um, some of the vases moulded as well, haven't you? Did you incorporate yes. them? Yes. Yeah, they're on that box lid. I stuck everything on the lid. You oh, they can't. are? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. I knew, that, I knew we'd seen them somewhere. That everything went on the lid. They're actually here, incorporated into the design on the box lid. They're absolutely stunning. They really are. Did you use the antiquing um, yes. paste on that? Yes, yes, <gasps> yes. That's so cool. Because the antiquing paste, yeah, yeah. it's beautiful you've, on there as well. You've got to have some of that. Sorry, there's yeah. me bringing, all, give, <laughs> all <the laughs> bringing everything up. Because I've been sat spectating these shows as well, and I love them. <laughs> I mean, oh, seriously, and you want everything in it. Um, back to the moulds, again, just very, very quickly. So you get both of those moulds there. So the Pagoda mould set, um, and you get the plates there as well, which has the koi carp and the, and the waves. These elements, by the way, especially when they contain things like the, the dragons and whatever, to have these moulds forever and ever and ever is brilliant because you'll incorporate them into so many different projects. They're just beautiful. Everything about this collection is just super. You can get super excited about it. 044729 is your item number. And I've only just spotted the price. The price is always the last thing I look at. Because if I love Me something, too. I love it. And, that, and actually, the price comes secondary. But that really is good considering, don't you think? 1499 you've got the right details Ross there you have got that right haven't you oh that's all right then <laughs> 14 19, it's true everyone just enjoy it right next shall we move to to these sorry don't let me produce the show Ross honestly you're, you're on a hiding to nowhere <laughs> uh, right next up then we've got the wooden shapes and wooden shapes really doesn't say it at all because you want to have a look at again the detail of the imagery here, and they just add that extra dimension. They pop in and pop out absolutely beautifully. He says, these are, these are on direct dispatch, by the way, so we actually have these here in the UK. Actually, I'm going to do what Leone did earlier, just twist that one around, just to show you that they're extra, <laughs> extra. I'm tempted to pop some mm. Vagabond out, but... Oh. 
pop him I out, just, love. I it's just, the last hour. Go I for just, it. Well, I could do, couldn't I? It'd be rude not to. I'm, I'm just honestly I'm just trying out. to avoid any kind of disaster. There he is. <laughs> Mr. Vagabond has popped out. <laughs> it's OK, I've popped him back in again. Uh, and it's not just that set either, it's this one here. So you get two of the A5. I love the cat. The cat is very, very, um, very, um... I don't know. Not I... sinister, but it's quite... Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's... Mysterious, it's... yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a it's strange... like a secret agent's cat, isn't yes. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost like the baddie cat. Yes. But yeah. then he's got this lovely little red sort of ruffled collar on as well, which sort of makes it look cute again. So you would go up to stroke it, not knowing what would happen, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> 378-049 is your item number for those then, both of those sets, 12 99 Now, if you do want those immediately available... Oh, Sir Vagabond's popped out again. <laughs> um, <laughs> like we knew he would. Um, if you want those on their own, immediately then you can but you would need to put them on a, in, an order on their own because of course if you have an order with anything on delay then the whole order will be delayed by whatever the delay is stop saying delay because it's not a problem at all we know we're going to get these let's move on because we have got because I'm talking rubbish and we need to move on because here we have now we didn't have these available earlier we did manage to get these back to me so is it both of these Two eight by eights. Oh, and you get the die cuts. Now the die cuts have been done onto acetate as well, aren't they? So they're acetate die cuts. So that's absolutely brilliant mm -hmm. if you're building up those multimedia projects. <gasps> oh look, there's more ladies there. More ladies, more associates <laughs> to team up in the story. You've got the fabulous dragon there as well. <gasps> these are lovely. Sorry, I will go into the papers in just a second, but these just fascinate me. And you've got some of those wonderful little he who is outside his door has the hardest part of his journey behind him. Boom. Whoa! <laughs> Loving it. Oh, you look. got home. We you got, got home. You got little fan, uh, fans. He says, I'm not sure which way to wave it, but there you go. And there's little lantern. All sorts. Love this, love this. Sorry, Leone, we will get to you, I promise oh, you, gosh, eventually. Oh, no, don't worry. Only he that has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. Is that, is that what that says? Yeah. Yes. Only he who... I have to read that again. <laughs> yeah. I didn't believe it the first time. <laughs> Only he that has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. Mm. There you go. So Pot watch holes? where you stand. Potholes, maybe? Yep. I don't know. Holes in life. Do dragons suffer from the potholes? <laughs> Everywhere these days. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> right, let's go through the papers as well very, very quickly. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. I can hear you doing your nut under your breath. I can, I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. He's going, oh, we're never going to get to the end of this counter. Uh, look, so this is a replication of the 12 by 12, isn't it, in a smaller form. So we have seen uh, this in the larger 12 by 12, and they are amazing. Oh, there's your way of getting another version of everything as well, isn't it, by getting this. And the other one, Ross... Oh, let's so because I didn't see these earlier, because we didn't have them available. They'd sold out, and we didn't know whether we could get them back. So let me have a little flick through this one. Sorry, Hugh. So this is your background selection. Oh, my word. OK. Oh, my word. So this is another 1,001 projects just by buying this item, mm, isn't it? Yeah. This is absolutely Wonderful. essential. And because oh. you've got your backgrounds... Oh. Absolutely. Oh, I'll be doing this a whole hour. It means your... Um, your actual main papers you can stretch further. Yes. So yeah, that is absolutely essential. Uh, it's do you know essential. What? I love this is a great set. Uh right now, get the dragon in there. Oh look. Look, look, look. Excuse fingers. There you go. How cool. So great for scene building. Right, anyway, listen, I'll go through. Oh, there's that map from above with all the rivers and everything else. Like EastEnders, but an old Japanese version. <laughs> <laughs> Other television shows are available, I probably have to say. Uh, there you go, lots and lots of different textures there, but all in that wonderful colour palette. And you must get the inks that come up as well um, in this show that all follow the same colour palettes, because you'll definitely, definitely want those. And they are Stamperia inks, which complement this collection. Beautiful. So all the ephemera that you've got there on the die cuts, uh, which are acetate die cuts, this is going out for you on the 14th of October because it's sold out once already. Um, I love that. I definitely love... I think everyone needs that one for their journey. Only he that has, has travelled the road knows where the holes are deep. 
Fabulous. 027535 <laughs> is your item number there. Both of the paper packs and the die cuts there, 1999. 1999. Here I am doing it again. The last thing I look at is the price. <laughs> and I'm like, that is so, so good. It really is. Next up, we have our rice papers. This is on immediate dispatch as well. It's reason with reiterating all of this by the way is if you want the immediate dispatch um, items then you order those on one order and then anything else on another order uh, check them out individually if it doesn't matter to you then you know you want the whole thing to arrive at once then absolutely fine so here are the uh, rice papers a set of five this time so there is Sir Vagabond there is that big big dragon there is mm, the associate, as we're calling her <laughs> the now. Lady. <laughs> the lady. The <laughs> lady. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it wonderful how it conjures up different things in your mind? <laughs> there's the koi carp as well, and there's your big uh, map. Actually, there's more than five there, wasn't there? Six, I beg your pardon. There you go. Um, and they're amazing. You did that um, uh, fabulous jar earlier, didn't you, in the... Um, uh, 8 o'clock hour this morning, wasn't it? Yes, and I we still haven't job. finished that. Have you not? Oh, dear. No. Well, I just reminded you. Sorry. Yeah, I keep Sorry. thinking, oh, yeah, there's that as well. Oh, dear. You know this is the last hour, Leonie, as well. Yeah, no it's more not after happening, this. mate. It's not happening. I might stick my lights in it. £11.94. Do you want to see the grey board, Ross? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the grey board. <laughs> Uh, they are fantastic. Now, I think I'm right in saying they echo the sizes of the dragons from... Is it from the rice papers or is it from the 12 by 12s? Because it's a big dragon grey board, well, isn't it? Well, this one, they've designed these to actually layer. So, oh, okay. when you look at that, yes. the, the elements... I did start doing it, but I couldn't work it out and I'm a bit too tired to oh. work it out, so I stopped. Okay. Uh, but, but they do layer. Right. So, it means that you can create a really nice sort of 3D... Um, embellishment using oh, that so it, it yeah it's it's very cool indeed that's why you've so many elements separate elements Love um, it. so you can create some beautiful dimensional um finishes with this one superb and it is your uh, two millimeter gray board so you get both of those sets there on 962523 at 12 pounds and 98 pence uh which is uh, lovely and uh, were they immediate those ones ross they are immediate as well, so you can add those to your immediate order if you want to. Then we've got the acetate. It's the first time I've got to these on, on a counter, and I just adore them. I think they're really, really cool. Think about the paper pack with the, um, with the die cuts, which are acetate, and now think of these. These are just brilliant. Uh, we were looking at these at 6 o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. weren't we? Me and, me and our <laughs> Ross, we were looking at them, and we were just like, oh, what's going on here now if these been laminated like what what are they have they in, injected a rice paper into into some kind of acetate what's happening here we were just totally enthralled in fact we really didn't get anything else done because we were so busy sort of looking at these and you also have these two kind of to all intents and purposes clear acetate this is super strong i mean like beyond construction um acetate in terms yeah. of its thickness yeah. it's super thick acetate oh it's um, amazing but this is again how i did the lid and because they've got because even though they've got the print on um you can still me, see through the uh, solid ones but again. the other ones the clear ones i'm going to demonstrate them in this hour so how did you color those oh no that is one of the colored That's ones isn't one it of the yes, colored of ones. It is. yes there yeah. you go <laughs> she picked it up <laughs> That's how she, did it. she picked it up and cut it took me hours <laughs> <laughs> but you could colour up as well, couldn't you? I'm going to um, demo that, love. The clear one. Oh, fantastic. Good. Mm -hmm. like, so, like I read your mind there, <laughs> isn't it? So that lid is actually that page there, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. And an extraction thereof. Indeed. How clever. Hang on a minute, I've done it again. How is that all just $9.99? I know, right? Isn't that a bargain? And it's they are beautiful. Brilliant. Because and you get the two clear ones there with the with the monochrome. So that's two. And then you get, hang on, let me just... Then you get your four coloured ones. So there's two of them. Oh, and I've dropped one of them. <laughs> and there's one of them. Hang on, I'll just go fishing on the floor. Just una memento, por favor. I'll slot it back in like it never happened. Never there you happened go. that. Never happened there. There you go. It's like doing the numbers on countdown, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go. You get one, two... Three, four, they are amazing. I mean, seriously amazing. Uh, there's number five. And here, 
Oh, is it upside down? Right, OK, that's got the wave... Yeah. <laughs> they got the wave and the crackle. That mm. one's upside down as well. Mm. There you go, and the koi's smiling again. <laughs> that is incredible for 9 99 OK, 600 718 is your item number. Right, OK, and finally... <laughs> and finally, 22 minutes later, Leone. I'm so Boom. sorry. She's great. She's having a great time. I'm happy down there. Don't time. you worry. I'm just doing a bit of painting, She's chilling out. fine and dandy down there. Uh, right, OK, so here are the Stamperia paints, which completely and utterly key in with this collection. Um, so as you can see there, you've got the blue aviation which is very, very soft and subtle blue. You've got your dark green. You've got your anthracite, uh, the most amazing gold. I mean, really, really cool gold. Then you've got ivory. That's a lovely, lovely colour. Cookie. And you've got coral red, which works. If you think about all, the, all of the fans and the associate... And, and also the colour of that acetate as well. All of that keys in just beautifully. You get... Right, I'm doing it again now. This is not a pick and mix, right? No? No. All seven of them for £16.93. That is incredible. And it feels like there's, there's good colours there that I feel like I haven't seen here, there and everywhere. And it just, you know, it's just easy. It's like, well, they have been curated for this collection, haven't they? Ideally. Uh, right, that's it. I'm done being amazed by all of this. It's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. I can't believe you're coming so late to the party. Mm. Do you know what I mean? £16.93. pence. Let's show you that stone paper, because on this it's two sheets of the stone paper and a gold stone paper as well, which I've never seen before. I think that's absolutely amazing. Uh, it may or may not make an appearance uh, again later on in this hour. That's superb. Nine ninety nine. Something I have been really, really impressed by that I'd never seen before today is an antiquing paste. And this is pure genius. When you put it on, it's almost like well I've never I've never experienced this, but it looks like people have told me chocolate body paste looks like initially. <laughs> and then you pair it back. <laughs> And it, oh, only so, some of my friends have told me that are more experienced than me, Leone. Um, and then you take Phew. it back and it gives you this incredible, as the name suggests, antiquing look. Mm -hmm. And it's incredible. It, you did a piece earlier, didn't you, where you, what don't tell me it's on the lid of the box. Um, it was the woody it looking. On, there it is. It's there. That's it. This one? Yes. Oh. Yes, it's all over that. Oh yes, it's all over this one. But you, you had a you had a moulded uh, piece, the oh, Japanese you mean that words, one didn't there. you? Antique, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. That's what. Look, look, look. So when it goes on, it almost looks like a very, very dark chocolate paste, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, when you take it back, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And and that's that's air dry clay. Mm. You'd never know if I covered that up. You would never know that I hadn't stolen that <laughs> from a. Pagoda from 1342. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's incredible. Get you chopping up pagodas. I know. Vandal. <laughs> You're Luckily, not going to be I allowed didn't back. Need to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't need to. Anyway, 183097 is your item number at £12.99. Listen, I've been chewing my gums far too long. <laughs> back to the talent. Mm, I'm colouring in koi fish details, which is quite fabulous. Now, I, um, before I go on to my proper demo, I'll just talk you through this. So... Um, what you've got here are one of your uh, grey board elements. Now, the, these are well cool because you can build them up. So as you can see, you've got your, your koi cart there. Keep the packaging. <laughs> this is where I went wrong with the dragon. Keep the packaging because the packaging is going to show you the elements that you build up. So I've already painted my koi cart. I'm then layering these down. I haven't stuck them yet. I'm just layering these down. So... I'm working on my, my first one. Um, so all the elements, like these are the elements for the um, the beautiful uh, florals. So this is the elements for my koi carp here. So you have got, so that's my other one. So this one now, I've got that one, I've got that one. So all I need now is that one there. And it's funny, actually, because sometimes you look for an element and it, it's kind of a, a lot bigger than, um, well, a lot smaller, sorry, than you think it's going to be. So sometimes it's like, oh, actually, no, it's that one there. So that goes, I'm not sticking it together yet, which is probably um, a, a, an error. <laughs> probably should have done. Now, you, when I looked at these first, when I were doing it with the... Um, 
with the dragon. I actually painted them while they're in situ. It's easier painting them after you take them out because if you paint them when they're inside, it's harder to get the grey board out um, because obviously when the grey board's wet, I'm going to glue this one before I paint it, when the grey board's wet, um, it's actually, it, it swells a little bit. So if it's inside the, um, you know, if it's actually still inside the 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 sheet, then and then you paint it. It's a it's those little the little pips that hold it in place. They swell a little bit, so it's a bit harder to get out. So so I would definitely suggest popping it out and then painting it, which seems like oh a bit more annoying, but it isn't. It's dead easy. It's like doing a 3D jigsaw. It's really quite cool. So I'm using orange. Well, actually, I've mixed the orange up because I've used the red that you've got in the kit. I have picked some yellow that I had in one of my older kits. Um, and the gold. Oh, I forgot I glued them on yet. Right, let's glue these in place. So I'm using strong glue. You could use your mixed media glue. I'm only using this one because it was right next to me. So I'm going to bob that there like so. I like that it's got the picture on the packaging. That makes it a whole lot easier because otherwise I wouldn't have a clue to be fair. So <clears throat> keep the packaging. So pop in this one here like so and just looking where it's going like this i'm not worried about the glue the glue will dry clear so it's absolutely fine obviously if i put less glue on i wouldn't have that worry but there you go another bit here and that goes about there like so i mean it doesn't matter if it's not perfect but it's nice to get it kind of almost a little bit there bob a bit of glue there bob a bit of glue there like show and that one's just going at the top see this is nice and chilled for my last demonstration isn't it it's like oh i'm chilling out i'm building up a koi carp and i love this now at the minute i've stuck to the colors being all sort of reddish and green because i just thought that was because it looks really lovely i mean i might introduce different colors i might introduce like um you know, um, sort of the, the grey and things, just for shadows in a little while, maybe. But I kind of liked it. Oh, maybe let it dry before you try and paint it. But I kind of liked it in these colours. I thought that were quite nice. There we go. So that's it, that little circle bit. And have I done it? Let me have a little look at the picture. So I've got, oh, there's one bit there that I haven't got. So that one will be that bit there. So it's dead easy to follow. And it's it's actually really quite chilling out, is this bit. I like this. After all the, you know, you you can do some things. It's like, oh, oh, need to do this, need to do this. But this is really quite chilled out. So I've got my lovely Koi Cork, loads of paint left over because I got a little bit carried away there. But I'm going to use that in a second. So that bit goes there like. And I might have to squidge that over a little bit to squidge that on. There, perfect. There. Again, not, not to worry about the glue, because that will dry clear. Oh, I love that. I think that's ace. So, we've got my first koi carp. I'm not going to do the second one just yet. But you've got your first koi carp, which I think is quite fabulous. Um, it's decent size as well. So, that's popped to one side, okay? Now, let's get one of our acetate sheets in. Because what I thought were, I'm going to decorate this. And then hopefully have my koi carps on it. Depends. I might change my mind yet, but who knows. But, with this, what I'm going to do, first things first mixed media glue so get your mixed media glue this has been really busy if you do want this please check your basket out um get your um get a good old paintbrush and slap your mixed media glue on here first of all okay now i'm not worrying about much <laughs> anything currently so slap the mix <laughs> Uh, what are you worried about? Well, not much, really. <laughs> I've got my tea sorted. <laughs> I mean, I have to walk the dogs. I'm not really worried about it, but I don't ever can be bothered. I could have done some nips at Lou before I came on. That's, that's a concern. <laughs> I might have to nip off while Derek's down counter. So I expect another long counter. So... <laughs> 
Hashtag go for sharing. Okay, now the paint on here, I don't want to waste that paint as ever. So what I'm going to do is spritz that paint and let's break that paint down. Okay, break it down. So just get that paint and do some splashes on here. Okay. So get some little splash. Oh, this is when I should have put my pinny on. So get some little splashes on there with my paint. Like so. That's my first layer. And that's only because I wanted to clean my paints. And I'm going to, and this is dead important, I cannot have paints on here for the next bit. So just get rid of that. Okay, and then, now this, you can put anything on these, and this is so cool, because it's an acetate, you can do all sorts. I've got some beautiful uh, powders. Now, these powders were from, um, uh, they are Stamperia powders. We've had these on in the past. I'm sure I just dropped a bit of plastic. It's gone there. We've had these on in the past. Um, so you might already have these in your stash. So I'm going to get um, a paintbrush and just pick these up and just dust them on quite liberally on here. So I'm going to do some of the pink. I'm going to do some of the gold there. Like so. And then some of this beautiful blue. Because that blue is just exquisite. I am getting a bit heavy handed with this because they do look delicious oh in fact i've gone a bit too heavy handed with that one but that's okay so popping the powders on first of all and then and then and then what we're going to do with this one um is did i put anything else i might put a little bit of glitter i have got a little bit of our phil martin's glitter actually so i'm going to put a little bit of sprinkling of glitter on there that glue the mixed media glue i can see has dried a little bit but that's okay, like this. And then, oh, that'll look gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do is get a little bit of paint going on. So I've got, uh, because it's the sea, I'm going to get a little bit of blue. Like, or shall I? Or shall I? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I've changed my mind. I'm going to instead just get my rice paper because now your rice paper is fab for this but this isn't the printed rice paper this is the stuff that i use on um, a day-to-day -day basis for cleaning elmi um you know when i've got all my mucky surfaces that's what this is in fact we've got indigo blue coming up it's an indigo blue rice paper this is one you know when i'm mopping up my ink and i'm mopping up this that and the other this is one of those so i'm putting my mixed media glue all over this because i know this mixed media glue dries quick on the back of that acetate i think this will be dry already so i don't want to to push me look by putting it on there and there being no glue left on. So I'm going to glue this first of all and then I know it's going to stick. So, and this is one of those old techniques but it's old but gold because it's fab. Now I might pick up on the front of that, if I pop that on there, the orange that's gone through I'm going to pick up. I don't want to do that. So spritz that and get rid of it because i don't want it on the front i want i want the front to be um clear i mean it might not be like i mean when you look at that it's like it'll be a miracle if that's clearly on are you having a laugh so let's um we'll bring that that it's sat on let's bring that in okay and then you put your rice paper over the top of this so and I do like this because it's one of those. When you first do it, it's like, what is that that you are creating? But then when you actually lift it, um, when it dries, it looks so cool. And it's different every single time. Work it in. Now, as you work it in, all that powder that's on there will start mixing up with the glue. So... I can pop a bit more glue where there isn't enough because, and I'm just checking where the actual acetate is, because this is rice paper, again, not the rice paper that we've got on the show. This is a plain rice paper that I've used, ooh, ooh, that I've used to, um, to pick up my ink and stuff. So, doing that. And now I'd normally get rid of the edge of the rice paper, but wider that, I can just fold it in. 
So I might as well do that. So you're going to get loads of gorgeous textures. You're going to get lots of different colours. Because this is a transparency, everything that you're, you're sticking on it, you're going to see. So... This is why I, I was trying to be a bit careful with the ink that I was picking up. So make sure, in fact, that bit I might... Oh, no, I will bring that over. Might that as well, because it doesn't matter if there's a bit dropped off there. Like so. And then let's fold this bit over as well. So just folding that over. You might want to chop it off. I'm folding it over just because I don't want to wait. Like, if I were having to chop that off, I'd have to wait for it to dry. And I don't, we don't want to do that, do we? We want to get it, we want to get it all on and then we can hopefully see what it looks like. And hopefully I haven't glued it to the base that I'm working on. Okay, right. So at the minute, that's like, what on earth is that that you have created? And this is where you have to cross your fingers because sometimes, <laughs> because you never know what it's going to come out like. I have done another one, and again, I don't know what that's going to come out like. Right, are you ready? Now, when it dries, it will be a little bit different anyway. But so far, have a look at that. Look at, shall I hold it up to the camera? Because look at the colours. So you're getting all sorts going on there. Obviously, the, the paint has to dry, but how cool is that? Because you've got the, the glue will dry clear. So any glue will dry, but can you see the shimmer through that? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's one of them. Obviously, you have to let it dry that way up. Let me have a look at the other one, see if this is um, dried yet, because this is completely different. Because look, I actually use the paints on this one as well, but can you see? Love it, absolutely love it. Doesn't it look effective? And obviously so easy to do. Um, then what I want to do with this one when it's dry is put that incredible Koi Carp on the front side. But I think I'll change my mind with that. No, I won't. I think I will put that. But anyway, I do need that to leave to dry. So, well, that's um, well that's dry and I need to set another demonstration. I don't I need to dip to Lou. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. If that's all right, I will right, be back. Listen, something we should have made onto maybe one of the uh, the, the little <laughs> the little sentiment things there is one cannot hold what isn't in one's hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely turning my mic off. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, I'll bye, be back. Now. bye now. Bye now. Uh, right, let's remind you of everything there, shall we? Day special then, uh, which is a little bit of everything, Sir Vagabond in Japan. This is kind of like your core set, if you like. This is where it all starts. You've got your 12 by 12s, you've got your moulds here, you've got that amazing stencil which sets the scene uh, for this incredible selection. It's just brilliant. Uh, the moulds, again, are just, the detail in them is ridiculous, let me tell you. They're just absolutely brilliant. And there's so much to go at here. I mean, these are just the two feature moulds from the top set there. You've also got that kind of background um, mold as well now I just gave it back to Leone let's see if I can pinch it back for a second um, she just took a little extract from that other script mold that's there at the bottom and just and then use the antiquing paste on it and doesn't it look it does it does honestly it does look like I've chipped away a bit of a pagoda wall from three and a half centuries ago I absolutely love it actually here's a bigger version of it um, which um, has been used just on a tag there, just beautifully moulded and incorporated into a tag project. And isn't that funny because that's turned a two euro tag into something which is an artwork of dreams, isn't it? Beautiful. Uh, and don't forget, you've got your 12 by 12 papers here as well. I want to take you through those again just very, very quickly, if I may, um, because the theming on this is just the most delightful. Uh, one day special, very, very busy, of course, sold out in one of the launch shows last night. Back on Extended, going out for you on the 13th of October. Um, but well worth having and well worth getting anything you can in this collection together because I think actually you'll disappear into a real journey of fascination and imagination um, by enjoying this. Um, so Vagabond, his associates, the Koi Carp, the Dragon, the Pagoda, 
everything about this is going to be absolutely superb. It's brilliant. And actually, this is one of the very, very few opportunities where you can really treat yourself to a one-day special as well. You can, you know, you can add more to your order, of course, if you want to. Um, but for a one-day special with this much in terms of elements in it, coming in at under £30, I think is incredible, don't you? Um, but this, for me, the price is secondary, really. Also comes with the rice papers as well. You get three fabulous rice papers um, with this. Again, and they're all iconic images. Imagery. You know how incredible those rice papers are. You know how they'll go around anything onto your multimedia projects in abundance as well. Uh, 675 483 is your item number for that then, and that is your one-day special. Uh, we'll nip down to uh, the moulds, Danny, and again... Oh, yeah, OK, so, so, oh, blimey, I've been worried there, Ross. They had sold out, but that was last night. They're back on extended today, going out for you on the 14th. Um, and I don't know whether you want to take a, maybe a closer little look at what's going on in here in terms of the amount of detail. And also, if I just show you in profile, the depth of these moulds as well. I think they are incredible. Of course, they are forever moulds as well, so get your, um, get your polymer clay, get your air-dry clay in there, um, get... I, honestly, I just have lots and lots of fun with it. it. They are phenomenal, and you'll find lots and lots of different projects, you know, quite aside the, the, the work that you'll do with the complete collection, obviously, if you've got that with the Savagabond collection. But I just love, just love the imagery in this. It's beautiful. Uh, £14.99, so the price is certainly not in your way. You know, generally, it's not a huge investment for something that is lots of dimension, has lots of possibilities as well. 044729 is your item number. Right, I, I'm so glad you've sent me this way, Ross. I love these, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Now, this, you've got two 8x8s in your paper pad, so you've got a smaller version of the 12 by 12 so an exact rep replication of that one, but then you have the second one as well, which is this lovely set of backgrounds, and it all comes... <gasps> I to show you that, it's still, oh. it's still reddish. Okay. To okay, 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 right, hang on. Hang on, hold, hold, hold. Oh, yes, Leonie's back, by the way, everyone. Hiya. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, my mic's all right now, Seth. Just going back to the moulds for a second, and this one is still sort of coming coming together, so it's not quite... And you'll have to get in nice and close, I think, our uh, hue, uh, to pick up the detail, and I'll try not to interfere with it too. The size of that is incredible, it's isn't it? Huge, it's huge, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, that is just air dry clay as well, but uh, it's just such an impressive isn't mold, it? is that? Isn't it phenomenal? So much detail. Mm. It's Wonderful. Beautiful. Put the details back up for those two sets of moulds just very, very quickly. I mean, if it were just that, and you could keep exactly. creating that time after time yeah. after time, you'd I mean, be so impressed, wouldn't yeah. you? Do you know what? That's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. You're quite right, Ross. If that was a mould by itself, you could easily be asking nine ninety nine for that alone. And that mould, actually, I'm going to have to do this quite carefully. Uh, that's, of course, I picked up the wrong one. Uh, and still the wrong one. Is it this one? Oh, yes, it is this one, isn't it? Yes. So that is this mould. So that's just one of the, of the quite numerous elements on this mould. I'm going to have to put that down because I'm terrified of dropping it. <laughs> uh, but there's so much more. You've got the lanterns in that one. You've got the big fan. And you've got the, the full lady associate, as we've decided to call her this <laughs> afternoon as well, um, all in that one set. Right. Back to, back to the paper pads. So, um, you get one 8x8 pad, which is a replication, a smaller version, of course, in 8x8 of the 12x12. 12 12. And I match that up with the grey board images, actually, and they seem to line up quite nicely, actually, for lining up with your grey board, if you're going for that. And you've got your background 8x8. Um, eight eight. But what I'm really fascinated by are these amazing die cuts, because they are just brilliant. Can I just take you through some that we didn't see the first time around? So you've got Sir Vagabond himself, and of course, the associate. You've got the dragon, which features so, so many and plentiful through this. Um, you've got pagoda images there. You've got little um, kind of sayings, wherever you go, wherever you go, there you are. You've got the koi carp which I found while I was rummaging as well. There are so many elements, and actually, you know, we often show you the bigger and the more impressive elements, but look, if I keep going down and down and down, going, kind of going down in size here, 
Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is uh, no path and leave a trail. But look, you've got smaller elements here. I love this. Look, you've got a steampunk wing going on there. The little lanterns. You've got a little lotus flower fans and you've got multiples of some of these things even down to sort of the size of a button i mean they're really really impressive i absolutely love them so two eight by eights which are all this theme this so vagabond in japan theme plus those two very very impressive eight by eight paper pads that are both completely different i love it oh two seven five three five is your item number and one more from me because i know leone wants to do some more um in the show we got some more demo to come and there's plenty more you probably want to shop ahead of us on the um, on the website by the way because there's so much to go at um, so set of six rice papers here and these are kind of like the feature in the focal uh, points again think about upcycling uh, cycling and and decorating lamps lampshades bottles jars vases you've got the big dragon there there is the associate. We must give her a name, must we? Tracy. <laughs> We're stuck giving her the wrong name. That's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, Tracy. We'll call her Tracy. Don't think she looks like a Tracy somehow. I think her name might be slightly more exotic than that, maybe. Who knows? Who Could knows? Be. You Who never knows? know, do you? Never judge no. a book by its cover. Uh, you've got the koi carp there. We're looking into this too deeply, aren't we? <laughs> we've, we've created this series of spy novels now, haven't we? Uh, they are just beautiful. It is the most incredible quality rice paper. And again, intense colour as well in rice paper, which is, must be quite some mean feat to do, to be honest with you, given the sort of the condition and the texture of the paper. It is incredible. Right, okie dokie. Enough from me for now, because uh, here she is, fully back, fully refreshed, <laughs> fully ready, and... Uh, and with a whole, <laughs> with a whole nine minutes to play with, Leo. Amazing. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I need to nip off. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not going to finish this, but I just wanted to show you. That was the um, the rice paper jar that I did earlier on. Now, rice paper, when it's illuminated, looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, that looks so, so pretty. Um, and the thing is, with something like that, there's so much you can do. But, see, doesn't that look gorgeous? Beautiful. But look how nice it looks with one of those wooden shapes in front of it. Like, wouldn't that look beautiful? Lovely. So how I decorate this, the wooden shape would look amazing. Obviously, just a bit of rope around there. To hide the actual battery pack, because you do need to hide that, I'd probably put something like, and this is the... Um, the fan and the fan is actually one of the molds but you could actually glue the battery pack onto the back of the fan and have something like that but i mean i'm not sure how i'd do it yet but i'd definitely i'd have the front of a jar so i'd have that at the front so i could hide the battery pack behind it because you do need to or in fact that looks nicer doesn't it if it's on the side there like that. That would look fabulous, Beautiful. in fact. And then put some flowers on. I kind of wish I'd managed to finish that now, but I haven't. So, you know, such is life. <laughs> but the rice papers, they are amazing for upcycling. Please do not miss out on the um, on the wooden em embellishments because they're also fabulous. Now, that box, when I did the box, I cut this bit out. I'm going to use that because I just thought that is such a nice base um, for something. So I'm just going to dig out my stamps now um the stamps are incredible and i said earlier on um, and it's funny with stamp period and um the stamps because obviously there's so much i don't necessarily go straight for the stamps but the stamps are sensational have we got all the stamps left on the show cool okay that's fine that's fine so we've still got that massive background one and oh that are still my favorites i'm going to use the borders now the borders are beautiful just to show you quickly just onto actual cardstock before i get um carried away so with the the borders obviously i've picked up a little bit of card you'd use bigger pieces of card than this oh i've got acetate covering glue everywhere 
Oh, my goodness gracious me. Um, so, <laughs> if I take um, just one of the stamps now, the way these have been designed, Antonis doesn't want a stamp that goes on a block. These are not um, designed to go around blocks. They're designed to go round things. That's what he wanted. So, say you're, you're using them on a jar, you would actually be able to stamp round a jar. That's why he's designed them like he has. So that's why these are not designed to stick onto um, your, your acrylic blocks. However, you can easily stamp with them. So, I mean, these backgrounds are stunning. The borders, I love these. You've got that beautiful border. That is such a good stamp. <laughs> this one, this one is lovely. Just oh, every single one, it's like, oh my gosh, these are ace. And look at, I mean, they're easy to use. Look at that. And obviously it's a scroll. I'm not using the full thing because I'm just being quick. But you will use the full thing. And then this one, look at the fan detail. It's amazing. I'll get another bit of card just to show you. Oh, there's glue everywhere. There. And they're easy because they've got the foam backing. It means they're easy to press down. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful stamps. Do not miss out on any of these. They're, they're really lovely. Really lovely. Now, okay. Oh, gosh. Do I want to use these? Do I want to use that one? Decisions, decisions. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to use all sorts. So I'm going to take um, the paint. So rather than stamping with ink, let's stamp with paint. Let's mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to use the... Um, I'll use the blue. So, using the blue paint, squidge it out. Now you can tell I've not prepped this. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, oh, and I've got a minute. Good thinking, Leona. <laughs> Four minutes. Oh, that's all right. Loads of time. So, using that first of all, let's get a little bit dry brushed on there. So cleaning my brush, but onto the actual surface, like so. So it'll give it a little bit of a, a surface before we even start, and it'll look interesting. Um, that I need drying off, because I am going to be embossing on this. And I've got white. Mm. Rose gold. We'll go rose gold. No, we won't. We'll go away around that distress oxide. That'd be nice. OK, cool. And then, so first of all, picking up with this one, picking up the paint, like so, and then stamping. There we are. And then pop a bit more. And that one you can't quite see, but it's fine. So I'm going to stamp over there, like that. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Let's pop a bit more in, so a little bit more detail. Just in there, like that. Oh, I love that print. And pop that in, like so. So that's my first one. And then let's get the um, the anthracite. Go over the top. Now, the reason I'm um, I'm doing this with the paint. When you're using your stamps in the paint, you want it fine. You want it. Oh. I'm molting. You want a fine <laughs> um, layer of paint. If it's too thick, it will go into your uh, your beautiful stamp and you will make a messier stamp. It will be harder to actually clean the stamp. So that's why I'm doing it like I am. I might, I'm going to go with that background one for now, just because this is actually easier. I would, I'd like the other one, the other big stamp, because that's my favourite, favourite. But this is beautiful too. So pop in a little bit there. Like that, amazing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And some there as well, perfect. And then a little bit just at that side. Beautiful. There, amazing. So, we've got that gorgeous background. I do, I'm gonna spritz the stamp with water. I'm not gonna have time to clean it for now, but I am gonna spritz that with water. I'll spritz that with water because I don't want it to dry on my mat. So I'll just get that. I'm hoping that doing this, my paint will still be wet enough to put some embossing powder on. The embossing powder I'm using is um, Tim Holtz. 
I'm using it on acrylic paint, so theoretically this will be um, wet enough still. Tidy that up in a second and let's emboss. So, I mean, it might not be, might not be wet enough to emboss. We'll see. Yeah, I might, uh, oh, there's bits. There's bits. All right, there's bits. Now, what I was going to do then is do another layer. The layer I was going to do is glue over the top of this, right? So you put a layer of glue over the top. The glue will seal the card, and then you can use your antiquing paste over the top. If I went on my antiquing paste straight away, the card would be too absorbent. It would just soak it in. Layer of glue, put that on, and then you finish it on by putting an associate on and Bob's your uncle. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but that is a tale to be finished on another day. Well done, you. Hooray! Bring it back. Tomorrow presenting. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and the Yay Day continues. Yay! Uh, the best of September. The best of September. <laughs> That's coming up after the break. That sounds all right, doesn't it? And then a brand new one day special from Indigo Blue in an hour. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I've sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric based kits for patchwork, for bags, and home decor. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. this time of day I can officially say very good evening to you all now this is the best of September and we're talking about soft crafting here as well so if you are a soft crafter if you like your fabrics we've got some wonderful options for you you may have seen these before because they are some of our best items that we've seen throughout September who would believe it's October tomorrow Oh, it is crazy, isn't it? Let's get straight into it, though, because we've got a great saving on this bundle. Did you watch the Crafty Kit Co? These are your Flowers Mega Felt Craft Bundle. Now, this is a huge bundle. Just straight away, the first thing I'm thinking here is I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, there we have six Christmas presents all at once. In fact, if you look at that saving, that saving of £12.50, you're not paying for one of those. 
Yeah, you've got a freebie. Two payments of 31.22 if you're going for the option because you've got FlexiBuy there. Let's have a look at those individual options though so you can really appreciate what you're getting here. The first one we can see is the felt roses, a favourite of many people, isn't it, the rose? It is. And you can see the components that you're going to get there in the kit. So you've got your centre balls, made of felt, of course. You've got all of the colours you need. You've got the wire. You've got the tape. Of course, you've got the full instructions as well. All you need is scissors and some glue. They look really pretty as well, don't they, on the, the image there? We will see some samples a little bit later because I've got a video to show you. But let's go through those kits. So if Sunflower is next, always popular. Always a popular option. If you're going for the kit, though, you don't have to choose. It's in there. If you're going for the whole bundle, absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm presuming that you're getting almost the same components in each, just different colour felts. You're getting the instructions. Yeah, so it just follows that theme all the way through. Next up, we've got lavender. Actually, I've just noticed something. Can I just go back to the sunflower a second? Because if I turn the box around, it just actually show you what you're getting in there. So you've got lots of colours in there, haven't you? Yeah, we've got lots in there. So, yeah, each kit will vary in the amount of felt that you're getting or the amount of colours that you're getting. So now we're moving on to, this is pretty, the lavender. Let me just spin this one around again for you. There we are. Oh, such pretty colours in there. Really, really beautiful. Twelve forty nine individually, of course. So if you have got those favourites, you can go for them. Oh, favourite that just seems to keep running, doesn't it? The poppy. The poppy. Now, this is already busy. If I turn it around, you can see it will be the red poppy. Do you know what? Once you've got these, those, th these home, though, I reckon you could trace around the shape of the felt, maybe, and cut them in another colour as well. Use the instructions again. Maybe you could do your poppies in different colours. There we are. Lovely packaging, packaging in these as well, so they make a perfect gift. Moving along again, you've got the cornflower. Oh, can I reach without knocking everything over? Let's see what we've got on this one. There it is. That beautiful cornflower blue. Almost a lime or a zesty green. Actually, what do you call that green? Uh, citru citrine? Cit citrine? There's another one I'm trying to think of as well that's a yellowy green. It's that sort of colour. Not that it matters. It's in there. You don't have to worry about finding it. Then, of course, let's have a look at the final option we've got here. The Chinese lanterns. You didn't get a very good look at that, did you? There we are. Let's just turn that back to the front again. £12.49, pence. remember, individually, 913382. And, of course, if you want them all, that big bundle with that saving means you're not paying for one of these. So if you're treating yourself or treating somebody else, that's the way to go. And you've got the flexi as well. So you might see something else you want on the counter. You can add that into your basket and split the cost as well. 289830 if you're going for the bundle. Now, I did promise we would see more of these. So we're going to see a little clip from a previous show. And we've got Derek. Oh, this is with Joe. Joe was the guest for the Crafty Kit Co. We're going to have a look at that right now, I believe. What I'd like to do is just to demonstrate how easy these um, flowers are to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the white rose, um, but I'm not going to make it with the stem, uh -huh. just, you know, for time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make it as you would see it. it. It's exactly the same rose that you could see on the, the summer flowers wreath. So... The, the roses kit and the summer flower wreath kit comes with um, a 20 millimeter white woolen um, felt ball for each rose and that forms the center of the rose and so we just we're going to start by I've cut out all of the shapes apart from one of each of the petals just so that you can see how um, to do that so I thought it was a nice idea to provide squares and rectangles of felt rather than pre-cut pieces because that just shows um, you exactly how easy it is to create your own petal shapes. So we're going to start with this little rectangular piece and I'm folding this in half. I've got two pairs of scissors here because I like a larger pair and these smaller embroidery scissors for the finer details. So I'm going to go with the bigger scissors and I'm going to cut this into a half moon shape. So we have this. Now we're using glue guns, so as always, take care with a glue gun. The tip of it gets very hot. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a little cone, like a little hat. 
for that woolen ball. So a little dab of glue on the outside of one corner. Mm -hmm. And then we just fold this round. The great thing about using the hot glue gun is that the glue dries so quickly. So you're not having to glue and then put things to one side and wait for them to dry. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this onto the top of the woolen ball so it's like a little hat so we'll just put a little bit of glue around the inside of there and we'll just pop little hat on <laughs> and then we're going to work from the inside of the rose out to the larger petals on the outside so the smaller petals there are three of those and they're a sort of a drop shape so all I'm going to do here is to cut the corners of three sides of the square and then trim a little bit off the end so that I have this sort of drop shape. And we were talking earlier about how nice the felt is with the wool content. So it's really easy to stretch it and give it a little bit more texture. It just makes the petals look a little bit more ah, realistic. Yeah, you see yeah, how? Yeah. And you can pull it really quite hard, it won't tear. Then we're going to join these three petals together also to form a bit of an arc shape and we'll just let those dry while we look at the next size up which are the four centimeter by four centimeter and you see i've cut three out already uh -huh. so this fourth one here starts as a square and all we do is we just cut the corners off to turn it into it's like this the uh, window from play school isn't it what's that the arch, ah, the window. arch window oh showing my age <laughs> right <laughs> I'm, do you know i'm probably the only one in the room right now that remembers oh. along with you joe <laughs> thanks i'm nice to have a friend <laughs> <laughs> and i've just those three drop shapes that were glued together i'm now attaching them so i've just put them over the top of the first petal group and you can already see that it's beginning to look a little bit like yes like a closed bud a little rosebud so and really as you as you add the petals it just comes to life so the next lot of petals the four petals these are the ones that were the um the, the arched window shape and i've just rolled the curved end round to uh -huh. give that kind of realistic look and i'm going to put the glue on the edge opposite the, the rolled edge. So just a little line of glue on there. And then we're just going to stick these around the base. So we've got four of these. It's almost like um, rolling fondant icing, icing oh, isn't it? But well, it's, a, it's a little bit more forever than that, isn't it? I've never done that, but I no, guess... No, I haven't, but it kind of looks a bit like it, doesn't it? Would it? Be. Visually, it yeah. looks a bit... Like when you see those, um, you know, like those extreme cake maker series and extreme. they make fabulous flowers out of fondant. <laughs> Is that a thing, Derek? Extreme cake making? It's like extreme ironing, you know, when they go up to take the ironing board up the mountain. Yeah, up the mountain, yeah. <laughs> Your extreme uh, flower, felt flower making right now. How does that feel? I, 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 and you haven't got your hiking boots on. Feel slightly under pressure. I have actually. Don't Please don't show my feet. <laughs> These now, are comfies. They are very, very <laughs> comfy. They're very sensible. <laughs> That's all right. It's <laughs> all right. So there are the four petals, the f and these were the four centimetres by four centimetres. Uh -huh. And that now would be your bud. Oh, aren't they beautiful? I can tell you what, the day that was filmed when it was live here in the studio and Derek was presenting there, I was at the other side of the studio getting ready for another show and I was absolutely blown away with the samples. So you will not be disappointed in these. Whether you're going for the big bundle, which you can see on the screen there, right at the side under 289830, or of course you can go for the individuals, but remember with the big bundle, you're not paying for one of those, you're getting six for the price of five. And it's nice to have that flexi as well, isn't it? Yeah. Take advantage of that. Definitely think they're great gifts. Now, I'm just going to have a little wander to the back of the studio because we've got some Moda fabrics for you. Now, these are all half metres, really pretty colours in here as well. You can see the colour theme is running right the way through here, but it's a pick and mix, choosing any two. Of course, you can go for more than two, whatever we've got the stock, if you want to go for those multiples. 
14.98 for any tool. Remember, this is Moda. Are we starting right at the beginning here? Shall we have a little look? Isn't that pretty? You don't realise how pretty some of these fabrics are until you reveal. This one is called Hidden Sanctuary Sunset. That sounds delightful. I love the colours in these fabrics. The next one, All the Flutter Butterfly Sunset. Quite long names, aren't they? I've got to say this nice and slowly. <laughs> Let's have a look again. Beautiful Sun Bloom Soiree in Cool Breeze. In Cool Breeze, breeze I reckon then Cool Breeze must be the background colour maybe in that one because I'm guessing, and I haven't heard it yet, would this be the same name but with a different colour background? It is. Yes, Blue Sky. So Sun Bloom Soiree in Blue Sky. Now, I can tell you, this one is limited stock right now. So, single figures on that one. So, if you do like the look of that, I would be quickly grabbing that and checking your baskets out on it. Now, this one's a little bit different. Flower fields in dusk. There's beautiful purples. A little bit of orange in there as well. Gorgeous fabrics. Everything you'd expect from Moda. Joyful vines in golden peach. That's a nice name for that. Oh, I like that one. Reaching Skyward, this is your cool breeze. Aren't they beautiful colours again? Stunning. And now these are effective. Radiant Beams in Multi. That's your multicolour. Limited stock on that one. Again, we've got single figures on that one. Radiant Beams in Golden Peach. Radiant Beams, I presume. Jade Gin? Jadeite. Then, oh, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Then we have, oh, that's nice. The watercolour in ultraviolet. Now, if I just go back to that purple a second, we think, we think there's another sample. So this print, but in the teal colour. You will be able to see a picture on the website. We just haven't got the sample hung here. So do have a look for that because look at the colour there. That is going to be stunning as well. But we've got another watercolour there by the looks of it. So this is fuchsia. And then finally, that's pretty, isn't it? The floral stencil. Do you know, I didn't know the name before, but I did look at that and think, that reminds me of a stencil I've seen. I'm sure I've seen that design. Limited stock on that one as well. So there's a few there that are limited stock. Let's go to the website. That's where you'll find all of the options. There it is, look, the jadeite. Oh, I like that as well. Beautiful, beautiful designs and colours. Moda, you will never be disappointed, will you? A great price there, 14.98 for two half metres. Remember, if you want more than that, then make sure it's just multiples of two. Lots of choice. Now, another guest that we have here, another Joe actually, is our Make It Joe. And we've got some great bags for here, the variety bags. Now, we've got all sorts. These are always very popular. You might have missed out before, maybe seen them for the first time. Look at the price, £10.99, £5 saving. So, we are going to go through these because there's so many different fabrics. Now, what you get is a, a title for each, but variations on that theme. So, different weights of fabric, different designs, different colours. So, I am going to go through these so you can see them straight away. That is very pretty. You could fussy cut those flowers, couldn't you? So, this is your floral theme. Let's go through this. Different weights, as I say. So, we've got a heavyweight, almost a canvas there. That's pretty, isn't it? I think that's a hibiscus in there, I think. That exotic flower, the blue one. I think it is. Yeah, it's very exotic. This is nice as well. Oh, you see, I love green. Any green, it can be lime green, it can be teal, it can be sage green, it can be woodland green. That is very pretty. Then we're going to the peaches and the creams in here. The greens again, you've got little butterflies in this one. That's unusual. Is that non-directional? I think it is, isn't it? Whichever way I turn it, it would work. Yes, you've got butterflies going every which way there. So less waste, I think, when you get the non-directional. This is pretty as well. Oh, look at that. Different size pieces as well. You're getting a lot for your money here. 10 99 remember. I've lost count of how many different fabrics we've got. I don't know that it matters on particularly in the amount. Uh, just, you know, you've just got such a lovely selection, haven't you? Nice ditzy pattern there. Ooh. Oh, look at this. 
That is gorgeous. I think that's my favourite one so far. It's just the colours again. They really appeal to me. Then you've got more of the florals. This is just one bag, remember? We're only doing florals at the moment. We've got, we've got a lot to get through, a lot of options. Oh, I've been multi-buying these. These are great for your little bags, uh, your applique, maybe if you make doll clothes, things for your doll's houses. There we are, got a lovely daisy. Got one more to do on this one. Oh, ah, now I remember about this. Don't we get one of these in every pack? This is your interfacing, isn't it? Your uh, fuse of, yeah, your fusible one. I've got a feeling, we'll see if we can find it and just verify it, but I've got a feeling you find a piece of that in every pack. There we are. That's your floral. Oh, it's one of those shows, isn't it? It makes me feel really guilty when I make a mess and then can't tidy it up. But we have got more because we've got vintage. Now, I'm not going to open them all this time. I'm just going to show you the designs. This is your vintage. So, um, let's have a look. We've got, oh, we've got some vintage. We've got some cakes there. Some just having a nice tea party. We've got some beautiful, I think they're parasols rather than umbrellas, those. They're nice, aren't they? There you are, you've got your fruits. They're great for cutting out individually as well. You've got your cartoons as well, look. Do you know, we're just hearing as well, yes, you do get the interface in, it's fusible, it comes in each bag, so if you've got little projects to go with. Oh, these are pretty, aren't they? These are really pretty. I've, I am going to open this last one. I, I like it, yeah, but it's a design that you'll recognize, I think. Isn't that beautiful? In the color that, that's been chosen for this. 10.99, remember, for all of these. That's your vintage. Moving on next, we've got birds and butterflies. And we're starting with some chickens. <laughs> oh, we're going from one bird to another. <laughs> because we've got flamingos. Yay! Oh, there's definitely something for all seasons as well because we've got our little robin as well. That's nice, isn't it? Again, different weights, different colours. You've got fairly modern, you've got traditional in here as well. They'd be good for cutting out. Oh, we all love penguins, don't we? Oh, look how sweet this is. Look, can you spot the little penguins holding hands? Look at those! <laughs> oh, that's non-directional as well. Oh, I like this next one. There's more chickens, but I really like that. Kirsty likes that. She's nodding her head. Yes, she loves that. Butterflies. There we go. Nice bright ones. All the colours of the rainbow. Oh, can I open this next one? We need to see this one. Look, look, look. We've got owls. All different owls. Look. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? You've got... <laughs> oh, you've got... You've got baby owls in there as well. Yeah, you've got one who looks like he's staring at you. Who's going to stop staring first? Or is he going to hypnotise you? There he is. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Um, we've got more, though. We've still got a couple more to go through. So if I show you that one and this beautiful, beautiful butterflies there. Again, 1099, same item number, such your birds and your butterflies. Seaside is next. Seaside. I'll move on a bit quicker, if I may, because we've got a lot to get through, haven't we? That's nice. Oh, look. They'd be good for cutting out. Got some nice spots in this one. We've got cocktails. Oh, well, if you go on holiday, yeah, if you go to the beach, you want a cocktail, don't you? Beach huts, they're nice. Little boats. Oh, we've got a puffin on this one. That's lovely. Oh, I like this next one as well, because I love red, and that's a proper red. You can't have seaside without a few stripes, can you? It's got to be a deck chair. And if you're sitting on the deck chair, you've got to be wearing your uh, flip-flops as well. You've got your sun cream there. Oh, look at the whale. That's another nice one. Something for all ages, I think, in that one. Seaside, absolutely beautiful. We've still got a few to get through, though, from... Well, we're just in the seaside animals. We're moving on to more animals here. Um, again, don't forget you do get the fuser web in each of these packs. Pandas. Oh. <laughs> right, the next one's for me because one of my nicknames is Monkey. <laughs> don't ask. Do not ask. <laughs> Glenn calls me a monkey. 
<laughs> Look, can I open that one? Because there's a few. I... That's nice, isn't it? I love how the colour's been picked out in some of the animals there. Yeah. Do you know what I would do? I would make something for children and let them colour those in. I think that would work really, really well. And if you go for fabric pens, maybe you could wash it and then let them recolour it as well. Look, we've got hippos. Hippos with umbrellas. No, there's hippos there. Elephants, hippos and giraffes. That's non-directional as well. We are sticking with the giraffes. There we are. I've never seen a blue giraffe. But apparently they all have blue tongues. Oh, I remember this piece. I've seen this before. This is another favourite. This is a really good bundle, actually. I like this a lot. Let's just look at their faces. Look at the sheep's faces here. Look at their expressions. Oh, there is. The, yeah, we've got the black sheep in there. We've got lots of white sheep in there. Oh, these are really sweet, aren't they? Again, totally different weights. Oh, my daughter's favorite animal. The sloth. She would love that. She, oh, there's another baby in there, look. Oh, right, we're getting busier and busier. We're getting cues on the phone line, so if you can make your way to the website. I did say I wasn't gonna open all these out, but seriously, when I see things like this, I just have to because they're so cute. Now, is there, are they pyjamas or is it a jumper? He looks very smart, doesn't he? He looks very happy. Um, oh, another, you can see, you can't not open these out. Look at this. Right, okay, I'm sorry, I do need to move on. But look, 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 look at that. You've got, look at, look, look at the hidden dog there in red. <laughs> it's a bit like, where's Wally, isn't it? There, we've got some Scotty dogs in their jumpers as well. That is such a good bundle, isn't it? That is your animals. Oh, fantastic. City Life is next. And we're off to London. Have we just got London in here? Is it everywhere else as well? I think this one is all about London. Oh, I'm doing it again. I can't help it. I just love fabric. I have to see everything. There we are. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, look, there you are. You've got a map. That's the map of London. We've got, we've got the London buses. We've got the bicycles. We've got, ah, there's different cities in this one. Or, uh, yeah, because there's NY, New York. I can see Paris in there as well. More from London. We've got cars. Ooh. Oh, sorry, sorry. I've just got to. Oh, that takes me back. That is really, really cool, isn't it? Yeah. And more the way London as well. So that's your city life. Now the next one, Halloween. Yes, you've still got time to make things, haven't you? Of course you have. Look, we've got dinosaurs dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> that is really clever. <laughs> look, there's a butterfly with a skull in, this, in the middle of it there. These, are, oh, look at the eye. Like that. Oh, Alex would love these, wouldn't she? She'd absolutely love them. She'd love this next one. Wait and see the skeletons. <laughs> Ah, oh, I like this next one. That's good. I do like that, yeah. Oh, oh, now Alex would absolutely adore this one. This is definitely up her street. Day of the Dead. Yeah, she would love that. We've got more skulls here with the crossbones. Maybe we've got a, a pirate's outfit to make, so that would work for that as well. Non-directional again. Oh, we've got more skulls. This is a good bundle. There we go. I could just see my little dogs wearing some um, little doggy scarves made out of that. But the bandanas, yeah, they would, well, I would say they'd love them. They probably wouldn't, actually. They'd probably hate me for it, but there you go. Christmas is next. Plenty of time for Christmas. Well, I'm saying that. It's not that far away, is it? Now, what I will tell you is when it comes to Christmas, we have the least stock available about, of all the bundles here. So, um Christmas and animals at the moment are the most vulnerable because you're loving the animals. They've so been buying that in your droves. So I will tell you, if you really want these, don't hesitate because, you know, you might miss out. You might miss out. There we are. Oh, I just fancy hot chocolate now. I've seen that mug. That's nice, isn't it? Got all the little houses. Another great one for fussy cutting. Let's see what else we've got. We've got baubles there. Uh, we've got the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Scandi. Yeah, I was going to say nautical. That wouldn't work, would it? The Nordic, that's the one. Yeah. And we've got angels. <laughs> nautical Christmas. Well, I suppose you do. You've got your stripes. Oh, this is pretty. That's like a traditional one. And then you've got some with the gold in here as well. There we go. 10 99 Again, same item number. We've still got a couple to get through. I think I've just picked Halloween up with Christmas, not to worry. We've got graffiti next. This looks like fun. So we've got some of those fantastic cartoony words like boom and kapow and... What's that one say? Oh, we've got wham, wham, bam. Uh, crunches in there. These would make nice little bags, wouldn't they, for children to put the PE kits and things in, or the toys. Let's turn that one that way. Oh, these are nice. I like these. Oh, what words have we got on this one? Hang on, hang on. Is it just alphabets? Oh, yeah, I just think the random letters there. Oh, that's nice and bright. Um, yeah, because graffiti, you kind of get a random mix, don't you? That's proper graffiti. I like that. That's the sort of graffiti that you see on people's houses. You know, when you go, you're allowed to do it. You know, when they do the things on the walls at the side. The, yeah, the, the murals. <laughs> oh, Meg, you are funny. <laughs> oh, look. Lol. <laughs> Oh, these are great for that chair. I do like those a lot. 10 99 again, of course. Still the same item number. We've got one more. Transport is the next one. So we've got cars. Oh, we've got vintage cars here. Look at this. That'd make a nice little cushion, wouldn't it? You, you could find make a panel out of that for a cushion. For a, maybe for a gent's uh, office or something like that. Or a lady's office. Um, something maybe for the younger generation as well. The little planes. We've got bears in the vehicles here oh look at the cart on the bike <laughs> oh i like the rockets i think that's my favorite actually the rockets yeah that wouldn't be very very nice you could use this as a, a trim on a blind couldn't you? these pieces perhaps we've got diggers and sort of um uh, construction sort of vehicles there. We've got more planes. We've got more rockets with a different background. We've got bicycles again. Yeah, another great bundle. And of course, you're getting that uh, fusible interfacing with every single one of those. Yeah, great saving at five pounds. Treat yourself to some of those. You'll find all sorts of projects are going to come in very, very well with the sizes and the weights of those different fabrics. Now we have got more. These, oh, do you know, I should have known these were totally patched. Just looking at them, it's the, those fabrics you just want to straw, stroke. Now, look, the light collection. I'm just going to um, turn it that way up so I can flick these over a little bit so I can go through them. This is your light, £18.39. What are we getting then? We are getting, these are five-inch fabric strips. You're getting ten of them. So it equ equates to one and one-quarter metres of fabric. These are nice, aren't they? So you could put these together, you could make your bags, your quilts, you could use these just as trims on things. Very, very pretty indeed. There we are, that's all 10 that we've done. So that's your lights. My personal favourite is the next one. How would I use the five inch strips? I probably would sew them together and make a bag, I think. Yeah, it's nice to see, all, you could make a quilt with it. One and a quarter, maybe a little lap quilt. But yeah, I think, I think you could do some clever things with this. I just like looking at them, to be fair. This is my favourite option. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I like the other one as well, but this is my favourite. 788675 is the item number. Some really nice small prints on these, isn't there? That's, a, that's unusual. Lovely olive green. Yeah. Gorgeous. So, ten strips again. Both the same amount, of course. It's just different options. You can go for one of each if you wish. Uh, oh, the different item numbers, sorry. The dark one is the one that we're seeing now then, 788675. Now, something that is always busy when we see it is the next item. We have the Moda Scrap Bag from White Gecko. Am I allowed to open it? Am I? It's like Christmas. Now, contents will vary, but it's nice to see something similar to what you're going to get, I presume. The amount is going to be the same, isn't it? Oh, I love, 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 love Moda. 
Now, what you will get is a minimum of 21 two and a half inch strips. These are very pretty. I can see that straight away. Molder is good. I don't think I've ever seen molder that I don't like. You know, you get so many different designs, don't you? But they're very clever at what they do. Putting all these lovely colours together, that's pretty. Very pretty. $14.99. This is a good price, isn't it? I've only just spotted that price. Oh. <laughs> do you know what I would do with these? These are so nice. These would be used in my doll's house. There'd be curtains and cushions and I'd be uh, covering the sofas with them. Yeah. Two and a half inches would be plenty wide enough. I could, yeah, yeah, I could do patchwork. Um, as my mum used to call it, an eider down. Eider down. Yeah, an eider down. It's like a quilt. It's like a quilt, but it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to. What else? What else would you describe it? It's not so much pack, patchwork. I don't think an eider down. If somebody else still uses that word, do let me know. I know my mum still calls them eider downs. It begins with an e. E i d. E R. I would eider down. These are very pretty, aren't they? That's just an example of something that you could be getting. They are going to be varied, but all moda and that great price at 14 377 is the item number. Now, Sarah from White Gecko has demonstrated these in the past. Now, she did a show with Hayley, Hayley West, of course, who also sews. I think we're going to revisit that show and see what they've been achieving. Actually, I can see. See, I did say I'd make a bag with strips, didn't I? We're going to so, see um, that next scrap pack, you, you're guaranteed um, 21 strips in there. Sometimes okay. there's actually up to 40 strips. You're also guaranteed <gasps> that they are two and a half inches wide, okay. but sometimes they're up to four inches wide. Okay, like um, these. Yeah. My goodness. Where they come from is when they cut, um, when Moda cuts layer cakes, they cut it obviously out of width of fabric, which is 42 or 44 inches wide. So when they cut the layer cakes, they have these big long strips left. And so you're basically getting a a jelly roll <laughs> because um, well sometimes it's half a jelly roll but it's kind almost a, a jelly size. yeah yeah plus <laughs> size jelly roll almost a dessert roll in some of them <laughs> some of them will have the salvages on but some don't okay. um, and every scrap pack is different so it's but it's all from their new design ranges as well it. so it's and all it's be nice from this well, season if you have got the salvage on there and you particularly like that one it helps you actually locate it and maybe look out for more of those fabrics these are absolutely beautiful they are flying out as well you're loving these We've got a couple of different projects that we can share with you um, not necessarily from these particular ranges but just to show you the cushion to the side of me that's using half of one of the scrap packs yeah, so that's yeah so, oh, sorry, sorry, it's a bag. Cushion, it's a bag, <laughs> yeah that was using half a scrap bag I made that whole bag um, and that's front and back yeah. with regards to that one it's not just single sided on there yeah. so you could um, even make more really couldn't Absolutely. if you wanted to yeah. put a, a plain fabric on the back and the quilt um, how much fabric has been used from one of those scrap packs in these or multiples that that's just one scrap pack that one, one scrap pack made the whole thing the only wow. thing I added was the, the final border okay which and is obviously a, yeah. backing yeah. fabric as well yeah, and but the backing fabric but yeah beautiful. so you've got you know a really lovely size lap, well bigger than a lap quilt really yeah. Something really nice to cut up under. Cool. It's amazing what you can achieve, isn't it, from a little bag like that. In fact, we have got that sample here of the quilt. I'm going to open this out and drape it across. Let's just have a little look at that again. I know we saw it in the video, but it's nice to see it in real time. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. That is quite a large size as well. And the bag that was with Hayley there, we've also got as a sample. Oh, this is my sort of bag. Get lots of goodies in there, wouldn't I? That's fantastic. Almost half the stock has gone when it comes to the scrap bag. Let me just show you again. Yeah, who would believe that little bag could be turned into something beautiful like that? 577378 is the item number. I would say be very quick with these. Uh, always, always busy. Now, we've got one or two other items to tell you about as well. Oh, more from White Gecko. We've got some patterns for you. Now, these are actually on a pick and mix. So what have we got? We've got the Celtic cabin block pattern there. There's quite a lot, actually. We've got country hearts. That's nice. Dragonflies, stepping stones. Wrap and weave block. Oh, the shadow quilt is there. That's that bag. Is that that bag we've just seen? I think, oh, might have to go shopping. Uh, the scrappy heart log cabin is there. Leafy pot holder. Simply strappy tote bag pattern. Envelope clutch bag pattern. You've got journal cover there. 
a tablet stand, stacking baskets. There we are, lovely. All sorts of goodies again. Great price there at 14.99107338 is the item number. Now something else that we've, oh wow, I didn't know we've got these. K Facet, the Collective August 2021 Mega Bundle. These are 40 pieces. These are fat quarters. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you've got a £10 saving today. Now these are US fat quarters, so there is a slight difference. 18 by 22, that's centimetres, um, inches, sorry. Uh, three payments, that wouldn't be very big, would it, if it was centimetres? Three payments of £42.65. and pence. Now you are going for those if you want to treat yourself. If you are adding anything else and you've got a three-way split on that one. They're gorgeous as well, I remember seeing those in the studio, they're stunning. Right, okay, now we've got a little video from Make It Joe. So if you go for the scrap bags, let's have a look what we've got. I'm going to start my little make. I'm going to have a little look at this lovely vintage comic strip here. Um, actually, yesterday what happened is I finished a notebook. I, I, I like finishing a notebook yeah. when I'm making notes because when I get a new one, I can use it and I can recover Perfect. it. So yeah. I can make a new cover so I don't get bored of the same cover. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a little journal cover we're using this lovely canvas as well yeah. so i'm going to make sure my iron is on you can see i have got a sewing machine you do I you know. do i may use it oh that's good <laughs> so I we've got some fuse away which we're going to need yeah. i've got my lovely comic book vintage fabric there which i'm going to do face down i'm going to get my new journal you can see i haven't even written in it yet it's brand new because oh, i finished one yeah. yesterday so i'm going to pop my journal in the center of my fabric okay. and this is why i say the size of fabric that we've put in the bags is very crucial that you yeah. can use it for a journal and you can use it for different makes Absolutely. as well all right so we've got plenty there for doing this journal we need a good couple of inches uh, above the actual journey itself i'm just going to get my pen and just sort of mark the corners so just to give me a rough idea of where they are on the back side of my fabric and I've got the lovely bit of fuser web in my pack okay. obviously it is available in the lovely roll and for me okay. it is one of those it is really encouraged myself to have a go at sewing and really push my boundaries yeah. with sewing as well because I'm not a great sewer I do love love sewing but I'm never going to admit to being the greatest sewer in the world watched my nan for years you know she's a yeah. very very good seamstress and watched her but this really gives me the confidence you don't have i think with with something like fuser web it, it's just kind of almost like kind of makes the sewing minimal Therefore, yeah no, definitely kind of, you know, yeah you and the fuser web because of the strength of it whether we're doing a make that we don't need to sew we yeah. can do that and we'll try and do one a little bit later where we don't need to sew I'm saying that because the sewing machine might not work anyway. Perfect, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, if you want to fuse the web, the details on the left-hand side of the screen, you are getting it with a 100% calico bundle, so two essentials there for just £10.99. You are getting 1.5 metre uh, rolls in there for of each of the calico and, of course, the fuse web. Uh, you are saving £4 in total, 812 514 is your item number. Right, so I'm just going to double check my measurements. So I've roughly got that in the middle and seeing how much fabric I have by the side, obviously create my mm -hmm. sleeves. So what I've done, why I've put the little bit of fuser web in your, in your little bags, your variety bags as well, because we're going to use that to create the hem, that clean edge. So we're going to use that. That was a good guess. Wow, this is good. Good choice with the vintage yeah. oh, bowler. Wow. So we're going to use our little iron on there. Yeah. And if you haven't used the fuser web, which is highly unlikely, because I yeah. think everybody's used the fuser web now. Well, but well just maybe make sure we have got new viewers every yeah, time. Hope, so hopefully. You know. So just make sure that we've got the paper side up, and you will start to see the Gore-Tex of the glue come through. When we're peeling off the paper side, okay, if it hasn't quite stuck, just pop it down. Yeah and iron it again. So there's no right or wrong way with it. Just experiment with your own iron. So we'll take that off. So basically we don't want a steam, but any iron will do. Yeah, it. any iron will do. You'll know when it's worked because you'll have a crispy piece of paper. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to fold over that edge to create a nice hem as such. So the same as what we would do with trousers, mm -hmm. sleeves, pockets, you know, creating that nice finish. And a lot of sewers know this, it's not always about the sewing, it is about the ironing as well to yeah. get that nice crisp edge Indeed, as well. There. Yeah. So we're going to do exactly the same on this side. Right. So I'm just going to move that over. 
I like the fact my journal even says journal on it. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's very, I know, you know what it is. Like, what I call it, you know, a spade a spade, right? Yeah, you know? definitely. It is, it's very so we're going to do the same on this edge, on the leading edge. Although you are going to cover it up. I'm going to cover it because why wouldn't you with this beautiful exactly. fabric here? Eh? Okay, so again, just make sure that it's all stuck. I'm going to pull that off. Yep, that's perfect. Crispy piece finished. of paper. I'm going to fold that edge mm -hmm. over. You can see I'm using heat proof matting. Oh, so right. my is table that protector that is available today, oh. it's great because you can just roll it out and play. Use your yeah. irons, use your hot glue guns, or anything you're doing. You're not tampering with the table. Um, is, so it's just a really good is, workstation. This is this. This is it. This is it. This we is have it. Have, yeah, just double checking. And it's by uh, magic. We have got, oh, let's see. <laughs> by magic. 54 inches wide uh, by a half a meter in length. Uh, 11.99 is your price. You're saving three pounds. A zero seven uh, six. 076387, <laughs> you know what it is. Yeah, no, now, definitely. You know. <laughs> it's so versatile, it really is. Yeah. So, previously, what I did, I just marked the top edge, yeah. okay? So, we're going to fold that top edge over, but yeah. we're going to leave a little bit of gap because we're going to need a sewing line. So, I've left about two inches above my fold at my book itself so I'm going to fold it over by about an inch yeah. okay because that's going to be my little sewing line attempt sewing line he should say and we're just going to iron that down we we could use fuser web again but because we're going to attempt to use the sewing machine we don't need to for this section so we're just going to iron it down so it is nice and flat there we go like so there we go and we'll do exactly the same on the other side This is where I start to concentrate. Okay, exactly the same. So about an inch up, maybe half, three quarters of an inch up, just to give yourself a little bit of space. And you'll see when I put my notebook down yeah. of what what we're going to achieve. Okay, yeah, like so. that. So and we'll I love how, how kind of. Yeah, like you are just going for it without having to do too much measuring. Yeah, no, I'm a massive want. believer that you know, have fun with your project. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to fold our book over. Yeah. We're going to see the back of that I'm going to fold this side in and then we're almost ready to attempt I say attempt <laughs> to use the sewing machine so I'm going to fold that over as well You're full of confidence oh no I love it I honestly do yeah. so we can take that out okay so we're just giving ourselves a little bit of room there we're going to iron those down so again it's all about that ironing mm -hmm. so it's keeping that shape for us the same on this side keeping that shape Obviously, we've marked it so we know where the edge of our book is as well, yeah. like so. I've got some little pins. There we go. So we're just going to grab a few little pins just to hold it together. Okay, so when we put it through the machine, we're not all fingers and thumbs and it's all over the place. This is where at home I would then do some more fuser web at the top okay. and just pop it through there and it'll just keep it so that it's nice and straight and nice and secure. And like I said, we left that extra piece of fabric just above yeah. our journal, just so we've got a nice little line that we can follow for our sewing. Perfect. So I'm going to pop that in there, and then we're going to use the sewing machine, Paula. Five. I think okay. you need a drum roll, to be honest. Nice. Okay, so uh, in that little channel that I've left, yeah. so I'm going to use that as a little bit of a guide, Let's make sure I've got some thread. And we're literally just going to do a straight stitch all the way along. All the way to the end in the middle of our lovely little fabric yeah. so I'm glad you chose this one because I love I this lo fabric I, lo I absolutely just love it that it's such a nice because vintage can be lots of different things and what I love about that bag was that it was all those different things it was the pretty vintage it was the cartoon vintage it was the kind of uh, sophisticated labels inspired vintage and that as well. red as well and that red. yeah I, I love like, the red yeah it um, very quickly there, which is good. That's not too bad for me. So we're just going to open our book up, okay. and we're going to pop it in the middle, and we're going to pop it in there. Okay, so there's plenty of room. Oh. Okay, so we've got our lovely little cover, okay, and our beautiful vintage Perfect. journal cover there. Oh, isn't that sweet? And we have that fabric available in the vintage collection, of course, when it comes to the variety bags. Um, do you know, very quickly, I'm just going to pick the vintage up because not only have we got that one, you see, it's not just about those cartoons. You've got vintage florals in there. You've got fruits in there. You've got the tea party in there. Uh, where is it, that one? It is there somewhere. 
I did go past it, didn't I? There it is. There it is. Fantastic. Over ten ninety nine. But let me give you a bit of an update because animals limited stock. If you want to go for this one with a little cheeky monkey, it's there. You've got the pandas. You've got the sausage dogs. You've got the what? I just still think I want, that would be great, Colladin. It would. You've got the cats in here as well. Oh, that's really cute. You've got hippos and um, giraffes and elephants. More giraffes there. The sheep. This is my favourite, favourite, I think. There we are. The sheep are in there. You've got the sloth. You've got, of course, the Scotty dog as well. All for ten ninety nine with that £5 saving. If you want that particular one, limited stock. 576946 is the item number. Something else that is limited, I'm not surprised, I've got to say, is the Moda scrap bag. Yeah, grab this while you can. You need to be very, very quick. Very quick. Fourteen ninety nine is the price. Five seven seven three seven eight. Yeah, I think it might be fastest fingers first on that one. Beautiful. Then we've also got. Oh, now then. Oh, I can't wait for a show with this. I've never done a show with paint box threads, and they are absolutely divine. I know our Tina loves to buy these. She uses them an awful lot. Let's have a look. They're pretty colours. This is a brand new day. In the present, they are stunning, aren't they? Then you've got Under the Midday Sun. Then we have Into the Evening. These are good names. Then you've got In the Small Hours. Now, I'm right in thinking, I believe, these are all hand-dyed, aren't they, paint box? I think they are. We'll double-check, but I'm pretty certain, yeah, hand-dyed they are. Perle 12 Cotton. Oh, they're from Hertfordshire, small business. Do you know, we love to support the small businesses as well. Died by the owners, well, the owners, are we? Do, I cannot wait for a show because I know how beautiful these are. 23 302 You can use these for many different things. So quilting, hand embroidery, cross stitch. If you do really fine um, work with the teeny tiny crochet uh, hooks as well, like the Irish crochet, have a look at that if you've never seen it. You could use it for that, I'm sure. Beautiful. That's something I want to do I just haven't got time for any more at the minute now we have got more now these did catch my eye these are definitely my cup of tea as well so we've got prairie dreams now these are also on a pick and mix for you we're going to have a closer look at these in a second so any two 14.98 these are half meter pieces so you're going to get a meter for that price at 14.98 again if you want to multi buy if you want more than one option as long as it's multiples of two let's have a look at these i know we're missing probably made just one of them but we are missing something now the first one prairie floral that's your tan version limited stock on that one these feel beautiful as well then we have prairie floral and navy very nice prairie floral in green oh try saying prairie floral lots of times all in a row it's very difficult <laughs> you'll try it at home if anyone couldn't do it let me know prairie floral in black I do like those. Then moving on to the blossoms. So this is your tan. Limited stock on that one. Then we have the navy. So navy blossoms. We've got the green blossoms. Oh, this is pretty. That's pretty. Look at that. The berries. If you come in, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You've got little red berries in there. So the leaves and the berries in black. Then we have... Prairie Vine Tonal Tan. <laughs> what was it? Prairie Vine Tonal, tonal Tan. Prairie Vine Tonal Tan. Prairie, yeah. It reminds me of Little House on the Prairie. That piece does. And this one does, actually. Leaves and Berries in Tan. There's another option. Now, if you look on the website, you'll find it. It's the... It's the... Oh, I see, I can't do it. The Prairie Floral Red. How many people at home are going, prairie floral red, prairie red, 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 you can't do it, it's impossible. Oh, we had an email in as well, didn't we? From, um, from Chrissy. Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Chrissy can remember Ida Down quilts. They were from Ida Ducks. Yes, they were, in the 1950s. They would fit as a square on a four-foot bed. 
You see, my mum used to have an eider down and she'd have it like a, a little bit like a bed runner, but then she'd fold it up if it was big enough. But I remember it being ducked down. That's what it was. She used to stuff it. There was feathers everywhere. Oh, it was so funny. So funny. She watches sometimes, my mum. But she's still got an eider down on her bed. Her name is Elizabeth. She <laughs> she'll be very embarrassed if she's watching, but not as embarrassed as me when she tells me off. She looks like the queen. I've said that before. Elizabeth Ann. She sounds like a queen, doesn't she? Elizabeth Ann. She does, yeah. She's a queen. Uh, right, let's have a look at the fuser mat next. Now, we've got two different sizes available. If you didn't catch these on the One Day Special recently, you will be able to find that on Catch Up, actually. These are absolutely brilliant. I remember when these were launched for the first time. Such a good idea. We have got here the 20 by 20 inch. Just checking I've picked the right one up. I have. Obviously, these will unfold. You can see the unfolded versions here. The 20 by 20 is the one on this side because it's square. So these could do with switching over. Uh, but we'll, we can see. We can see. We'll, we can see it there. Obviously, 20 by 20 is a square. 36 99 You've got a £10 saving. Now, if I just put the package in together, let's cross them over there. This is your 20 by 20 This one is your 18 by 30 30 18 by 30 now this is already popular you know, i had to look at duck twice at the size because i thought oh that's bigger than in one way but of course it's rolled up so the length of it is 30. um yeah you can do you know i'm going to hold that up because if you see me actually holding it up you can see the 30 inches is going across the top as i'm holding it here now these are really really good for your applique work you can build up your applique directly onto the mat and it holds everything, so it's non-slip. And I do believe, thinking back to the original show, I mean, there was a lot of uh, work went into making these. Of course, if you're applying heat, you can't see anything that melts. It's got to withstand those heats, and this does. It's almost like a little mesh there as well. These are really good. Have a look at, on the rewind at these, because I think if you watch the demonstrations, all will become much clearer. Let me just have a look at the 20 by 20, just so you can see that one as well. There we are. So it might depend on the size of your table. Do you have a specialist craft room? Maybe you've got lots of room. Maybe you have to share the dining room. So that could help you choose what size to go for. The other nice thing about these as well is if you're doing your applique, because it sticks and you can just peel it away whenever you want, you can actually store them in there as well. So if you wanted to take these to a workshop or to a caravan or, you know, away from the home, you can actually keep your work in there and carry it along and then continue at the other end. Really clever. There's lots of information about them, I'm sure, online. 39.99 if you're going for the 18 by 30, 877-893. There is a flexi on that one as well. The 20 by 20 details at the bottom there. Yeah, we've got lots of goodies, haven't we? Something else we haven't mentioned, though. Rowan Dean. Oh, lovely Katrina. Lovely Katrina. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got Autumn Delights, the Autumn Cow Parsley, and the Autumn Liquid Amber. Now, you've also got an organza pack included here. £3 saving. 36 85 is the price. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got a picture of the finished item, but you know, if you watch Rowan Dean, I don't think you've... Well, I certainly haven't ever seen anything that I haven't fallen in love with. In fact, I've got a kit at home now waiting to be done. 243720 is the item number for that one. Really lovely choices. Now, the best seller of the hour is Make It Joe. Oh, I am pleased. Oh, now we've got lots of options when it comes to the fabric variety bag. So remember, every single one of these will include a little bit of that fusible web as well. I'm going to kind of pick these up in bundles. We might flick through one or two, but floral is the first one. Remember, different size fabrics, different weight fabrics, all different purposes. Just a lovely, lovely selection. So that's your floral. Vintage. I love this one. Quickly show you that one. Just got to open it, haven't you? There you've got more florals. We've got the cartoon in here. We've got canvases. We've got cottons. We've got fruits in there as well. So once again, a really lovely selection. Gorgeous. Lots to fussy cut in that one, I think, as well. Then we've got the birds and the butterflies. I mean, we've got cutesy. We've got traditional. We've got the owls there, look. Stunning. We've got chickens in here. Oh, oh look at the robins. They're nice. They're very nice. And we've got flamingos in this one as well. That's your birds and butterflies. Then we have the seaside.
This is a cute fun one. We've got all sorts going on here, including the stripes. Again, lots of different weights here. Almost a vintage. What was that on that? Was it an octopus we saw? Where's it gone? Oh, it's gone now. Um, right, I better move on because we've got a lot to get through. We've got the beach huts. We've got the cocktails. We've got spot. Oh, the fish. There we are. We've got another one as well. There we are. Seaside. Um, now, the animals. Eek. You need to be quick with this one. We're down to single figures. Scotty dog, the sloth. We've got the, um, the sloth. <laughs> sloth. <laughs> then we've got the sheep. Then we've got the giraffe. Then we've got the hippo, giraffe and elephant together. We've got cats. There is a couple of dogs hidden away in there. There we are. Love it. Oh, got lots of animals here that you can colour in. I, just, I, nearly said, I nearly said hot dog then. It's a sausage <laughs> dog. Oh, it's been a long day. Oh, we've got the pandas there as well. And we've got the cheeky monkeys. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, City Life, we've got London, we've got New York, we've got Paris, we've got oh, oh, all, sorts, <laughs> all sorts there. I want to get on to Halloween. Can we do that? Let's go to Halloween. Skulls. Oh, do you know, I'm going to run out of time. Look, here we are, all under the same item number. We've got more. We've got Christmas. We've got a lot of stock left of Christmas, by the way. We've got graffiti. We've got transport there as well. £5 saving, £10.99, 576 946 Have a look on the website for everything. Don't forget about the half metre pick and mix. Don't forget about the motor pick and mix. Uh, don't forget, totally patched. We've got the five inch strips as well. Oh, and the felt kits. <sighs> Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. I need a break. Oh, I'm so pleased Kay's here. Looking forward to this indigo blue, the box kit, one day special, one not to be missed. And then we've got Japanese papers. Looking forward to that. Indigo blue back at eight. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design Moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds, and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp and the rest is history really for the last 27 plus years I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping if you like my style and you like what I do then please Join me, Barbara Gray. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today.
Hello and a very good evening to you. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the one day special which is with Indigo Blue and already very busy and I'm going to say a very good evening to our lovely Kay. Good evening my darling. Hi everyone. Hello darling. How Hello, are you? Lovely. I'm very well. Thank you. looking gorgeous in your deep oh. Oh, sapphire blue I'm going to call it. Oh well it's got to be blue hasn't it? It's good colour on you. It's a good colour on you. Now tell me you've just told me uh, this is your first Christmas yes, I believe edition it of is. the box yeah. set. And it's number five already. Oh I my gosh. I can't believe that. Number five. Oh, wow. And we have an exclusive, don't we, with this uh, the magazine we set? Do. Because we there's do. an extra, isn't there, Kay? There is. It's the first time we've ever done um, a die on our own. <gasps> yes. A die on its own. And so, I know. It's really exciting, isn't it? And here it is. Yeah. So well, this one I can use all year round, so I'm really pleased about that. Yes. But it's perfect for Christmas. It Isn't certainly it? is. It is absolutely gorgeous. We've got so many beautiful samples to show you. Can I just say, because that is coming exclusively with the magazine set number five on a first come first serve basis, because this has already been selling, 10% of the stock has already gone. So uh, this is exclusive to us here at the craft store. So on the first people that come in to get this, basically. And once it's gone, I'll give you the heads up. So don't miss out on that. So Kay's going to take you through what else we're getting for a fabulous uh, £20.98. Oh, I'll mention we're getting these stamps. We are getting the Merry Christmas stamps. We are getting those lovely sentiments. Tell me about this then, Kay. Okay, so we've taken some elements from uh, stamps that we've got yeah. in, um, and we've actually put in some gorgeous little additions. I love the little fir tree yeah. branch there Beautiful. and the flowers are really useful. Oh. We've got a double stamp tree there. You can see the swirls and yeah. then you can see the stars. Swirls so that's like hand. a double stamp there. And we've got that cute little tree at the bottom, which I love. Lots oh, of stars and tags that. and bottles and all sorts so there's a huge amount on this plate it's a4 in size so it's absolutely brilliant and we've also done you some matching stencils <gasps> as well beautiful so Kay. you get like four in one here I love that so that you've got a tree you've got a nice snowflake to do backgrounds and stars and you've mm. also got that like big snowflake yeah gorgeous not only that no, but we've folks. got some dyes as well so um we've got quick Merry Christmas obviously we've got to have a lovely um Merry Christmas in there and then we've got some stars and snowflakes so gorgeous. those are all included in the kit but not only that you've got loads of papers as well yes and you're going to show us that lovely magazine with yes. 114 possibilities of crafting projects I know, <gasps> I know so this is what you're going to get um, a really lovely box kit full of goodies and this is what I love about these box kits you get everything you need to get going with it mm. so and there's some inspiration on the back as well so you have the magazine itself you also have these beautiful stamps and you've just seen the stencil and all of those dies so they're a good size actually those mm. dies already yeah. so you get those but you also get the papers which i'll show you shortly so this is jam-packed with lots and lots of goodies introductions um and then we've got lots of guest designers as well as our mm. very own design team so this is Carolyn Lake in here I love her work she's got some crackle there we've got lots of different techniques we've got Sue mm. Jacob look at this look Isn't at that that, that is beautiful isn't that oh, beautiful? That's really, so nice, really lovely. So simple, but absolutely mm. stunning. So that's our Sue Jacob, and she's done um, half a dozen oh, yes. more projects there. Now we've got our Rachel Fisher, and she's done a whole range of packaging and wow. gift ideas to package all your beautiful that presents beautiful in. Wreath, we've got, you, yeah. yeah, we've got Ingrid, who's one of our guest designers. Oh, and Leslie. Now, mm. Leslie's been with us um, for a, um, a visit um, to join our, our team for a few months and she's done some lovely work there uh, we've got our own Lorna as well oh look at this one I really like this one I'll just turn that round for you there you go and you can see this gorgeous sort of sheen that you get now that's our luscious so you know oh. our luscious really well don't you so you can actually see that really catching the light beautifully in fact, Doug, who um, was setting up with me in, in the studio, he didn't realise that one of the, uh, as soon as he picked up one of the cards, he went, oh, the colour changes. Oh, oh yes, that's fantastic. Is this these, Kay? Is and it's this, this little pile you give me here. Um, I think it's this one. Oh. Let me just show you this one. Oh. Sorry to just bring this in. So this is Sue Jacob. <gasps> Oh. And 
There we go. Well, look at that pop. So it looks white. Is that just one stamp? It, it is one stamp. Yeah. Just oh, repeated. Wow. Genius, isn't it? Gorgeous. Absolute genius. Almost 20% of the stock gone already. So in five there we minutes. go. Oh, really? I know, I'm sorry. Crikey. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Do you know what? I, I knew this would be busy. <laughs> mm. I knew this would be busy. Thank you so much. So, um, oh. and I've done some projects as well. So I, I might that. actually get a chance to demo this tomorrow. That's gorgeous. So that's got our gl uh, flitter glue on. So I've done a few flitter glue ones. And then we come to our lovely papers. Now, um, the designers at Practical Publishing have done these. Um, and uh, I just sort of suggested a few colours. And they've just gone out and done themselves proud because you get all of these face. lovely little bits that you can cut out yeah. as well but I really like the textures that you get mm. on the papers and of course the double sided you get two of each um, oh. and these really really do go together beautifully I love the pink and teal together and the green is such a lovely green I'm mm. not a green person but that is gorgeous so you get all of those as well loads and loads of um, of papers so then we've got even more we've got Kerry now oh. Kerry's done some beautiful um, cars which just emphasize all the words that you get um, and this is lovely how let me just turn that round to you and there you go so you've got the stencil being used here which is really <gasps> nice you've got the dies being used you've got all the papers she's basically used everything in the kit here and it's just gorgeous and it's been spritzed with our lovely uh, vivids which of course are on the show so those are our, our vivid sprays so she's got some gorgeous um, stuff in here and then you've got chances to actually win stuff as well Ooh. which is great Sarah Gray's done some stuff um, we've got some write-ups a little bit we've got a guest designer here who's done Vanessa Hodgson who's done the most beautiful um, this is the front cover and I'm just gonna give you a, a look at oh, that that's beautiful isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous I mean the colors so simple but so beautiful and you've got the big die our new die round the back of here and it's it's just lovely isn't it it's Stunning. really lovely so she's this is the cover cover mount as well and then I've done some more bits and pieces oh. here. So this is the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you. Oh, how lovely. Here, this wreath. People always love wreaths. Well, I do at Christmas anyway. Oh, I like that. So I'll show you that. The star background. That's lovely, um, Kay. Yeah. So that is just, just a couple of the stamps. So I'm going wow. to do that for you. Great. And uh, a little star. Yeah. Mm. I just, yeah, I love wreaths, um, outside and inside. And... Um, that will be hanging on one of my doors on the inside <laughs> this Christmas, most definitely. And there's, do you know what? There's loads more. There's information about when we go to India. There's more designers in here. I've done some um, water, um, watercolor techniques as well. There's uh, stamping techniques. There's all um, oh, about our dirty weekends, Ooh, and you that? can actually uh, win so, win a dirty weekend place Fantastic. as well. Yes, we've got some dates in there. Okay. We've got October, November, yeah. oh, okay. and uh, we've now got dates for next year. Fabulous! They always book up fast. And we've got some mail makes. Now I really, really love this because oh. Carolyn Lakin has done some beautiful mail makes and they are absolutely gorgeous and again she's added some lovely vivid sprays over the top so beautiful. that they just capture the light. Shall I show you those as well? So you can actually see oh, That's one of my favourite stamps, these. your swirly tree there, Kay. Love that. There we go. So those are lovely, aren't they? You aren't can they see beautiful? the sprays. Yeah. They look like stars, don't they? They do. They're beautiful. And, you know, it just goes on, doesn't it, this magazine? <laughs> so Where's the end to it? It's like loads and loads of stuff, absolutely loads. It's jam-packed. And um, as I say, um, you've got uh, information on the back as well. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I have to tell you that the stock you've got is the stock we've got. Absolutely. That's, you know, with these, with these, it's very difficult to get. Any, well, it's impossible to get any more, really. Yeah. So. Is there any wonder? Because at twenty pounds ninety-eight, I love the fact that you can just get going straight away, and that's what's so brilliant about uh, the Indigo Blue magazine sets. So don't forget, at the moment you are getting this as the one-day special. That is in there as well. That beautiful first-time die on its own, and almost a quarter of the stock has gone already. 
already 10 minutes in so many of you know that once it's gone it's gone i'm going to show you this one because that's in the in the actual uh, booklet that's the one Kay just mentioned from Catherine and then there you can see that beautiful new die in in used in there and that lovely card there as well that's Vanessa here it is in the gold how beautiful is that that's our Sue um, that tree by Les that Leslie Leslie's done that tree. isn't that gorgeous that's your that's your stencil in there and there it is with the glitter isn't that gorgeous that's our lovely Leslie again um, so many that's Carolyn Lakin's gorgeous gorgeous design there isn't that beautiful so many fabulous samples here and another one of leslie's and look at this with the white embossing isn't that gorgeous just so so pretty honestly that's one of my favorite stamps that one there there's that little swirly tree and i love this one i'm dying to see tomorrow i'm gonna have to watch this with uh kay because she's you, you, doing a sample there that, that lorna's used that on that car that lovely stamp aren't they beautiful so many the team you are amazing so thank you everybody these really are gorgeous and you're going to see all the samples behind as well the wreath that um kay just mentioned in the book is sitting behind us here on the counter i don't even see that there i'll grab it there we go. I saw that in the, that, that's in the book, isn't it? Kate? It is. Yes, yeah. It is. Isn't that beautiful? So, so many projects, 114. You've got all that A4 plate of stamps. You've got the beautiful stencil with the four components. You've got those extra dies and you've got your bonus die there. First come, first serve though. So please, please don't miss out over a quarter of the stock gone once the stock of the die is gone if there is availability there for the, the the lovely magazine set yes you can potentially still get that but it is selling out fast so please 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 don't miss out 740794 20 pounds 98 and you are ready to go that's what's so brilliant uh, lots on the show and uh, we're going to go and see Kay in action. Okay, so I am going to um, show you a few nice techniques and we're going to do that wreath um, as, as I showed you earlier. So um, you don't have to um, go out and buy a star. It's just I've had this in my stash for a while wondering right. what to do with it. So you could actually bend um, a wire a coat hanger or it may be that you've got an MDF star or oh. a, a circle or any shape will do. The basis of this is, is going to be the same whatever you do. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how I do my um, master boards to begin with and a nice sort of watercolour technique. So the first thing I do is I start by wetting the back of my watercolour card and I'm doing it on a glass mat or a craft mat, whichever, and then I just wet the front. And that way, it stretches the fibres equally so it doesn't curl up and buckle. And then I'm going to take some of my translucent uh, paints, and I'm going to go with Pop Art Pink today, mm. um, which is lovely. Just take about the size of a grain of rice, and then add water to it, and give that a good mix. And this is the simplest, simplest, easiest um, background to do ever. Well, it's not a background, it's a master board. Um, and this is going to, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our flowers on this. And so you get lots of different colours coming through from your flowers. So you can see that it just mixes and merges on the wet watercolour card. As simple as that. Really, really easy. And then we're going to get our Sargasso Sea or Teal for Two I'm going to go for today. Mm -hmm. So Teal for Two is from um, the set of paints called Late Summer Sun. Oh, no, it's not. Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> A Teal for Two is from um, my special selection, Kay's Choice. And... This teal for two, again, lots and lots of water on this. And just do exactly the same, just fill in all those gaps. Mm. And don't worry about it um, overlapping because it will create a lovely sort of violety purple colour. Mm. So just stab those on. Dead, dead easy. Don't even think about it. I should say as well, Kay, 30% of the stock has gone. Wow. Please don't miss out on that exclusive die. That's on a first come first serve basis. And so once that's gone, uh, it could just be the, the fantastic magazine set, which is brilliant. But um, I don't know the way it's going. It could all just go. I'm hoping our uh, Kay has got plans for tomorrow. <laughs> I've always got yeah. backup plans. I've always got backup <laughs> plans, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't be going home for an early bath, that's for sure. <laughs> but it is and fine, then... so don't miss out. And then Ooh, this is... what colour um, is this one? 
This is fresh cut grass. So this is a really nice bright yellow green so this just adds a little bit of interest there yes, so what sure. you're going to do is you're just going to leave that to mix and merge if you wanted you could put a bit more water on but i think that's quite enough and right. then when it's dry this is what it looks Ooh. like i've actually put a little bit more water on this but the great thing is that when we stamp all the flowers on here you get just a little bit of that color yeah. a little bit of that color and it just makes them really really beautiful Lovely. so that's that one just put that to one side to dry and we're going to do exactly the same technique but with the green so this is going to be okay. for the um the fir tree fir branch sort of oh. stamp as well okay so what i'm going to do is seeing that i've got this green i'm going to use the fresh cut grass and that's going to go on here as well And just splodge. So first that Christmas up. edition, Kay. I mean, is it just? Cause I realise this is number five. So there's only so much you can fit in, but. It, was that just the way the timing went, darling, or, um, or was it a conscious decision? Well, um, well, we were asked by Patrick Publishing to do it, so yeah, um, so yeah I'd had um, all my designs made for um, a different month of the year, and right. they said, right, well, we'll do the um, we'll do the October edition october november d edition but it's christmas so oh. could you do the christmas for us right, I'm, okay. I'm like yeah of oh, course we can. For us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um uh, but we're going back to just doing two next year okay. so um we've just got as i say oop, just a tiny tiny amount of this paint mm -hmm. so yes we're just doing um two next year and so have you done how many this year have you done three? so we've done three, three this year right, which okay. we hadn't originally planned no. but um but yeah, oh, there <laughs> I think go. it's a, a bit much um, doing all these. So I've got a little bit of that teal for two left Ooh, over. Yes, so I'm going to yeah. use that as well because it will actually go into this. And you want that sort of mottled effect mm. and just fill in all, all the gaps. There we go. And you just get a really lovely... I mean, that could be a beautiful background as it is, couldn't it? So that's going to be left to dry as well. And then when that's dry, that looks like this. Oh. And it's lovely, isn't it? So isn't what I've lovely? done is I've actually just given it a splatter okay. of um, gesso. Mm. That's all I've done with this. So that one's going to be left to dry. And then we come back in with this. And then to give this a little bit of a splatter, let's get some clean water. A little bit of my white gesso, which is fantastic for... For this okay and you can shop my brand on indigo blue for that white gesso and all it the other is. fantastic products like slap it on some lovely uh vivas as well on there the ink spray so please feel free to shop ahead yeah so this is quite a favorite amongst mm. quite a number of people so you can see that gives you that sort of snowflake yeah snowed on look yeah. as well which is really so lovely pretty. So if I bring this one back, I'll let that dry for a minute. And then what we want to do is we want to actually stamp this up. Okay. okay. So let's get the stamps out. You can see that mine are already well loved because I've just had so much fun with them. <laughs> How many stamps are we getting in the collection, Kay? Oh, we count? I haven't counted them. Oh. One, two, three. 25? 25, there 25, you go. 25, my goodness. <laughs> 25 stamps and that's just part of it for £20.98. I know, that's fantastic, <gasps> isn't it? <laughs> now, Fiona, could you possibly just um, do something? Talk. Um, yes. yes, talk while I Absolutely. find my uh, acrylic block. Thank you. <laughs> That's me job. Uh, I've got lovely more samples here as well. Already over 30% of the stock has gone. Let's just give you a quick reminder of what you're getting. 114 fantastic crafting elements in that indigo book. Remember, you've got all the papers in there, and those two of each, those beautiful teals and pinks, and those elements that we can cut out. You're getting 25 stamps. We've got the sentiments on there as well, the snowflakes, the lovely pine needles. I love these bottles because I think they could be apothecary bottles. They could be Halloween-esque. They could be very Christmassy jars, jams, cookies. My favourite, I know it's the simplest, but the swirly Christmas tree, I just love. And I love the star Christmas tree because that could just be stars per se as well. So that's your stamps. Then you've also got that beautiful, beautiful um, stencil 
that massive it could be just a gorgeous design it could be a massive snowflake you actually have got the snowflake again there's beautiful stars for any celebratory occasion that stamp that that stencils out beautifully doesn't it and then you've got the merry christmas die set with those individual stars and three different snowflakes then you've also got the exclusive to the craft store die and once it's gone it's gone um so first time they've done that individual die on its own it is in there as well as your exclusive die there 20 pounds 98 we have got about a four minute queues on the web on, on the phone so if you can get to the website that would be absolutely brilliant i just want to show you this card because there's those bottles now can you see how different they can be for any occasion but with the christmas isn't that beautiful i i i i I love that. Just gorgeous. So sorry if um, you're waiting on the phone lines. We will get to you as quick as we can. But if you can get to the website, that would be absolutely brilliant because, of course, then you are avoiding the queues. Now there, look at that uh, brand new die. Isn't that beautiful? So many different ways in which we can, you know, use this wonderful collection that's using all your papers in there as well your stamps but that's what's so great about the magazine set you know if you've just got a few um coloring um ink pads at home you can get you don't even need that necessarily to get started we've got a die cutting machine a pair of scissors that's it that's all you need you can get started uh 20 pounds and 98 great value if you want to get one for a gift this is the first time indigo blue have done the christmas one we're only 20 minutes in, a third of the stock has already gone, 740794. I'm just going to mention some new rice papers while well, okay, is getting set up. Now, this is new today, and what's brilliant is it comes with the Indigo Blue Slap It On, possibly one of my favourite products ever. Um, this is your Slap It On mat, 100 mils. And then you're getting three sheets. Look at these. Look at the colour pop there. Premium rice paper. Look at that colour pop. It's, it's just a field of loveliness, isn't it? Aren't they gorgeous? love the way we've got the three different sizes there those colors are just idyllic so that's one and then look at those and the gold the christmasy feel the snowflakes isn't that beautiful and then look at that portrait isn't that gorgeous in those gold and vintage sepia tones but again tying in with those lovely flowers so you get all three of those premium rice paper and i can feel that quality of that rice paper plus you've got that amazing medium the slap it on for all your surfaces uh, please be quick if you want this for 11.99 um quarter of the stock has already gone 262738 i mentioned the vivid inks now we've got three different sets remember keep the bottles because uh, k's developing something to recycle and refill i should say they're the same item number but they're different colors these now you need to give a good shake um, because they've got all that in fact some people have uh, said you know what just um, store on its side um, because there's so much pigment in there and if you've seen Kay what she does is she sprays she dunks and then she, she, she gives it a little wipe so that the nozzle because it's a different part it's a pump action so when you're shaking it won't get clogged up but it's just to make sure that it always remains nice and clean and you can see that lovely color come through but oh yes have I mixed up Look, I have put that there, Fiona. Um, right, let's look at the colours. Favourite things, named after our favourite films. Three options. So, oh, favourite things. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. You get those gorgeous five there. A drop of golden sun, a slice of jam and bread, England's, England's pastures green, um, sweet summer peaches, and then whiskers on kittens. Yes, you guessed the musical. The next one is called More Favourite Things. Blue satin sashes. Uh, catch a mean beam. Oh, you can't help it, can you? Fresh morning mist. Oh, they're almost like two-tone, aren't they? The blue and the silver there, purple and silver. Raindrops on roses. And then the third option is Maid Marian. Now, these are very vivid, very bright. Um, Will Scarlet. So these are just incredible. Little John. Um, you've got Loxley Yellow. I love this. Oh, Sheriff Nottingham and Maid Marion. So you choose whichever five you want. Five pounds, Satan, 39 pounds, 95, 485, 387. If you want all of them, the whole set carry over the three five pounds savings. Uh, so that's 15 pounds saving on the set. And that will be 114 pounds, 85. Five. And that will give a further five pound savings. That's twenty pound saving all in all. Uh, nine three two eight nine eight. Got that on three flexibly payments for you as well of thirty eight pounds twenty eight. You'll have noticed the blank sheet there as well. They're coming next month with our end of this October month, I should say. We haven't started it yet, have we? Uh, tomorrow uh, with our lovely uh, Leone. So yeah, please don't miss out on those. 
when I've been on and they've been launched, they're sold out. Right, I'm going to see. She's, I think she's finished rummaging. Are we good to come back, Tony? You are. Lovely. Absolutely. Right, so um, I, I do um, I do apologise because I sort of left my um, <laughs> my acrylic blocks over the other side of the studio. Oh. I couldn't get out oh, because you trapped. were there, yes. and I had to go so crawling on the floor underneath the table. Oh my! God. I don't. The next time, just walk past me. I don't think anybody really cares. It's fine, honestly. I don't want you. Don't want you doing a mischief, darling. It's all right. It just took me a while to get up. Bless you. Oh, bless you. So, as you can see, I'm actually stamping um, the fir tree branch with Shady Lane, which is a, a nice green colour. So when I cut these out, these are going to have this in the background, because I'm not going to really fussy cut them out, right. um, you know, not every tiny little thing. No, All no. I'm going to do is just go oh. round them. Can you see that? Yes, the shape. So, yes, but what I am going to do is I'm going to um, do some um, clear embossing mm. because that makes them give them a little bit of a gloss and a shine. So this is ultra fine embossing powder. Mm -hmm. OK, so this will um, stick to all those tiny little fine lines. You that, see um, the great you coverage see. is just done on the step. Yeah, and just that's right. Yeah. And if you just uh, all we do is we put it on while the ink is wet. Yeah. Tap off the excess. And then we heat it, you can see. Oh, yeah. Just keep the heat in one area and then you just follow it round. And it just leaves you with this lovely, beautiful, glossy finish. Which is really, really lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. So I think that, that makes it really, really nice. So I've, um, I've obviously cut out lots of these. And as you can see, I've not been really, really accurate. I've just sort of gone round. Otherwise, I'd be there till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, this, is, this is a lovely way of actually stamping your flowers. So with this one, I think maybe we'll go for, let's go for what, a blue, pink, red, what do, what do you fancy? Ooh. Let's go for a little, let's go for a bit of each, yeah. shall we? So, and I'll show you what they look like. Oh, that's nice. So that is Purple Delight. Uh -huh. This is Twilight, which is a deep, deep blue. Like so. Mm. Oh, that's nice too. Mm. Um, if you want to really show off how crisp it is, then we go for the Versafine. Oh, yeah. Oh. But what I want you to look at is when you've cut it out, look at all the different shades of colours that you're getting from this. Yeah. And again, yeah, we're going to just use our ultra fine clear embossing powder. Now this is a really, really big tub. It's like 60 mil. Right. So you can afford to chuck loads all over. And then refill and the then, again. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. so fine, isn't it? It, it, it is, is really, away. really fine. It'll last you ages, but um, people actually use it to uh, color, um, make colored embossing powder with their luscious. Ooh. So that's really? another thing you, you can do with your luscious. luscious. Mm. Yeah. Wow, we were using your luscious powders the other day with the Zuri moles before we yes, did the resin. Yes, that's right. I know the Royal Wee, Catherine was. I just stood and watched. I know she's all. really <laughs> incredible, Over isn't a third she? Of the stock has gone. Just to highlight that to everybody as well. Over a third has so gone. So then, what I've done is I've cut those out, sat in front of the telly, and you can see how different they all look. So depending on whereabouts they've caught the colour. And you'd never get that if you were just you're just colouring them afterwards. It's it's really sort of different how how they all come out, and I really like that about these. So I'm just going to shape these on the back. If you haven't got a, a ball tool, don't worry. You can actually just sort of shape them with your fingers, just by this is watercolour card, so you know it's going to take a nice bit of shaping. But that's all I'm going to do, just a little tiny bit on all of these. So I just do little circles on a soft mat. If you haven't got a, one of these mats, just use like a mouse mat or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then with the flowers, I'll do some this way and I'll do some the other way. Now, if you're doing it this way, just be aware that you may um, scratch off some of the embossing powder so just be a little bit more aware of of that you don't want to 
you know, be too harsh and you end up scratching it off. Because you only just want a little tiny bit of shape, just mm. so they're not completely and utterly flat right. when we put them together. And so they're really, really simple, aren't they? Mm. So let's bring in our star. So as I say, this could be, this could be anything. Um, it just so happens that I picked this up. Don't ask me where, I can't remember. I had it ages, it's been in the cupboards, you know what they're like. We, <laughs> we just collect things, don't we think, oh, that's nice, I'll that'll use that one Christmas, you know, yeah. five years later. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just using what's called uh, a florist wire. Okay. Um, it's really, really cheap to get hold of. And oh. um, I'm just, because I'm going on the inside, I need something for the everything to hang on to. So oh. I'm just going to sort of, work my way around if yours is just um round and you're going to go around the edge then you don't need to put wire on at all oh. but because this is a star and i'm going around the middle of the star i need something to anchor everything onto so i'm just going to go around a few times mm -hmm. and as i say this this wire is very thin and bendy so it works beautifully so you can see that i've got like a, a bridge mm. in between and then I'm just going to snip that off now this is these are lovely to make for for your house at Christmas mm. and it's better if you make them now then you'd have to you're not rushing <laughs> through December but if no. you do craft fairs people pay a lot of money for a really beautiful wreath yeah. and especially if it's handmade they don't mind because they get it out every year so it's not just for exactly. one year is it it's going to yeah. be years of enjoyment so they invest in that don't they i mean the evening will spend like 30 40 pounds just on a green you know a fresh green one yeah. which oh, they, yeah, they don't yeah. actually bring out every year no once it's it's over it's you know goes in recycling doesn't yeah. it goes in the uh, compost heap but this they can bring out every year so you would do really well actually on i think baubles sell really well don't they yes um yeah and um and so this is like i don't know what you call this hairy stuff <laughs> is what i call it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is there a name? And I think, like I think you probably would get this from a florist. Yeah. I cannot remember where I got this from. Again, it's sort of, you know, you go in your stash. I've got sort of a, a stash with, um, like, Christmas on. Yeah. <laughs> so any things that I find um, that look interesting, I will just sort of put in what there, like, use? my uh, little bells and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So... Um, so yeah, oh, I just lovely. went in there and thought, oh, this looks good. <laughs> what, what can I do? Oh, I'll make a wreath. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So yes, it looks a bit untidy, but don't worry because, you know, it's all going to come together. I like things sticking out a little bit yeah. as well, so that it's not, not completely neat. There's a bit more on there than there is here, but again, I'm not worried about that. So next thing is just going to get a pokey tool and this back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little little bunches of stuff of all the bits and pieces that I've found so um, oh now John next door yeah uh, said do you want some stamens I asked him could I have a couple of stamens yeah. please and he gave me a whole bag oh bless him, bless him. and He's I thought I'm never going to use all of those but in actual fact I have actually <laughs> used them on this a lot so I've just taken one of my flowers I've taken the green bit off and I've just popped it in there and I just think that looks lovely come on get in oh there we go there we go so it just it's lovely isn't it um so these are out of my stash as well mm -hmm. again it's sort of thing that you find at a florist isn't it um i found some some balls like polystyrene glittery balls there and i'm just going to take one of the um bits of wire that it's attached to and i'm just going to wrap it around the others just to secure it and then I've also got some um, bits of wire that is covered in, in brown paper. 
And again, I, I got this, I think, at a show a few years ago. Didn't know what I was going to use it for. Quite liked it and put it in my stash. <laughs> <laughs> you must just have so much fun when you revisit your mysterious box. You just I forget know. about things that you popped in there. You do, you, you do. And when you have a tidy up, you go, oh, look what I found. And it's like it's like getting a whole new delivery of gorgeous yes. stuff again. You forgot about it quite okay. years ago. Okay. So, so you've got a nice little bunch there. Mm. Okay, so next job is to do maybe six of them okay Aww. so i've got six little ones here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go round here one two three four five six so i'm going to put them on yeah and i'm going to keep them in sort of threes so yeah. in order to do that I'm just going to use a glue gun. I oh, found yeah. that the best way of, of doing oh, this. Yeah. Um, and then, so just put some glue on here. Just mind your fingers because, you know, it is hot, 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 absolutely. And so that will go on there and just hold that in position. Okay, and then that's good. And don't worry about this stalks because we're going to be covering those up anyway. So if you want to go and do your bits and pieces, I'm tidying. while I put the yes. other, the other s <laughs> uh, five on, I can do that. I will. I will. And I'll remind everybody that over forty percent of the stock of the one-day special has now gone. And once it's gone, it's gone. So the only place you're going to get this exclusive, fantastic star and um, the gorgeous circle die there is with the one day special. So please don't miss out. It's the first time um, Indigo Blue have done their Christmas edition with the magazine set. And this is exclusive to us, the craft store. And it's yours as a bonus with the magazine box kit, which has 114 fantastic projects. Don't forget in there, you've got, as well as all the uh, fantastic designers like Ke uh, Kerry, like Sue, uh, like Leslie, you have got the papers in there as well. Gorgeous Kay and her designs as well. Then you've got 35 brilliant, 25, sorry, brilliant, beautiful stamps and sentiments there. And that is a whole A4 plate full of 25 stamps. So you're going to get started straight away, even if you just stamped a piece of paper. Uh, then we've got the stencil, which is beautiful. Let me just grab that card as well. That was stenciled uh, through. I'm just going to pop this in front, if that's all right. Look at that, how that tree stencils. Can you see the stamp there as well from the set used in the background on the border there? Um, that's Leslie's. Isn't that beautiful? It's a gorgeous. And that's just one of the four on there. Then we've also got the stars, the three snowflakes and the Merry Christmas. I know. And then you're getting your bonus die set as well, all for a phenomenal 20 pounds and 98 pence let's remind us ourselves of our mag of our magazine um all the gorgeous projects i don't want the cards to drop out you see um we've got starry snowfall snowfall there the pink wreath how pretty is that isn't that beautiful so some of the what yeah, there you go look at that stencil being used there and again so many brilliant ideas forgive me i've just got to put it down so i don't drop anything um, we've got these on the set. Oh, I can see that behind me, that lovely card there. It's like a little bit of pe paper piecing. Absolutely gorgeous. The silver stars. Um, we've got Rachel and there's that lovely wreath we were just talking about on the back of the set. Isn't that brilliant? Um, how to decorate your bottles and your bags. Yeah, not just cards as such per se. Um, the rule of three, Ingrid, that beautiful stuff. I love that stamp, um, just gorgeous. I'll tell you how to make them, how to do them, your tags, wreath stars, star plaques, um, so much in here. Let me show you some of the papers, look at these. So you can fussy cut these individually. You've got lovely teals there, beautiful pinks. I love the colorway, isn't that gorgeous? And these are double-sided, you're getting two of each. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't possibly use that, it's too gorgeous. Well, you've got two, you've got two sides there all these gorgeous papers inside as well so you know you can get started straight away there's so much there's 114 elements in here i mean that's just packed jam say it with words carry there i showed you that lovely card isn't that gorgeous 
Look at that pink, it's just beautiful. So that's your magazine and, and, and also uh, details about the um, Dirty Weekends, October and now November you can book for as well. And next year, you can even win a place on a, on, a, on a virtual Dirty Weekend as well. So there's a giveaway in there also. So yeah, please don't miss out. £20.98, over 40% of the stock has gone. Please, I'm just putting that card back, please check out your baskets. Uh, so that you don't miss out. It's on a first come, first serve basis. So I just don't want you to miss out on that. Uh, 740794. Let's go back and see how Kay's doing with her lovely wreath. So, so far, I have put those bunches on oh, and I've started lovely. to put the leaves on. So mm. the leaves have just gone in between just to cover up all of the um, the stems. And so those are going in here, like so, oh. Oh, over the top of that. So pretty. And it's great how these bits are just sticking out mm. quite nicely. And then you just need to start building it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting flowers randomly around. So again, I'm just using a little bit of... Um, hot glue. Mm -hmm. You know, I hardly ever use this, but by golly, when when you need it, it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I started off um, trying to stick it with other glue, and I was like, no, no, it needs to be hot glue. Yeah, definitely. So just more is more with with wreaths. I think, you know, absolutely stuff it with <laughs> loads and loads of flowers and all sorts if you've got bits of acorns and Ooh, yeah other little things I'm i sometimes good. recycle decorations as well mm -hmm. you know if they've got a bit bashed while they've been in the attic yeah um i have been known to sort of pull them apart and redo them and reuse them um and why not so and you can see by looking at the flowers, they're all slightly different, aren't they? Yes. Which is really nice. And also, it's a really quick way of um, colouring your flowers because it would take me forever to um, to colour them individually. So we all like a little bit of a, a cheat's way out, don't we? So I'm just making sure that we've got plenty going on around here. Let's just carry on with this. Um, when you start going, hmm, now where do I put this one? <laughs> That's maybe when you're starting to get full up. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're nearly there. I might titivate a little bit more at some <laughs> point. There we go. I can stuff that one in there. Right, and then... You just need something to hang it up. Let's Ooh. get those out of the way and let's just cut this off, this extra big bit there. So again, you can use pretty ribbons or anything like that. I've just used this brown cord again. Mm -hmm. um, now, I found some beads that yeah. I'd actually wired together for another project because um, I'm always doing demonstrations and doing extra bits and pieces. Yes, for the stages. <laughs> yeah, that's right, but, yeah. <laughs> different stages. <laughs> oh, and this one is the dry one. And yeah. So what I've done is I've actually just put um, a lovely um, girl gave me some um, crystals that they'd, um, they'd bought oh. at a, um, a car boot that was from a, a chandelier oh, and they, wow. she was handing them out to everyone which I thought was lovely how oh. we all share stash That's so lovely. which is really lovely so I thought we need to give it a special sort of place don't we so I'm just going to wind that round the good thing is that this is you know wire so it's very very easy to just manipulate and I'm just going to squeeze that end in then I don't catch it yeah. on anything on your fingers or anything like that so just squeeze that in okay and then I'm just going to come back in with this like so I think it's probably about that big I'm going to make it quite tall mm -hmm. because then in fact what I'll do is I'll show you how I did those um, those twirls. I just use my pokey tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, round about there. 
and I'll just wrap it around my pokey tool and it gives you a nice sort of mm. twirl and then just put it back through and I'm just going to wrap it around like so so then I can hang it up and I've got a couple of bells there as well yeah. as that that's so pretty and I'll just sort of hold it up so you can see it on the other camera how gorgeous is that right. oh beautiful that's just stunning Kate so that's it's insane. really simple isn't it just with them um, just a couple of stamps and some color you know when you think we started off with just yeah, those no um, and I'm sure you can find bits and bobs around your craft room I'm sure if not you can get these sorts of things from you know um, big supermarkets yeah. you know look at Wilkinson's and home bargains and yeah. another one give yeah. me another one <laughs> the range, range um, all those sorts of places yeah. you can buy this sort of thing quite cheaply as well if you haven't got it in your stash um and just you know have, have fun a have a play have a play doesn't take doesn't take you long you know you can spend a nice rainy afternoon doing that Gorgeous. can't you i came together so quickly yes, yes and have fun delving okay. into your bits and bats box uh right we should remember as well don't forget uh while stocks last you are getting that fantastic uh, beautiful bonus die first time ever for the Christmas uh, media magazine box kit and this is the bonus exclusive to the craft store so that is extra to your media magazine box kit those two beautiful dies there first time indigo blue have done them as an individual die uh, yeah some gorgeous gorgeous samples here behind the counter just beautiful so much inspiration in the magazine as well this is our lovely Sue's and look how different both those cars are job haven't they, they just really lovely Big congrats to the team Vanessa as well same die set completely completely different look at the, that's using the papers isn't it in the in the set mm. just so utterly beautiful you've got Carolyn's there you've got Kerry's that's one of the ones in the project book as well um, just beautiful Leslie there one of my favorites I'm such a simple child but I love <laughs> just love that I stamp. actually love that I, I love, I love oh, the craft card yes yeah just gorgeous <laughs> black card and the craft card we don't use it enough we and don't there were those two stamps stunning and your merry christmas of course look at it here again beautiful you can tell i'm obsessed with that tree can't and you, you know we've got so many samples that um doug has actually put them all around the back yes. as well and we've also got a pile that we will swap around yes. uh, for the, the other shows as well That's and we've gorgeous. got them obviously all around the one day special as well so have a look at those they're just lovely i've got to point out this here um, and oh, how the wrapping. <laughs> the wrapping paper yes, has been just brown done, paper. which is really lovely. I am sorry, I just sort of threw threw you under the bus there. By, oh, I don't care. This by is not having the camera in the right place. No, and no, it's I far do more apologise. I'm sorry, but this is just so lovely. It's stunning. Um, I love actually stamping on brown paper and then wrapping your parcels in yeah. it. I think it looks so lovely. And to make some tags, I think you know, handmade tags are just gorgeous. To be honest, I would only do it for close family. <laughs> you know, if yeah. you've got kids under five, definitely not, because they're not going to appreciate no. it. But your mum would and your best friend would yeah. and all your crafty friends would. So I just think that is just really, really lovely, actually. I mean, she's even gone to colouring them in, which I, I think know. is a labour of love. Absolutely beautiful. So what can you show us in this uh, time remaining? Although I know we're together at eight again. Oh, right. OK, sorry. OK, um, so um, what can I show you? I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a little one that um, my friend gave me oh. a challenge. Well, not oh. a challenge exactly, oh, but rings. she gave me a curtain, a couple of curtain rings. Yes. And I'm going, that's great. I don't know great, how many times I've got rid of those. And I, I know, oh, no, I know. I got told off. So, so I got told off. I don't, it was a craft to say, well, don't feel to keep them. I, was like, I know, no, I know. I know. But actually, I could, I could put some embroidery over it and oh, everything. Right. And it's got a little sort of clip on it already. So she'll be really proud of me. Anne, Anne, are you watching? Anne? Anne? You're listening. <laughs> Anne Godfrey, thank <laughs> you very much. And look, I'm going to make something with them. Great. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've put some uh, black gesso on already. And then what I've done is um, I was going to sort of get the die cutting machine out. But seeing as we've got such little time, 
okay I've die cut loads and loads of these little stars oh. and everything but how did I get to this yeah this level okay so let me just get another piece of card I'll go on the back of here and um, let me put a sheet underneath as well and if I can find the right one I think I actually used um I didn't use show for nothing yet. I used blue satin sashes. Oh, from your leavers. And I also Lids. used um, fresh morning mist. Oh, so okay. that's your uh, raindrops and roses. That's one. right. More favourite right. things, yeah. Do you like do you like the new I samples? do. Made but yeah, well, I just this I think this is brilliant. The uh, the, the, the Robin Hood themed Sheriff of Nottingham has clearly got to be the next panto, isn't it? Um, Will Scarlet, <laughs> Little John, La Loxley Yellow, Sheriff of Nottingham, Maid Marion. And then at the end of October, lovely Ione is launching uh, Friar Tuck, Al Alan and Dale, Much Miller, Original Oak and Robin Hood. Is he green by any chance? Mm, might be. <laughs> 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 my powers of deduction <laughs> I know I know so what I've done is um, I think you just missed that so I've just sprayed the uh, blue